guys, David Hoffman from David's Been Here. In 2021, I went to New York City two times. I did a seven day trip and then another seven day trip. I ate everything from Indian food to Georgian food. I had Albanian food, Chinese food. I went to New Jersey, Parsippany, Edison, Jersey City. I went all around Queens, the Bronx. This is an amazing trip. I visited probably something like 20 plus restaurants and I'm excited to share with you guys. There's gonna be a massive video over 10 hours long. Here you go, this is my trip of New York City in 2021, let's go. Jackson Heights is one of the most, if not the most diverse neighborhood in New York City. So if you wanna check out different cultures and different foods, you have to come here. Definitely come here for Colombian food. Lots of culture, lots of delicious food, more than 300 dialects and languages are spoken just in this neighborhood, so you definitely have to check it out. So we're starting off at Cositas Ricas, we're gonna have a light breakfast. From here we're going to La Pequeña Colombia, which is the oldest Colombian restaurant in New York City, and then after that we're going to the Arepa Lady. Mm, very famous. <laughs> famous, right? Oh, Arepa. Celebrity. Yeah? Yep. Okay, awesome. <laughs> so let's go inside. Yeah. So like most countries in the world, uh, you start your day with coffee and we call it, we call coffee tinto. So a tinto is like a very, not a very light, it's kind of like an Americano. Uh, yeah, so we should definitely start with a tinto and then go from there. Desayuno Montañero, which is going to have calentado, uh, which is basically leftover food, but it's not going to be leftover here. <laughs> it's gonna have arepa and chicharrón. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, and we're gonna be sharing that. All right. Your pericos might be a little bit of an odd combination, but I really want him to try huevos pericos. Yeah. So let's get huevos pericos. Picante. Yeah. I go picante, see? Okay, so we are ready with some coffee. Tinto, right? Tinto. In this case, we're gonna call it a tintico because it's a small. Okay, tintico. Perfect. And you drink it like this or you add sugar? I don't add any sugar. I don't add anything to it. Um, just black coffee. Just black coffee. Yeah. Perfect. Mm. It almost feels like an Americano. It almost like an Americano, yes. Well, there are different ways to make tinto. Okay. A lot of people think that it's like watered down coffee and that's the reason they don't like this type of coffee and they exactly. prefer an espresso, velvety texture without the coffee being watered down. Okay, so it's gonna, it's gonna get you up though, like an Americano, right? Like it's super strong. Yes, okay. yeah. No, this is definitely uh, gonna have a good amount of caffeine and we will drink in Colombia several of these per day. Several per day? Several per day and okay. coffee is um, this is a health announcement. Hope it's actually good for you. So it is okay, <laughs> unless your doctor says not to drink coffee. Exactly. It's actually not bad for you. Yeah. So it's okay to drink a few per day. It's not. It's, it's a fruit. Yeah, exactly. I mean, in Miami, I drink. Now I, I've switched to cold brew. So I drink like two a day. Before I was drinking like three coladas a day. Like mm -hmm. crazy. Too much coffee, but <laughs> but it's good. Yeah. And I love this setting. So this is like a Colombian diner, right? People yeah. are here for breakfast. They also have lunch and dinner options. They have a bar, a really beautiful diner. I mean, it's traditional, right? That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. This is also what a traditional uh, cafeteria will look like if you're in Colombia. So I think they did a really nice job in combining. Like replicated it. Yes, and also with an American context, with the bar that the diners would have here in the US. Exactly, and so they're making smoothies in the back. Sorry about the noise, but they're doing something over there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, lots of people here. Yeah, I'm excited. Yes. This coffee is perfect. Yeah, right? And I'm out of, yeah, they made it really cold in here for some reason. Yes. <laughs> okay, my friend, let's do this. We have the mountain feast. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. This is how you start the day. Yes. Yeah. This is how you start the day. If you live in the coffee region. Okay, in the coffee region. Yes. Wow. So this is called Sayuno Montañero. Montañero meaning from the mountains. Mm -hmm. And you basically eat everything that was left over from the day before. You mix it up and you put it in a pot and that's breakfast. And then you add eggs and everything. Amazing. So we have a uh, plantain right here. Yep. We have the you know the red beans mixed with rice. Yep. Then we have right here chicharrones. This is pork rinds, right? Oh, I love this. Crunchy, fatty, the oils come out. Mm. Mm. Got eggs, and then we have that arepa. I've never seen an arepa like this. A little thinner and bigger. Mm -hmm. 
but that's just the way they make arepa in Antioquia. So you're gonna find different types of arepas in different parts of the region of the country, and this is just a traditional arepa from Antioquia, from the Antioquia region. They're very thin and very large. Okay, so how do we start? We have some uh, ahi on the side. So our food is not usually spicy by itself, but you okay. can always ask for to have ahi on the side, and you can put it on top of, um, of that. But we also have the, the huevos pericos, which are huevos with uh, tomato and uh, eggs. What I like to do mm -hmm. is I like to put some huevitos on top of my arepa. On top, huh? On top. You know, like that. Just like that. You just, yeah. And you get some it. more or no? No, that I just eat like that. And then I'm gonna put this, it actually looks like a, like a salsa. That is not right or wrong. You can just, however you want to do it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. El queso. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like Venezuela, Colombia, they love their white cheese. Mm -hmm. It melts, but just enough. Mm -hmm. It's not as greasy as mozzarella cheese. No, it's more crumbly. Exactly, it's a little bit more crumbly. Wow, yeah. this is fantastic. A lot of arepa. Nice corn, right? Mm -hmm. So if you guys don't know what arepa is, it's made out of corn dough, yep. right? This was super thin, a little crispy from the bottom. Yep. Nice layer of cheese. That's the good thing about this arepa is that it, com it goes well with all the other dishes because it's sort of plain. Yeah, so it's a little bland. Obviously, you add things to it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna jump on this. Go for the calentado. 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 Mm. Oh, I love the vegetables in here. So, what do we have? So, these are the red beans mixed with white rice. The red beans have been made with a mixture of tomato, onion, maybe it has some cumin, maybe it has some other spices to like it. celery in here? Um, is uh, this is some green scallions that they green have scallions. on top okay. for, um, yeah. And you also have sausage. And you also have the chorizo. Okay. Yeah, the sausage. Also chorizo in Colombia, different regions will have different types of sausages. Spicy? No, just oily, right? Just look como así, no? I'm a big sausage guy. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. Está bueno? Mm -hmm. This is so good. I haven't had Colombian food in a long time, so this is a real treat for me. Mm -hmm. This is Maduro, no? Maduro. So Maduro is basically sweet plantain, right? Exactly. Plantains, you can eat them when they are green and when they are ripe. The riper they are, the sweeter they are. That is ridiculous. It literally melted in my mouth. Yes. It's so good. one of the most versatile, delicious vegetables there are. And we that eat is. it all the time. You can actually make a dessert with that. Yes. That is so unreal. Yes, yes. And so we mix more, right? If you want to. Yeah. I feel like if I jump on the, the pork rinds, it'll be too much. Yeah. So I'm gonna get some more eggs. Yes. Mix it with some of this. Yes. And this is what I like about Colombian food. You can, you're allowed to do this. Oh, La yeah. mezcla. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You are so allowed. Just use basically onions and tomatoes for everything. For everything. Yeah, lots of vegetables. Exactly. And lots of pork in Colombia, no? Yes. I wouldn't say it's chutney, I'd say more salsa, more liquidy, right? Yeah. Really with this, mm -hmm. every restaurant makes its own, yeah. I would say. And some are spicier. Yeah, some are spicier. We don't necessarily eat a lot of spices like in Mexico, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, which a lot of people think that Colombian food is spicy, it's not gonna be, I mean spicy hot, it's not gonna be spicy hot. This place is so packed right now, it took us like 20 minutes to get our coffee. <laughs> Yeah, it's really busy right now. Super busy. Yeah. I mean, it's jam-packed. You know, that's one thing you gotta know is that most restaurants, Colombian restaurants in the area open late, around 10 a.m., 11 a.m. This one opens 8.30. So it's one of the few ones that are really open early and that's why it gets busy, so early. Yeah, exactly. Early. And if you want, you can get what we got, which is basically a taste of all of Colombia, but it's a big meal. You can easily split it between two people. Obviously, we're going to many places, so we're limiting ourselves. I'm gonna pack this up, take it to go. Maybe use some more chicharron. Okay, I'll help you. <laughs> this for me is Latin America. Mm. <laughs> Tasty, but go straight here. <laughs> Luckily, we're gonna be walking today. Yeah, that's the best part about New York City, right? We're gonna yeah. walk the whole area, and every place we're going to today is literally on a strip. Yeah. Right, just walking down. On the Oh, yes. Okay, next up we're going to La Pequeña Colombia. La Pequeña Colombia. Okay, so which way we're headed? Uh, 
dip, 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 dip. That way, okay, awesome. You know, I've been to Colombia only one time. Uh -huh. I did Cartagena y Isla Baru. Sí. And that's it. I haven't been to Medellín, I haven't been to Bogota. I'm missing a lot. We are, when you go to Colombia, we're gonna go to different places, but we're gonna go to this very special place called Santa Marta. Eh, vamos a ir a Tairona, la ciudad perdida. Eh, bueno, nada, te voy a llevar a todas partes. I'm gonna take you everywhere. This is uh, Pollos Mario. This is a Colombian franchise restaurant and they're known for their rotisserie chicken. And I love it because the architecture, if you can see, they try to make it look like uh, the houses in the coffee region with the nice balconies and the tiles on the top and the red and white. It's really, really beautiful. I love this strip right here, you know, under this metro line. This is like the most famous area here, right? Yeah, yeah. This is where Jackie <laughs> Heights is known for. Yeah, look at me. Woo! And after like a five minute walk, it's the restaurant right here. La Pequena Colombia, the oldest Colombian restaurant in New York City. Let's go inside, let's eat. You know, this is a little different than the other place. The other place is a diner. This is more like a formal setting, right? Yes, this okay. is a little bit more formal. You can maybe host a party here with friends for dinner. Exactly, yeah. and they have Colombian music playing. Yep, yep. And here we have something really different. I've actually never seen this before. So you have hot chocolate, right? And you have white cheese. Yes, the chocolate is a very essential thing for us to uh, drink in the morning for breakfast. And then okay. mid-afternoon, we also can have it as a snack. And we uh, put the cheese inside the chocolate and then it melts and it's just this really nice combination. It's very odd, so but I hope you like it. We just drop it in? Yeah, so let me show you. Just like that? Just like that. So while we wait for the cheese to melt, we ha also have... Agua de panela or agua panela. Panela. Sure. Agua panela, yeah. So this is uh, sugar cane? It is basically sugar cane uh, water. Okay, so I just uh, drink it? You can just drink it. It's really sweet. sweet. Super sweet. Oh, this is amazing. Energetic. It's going to give you a lot of energy. Is it? Yes. yes. Mm. So it's a little different than having sugar cane juice on the streets of India, right? This is mixed with something else? It is just the actual panela, which is basically a mixture that is solidified and okay. made into this really hard block that okay. we call panela. And then it is melted into the water and then we, we make this drink. You can just drink it like that or you can add lime into it, okay. which is uh, really tasty as well. And we also add the cheese. Also the cheese inside. We it. also add the cheese. So these are two breakfast things? Yes, for the most part. You drink this uh, during breakfast, but you can also have this uh, mid-afternoon. Okay. We call it onces. Um, it's like a midday snack. Like a midday snack, okay. exactly. And so do we go in and get the cheese or do we just drink? You can do both. But you can do I both? would just say try to uh, fish for the for the cheese. Fish for it. Yeah, if it's if it's this. hot enough, it melts. It didn't actually get to melt, mm -hmm. but it's just it's weird, right? Oh wow! <laughs> I mean, it feels like just cacao. It's huh. almost like pure cacao here. Uh -huh. It's not like a regular hot chocolate. No. Oh whoa! Mmm, big combination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Um, the hot chocolate, our hot chocolate, is not gonna be. Like a dark, hearty hot yeah, it's chocolate. Not thick. It's this not is a little thick more like liquidy. It is more liquidy, yeah. Mm, very nice. Yeah, so I would say this is more like a 70% cacao if you had a, like a bar of chocolate. Mm -hmm. A little bit of sugar there, you know? Yeah. I mean, the combination is really unique. Yeah. I've never done this before. And you also have the cheese inside here, and right? I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Me encanta eso. Sí. Wow. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's a tamal. Oh my gosh, look at that tamal here. This is a monster. <laughs> and they already opened it, right? So they took off the, the, the leaf. They already opened it for us. So this is a plantain leaf. And then we also have a mini arepa. A mini arepa. And this is like more of the Venezuelan style. Yeah, I would say Venezuelan ones are usually a are little bigger. bit larger. But, but they're like this, they're thick. Yeah, you know? but they're thick. And then we also have over here the empanadas. As we mentioned earlier, empanadas is a staple in Latin America. Uh, basically every country does it differently. Yeah. If you go to India, it's samosa. Mm -hmm. If you go to Uzbekistan, it's somsa. It just depends on how they do it. Yeah. Sometimes baked. Sometimes could be, fried. Could be your dumplings as well. Exactly, dumplings. exactly. So our empanadas are made with um, corn, 
dough. Yeah. Uh, for example, Argentinians make make theirs with um, flour. Flour. Yeah. Uh, so it's yeah. the corn flour usually. Exactly. And then what's the stuffing? Uh, the stuffing here. Do we want to find out? Yeah. Let's find out. All right. It's just beef. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's hot. Beef overload. Beef overload. Oh yeah, it does have some potatoes too. We also have a spicy sauce. I don't know how spicy that's gonna be. It okay. So do you want? Yes, let me try it. Yeah, I'll pour it on you. I love the crunchiness of this. Yeah, it's very different in it's terms really of like dry. the Argentine and bananas. Also the, the Cuban ones are very different from this too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Talk. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Me encanta. Delicioso. Muy rico. Mm. Mm. Si, sí, si, sí, porfa. Mm -hmm. So she's also going to bring a red, like a chili sauce, right? This mm. one's green chili. Yeah, this is, um, this is actually spicy, but good. <laughs> yeah, it's good, it's good. It's manageable. She's going to bring salsa rosada. Mm. Okay. So this is going to be mayo and ketchup exactly <laughs> you guys love it down there right yeah it's a big thing cheers cheers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. i'd rather this it's gonna just go like this and get a little bit mm -hmm. mm. i love this sauce wow it is yeah. spicy it is spicy you got the bigger side. I got the bigger one. No, they did a really nice job with the crust in here. So mm -hmm. sometimes you get way too much batter mm -hmm. and less filling. This one, as you can see, it's like 90% is filling, 10% mm. is the batter. Mm -hmm. That was good, but mm. I think if we eat all this, we're not gonna be able to eat this monster. <laughs> es tamal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is tamal? And what is this version? Because the Colombian version is a little different, right? Mm -hmm. Banana leaf. Correct? Exactly. So a tamal is something that is wrapped. Okay. So um, the most common tamales are the Mexican tamales that everyone knows. Exactly. They're wrapped in the corn husk. Our uh, tamales in Colombia are wrapped in banana uh, leaves, which are really, really large. Exactly. They can be square like this or round and wrapped like a candy like that. Okay, and I've then, seen that. Yeah. And then you make, it involves a lot of steps to make this dough and all the ingredients and then um, it's wrapped and cooked in water. Um, okay, and so it's corn dough mixed with like beef, vegetables. Traditionally, it will have um, pork, okay. maybe chicken. Uh, we might find some carrots, some peas. Okay, Yep. let's do it. All right. Oh, we just dive in? Yes, just dive in. Okay, See. look at that. So this is pork? That is pork. Mm-hmm, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, it's, it's well seasoned. I wouldn't add anything else to it. Okay. But you might want to add ahi or some mm -hmm. type of spicy sauce. Exactly. But to me, it's already very flavorful. Mm -hmm. but so I don't know. my first bite was very chunky, just straight up pork. And then I grabbed a little bit of the dough and mm. love how it's just like, it's like dense, mm. right? All together. Yeah. Mm, right here, the little skin. And if you want, you get some of this spice. Mm hmm. Yes. Okay. Spicy lover. <laughs> hey, it's incredible. You know, I've had a lot of tamales in my life. They're, for me, this having the banana leaf just brings it, you know, gives it a different flavor. Oh, absolutely. It yeah. changes everything. Absolutely, yeah. I'm all about banana leaves, you know. Going to India, eating banana, everything from banana leaf. Yeah. Does it just change the, the flavor profile? It has to be a reason yeah, for right. it. Yeah, right. So we just cut it like that. Cheers. Mm. It's also a very filling dish though. Oh yes. It's like just this and that's it. This is a very common dish, at least from the region of Bogota where I come from. This would be a brunch meal. A brunch meal? So very common to eat this on a Sunday, like around brunch time. Okay. So you have this with um, the hot chocolate, okay. bread or arepa, and that basically will get you through the whole day. Get you through the whole day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this feels like more like Campo food. Somebody's gonna go out to the field. They'll eat a big thing like this. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, I don't know if that's exactly how it works, but you know, certain countries, that's how it is. You know, have yeah. a huge meal, really filling. You have all the carbs for the day, lots of energy. Yeah. And I mean, if you think about everything here, everything is really filling. Everything is carbohydrates. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, definitely a lot of protein. But yeah, you got all your um, mm -hmm. or your food groups certainly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you want, you can jump on the little. 
Arepa, but mm -hmm. we're going to the Arepa lady next, so I'm holding off, mm -hmm. waiting for her. Everything was fantastic. I love the empanada. Yeah. For me, the uh, the sugarcane juice, ¿cómo se llama? Agua panela. Agua panela. That was absolutely incredible. Yeah. After this, we just have arepas, right? Arepas and cheese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Por Dios. Mm -hmm. Sapicante. Yo sé, yo sé. See, I've had something similar of, like this in Quito, Ecuador. Mm. Cold day, they give you this a little hot. In our region, three things are very important. El cacao, okay. cacao, uh, corn, okay. the coffee as well. Cacao goes back to the Mayans, where they were the ones who actually started exactly. first making cacao drinks for their rituals. So basically, corn and cacao stem from Central America all the way down to Peru, from my understanding. And in, in, in Peru, there's like a hundred variations of corn. Yes. My favorites are the the big blue ones. Yes. Oh, so good. Absolutely, absolutely. And these communities, they really do try to preserve all these varieties of corn, which is so important. Mm? La Pequena Colombia approved. Mm. Let's go. Gracias. Que vaya muy bien. Muy no, nos dice por dónde vemos todo. Sí, sí, sí. Let's go to Arepa Lady. The Arepa Lady. La, la Arepa Lady. La Arepa, la Arepa Lady. Lady. So you can find a lot of street vendors selling Spanglish books right here. And I'll, you can literally find everything on the street. You can find anything from food, bakery, you can find bars at night. Yeah, so along with all the restaurants, you have some vendors selling street food. You also have some of these, which I like this for my kids. I was thinking of buying one of these. You know, the map of South America, so while they eat breakfast, they can learn about the map. Also, you know, coloring books, you know, a variation of books here. That's basically it, right? You can also find the places that are very common for sending food, for sending boxes to your home country, remittances, immigrant services, all of those things you can find here. This is crazy. We just made a right, mm -hmm. and it's like a suburb here. Here's like, houses. Yes, and the noise level automatically went down. It dropped. Yeah. Because it's so loud over there. Yeah, over there you have people talking, honking, rushing, subway. you got the subway, everything. Yeah. And this, I mean, literally, it's like you change completely. The contrast is huge. Beautiful, full of trees and all the houses. You can just see families here having picnics or cookouts on Sundays. Full of life, but really, really more quiet and uh, Arepa Lady is just around the corner. After a five minute walk, we are here at the Arepa Lady. Let's go inside and eat some arepas. Okay, amigo, listo, listo. <laughs> All right, so we came to the back to see how they make some arepas. Nelly. Hola, como estan? Listo. So right now, we, she's making two different types of arepas. She's making a arepa de choclo that we call, is the yellow big one, and it's made with sweet corn. And then she's making the, the traditional white corn arepa as well. And that's gonna be salty. And I think we might, and it's gonna have cheese inside as well. So right now she's uh, on the grill. One of them is gonna be folded with the cheese. Yeah. And then the other one has cheese inside. Yeah, so it already has cheese inside. The bigger one, right? The, the thicker one. The thin one, it almost looks like a cachapa, which is basically a, you know, a breakfast item in Venezuela, which is corn, Pancake with cheese. Exactly. Here's a little different, yeah. but it's still sweet, very sweet. Yeah. Oh, it smells great. Sing on with it. She's like, you can have some juices. I was like, give me some aguardiente. She's like, yes, yeah. we got it. That's their like, that's almost like the Rocky Grafa. Garrafita y vea. So before we start with the arepas, we're gonna have some juices. So this is maracuya, which is passion fruit, mm -hmm. and this is lulu. This is lulu. Lulo. Lulo. L-U-L-O. And what is that? Lulo is a fruit that is very acid, very similar to, if you like maracuya, mm -hmm. passion fruit, you're gonna enjoy Lulo as well. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Oh my gosh. So good. So it's acidic, but it's so tasty. So refreshing. Mm, so refreshing. I mean, this super hot day in Colombia, just like level you out, right? Yes, yes. We have a lot of different varieties of fruits in mm -hmm. Colombia. We will drink fruit juice pretty much every day, all yeah. the time. With lunch, we have juice. I mean, you're in the uh, tropics, right? Yes. Uh, Still a little bit. Of course. Oh my gosh. It's tasty too, right? Mm -hmm. Sweeter. A little sweeter. Mm -hmm. They also put a little bit of sweetener in the Heard they? as well. Yeah. Mm. I mean, for me, this is very easy to drink before, after a meal, mm -hmm. you know, even at the beach, it's like perfect. 
Perfect. So more coffee. Thank you. How is it? Colombia, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> if you have to add sweetener, sugar, milk, coffee ain't good. No. This is good coffee. Yep. I have to give it a try. Little by little. Little by little. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. This mm. one you taste a lot more the coffee compared to the last one. This is a little stronger, right? Mm -hmm. Comparison, again, this is more like an Americano in style. And it's larger. Yeah, it's larger. Yeah. yeah, the other one was a tinto, you called it? No. Yeah, this could also be considered tinto, but this is drip coffee. I'm getting like up. <laughs> it, like it takes you up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Whoa. We have four different arepas. Four. Four. Crazy. Look at this. All right, so this is the traditional one, right? This is more like Venezuelan style, like stuffed. Arepa relleno. Mm -hmm. And then this is the sweet corn one, which is similar to cachapa. Mm -hmm. A little different. Obviously, they put some chorizo in there, right? Yes. Then this one is arepa with cheese inside, and they put cheese on, on top. On top, yeah. So this is where they take the dough and they mix it together with the cheese. So it's this really cheesy, soft dough. Oh, oh and that one mm -hmm. is called arepa de tela, which is a very thin arepa. Yes, it's a very crispy one. Crispy one. We also have over here all the sauces. sauces. That's what Colombia is all about, right? Salsas. So we have Salsa. piña. Piña. Right? I don't know what this one is. Salsa rosada, okay. so ketchup and um, mayo. Mayo, and then this one is... I think that's... I forgot what that is. Okay, so it's probably like garlic and cilantro. Oh, yes. That's the garlic one. Yes. Yeah. That's the garlic one. And this one is a new discovery that I made today. What is, is it? La lechera. La lechera? It's sweet and condensed milk. Okay. Apparently some people put sweet and condensed milk on some arepas. That's crazy. That's just making it extra sweet. I don't know why. I've never done it, but I think we should try it. And this is the... This is my favorite already. Hot. Yeah, it's hot. Okay, so how do we start? I would start with this one. Look at that. So the cheese has been mixed in the dough before they cook it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, still hot. Yeah. Mm. Oh, por Dios, que rico. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit sweet. A little sweet. Mm -hmm. That actually reminds me of the cachapa. Mm. Nice corn. Sweet corn, right? Mm -hmm. No, but Whoa. this is not sweet corn. This is the white corn, mm -hmm. which is not supposed to, it's naturally not sweet, but for some reason it's got a sweet flavor to it. Yeah. The arepa. I don't know. I smell the taste. It feels almost like a chapa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Feeling. And then mm. I'm going to add one of these, right? On top. A little spice. Mm. I would put pineapple sauce here. No? Mm hmm. Is that good enough? Mm hmm. All right. I'm going to try it too. Mmm. The pineapple with the cheese is amazing. <laughs> oh my god, mm -hmm. that's crazy good. It's funny. I was like looking at the food like I'm gonna take one bite of each. Yeah, right <laughs> okay, Next up we have the sweet corn, right? And they yes. stuffed it with cheese and chorizo I have never had this one stuffed with chorizo before. Wow, look at that. So you I've open it up. always had it always with the cheese. So you've never had this many arepas at one time? In my life. In your life. And okay. I don't think I ever will. <laughs> <laughs> So it's got a piece like this, right? You yeah. get the cheese, chorizo. I'm gonna try it with chorizo as well. And the sweet corn. Oh. Okay. Mmm. Personally, I like that more. That one was like mm -hmm. extra good. Mm. I mean, this is a breakfast item you have in the morning. Have some spice, you know, really filling. Again, with these arepas, it's all about getting full, cool, right? Mm -hmm. Then we have to jump on this one, which is El Clásico, no? Yes, this is arepa de tela, tela's fabric, because it's really thin. This is how I would eat it, Do it. I would just, but we want to eat it at the same time. So we should just break it with our should hands. Should break it with our hands? I'll let you do the, the honors. This is going to crack, right? No sé. Mm, let me try it. Like that? Yeah. I love the music, so it's traditional Colombian music. Right now we're listening to salsa. Salsa. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to have mine without uh, chicharrón. Okay. Mm. 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 It's got a little bit of the pork flavor. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite types of arepas. Mm -hmm. I just love the, the texture. It's a little bit soft inside, mm -hmm. but crunchy. 
And I just love this type of arepa because you can honestly, we keep them in the fridge, mm -hmm. just put them on the grill, and, that's and it. you can put anything on top, and it's like a really good meal. Yeah, I heard you could take this like even hiking with you, right? Just put it in like, <laughs> no, I'm saying just you heat can. it up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's can. all. And yeah. with the pineapple sauce, I'm sure it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Nice and crunchy. Still a little doughy. Now we're gonna get on to the big boy. This one's huge. And this is how you would have it in Venezuela. Very similar, right? So they always open it up and they stuff it with whatever you want. Yeah. Here they added, uh, so they added carne. So you got meat and then you also have cheese, right? Bite into it. Uh, so this one, I have to just go into it. You just have to go for it. I guess. I'll watch I guess we're not sharing this one. No. And the bottom is super moist because all the juices have flowed to the bottom. Well, luckily I live here so I can come back and eat it and have some more. Mmm. Mm. Nice tender beef. Mmm. Very moist. I like the arepa. Nice and soft. Not anything compared to this one. Yeah. Lisa? It's just soft, you know, doughy, full cheese. I mean, it's an overload, right? They really stuffed it. So this is something you get, you know, on the go for lunch. You have one, you're good. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna add this. A little spice. It looks, like, it looks like you're enjoying that. Mm. <laughs> I'm loving that. The best one is this one. Even though you've been into it, I'll bite into it too. That one was my favorite as well. Mm. So good. And if you want to try sauces, go for this one. Pineapple. The pineapple is game changer. Wow, it's the first time I tried pineapple sauce like that. Really? Yeah. Never. We love putting pineapple sauce on things like arepas. Hot dogs. Hot oh, dogs, yeah. Pizza, please don't be upset. Pizza? But we do eat the pineapple with pizza as well. Okay, so tell them in pizza. Yeah, we call it Hawaiian pizza though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my friends, we did it. We went to three spots. Cositas Ricas. Cositas Ricas. So we had breakfast at Cositas Ricas. Mm -hmm. We had like the mountain meal. Basically just like beans, rice, chicharron. We had a calentado. Calentado. We also wow. had arepa. We had arepa as well there too. Very delicious, you know, that's more like diner style. Go there in the morning, 8.30 in the morning they open so you can get there really early. Then after that we went over to La Pequeña Colombia, oldest Colombian restaurant in New York City. It's more traditional, right? You can feel it as soon as you walk in. Traditional style restaurant, mm -hmm. really good empanadas. I mean, that was the best thing, right? Yeah. Well, the tamale was also really good too. The tamale, we ate it all. We ate it all. We ate... It was that good. How, how did we eat all this food? I don't know. <laughs> and we also had the chocolate there. Hot chocolate and agua panela. And agua panela. That was awesome. And then from there, we just walked right over. So everything is really close to each other. Yeah. Like literally five minute walk, five minute walk. Mm -hmm. And then we came here, we tried four different arepas at the Arepa Lady. Gotta say, the, my favorite was that one, which is like a mix of cheese with dough and the cheese on top. It's yeah. a little sweet, really nice. Then you have the crunchy one, the tela, arepa right? De tela. Arepa yes. de tela. And you have this one stuffed, and then you have this one, which arepa is de choclo. the choclo, which the is sweet one. sweet one. Not not as sweet as that one, but mm. definitely there. Yeah. And you have all the sauces. You have coffee, huge have coffee pinto, culture. Also, don't forget the juice. The juices. I mean, everything we did today is like how you would eat in Colombia, no? Absolutely. Yes. Awesome. Not in one day, all of it at the same time. <laughs> you shouldn't. We did all this in a, in a five-hour span, but we're good. We're good. <laughs> so let's go this way, right? Yes. Let's go. So what's our first stop? All right, we're gonna go to this place called Sing Fu Tang. This place means Happy Joy Temple and they serve bubble tea and they make the tapioca starch right in front of you through the glass. Let's check it out. Okay, so how does it work? Well, you get inside, you go through a line, a queue, right? And they have the menu right in front of you. You have 14 different items and we're gonna get the... Oh, there's 18. Oh, there's 18, okay, wow. I didn't even see that. So which one are we getting? So we, and you two, are probably gonna get the brown sugar boba milk, but I love ice cream, so I'm gonna get the boba soft serve. Okay. <laughs> we thought we like this. Yeah. 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 I'm excited. Yeah. Are we are we in line? Yeah, we're so I think he yeah. skipped us here. <laughs> so we are ready to try this brown sugar, sugar boba, boba milk. milk. Okay. Yep. And then you just pop it. So if you guys don't know about boba tea, it's basically these jelly balls, right? Uh -huh. On the very bottom. Make sure to mix it okay. really well. Wow. I got the matcha boba milk. They didn't have the don't soft want the ice serve. Mm-hmm. Mm well, wow, you gotta be careful. Get too many. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. So brown sugar. It's almost like a, like a latte in a way. Pretty much. It's tea. There's milk. 
got the tapioca balls, and then you have caramel. Yeah, that's it. And tapioca just makes it more fun to drink slash eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You should, you don't drink this every day though, right? Mm -hmm. No, too much I sugar. <laughs> mm. Ben would love to do that though. One time he actually drank three three in a day. Three in a day? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my that's my record. Incredible. <laughs> so I was first introduced into boba like tea. In Irvine, I told you, Irvine, California, back in 2017. But in California, it's exploded. Yeah. It is everywhere you go. Yeah. You know, obviously, a huge Asian population in California compared to the side of the United States. I think a lot of shops started in either Taiwan or California and they could make their way here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good. Refreshing, especially on a hot day. Mm -hmm. Right now, you're walking around New York City. It's basically still summer, you know? Mm -hmm. It's getting in winter, slowly. Yeah. Really good. The boba is it's pink. So is this the only drink we're gonna have? We have a lot to go through. You gotta save your stomachs. Yeah. So don't finish all that tapioca. <laughs> no, it fills you up. Mm. Yeah. So good though. Nice and sweet. Oh man, it's amazing. Yeah, I'm not gonna finish this. I'm just gonna finish the milk. Ming, where to next? Next stop, we're going to White Bear. White Bear? <laughs> yes. So we're gonna eat some spicy wontons. Yes. Yeah? Can you handle the heat? <laughs> Have you not watched my videos? <laughs> okay, so we come here, the locals and the tourists, they all, well the locals all know, they just say, we want the number six. We want 10 orders of the number six. Number six, if you don't know, is the wontons with hot sauce. It's bathed in chili oil. Super good. <laughs> so they also have an extensive menu, 34 items, but obviously number six is what everybody goes to, goes for, and they also go for number 17, right? Mm -hmm. And if you want to say number six in Mandarin, it's Ti Liu. Ti Liu. That's pretty good. Ti Liu. Yep. So Ti Liu. Pork spicy wontons. Yes, sir. Okay, so we got 12 in here. Yep. So we have scallions, we have this spicy sauce. I don't know exactly what it is, it's nice and oily. Yeah. Hot chili oil. Hot chili oil. And it's not as spicy as it looks, but it's pretty damn good. Gives you a kick. Okay, ready? Yeah. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and moist, soft. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not too spicy. Mm -hmm. Not like crazy spice. Nothing like Szechuan. <laughs> no, not that spicy. Mmm, it's nice, super flavorful. Yeah. Uh, you have the scallions, it really blends well with it. Mmm, the wonton was soft, it was doughy, the pork was tender, and the, I love the pickled vegetables because it gives it a nice kick. And all the wontons are bathed in this chili oil with the chili flakes. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. The chili oil is mm. yeah. So good. I mean, it's a nice kick, right? Yeah. I mean, at a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say maybe like 5, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. It's not that spicy. I think it fits everybody. That's why everybody comes here. <laughs> <laughs> How you eat? Okay, but it's gonna drip on you. <laughs> and if you want more oil... <laughs> wow! Mm -hmm. We got more for you, David. I right, know. No, but the oil... Mmm, not so spicy, like I said, but now you have all the veggies. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Amazing spicy wontons. How are we gonna beat that? I'm gonna show you this place that sells curry fish balls. Curry fish balls? Yes, sir. And it's Fu Yen. That's right, that's real good. <laughs> uh, awesome, and it's located right here on Main Street, right? Oh, just two more stores now. Two more? Okay, perfect. And what's this street? This is Rules of Avenue, has a lot of more businesses, food courts. I'll show you the food courts later, too. Okay, yes. awesome, we got banks. Food courts, mm -hmm. uh, what else? Salons, right? Yeah. It's a mix of everything you can find in China. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> They're holding my wallet today. I <laughs> Check it out. So on this fish ball, we got the sesame sauce, no, the sesame seeds, we got the soy sauce, the sriracha, and another sweet sauce. So it's packed with flavor. Nice all the way around. How do they make these? So they actually deep fry these fish balls, and afterwards they Boil them with curry sauce. Mm. Mm. That's better every time. So, so addicting. Alright, I'm ready. Curry fish balls. Good bro. Yeah. Mm. I don't know in China, but in uh, Japan it's like udon. Mm. Mm. Pretty similar, yeah. The texture similar. is pretty similar. Yeah, very yeah. similar. Oh, I love the spicy curry. And that, that sauce is more like a like topoki sauce, like yeah. a Korean sauce, right? It's like a mix. It's pretty it's similar. Like a mix, right? Yeah. So it's like a red sauce, not too spicy. Not too spicy, that's right. Mmm. Easy to eat. Just pop? Yes. I bet you can't stop right now. <laughs> I should stop. <laughs> we still have like four places? Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Last one for me, man. One more time. Cheers, thank you. Mmm. 
to drink the sauce. <laughs> you gotta. You have to. This I'm last one, I'm gonna leave it there. It's bathing. Ming, for you. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right here we have a tea egg. Usually they're cracked open and they're marble surface. But we're gonna crack these open ourselves and see how they are. Oh, it's a tea infused egg. Yes. yes. Whoa. Yeah. Yes. Never heard of this. They're boiled in tea, soy sauce, and other spices. Yeah. Might not look like it, but it's very hot. It's so hot. Let's take a bite. It's extra savory. They boil this for hours and hours. You might not taste the tea 100%, but trust me, it's in there. Okay. Here we go. Super hot. Just gotta take off. Oh, oh, it's hot. And his bite. Yeah, I mean, tastes like a regular egg, right? Mmm, yours good though. I don't really taste tea, but it's in here, right? Okay, so next up, we came into a supermarket to get a uh, Asian drink, right? I'm super thirsty. So this supermarket just opened this year. It used to be a model, but now it's a huge supermarket, huge space. They can't get enough supermarkets in this place. <laughs> this is a gore drink. It's an OG. They repackage it a lot, but this is the one to go. Look at this. Oh. What? Monster. Oh my gosh, it's frozen too. <laughs> this supermarket is amazing. Yes. Look at this. So we're in like the fish section. So you have live fish over here. You have crabs, you have lobster. Over here we have monster clams. Look, monster. I've never seen clams this big. Huge. And over there, you have all the fresh fish, right? And everything in tanks, always, just like in China. Yep. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> everything fresh? Yeah, everything fresh. I look at people coming here. Uh, gracias, amigo, gracias. Yeah. Ciao. Thanks guys. Shishie. Shishie. So in this supermarket, they allow you to film. They condone it. Yeah. They yeah. encourage it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so honey white gourd drink? Yes sir. Gourd. Yeah. Gourd. Gourd. I drank this stuff growing up. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Never drink. And a oh. long sip. <laughs> oh wow. Mmm. <laughs> So this is like, um, oh man, it's reminds me of something I've had in China before. It's very really refreshing. Right? Very refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. A little sweet. Yeah. Obviously. It's tea. It's tea. It's from this fruit or this vegetable called the gourd. The Asian backyards? Yep. <laughs> They're huge. Mmm. Pulls you down again. Yeah. Really. Another like, uh, I guess an equalizer and a pack cleanser at the same time. Yep. You might want to save some of this for the next one. Save some? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so change of plans. We're not going to get the custard egg tart right now. We're going to get pecking duck. Picking duck. Picking. 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 And pecking, <laughs> if you guys don't know, that is the name of Beijing in Mandarin, right? Yep. Awesome. So this place sells it by the piece. So for one, $1.75, you get a little, basically a little roll, right? Mm -hmm. No, Inside a bun. A sweet bun. Sweet bun. Yeah. Guess how many pieces they can cut one duck into? 20, 50, 50. Higher. Do you remember the answer? <laughs> I, I think I guess 100. Okay. But it's it was close. in between. It has to be something like that because pecking duck is the most expensive thing in every restaurant. It's usually $100 when you order it, right? 120 pieces. Mm. <laughs> wow. From each duck, they make over $200. Yes. So we got the green onions, the duck, and the hoisin sauce all wrapped in a sweet little bun. You gotta hold on to it tight because if you don't, the whole piece will come out. <laughs> okay, jumping on it. Oh, I can't wait. I know, it's so warm. So warm. Oh. Yeah, man, look at this. <laughs> look at that beauty right here. All right, here we go. Let's do it, bro. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. I love the green onion. Mm. The hoisin sauce, wow. Mm -hmm. Delicious. This one hits the spot for real. Mm -hmm. Sweet and savory. So good. I personally would. Drowning the sauce, you know. <laughs> you eat so fast. <laughs> oh, I'll probably get like two more. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Beijing Kao Ya, 100%. Welcome to New World Mall. So this is a very famous food court here in downtown Flushing. 
Uh, usually a super pack, you can't find a seat anywhere. This is a popular meeting spot for all ages. You come down here for food, all types of food, uh, drinks, bubble tea, Chinese, Korean, Malaysian, and oh, Uyghurs here too. Yeah, and it's always evolving. Every time you come back, there's a new place. Yeah, I haven't tried like so many of these places. Unfortunately, half of these uh, restaurants are closed right now because of COVID, but hopefully, it'll get back to bustling again. Yeah. yeah, so we're doing this right now, September 7th, 2021. And unfortunately, because of COVID, it's like this. Usually, you cannot find a seat. I mean, the whole thing is packed. Yeah, basically half of them are closed. We have, mix. We have some, Asian, uh, some Japanese, you have Chinese, you have, you have Korean, right? right? And over here, they're making some pork dumplings and they have some to-go boxes as well. Yep. And that's basically it, right? Yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> this place could be easily missed if you just get off the train at the wrong place. But it's right here across the street. Joe's theme rice rolls. We are here for rice rolls. This is one of my favorite. Let's go. Is it? All right, this is very special because I actually grew up eating this in my hometown. Um, what they do is they have liquid dough, liquid batter, put it in, steam it up, add a bunch of stuff in there. In this case, we got eggs, shrimp, and then once it comes down, wrap it up nicely, drench in soy sauce, and that's how you eat it. Chung fang. Chung fang. So steam rice rolls. That one's beef. This one's shrimp and egg. You also have scallions, corn, sesame seeds. I mean, it looks amazing. It's drowning in soy sauce. Oh, yeah. So you have to get this one, right? Yep. Oh, it's gotta go straight in the mouth, right? Oh my god, it's like falling apart. <laughs> and you grew up on this, huh? Yeah, this is a messy dish. This is a messy dish. Mmm. <laughs> oh, and I missed the shrimp. Mmm. The best part. The best part. Oh man, it's like slimy and delicious. Mmm, it literally falls apart in your mouth. Mmm, like drip down, you know? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh yeah, I love it. Mmm. So super soft. Yeah. So it's just basically steamed dough. And silky. And that's it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> My pants are destroyed. <laughs> It is pretty amazing. Yeah. So this is a Cantonese dish. It comes from a city like right outside of Hong Kong, right? Yep. And influence spreads to nearby cities. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's good. You can also eat this at dim sum restaurants. Usually it serves to you in a small portion, right? Yeah. It is amazing, but I think I'm gonna jump on this one next because whoa. Man, I can eat with chopsticks every day of my life. Nice. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh yeah, nice tender beef. Mmm. Completely different like their profile here. Yeah, it goes down so well every time. Oh man. I just wanna keep eating it. I know. Mmm. Now I have to go to the area around Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. I have to. Mm -hmm. I haven't been down there. I've only been to Hangzhou, Suzhou, yeah. Shanghai, so more north. That's a lot of good food there. Oh man, one more. You know what? I'm I'm gonna die when I get home. <laughs> My favorite dish of the entire place. Oh, oh wow. so fun. dude. Yeah. I mean, ah. a pizza, Beijing cow, yeah. <laughs> pizza, Beijing duck, for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Boom. Okay, guys, I'm popping, but we still have one more spot. One more. Just one more. One more. Just one more. <laughs> <laughs> Hang in there, David. I feel like you can keep going. There gonna be many, many more spots. But the cool thing is that we've literally been in the same like two block radius the entire three hours. Yes. Whoa, and the sun is setting. It's cooling down. It feels great. It's hot. So where are we going next? Last stop is the Legend Chicken. Here we're gonna get Taiwanese popcorn chicken. Let's go. We're getting the first item on the menu, which is Legend Pops, which is Taiwanese popcorn chicken. By the way, I also have a spice level right here. So we got mild, medium, and hot. And they want to go medium because they don't want to be on fire. <laughs> we'll try medium. Yeah. Okay, okay. It smells really good. Yeah. Smells like red pepper, spinach, and really good Taiwanese popcorn chicken. Yeah, I love this stuff. Every yeah. time we come here, this is like our go-to place. We yeah. can't think of anything else. It's kind of unhealthy, but it's so good. You just you can't you can't stop. Addicting as well. You eat with a stick. You pop it Stickies. in your mouth. Cheers! Mm, hot. Mm. That always happens with the, the fried chicken, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pop one too. Oh, it's gonna be crazy, huh? Mmm! Mmm! It's not just like any ordinary popcorn chicken. It's a little crunchy and like crispy too. Mm -hmm. This is a medium spice level. Should be hotter. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like crumbly, a little spicy, and I think there's some spinach in there, right? Yep. Yes. 
Oh, I can get used to this. The popcorn chicken I've had in Asia blows me away. Mm. Oh, oh, that spice, right? Yeah. This is only medium? This only medium. <laughs> if you eat the whole thing, you're gonna wake up with a sore throat tomorrow. <laughs> now we just need some water after this. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. So juicy. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's on. oh nice. Hot, hot, hot. Wow. It's still so hot. Even after being cooled down, cooled out here. Last bite, my friends. Whew. Mild is hot. <laughs> Don't go for the hot. No. A bubble tea and some popcorn chicken is the way to go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. What's amazing is that we're literally we're next to the pecking duck place and next to the place with number six. Yep. Yes. Like literally <laughs> the same thing. Yes, yes. It's all all here, all the popular spots. And that is it, my friends. An incredible flushing food tour. We ate so many delicious Chinese dishes. My favorite. Uh, the steamed rice roll at Joe's and maybe the pecking duck. What about you guys? I have to go with the pecking duck. It's Peking so duck. cheap and so good. I come back every time for it. Dollar seventy-five. I get five of those, man. Yeah, man. Yes. <laughs> my favorite is the fu yuan, which is the curry fish balls. Curry fish balls. So okay. much flavor. Awesome. And so yeah, this is Flushing. This is one of the Chinatowns in New York City. You have the one in Manhattan, you have this one. Take the seven train, seven train all the way out to Flushing in Queens. You will not regret it. Get here, I got here like at 3.30, seven o'clock right now with all these spots. You'll probably do it a little faster. Mm -hmm. Obviously we're filming. Yeah. But yeah, what an experience. I love it out here. Queens, who would've known? Yeah. Now where's, where's Peter Parker? Marco! Yo, what's going on everybody? I'm excited for today, man. Can't wait to eat some authentic Indian food. And so you're from the area, right? Yeah, born and raised uh, Lower East Side, about three blocks away. This is my backyard right here. So my boy connected me with Marco, and he told us that this is the place we have to start off at, Punjabi Delhi. This is, you know, a local hotspot. People come here for traditional vegetarian Punjabi food. Yeah, yeah, you know, even when I'm late night, when I'm walking back from the bar, I always see this place packed from yeah. all walks of life, not just Indian people, Punjabis, from everybody. So, you know it's awesome. good. You know it's good. All right, let's go inside, let's eat. And this is it, Punjabi Grocery and Delhi. As you see, as you walk in, it's a mini grocery store, right? On the left, you have some chips, some garlic, some Punjabi pickles, and then right over here, we have some food. So what do we have here? So this is chana, so that's ch uh, chickpeas. We have some like fried veggie fritters, right? Okay, okay. Then here we have sweets. Hey, so how does it work, my friend? You just get a, like some sabji. Oh, look at that, yo, listen. Very cheap right here. You normally don't see this in New York City. This is a nice cheap eats right here. The only thing I know on the menu, again, I have to open up my Indian palates. So I only know a samosa, which is actually sad, but this is the first thing I call my eye and I can't wait to try the rest of it. So on the left we have the appetizers, samosas, alu tiki, breaded pakora. You know, you have the easy quick bites and then on the right we have the combo meals. So we're gonna go with a roti and two veg each. So six fifty per person. I think it's a great deal for breakfast. All right, so what do you recommend? The spinach? What's spicy? You have any spicy? No, mild and spicy. Mild. Do you want the spicy? Deliver you the hot sauce and green chili. So we got a few appetizers including the veg pakora. Dude, it is. Gotta go for it right here. You're gonna love this. So, Ooh, that's, a big, that's a big piece right there. Look piece. at that. Yeah, so this is basically just a vegetable mm. fritter, right? Cheers, bro. Cheers. There it is. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> mm. Wow. Oh, that's good. That's, listen, I didn't know that you could fry the vegetable and make it this freaking tasty. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mmm. Very good, my friend. Yeah, very good. Oh, man. Lots of greens. Yeah. Your chutney? <laughs> here? Dave, we gotta try the hot sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Try this. This is a sweet sauce. Yeah, let's do it. It look, kind, of, kind of looks like jelly a little bit. Yeah, I guess it's more like a... Maybe like a... Is it tamarind chutney? Mm -hmm. yes. Oh my god. Mm. Wow. Do you sell those in bottles? Wow. No. That's good. Mm. So nice and sweet. No glazy. And it has a nice little kick to it too. Mm -hmm. Not not too overly spiced, but very very good. Wow. Exactly. I can, I see why this, uh, and next to it we have uh, the spicy, so real spice. This container is three dollars. Oh, okay, three dollars for that. Yeah, so they fill up a whole container for three dollars. Yeah. That's still a good price right there. I can't beat That's that. That's incredible. You know what, dude? I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Right there. Yeah, yeah you have to. Have to. By the way, we're standing in the middle here because the lighting is all over the place. We're trying it. Watch. Ooh, that's spicy. Mm -hmm. That could wake you up in the morning, that spice. That's good. That's good. It's like a sweet and sour now. Mm -hmm. well, I think it's all mixed. Usually they say like sweet and savory, sweet and sour. Yeah. That's the go-to right there. I Very like sour. That. Good. Mmm, look at that. 
So it's an alu samosa with peas inside. So it is massive. I think we're gonna have to break it in half. Yeah, we're gonna have to break that in half. That's big. Right here. Sorry, dude. There's samosas on steroids right Look there. Look at this. Oh, Whoa. wow. Look at that. Oh, it's hot still. I'm gonna go with spicy. You? I'm a spicy man, so let's go with the spice. I'm gonna actually spice mix it up just a little bit. Yeah, mix it. It is massive. This is so huge. Beautiful. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm. So tasty. Wow. That's delicious. Funny story actually. I had my first samosa in a pizzeria. No way. Because uh, the owner was from India. Okay. And I remember he had these pizza these uh, samosas, which at the time I didn't know they were samosas. I thought they were like a like a potato croquette, it looked mm -hmm. like. I'm Italian, so we eat a lot of potato croquettes, rice yeah. balls. So I had this and I was like, oh my god, it was homemade amazing. But I gotta admit, this is way, way, way better though. Yeah, this is super this, tasty. This is good. This it's is like good. true authentic Punjabi, right? Amazing, man. So you have the you know aloo, so that's potatoes, right? You have some uh, green beans in here. It's a little mushy, outside crispy, not too fried. Yeah, it's really, really good. And I just love all the spices in there. I mean, it's- So many, right? It's like my my, uh, my taste buds right now, they're going wild, but in a good way. Yeah, so the, the thing about India, it's all about herbs and spices. Yeah. That's what it's about. Aren't they like the, um, the spice capital of the world? Mm-hmm. Mm. And why not bring the New York City, the, the food capital of the world right Dude, here? This is, the, this is the place to be. This is it. And if you guys don't know, in the East Village, a lot of Indian places. Mm. A lot of There's Indian a lot. Food. And I hear they're really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. And when I walk through the East Village, I'm gonna definitely stop in the next restaurant I go to oh. one day. I have to. You have to, bro. You, you gotta put to. me on. You gotta put me on from good restaurants. I'll put you on, I'll put you on. I know you know them. And here we go. We have four <laughs> main dishes, the entrees, right? So here we have the chana masala. So right there, that's chickpeas. And over here, we have this like mushroom and spinach. So I said mushroom and spinach. You have to get roti, nice, Flatbread, so many different uh, you know, breads in India, paratha, naan, roti, and this is how you do it, right? You just go in, grab it at this, get some of that creamy spinach. Mmm, mmm. Wow, crazy amount of spinach, but then you feel the mushroom, it's like the flavors hit you. Mmm, you know, it's spicy too. So usually the dish that I get with spinach is the paneer and spinach, right? But here it's just mushrooms. So next year I go in here and get some of these chickpeas, right? Mm-hmm. Good. This feels like I'm back in the streets of India. Mmm. Nice. A little creamy. Mmm. Chunky. Wow. Loving the roti. I'm gonna have to try some of this. So black lentils. Mmm. Nice and light. Mmm. Super small. Lentils. Oh, so much flavor. Incredible spices. And next to it, we have this that I have to try. Cabbage, right? So it's cabbage with more potatoes and more green beans. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Good. Close my eyes. I'm back in Amritsar. Yo, I don't know where to start. There's, I know there's a science behind it, but let's go for it. The spinach here, it's spicy spinach, right? A tiny bit. All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Got the chickpeas right here. So what's this, is this like an authentic dish right here? Mm -hmm. We find in India? Yep. Oh my God. Wow. That's amazing, that's really good. Um, Very flavorful. Who knew that vegetarian food would be this good? And I just love like the colors to it. It looks like just fun to eat. It's a little bit of a mess, but my God, this is really good. I've never had like flavors like that in my mouth before. That's absolutely amazing. Oh my God. Right now I feel the, the spice. Oh. Feel the spice. It's a little hot. And by the way, this is the owner. He bought this place back in 94, right? 94. Yeah, yeah. You got it. Incredible. So, approve the food? Oh my God. Definitely approve. Definitely come back here. Let me get one of these. Wow, that's kicking right now. Oh my God, yeah, that's good. That's spicy. That's spicy, Ooh, right? That's spicy, yeah. Mm -hmm. That spiciness, it gets you afterwards. It gets you a good like 30 seconds right after mm -hmm. you eat that. It has to be the spinach one. It has to be the spinach. Mm. Wow, that's me. Probably one of the best spinach I've ever had. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's almost like a, if you have a spinach dip, yeah. similar, but you feel those mushrooms. And what's cool about this place is that you also have like all the celebrities who have come through here over the years, right? So all, all these images. Where, where's John? Where's John? John's over here somewhere. John's <laughs> over here somewhere. He's gotta be. I know he's over. Hey, bro. 
Thank you, bro. Enjoy it. Let's just, Enjoy it. Let's just eat. You know what? I'm gonna go with the spinach. Yeah, I'm gonna get that some spicy more spinach. Is good. And if all vegetarian food tastes like this, I would become a full vegetarian. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that. Me too. That's good. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. And Punjabi food is oh, really? big on on dairy, like huge. Okay. Loud. So like, that's a yogurt. So if it's Punjabi, is that more um, northern? Um, yeah, Punjabi India? is north. Okay. Yeah. And a lot of them, they eat in their hometown. They eat. Uh, they're vegetarians a lot of the time. They don't mm -hmm. eat a lot of meat. Over sixty percent, roughly, of Hindus are vegetarians. Oh, okay. Around sixty percent. Don't quote me on that number, but yeah. Eating just like oh. these type of dishes, right? Lots of sauces, very easy, always paired with bread. North is bread, south is rice. Mm, okay. It's the biggest difference. Yo, I'm sweating up a storm right now from that spiciness. Oh my God. If you thought that was spicy, get ready for the masala oh. dosa, dude. Masala dosa next Yo, spot. I might need a new shirt, I think. <laughs> oh. So the total price was $17 for four entrees, two rotis, pakora, and samosa. And remember, bring cash, they only take cash. There's an ATM machine outside, but right now it's broken. So bring cash. My friend, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So everything was phenomenal, man. God bless, thank you so much. So right now we're gonna hit up the Dosa Man. He's in Washington Square Park. It's about a good 10, 15 minute walk from here. David, what do you know about the Dosa Man? What I know is what I've seen online. He serves dosas. If you guys don't know what dosas are, that is Indian crepes with masalas. There's many different variations. We're gonna get the masala dosa. Spicy. I'm in. When you said crepe, I'm thinking of like a pancake with like banana, with like whipped cream, but no. this is Indian style. Crap right here. Well, Indian style is more savory. Always more savory. Okay, okay. So less sweet. They don't like add all the sweet stuff. Oh, that's good. All this, right. This is go. South India. You know, so you go South India, starting from Hyderabad down to Bangalore, these cities in the South of India, dude, you'll be blown away. And you mix it with chutneys. Oh, I can't wait. Oh. If it tastes anything like what the Punjabi deli tastes like, I'm in. Well, that, that was North. Now we're going South. We're going South. Let's do we're going it. South. Can't wait to check it out. Can't let's wait. Go, let's go, dude. Let's I'm do excited. It. Let's do it, man. I love let's New York, it. dude. I love it. That's it. You're staying here. I'm staying. You're staying here. That's it. <laughs> After a 10 minute walk, we're here in Washington Square Park. And yo, we're looking right now for the Dosa Man. We're going to find him hopefully sooner than later because we're still hungry. Wait, where should we go right now? Like, I, I'm going to say he's this way. I could smell the dosas. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go he's this way. It's probably my favorite park in New York City. It's cool. They have crazy cool um, street performers here. And it's just you get all walks of life that come into this park. And trust me, it gets lit in this park. Okay, so as you can see, there's people doing exercise, people relaxing over here, hanging out. There's like a dog section, literally all the owners with their dogs. <laughs> this is amazing. This is the quietest I've ever heard Washington Square Park. Usually it's super noisy. This is it? Dosa Man? Yeah, Dosa Yes, man. I called you. Everything good? Good, man. Thank God. Are you ready? Yeah, almost ready. They're here ordering here. This is Utapam. This is actually more of a pancake. Yeah. It looks identical to a pancake. This is identical, yeah. yeah. This is a southern Indian dish, Utapam. A little different from a dosa. Dosa is going to be a lot more crispy, super thin. And where are you from? Sri Lanka. Tamil. You're from Sri Lanka? Tamil, yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. Yeah. I went to Sri Lanka 10 years ago. Wow, awesome. 10. But I've been to India five times, so. Where have you been to South uh, India? Uh, yeah. Bangalore. I've yeah. been to Kerala. Oh. South India. Hyderabad, Chennai. Yeah. Chennai, Chennai, yeah. The smell is crazy. The aroma is hitting you from the masala. So that's the masala, right? And then you put the aloo on top. So that's masala dosa, this one? So this is Kumar. He's from Sri Lanka. He opened up the NY Dosa spot right here in Washington Square Park. You have to look on his Instagram to make sure he's here the day you come. Sometimes you're not here, right? No. Sometimes, right? In the world. So he's gonna make for us a special dosa. Uh, I think it's a masala, pondicherry, something mixed. Yeah. And then we're also gonna have his grandmother's recipe which is a mix of a few different lentils. So it's a very, Everywhere. very unique, yeah. colorful, it's like almost like an orange dosa. He also has sambar, amazing, low sambar. Coconut we have chutney. coconut chutney. What else? You have like mint chutney or anything yeah. else? Mint for the samosa. Mint Spicy. for the samosa? Spicy. Yeah. Spicy this guy's awesome. He doesn't yeah. stop, literally. I mean, we were here like two minutes and like 20 people came. And this is the prices right here. So you have the board, Everything prices are right there. $10. Everything under $10. Okay. And one dollar for what? It's spicy or hot spicy? Yo, I want it spicy. Remember, full vegan. So we have yeah. samosas and what are those? Solid. Vegan drumsticks. Yeah, wow. solid protein in the sugarcane stick. Do you see the line here? This is 2005. Oh wow, Little Indy, okay. And this is the best street food truck in all of New York City. Yeah. Best street food cart. Wow, yeah. and listen, you know it's the best when he takes Venmo. And when he has 15 phone calls before 11 a.m. All right, here we go. We have two different dosas. So we have 
the pondicherry one, which is like a big mix. It's like masala, there's potato in there, there's a salad. It's crispy, right? So that's the crepe, the, crepe, the, the dosa? Crepe, yeah. Th this is the one I really want to try really bad. Me too. It's grandmother's recipe, so you know it's going to be good. So it's grandmother's recipe. Okay, grandma's recipe. And then it's always so like a six different lentils. He puts some of the spicy chutney. He puts some flakes on top. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Coconut. Mm -hmm. Coconut, yeah, yeah. Coconut right there? Dry coconut right Amazing. there. Amazing, yeah. So that India, when you go to South India, everything is coconut. Oh. Like, dude, it's, it's everywhere. That's why this is coconut chutney. Try it. Oh my Try god. It. All right, yo. Know, I'm die. going in for the kill right there. Going in for it. You know what? I'm going to be a little mixologist right now. I'm going to mix that. Oh my god. Wow. That's so good. You get that real coconut flavor. Nothing fake. Wow. That's amazing. It's fluffy, very airy. Oh my god. Listen, I eat a lot of meat. So when I, now I'm changing the game right now. I mean, a lot of vegetarian food today. If all food tastes like this that's vegetarian, I will be considering myself vegetarian from now on. Seriously, this is really, really good. That is spicy. Oh, man. That's good. So you had a chance to try this. My turn. So we got basically coconut all over it. I mean, it's just falling apart. Incredible. Look at this. Mm. And you dip it into coconut, right? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. It's coconut shavings, coconut chutney, and you have this pancake that's mixed with like so many different lentils. Yeah, that's absolutely just, it's delicious. There's really no words for it, delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Now this, coming up. Mm. Mm. Let's go. Yo. Let's get in here. So this is sambar. Sambar. Now I heard you could actually drink it. You can drink it. So cheers, bro. Cheers. Mm -hmm. You can see, you got potatoes in here. Oh. What else? Mm. That's good. Yeah, 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 you got some, uh, some vegetables in there. Um, wow, like wow. a tomato soup. It's basically. tomato soup, basically. Wow. It's, it's a so tomato-based soup. It's more like a, sometimes it's like this, like brothy, mm -hmm. sometimes thicker, and like, just like a thicker consistency, right? Wow. This, you can dip your dosa into it, or you can drink it. I mean, hey, you know what? Both works, right? Both works. Okay, my friends, next up we have this special dosa. This is the Pondicherry dosa. Now, what is Pondicherry? Uh, I think it's a town in India, if I had to guess. <laughs> So it's a Union Territory. It was French, uh, French colony. It is south of Chennai in the state of Tamanadu. So Union Territories are basically they have their own administration in India. There's like eight of them now. It's sometimes eight, sometimes nine. Same thing with the states. 28, 29 states. Mm. They've been flipping back and forth. And yeah, this is it, man. So Pondicherry, you have a big mix of stuff in here. So we have salad. We have the masala. Look at this, bro. Huge. This thing's gigantic. If you want, you can drop that, or you go into the chutneys, whatever you want to do. You know you what? Take a bite, regular. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's take a bite. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm. This was like the healthiest bite that I've ever took into. Mm-hmm. So I tell you. Oh man, these things are savory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Savory, very sweet. It's not that. It's not spicy though. I guess the spicy uh, sauce is right there. We gotta mm -hmm. throw some on there, right? Right there, right? Oh, I, wow. I always put too much on. You put too much on too, right? No, dude, always, always. Here it There's is. never too much. There's never too much spice. Oh my wow. God. Wow. Mm. Mm. This is good. This is really good. Oh, and now I'm getting a lot of that. <coughs> <laughs> it's spicy, man. Oh, man. A lot of coconut flakes here. Oh, super maybe, silly. With, maybe the coconut flakes can like, balance off the spice maybe a little a bit. A little bit, a little right? bit, right? He told mm. me earlier, everything's gluten-free as well. Oh yeah? So it's really healthy, man, you know? Dude, super healthy. I mean, if you guys don't know, especially in Sri Lanka, straight veg, super healthy diet. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's funny, because I, I think I, I never see like any Indian people who are like overweight ever. So it's probably their diet within their uh, cuisine. Mm -hmm. Like Italians, we eat pasta all day long. We're all overweight and obese. It's You guys start sticking with the Indians. <laughs> start sticking with the Indians. Oh. My favorite chutney is going to chutney. Mm. Yeah, this is something that I, I was never um, around to eat, mm -hmm. and I never knew where like the good spots were, so I just never really like, opened my mind up to yeah. Indian food. But thank you for having me today, right here. I mean, this is this is good, Cheers, authentic bro. Indian food. I will be back at Dosa Man. Oh man, very me soon. soon. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna mix spicy, oh, and coconut. Yeah. Hey, dude, last bite, huh? That's I'm, it. I'm actually happy we split it because. We are doing a food tour, so you have to like keep it limited. Exactly. Good thing we split it for sure, for sure. Oh. Here we go. 
Oh, that was so good. Look at the line. It's crazy. That was like only five minutes. Don't mm -hmm. like I like that. And he has orders also. Before I met you earlier, both no, both nostrils were congested. Now I could breathe. Now you're good. I, I could breathe finally. Me too. It was the spicy sauce. Mm. I mean, I slept like three hours last night. So I was very tired this morning. This woke me up. It's good. Oh, it's good. And you have there the sandbar to like, you know, wash all down. <sighs> wow. Oh, wow. Ooh. Nice and chunky in here. Mm -hmm. That's good. You don't leave anything, you know? That's the main thing in India. Everybody, people need to eat, you know? They so. eat, no, of course. And you know what? They, they serve you uh, a lot of food. Mm -hmm. It's cheap. It, you know, it, it's very cost efficient. Because yeah. in New York City, everything's expensive. But, you know, you come to the street cars, and I, what I know is Indian food, it's actually pretty cheap. Yeah, I mean, affordable. Affordable, right? It's affordable. It's affordable. Yeah. Because especially here in New York, I mean, you can't eat, like, like in Miami, I don't eat lunch for less than $25. It's insane, and the cost is only going up. It's so only going up. When you can find these hidden gems that are affordable, you gotta hit them up. Well, don't get too full. We still have some more food. That's right. We're going to a place called Ambo, and it's the same type of concept. You know, like small trays like this, all split, a few different things. Mm. That's it. Yo, you on, good? I'm good. I, on to the next. On to the next. We have like a 10 minute walk. Let's go. Yo, let's do it. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bro. So I was told to come here around 11 in the morning. Got here 10:30, and we're lucky. Thank God we did that. <laughs> Thank God, because there's about a good 30 people online. It's like 30 people. It takes around two and a half minutes to make two doses at a time. Oh, so the people in the back of the line, they're going to be there for a long time. Easily an hour, just Easily. waiting for doses. So worth it. So, so worth, worth it. it. This is the closest I've ever been to Indian street food in America. Wow, right like, here. Yeah, like real on wow. the street. That's the beauty about New York City because it's a big melting pot of food. So for a guy that never had Indian food before, like David just said, it's the closest thing he's ever been to India before. Can't beat that. The walk is about a good solid 10 minutes. Solid 10 minutes. And after a 10 minute walk, we are here at Ambo. So this is everyday Indian foods. So you make your own bowls, you build them, mm. right? So what I know is just you know, from looking inside, it kind of has that like fast food Chipotle style where you mm -hmm. get to choose your protein, your exactly. veggie. Yeah, so right here you have bases, you have beans, proteins, veggies, toppings, drizzles. Let's go inside. Yo, let's go. Yo, Deep, how you doing, man? Everything good, you? What do you recommend? Everything. Your rice, beans, protein, and veggies. I'm gonna freestyle it. All right, I'm gonna get the white rice. Well, that's the Bismati rice. I'm learning, I'm a, I'm a work in progress. I'm gonna go with the black lentils. Can I go with the chicken tikka? Chicken tikka masala sauce on top? Yes, please, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know what, I'm gonna do potatoes. Why not get more potatoes? Why not? Pickled onions, uh, okay. cucumber rice, cucumber yogurt there. I'm gonna go with that yogurt, uh, what is that exactly? Raita, raita. Raita, raita okay. Like eat it like right after you have something hot or spicy, this cools it down. That's exactly what I needed. Yeah. Than the last spot. Yeah, I, that. I know. I... Is there any like a uh, hot sauce as well? I got you. I got you. We have the green chili hot sauce. We have biryani sauce. It's very good. That's the spicy stuff right there. Oh. There it is. I love this. So they have seating outside. You can sit out here literally right on the street. Incredible in the West Village, right? No, East Village. Well, yeah, we're only at the cusp of the West Village, East Village. Okay, perfect. So we have similar items here. Mine, I have paneer tikka or paneer makni, which is basically the butter chicken sauce with paneer, so veg version. You know, black doll, you have aloo, which is the potatoes. We have some onions, and then over here we have the mango pickle chutney. Yes, yes. So we said, right? We have this, which is chai, and this is how it is. Always super hot. So this is how you cool it down, right? Half and half? Half and half. Let's All right, it. let's try it, let's try it. Dude, you're gonna love this. Mmm, cardamom, ginger. Oh, mm, wow. A lot of stuff in here. Maybe some like turmeric maybe in there too? Some turmeric, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, so it, it's wow. like, it's almost like a, I always compare it to cafe con leche, like coffee and milk. Yes, yes. Because, because their tea is always with milk, very, very frothy, you know? Now, do they, do they drink their tea before every meal? Or is it more like you a drink tea all day? All day long, well. Yes, did. And in there, for like two bucks, you drink 20 cups. Oh my God. <laughs> well, you know what, in that case, if I ever go to India, I'm gonna be drinking coffee and tea non-stop. Chai. Chai. Chai tea. And chai places is chai, so chai 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 chai. chai. <laughs> I'm ready for this, dude. You ready? That's good. Yes, let's do it. Okay, so yours, the difference is you have chicken, I have paneer, right? Yeah. And I have the, the ratai? The raita, right? The raita. That's to help the spiciness. Exactly. All right. So I don't know what it dig in first right here. I might go for the chicken. Let's go for the, the chicken, chicken. Mix it with some of this rice. Mm hmm So many incredible Indian food spots here. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Light. What? Wow. Creamy too. The thing is that here, because of the bowl, things start to mix. But that's the beauty of Indian food. Mm. You're allowed to. You're mix. right. Yeah. Like on that bite, I just had the white rice. I'm sorry, the bismati rice with rice. the beans, with the chicken. My mm. first. This is my first time having um chicken today because you know, we want like a little, we went a little vegetarian more Indian crawl. Exactly. That chicken is good. That chicken is amazing. It's really good. I'm gonna have to have a bite. Oh, absolutely. I'm just gonna keep going with this though. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. The black, the black beans are good. Black beans it's are incredible. Really good. Black doll. Wait, uh, there we go. Wait, it's just a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful plate. It looks delicious. It's a vibrant colors you have. It looks appetizing and it's amazing. Yeah, this is definitely like one of the most flavorful um, cuisines that I think I've ever had before. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Oh man, it, it's so flavorful. The thing about Indian food is that the sauces makes it. The sauces. Yeah. It's like With all the spices. All the spices, all the herbs. Mm hmm. I love this. The mango pickle chutney. Mix you know, it with some potato. Let's try it. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, do it. let's mix that right there. Big bite. Cheers. There bro. we go. Cheers. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's crazy how, like, one side of the plate, it's spicy. The other side of the plate, sweet. Dude, it's crazy. Like a mango salad. Yeah. Right? Whoa, this is so good. Mm. You know, you have to eat the oh mango. God. Yeah, absolutely. Mmm. It's cold. It's cold too. It's so good. Mmm. It really balances off the whole dish that we have. Oh my God. Dude, it makes it all work. You know? I'm coming back here tomorrow. I, I don't think know you about should, you, bro. but I'm coming back here tomorrow. For $11 for this meal, you need a quick bite. Come here, grab it. it. Takes like literally one minute. They serve it to you. You can eat right here. You can't beat it. Can't nice, beat it. quick, efficient, affordable. It's great. Mm. Mm. You gotta try the chicken. The chicken? So I'm gonna actually mix the chicken with some of the black beans and add the mango on top. Ooh. Like that, bro. There we go. Just like that. Big bites. And then these are tiny bites. I do huge bites. We're in, we're in New York City. We do big <laughs> bites. That's it. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. I'll say, you get like two or three. Portions of the mango chutney. Yeah, whoever's in New York City, check out Ambo NYC. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, mm. I'm so upset that like I've never opened my mind up to eating Indian food. But thank God I met you, because now I'm definitely going to. See, so you know the amazing thing about Indian food is that even myself, I tried it a few times in my life, but until I was 33 when I landed in India for the first time, mm. I didn't know what Indian food was. Oh wow. You know, and then you get it and you're like, whoa, and then every second it's different. It's different, yeah. It's different. I feel like maybe every person makes it different as well, you know? Exactly. In every restaurant. In, in India, they say every 50 kilometers, people change, culture changes, food changes. Yo, and, and the language is the same. It's the truth though, you're right about that. Even with New York City, it's same, same thing. Same thing, same yeah. Philosophy. Here's yeah. like 50, 50 meters. <laughs> 50 meters, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this is something that you have to try. Let's do it. This is amazing. This is called Mango Lassi. So this is a yogurt drink with mango. And mango is the national fruit of India. Oh wow, you know what? It's my favorite fruit. Me mango. Too. Me too. Let's do it. From Miami, dude. I love it. <laughs> so this one's more like a protein shake. I mean, in terms of thickness, right? Okay. Yeah. Mm. Wow, it's fresh. It's fresh. It's meant to cool down heat as well. Yeah, which it definitely did just now. It did, it did. It definitely did. And then it also, like in India, you're walking around and it's flaming hot. And you have flaming hot food. Oh. So then this is like the, the equalizer. Yeah. You know, like it just cools you down. And uh, my friend, that's it. Three Indian spots. We did it. Punjabi yeah. Delhi, a staple right there in the East Village. You have to go, a little grocery sh shop, right? Yeah, yeah. Go in, have a basic $6.25 meal. You can have like two entrees, a roti, uh, you know, a pakora. You have a samosa. And that's it. That's it, yeah, yeah. Quick, like grab and go. Grab and go, quick. You know, as New Yorkers, we're always on the go. So places mm -hmm. like New York Dosa, Punjabi Deli, and Ambo, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. And the New York Dosa man, I mean, uh, Kumar, is his name? Kumar, I believe it's Kumar. Kumar, yes, Kumar. Yes. He's awesome. So unbelievable guy, stand up guy, nice guy, and he sh knows how to make a nice dosa. Yeah, that dosa, was good. That thing was incredible. So the pande cherry, plus we had the one that his uh, his grandmother's recipe, mm -hmm. right? Uh, get there early because the line gets crazy. Look them up on Instagram because times do change. But try to get there 1030 latest, I'd say, because when we left now 1130, oh, it, was it was crazy. It was, it was crazy. crazy, that line. And then from there to here, 
you know, Ambo. This is more like fast, casual, you know, quick on the go, made for New York City workers, right? So you come, have a quick meal. The meal is fantastic. I gotta say, the lentils. It's my they favorite lentils really ever. Really good. Yeah, they they just knew how to balance this whole plate. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, and again, you can mix it all. You know, all the sauces. Definitely, my highlight here was the mango pickle chutney. That was delicious. And that's New York City street food. Indian street food in New York City. Amazing. Dude. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy. And showing me, you know, the Indian style way. Definitely coming back to all these spots. The only thing we didn't do was we didn't use our hands here, but it's all good. Oh, it's all good. Do it. You ready? <laughs> Yo, so Joe's Pizza has been a staple here in Greenwich Village since 1975. And when you think of New York City pizza, you think of Joe's Pizza. It does not get better than that. And David, I cannot wait till you try it out because you're gonna love it. Well, we got very lucky because earlier there was a huge line. Now there's no one. Crazy, oh, crazy line there was. What's up, guys? Hello, hello. How you doing? All right, very good. Guys. You guys? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so cash only. You guys sell by the slices. They have plain pepperoni, and this one is fresh mozzarella cheese. Fresh mozzarella cheese. cheese. Yeah. Great. Cash. Cash? Only cash. No tax. No tax. No tax. <laughs> Yo, I think we gotta go with the original cheese slice. Let's do it. Can That's we get it? two? Yes. So each slice is three twenty-five for just plain cheese, right? Pepperoni and everything else would be like four plus. Okay, remember, solo efectivo, right? Only cash. They don't, they don't want credit card here. <laughs> Gracias. Muy amable. So David, I'm gonna show you how the New York native does it. He loves his cheese. Always put a lot of cheese on top of the cheese slice. You know, little spices go with a little. You know, if you want a little kick to it. A little, Red chili pepper flakes right here. Okay, it's a little cluttered in here, but it's all good. I'm gonna add some cheese myself. Here we right go. Here. And then this is my favorite. Add a lot. So how do you grab it? Just like this, right? So you yeah, you wanna. This is the this is a flop right here. You wanna get it like this. Mm -hmm. Your finger, even with the plate, try to fold it like this. It might not fold all the way because it's a fresh, it's a fresh pot he made. So like there we go. You wanted to fold like a baseball glove. Nice. Which it does, you know? There we go. Yeah, very nice flop. Easy, right? Very nice flop it has, and there we go. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Nice tomato sauce. Fluffy dough. It's, per it's, it's perfect, you know? The, a lot of cheese, obviously, is amazing off New York because we love our cheese. Mm -hmm. And I think a prototypical New York slice, you want it hand tossed, very thin crust, mm -hmm. and it's a wide slice, mm -hmm. you know? And that's why. It's that good. I mean, you know, yeah. these guys make it with love here. Exactly. It's good. It's and good. the best part is that you can get a slice. You know, some places here, you can't get a slice. Exactly. And that just makes it a lot more expensive. Yeah. You know? Of hey, man. Cheers. Yo, cheers to that. Very nice. There cheers. It is. is pizza mm. good in Miami? Some place. Someone saw that. So for me, I just gotta go like this, bro. Yo, no wonder why you love Indian food so much. You love your spices, man. But a lot, that, that spicy right there, man. We're gonna have uh, three full slices, so take it easy, right? That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the cheese, man. Mm. Oh my god. I love it. It doesn't get better than this. It's just beautiful, man. Everything about it, and I love that there's legit no grease at all nothing. in the pizza. No oil, That's how nothing. you know it's that good. I thought we started here. I, listen, I had to bring you the best spot first. Mm -hmm. I had to bring you the best spot first. Oh my god. What would you give them a 10 out of 10? Probably a 9. 9 out of 10. I like that. That's a good score. Mm, spicy now. Mm. <laughs> you know what's amazing about it? It feels very New York. It has a New York feel, right? It has right? something, dude. It has something. It's something you can't explain. You have to come down here and grab your slice. Mm -hmm. Cheers, man. So, here we go. Are you going to be able to eat two more? <laughs> I'm going to try to. It's going to be really tough, but I'm going to try my hardest. Mm -hmm. Well, again, nice cheese. You said it's all about the water, the yeast. That's why New York City has the best pizza. It's all about the water and the oven. The oven, remember that, mm -hmm. the oven. All right. Yo, that was good. Oh my God, that's why I love Joe's Pizza because they just keep it so simple. It's, they don't do too much, they don't overdo it and that's why it tastes so good. If you guys didn't know, they filmed the first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, Spider-Man 1, not this Joe's, the one Corner. Around the corner? Yeah, right over here. Okay. Yeah, but they also have images inside of, you know, obviously the shoe and they have all the other celebrities who have visited Leonardo you know, DiCaprio, Bradley Cooper. I mean, I don't know who else is in that wall. A ton. Everybody, I mean, everybody. Name a celebrity, they were there. Yeah, all the A-listers come because this is like the number one. Yeah, number one. 
pizza, I mean, they haven't changed much since I was a kid. So every, all the ingredients is, everything is just OG. And then Lombardi's is like their rival, right? So Lombardi's Pizza was the first pizzeria in the United States. It opened up in 1905 and their pizza is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's more, uh, it's a coal oven, uh, oven pizza. It's really good. Uh, I want to see what you think about it though, because you know, you're not from New York, so I want your take on it. To be honest, all I want is something really yummy, gooey, and delicious. All right, you know what? And we we can de that we can accommodate that for sure. Absolutely. They actually have a clam slice, a clam pie. I don't know if you want clam right now. I mean, it's pretty hot to eat that. Or we can go with the straight up just cheese uh cheese pie. We can go with. Maybe some pepperoni. I need something else. I need okay, something a little right, spicy. Right. You know what? So we're only like 10 minute walk. Oh, good, like 10, 15 minutes. Right now we're on the west side. We're gonna go all the way east side, Little Italy. We should be there in about a good 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. So after a 10 minute walk, we are here in Nolita. That is basically like Little Italy. It's north of Little Italy. Again, it used to be Little Italy, but it's not no more due to gentrification. Where's Lombardi, like right over here? So we're gonna have to go straight and we're gonna make the left on Spring Street. Perfect. So we made it here to Spring Street and Mott Street, right? Mott and Spring. This is Lombardi's, the oldest or the first pizzeria in America, 1905. 1905. Long Incredible. time. Incredible. Incredible. Long time. And so here they don't do by the slice where you get a full pie. You gotta get the full pie. They don't play no games in here. So you might have to eat the whole pie, man. They might get upset if you don't eat the whole pie, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it today. And this is Lombardi's, the oldest pizzeria in America since 1905. As soon as you walk in, the host sits you down. You have a few different tables, a round table like we have here, a few different like, you know, diner style tables. They have terrace in the back. And we have the pizzas, right? So we go with the original or we go with the famous clam. Yo, we gotta go with the famous clam. Famous clam. I mean, how could we not? Yes. And I love this pizza because it's like a, it's a Neapolitan style pizza. Okay. I know the last spot we went to Joe's Pizza was a, just a straight up New York style pizza. So we're gonna switch it up a little bit right now with this. Yeah, so uh, Napolitano, right? So Lombardi specialty, baby clams, garlic, uh, oil, oregano, roman, eggs. I mean, there's so many different things in here. Crazy. A lot, a lot of stuff in there. And I love this place, but it's not cheap. For 32 bucks? Yes. I mean, you're in the oldest pizzeria in America. 32 exactly. bucks for a pie? Listen, you know, it, it's, it's quality. You're gonna get a good yeah. quality pie. I mean, it's a big pie. It probably feeds three to four people easily. We're gonna take them home. We're gonna have a slice each, and that's it. Or maybe three each. We'll still decide. <laughs> we still have other pizzerias to go to. Yeah. Listo, listo. Very good. good. Okay. Damo listo. We just want the famous clam to a pie. Sure. That's it. Is it. Should we make it a little crispy? It always gets done well done. Okay, well done. Perfect. You're gonna love it. Oh man, what is this, dude? Yo, it's a clam. No, I don't think there's no cheese or nothing on there. No cheese, right? I don't think no cheese. Is it's clam. just. It's so. It's almost like a focaccia. Yeah. With clam. I love how small the pie is. I'm glad they don't give like huge, like huge, huge slices. So this is gonna be good. So what are the ingredients? Parsley, basil, obviously the clams. Mm -hmm. You have a uh, Romano cheese as well. So there is no cheese. There's in a there. little bit of cheese in there. Okay. Yes. So I'm guessing that's like the glue that binds it all together, right? Yeah. And then you crack it. Man, she was not lying that it was. It, it's a crispy one. It's a crispy one. Look at this. Oh, look. It's not your typical New York style pizza. It's more your Neapolitan style pizza. Mm -hmm. You know, it looks beautiful. I mean, yeah. Like I was saying it's like more like a white pizza, focaccia, no tomato sauce. This looks incredible. Thirty-two bucks for this pie. It's really for two people. It's for two people. But it's fun. It's a little pricey. A little pricey. Fifteen bucks a person is not yeah, bad. Not bad. At all. Cheers. <laughs> The ocean right there. Oh. Mm. I'm getting like vibes like I'm on a beach right now. Mm -hmm. mm. Johnny clams. Mmm. Love the bread, man. You know what? I love it. It's not like overly fishy either. At all. Know? No. Which is a good thing. Like it's not too salty. Mm -hmm. I just feel like yeah. when you say Napolitano, you know, Napoli is on the Mediterranean Sea. So everything there is very, well, they have a lot of seafood, right? A lot of seafood, yeah. So yes. their pizzas there, man, my favorites. Yo, we gotta check it out one day. I don't know. One day, dude. One day. Sardines or anchovies oh, or anchovies. Man. I want some gabagool on my pizza if I go it up. When I go to Italy. <laughs> and I love how we put the lemon on there too, mm -hmm. so you got that like lemony taste. Yeah, it's like citrus feeling. Oh, it's good. Mm -hmm. Super thin, crispy pizza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just how I like it. I love it. 
Wow. Even the crust, the crust is perfect. I mean, damn the boys, they did it perfect, this clam pie. I had many clam pies before in like Staten Island, Brooklyn, Queens. Uh -huh. This one's on the top. Yeah. This is one of my favorite pizzas of all time. Of all right time, here. bro. It's crazy. Joe's Pizza and Lombardi's, which one are you going with? Lombardi's, there it is. I like that. I mean, that one's more plain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They do it up good here, yeah. They need some stuff. Mm. This is more like culinary style pizza as well, I would, I would say. I'm so good. It's more sit down, you know? Sit down, relax, yeah. have this, have a glass of wine. If you want, they have a bar back here. They have beer as well. I mean, the bread, so good. I mean, it's a little smoky, obviously, it was baked. It said cold, uh, cold oven. Cold oven, yeah. Cold oven. Cold oven. Oh, you know, good pizza. If we didn't have one more place to go to, I would finish this pie. <laughs> well, listen, all. Uh, we gotta check out Monero's next. Uh, I don't know. Uh, dude. No, go one more. Come on, you got it. Go one more. That's it. You know what? I'm going one more too. Why not? And don't worry, guys. I'm gonna finish the crust after when I'm off camera walking. Go, dude. Huh. The best pizza ever. You know what I love about it? Also, because there's like. Super thin, no tomato, very little cheese. It's so easy to go down. I was like, gonna say it's almost it's like we're eating nothing right now, and we eat a lot of food today, a lot of pizza. Mm -hmm. This is you know what I love a lot about it is that they give you a lot of clams. I noticed some pizzerias they don't give you as much clams, but they don't. They're not cheap here in Lombardi's. Wow, man, not cheap here in Lombardi's. You gotta visit this place. Oh, 100 mm percent. -hmm. And that's why I love pizza because it's an open canvas. You can put whatever you want on there, really, pretty much. Exactly. You know? Come on. It's too good. Too good. Oh my god. Way too good. I'd pay $100 for this. <laughs> That's how you know it's really good. I exactly. mean, come on. Everything is good. Thank you, man. Thank you. Best pizza. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's crowd it away on Mod Street, or we can go with Little Italy. Mulberry. Little Italy. Yo, let's do it. Mulberry. Oh. Pie is gone. We ate the whole thing. The whole thing is done. We were only going to eat one <laughs> slice. We ate all eight sizes. So, it was eight? It was eight. They no, were small though. They were yeah, small. small, small, small. So maybe... It was good, it was good. That adds up to maybe like three slices then, maybe. Wow. Oh. And this neighborhood, guys, is the best. This is the it's place to stay at. It's, it's the sick. vibe. It's a vibe. It's a young feeling. A lot of schools, universities around here, yeah, right? Yeah, NYU's around here. Just people who who came here from different states that live here now. So it's uh, it's dope over here, man. It changed and it's very different from what it used to be even 10 years ago, but I love the change. And right here we have Little Italy. The flag of Italy everywhere. This is it, we're, they're actually getting ready for the feast right now. So, you know, you're gonna see it a little more packed, you're gonna see all the flags they have. Um, whoever's in this New York City, come to the feast, September 16th to the 26th, make sure you're there. So Little Italy is basically restaurant row, right? So you have restaurant, restaurant, restaurant. They all have terraces now, obviously because of COVID, and they have the flag of Italy, you know? The green, white, and red. Italia sempre, that's why I'm wearing my Italian jersey right now. Uh, and over here we have gelato, so if you want some gelato, gelato king, so incredible ice cream, yeah, got, and it keeps going, right? They got the cannoli king over there. They got the best cannolis in Little Italy, probably in the world. They have uh, Monero's Pizza, which is a few blocks more down that we're gonna hit up. That's the only slice in Little Italy. The only slice? The only slice you get in Little Italy. Perfect, let's go. And this is it, Monero's. So we're at Monero's right now. They based it off of Tony Monero's character in Saturday Night Fever. And when you walk in, you get a nice 70s, 80s vibe. The pizza is a mix between a Neapolitan slice and a New York style slice. So you're getting the best of both worlds and we're gonna go check it out. So what are we doing, bro? The two plain slices. Um, we can stack them up, up on each other like Tony Monero did, but we're kind of full right now. So we're just gonna get two separate slices and uh, we're gonna check it out. And so this place is only credit card, credit card only. The music is basically from Saturday Night Fever, yeah, right? Yeah, like grandma feeling. You know, you got the pictures, the old school pictures. You got the old school uh, tomato jars. It's nice in here, it's a vibe in here, it's a vibe. And it's $3 for plain, margarita, marinera, right? And then everything else is $4, affordable. So we're gonna get two slices, okay. Listo. Okay, my man. We're ready. This is a big slice. Yo, this is a big slice, man. Look that's like this. the New York style of it, which is a big, thin crust. But you have the crust that's like a Neapolitan crust. Mm hmm. Right? It's a little different, yeah. A little right? different. So always fold, right? Always fold it, man. You always want it to lock up when it folds. Like this, right? Perfect. Now, maybe you can get it out of the plate now because it, it, it's going to hold up the fog. And this one, hold. and this one has a little bit of oil, right? I a little bit, yeah, not too much though. You never want too much oil. But look at that flop. Like you that's like the perfect flop oh, of pizza. This is huge. Look at that. How do we get the biggest one last? Right? <laughs> Seriously, we did. Alright, let's here we go. going for it. Oh man. 
so different from, from Lombardi's, right? Mm -hmm. So different. Well, yo, I want you to try this. I don't know if they have this in Miami. They probably do. Mm -hmm. But the Mike's Hot Honey. Okay. Yeah. We gotta go in for it. You wanna pour it on the pizza? Yeah. Let's try no. it out. It's supposed to, right? That's it. Mike's Hot Honey. So, this is spicy or like it's, it, it's a little spicy. It has a little kick, you know? Okay. A little spicy, savory taste it and has. And if you want to, you go in here and just like. And there it is. The Indian vibes are rubbing off on you right now. Nah, like this that. is an Italian thing, bro. Italian, there we go. Get me. I always, I always do this. That's you know, it. people are like, hey, David, why do you like the pepper? It's like, hey, man, the chili, you need it. Nah, nah, you need it. You need, need it. it. You need that good kick. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh man. How good is that? This is crazy. Yo, this is why, like, New York City, it's where it's elevating its pizza game. You know, I've never put honey on a pizza. I honestly, when I first did it, I was like, "This is gonna be really bad," and people made made fun of me. But actually, it's really freaking good. I, I, I whenever I come here, Amazing. I always put that mic's hot on it. You have to. It's not too spicy. It's just nice and like, dude, it brings so much flavor. It binds really good with the cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, honey and cheese is my jam. Oh, the best. Mm -hmm. The best. Really is. But who knew? Like, honey would go good with pizza. You gotta, you gotta try it. You know, you gotta. You gotta, you gotta try new things every day. Exactly. And one cool thing about this tour is like, you know, we ate a lot of food today. Plus, we had Indian food this morning. Yeah. But we walked nonstop for six hours. Oh my god. So I feel good. I feel honestly good, but I know if I sit down for another like five minutes, if I sit down, I'm done. I'm going to sleep. No sitting down. <laughs> I'm standing the whole day. That's it. Till later on. Whoa, bro. I'm surprised. We've been eating since about what? 8.45 in the morning? 8.45. I haven't spilled one thing on me yet. Mm. I've been trying not to. Yo, <laughs> yo, it's a record. Honey, there we go. The honey is the game changer for me That's on this it. one. If you've ever put honey on your pizza, which you probably haven't, you will fall in love. Oh. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get better than New York City pizza because we perfected pizza. I really want to go to another state or country that has better pizza than New York City. Do you know any? Because you travel a lot. Italia. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We'll take it. It's the gobble goo. We'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> we did three spots. It's more than enough. I mean, obviously you can do like four, five, six if you really want to. If you have that much space, you do six slices. But, you know, from Joe's to Lombardi, over here to Monero's. Mon Monero's, yeah? Mm -hmm. Crazy. The differences are super unique. You know, you have traditional New York, New York style. Then you have the clam pizza. Probably the best pizza of my entire life. Straight up. So good. And you have this one, which is... You know, a mix, right? A mixture. But having the spicy honey. Yeah, yeah. It's just elevated. Each spot we went mm -hmm. to had its own unique uh, pizza. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think, you know, each spot we went to, there was something unique about it. I'm so happy. Uh, I'm glad, man. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it, man. You're not finishing. <laughs> not, I know. I'm so stuffed right now. It's so good. One more bite. Oh. oh, man. Today, I have the pleasure to be taken around by Nikita, a huge fan of mine Hi. from Chennai. Hi. Amazing. Hi. This is incredible. So she wrote me on Instagram, she told me we have to come out here with explore this area. So what are we gonna eat here? So we'll have the pav bhaji from Honest, we'll have chaat from Mithas, we'll have egg, different types of eggs from Egomania, we'll have biryani from either biryani pot or bhavarchi and ended up with pan. Ended up with pan. Yeah. Amazing, so lots of energy. Yes. So there's all veg, obviously if you wanna go non-veg, there's a lot of chicken places, so they also have some chicken biryani here. There's some supermarkets, there's a sweet shop, and you can buy clothing as well. Yeah, clothing, electronics, jewelry gold and you name it and you have it here and this used to be the biggest indian community in the western hemisphere but that sort of changed recently because most people are moving down to edison new jersey which i'll be going to tomorrow i can't wait for that but right now let's start i'm hungry let's i can't go. wait let's go let's go so you have ganesh chaturthi coming on uh that's a birthday of ganesh lord ganesha and it's day after and it's pretty huge in indian community so all the temples are going to be decorated so if you don't know who lord ganesh is or you know god ganesh is the one with the elephant face yeah. right and so it's uh shiva's son yeah. something happened they cut off his head then he went out and he yeah. found an elephant put yeah. the head on right something yeah, like that's, that that's right. that's so, <laughs> so right here we have ganesh hey how you doing my friend what's up man <laughs> our first stop is honest restaurant here we're gonna have pav bhaji pav bhaji yeah and it's really famous it's made with amul butter the real indian butter and right here before you enter the restaurant you have the menu right so all the pav bhajis right I had this in Mumbai. Yeah. Really good right. in Mumbai. Mumbai street food. Then they also have some dosas, Bombay chats, so chats like more street food. Oh, everything looks amazing. Let's go. So this is how they started in Ahmedabad. 
and it was a hand cart, pulled hand cart, and then they started growing to different countries, and now they are in US. And this is Honest Restaurant, so it's like a Indian diner, fast casual, and we're sticking to the pav paji. So we're just going traditional, regular. So it's a vegetable curry, a lot of tomatoes. You have so potatoes in it as well. You have uh, onions. You have uh, green peas. You have different vegetables. It depends from place to place. Some mm -hmm. add cauliflower, some add bell peppers. So it's it varies from place to place, but here it's made fresh, and that's their USP. That's the curry, and the next two you have two pieces of bread, which is the pav. Pav, yeah. Pao. So it's a pav. It's a soft, two small buns, and that's to be eaten with the pav bhaji. Perfect. Ten dollars. Yep. Let's go. All right. So this is it. Pav bhaji. Pav bhaji. Pav bhaji. Pav bhaji. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to say. I mean, it's, you gotta really read it. Yeah. It's pav. Paji. Pao Paji. Yeah, that's right. That's Perfect. Pao yeah. So, so nice fluffy bread. bread. Paos. These are called paos. Mm -hmm. This is the paji. You have onions and lime. You okay. need to sprinkle it and then dig in. That's it? Yep. And then we also got some mango lassi. Yeah. So this is to cool down the heat because we have Indian spice. spice. Yeah, Indian spicy I'm pao so bhaji. excited. <laughs> Me too. We add some onions. Okay. Perfect. And we'll add lime. Makes sense. So you have all that ghee. Is it ghee? It's butter. It's just butter. butter. Okay. Wow. Can I just and try it? Mmm. It's it? spicy. It's spicy. Oh. oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Mm-hmm. So we just grab a piece of fluffy bread. Bread and. Um, so you just break it off like that. Break it up like this. Okay. And you can take a spoon okay. and scoop it. it. No scoop. And Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Spicy. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mmm. Mm. Oh wow. Nice vegetable. Like pasty. Pasty. Know? A lot of butter. Mm hmm Creamy. Oh wow. It's so creamy. Yeah. Oh. It's all the amal butter. I love the bread. And it's crunchy. Mm hmm And soft at the same time. This is incredible. incredible. I don't even think I've had a this good. In the US? Oh, in the US, never. <laughs> US, this is, this is the place to come. Yeah. You want to? Get the spoon? Just, and just have a bite of. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. Mmm. It's tasty. Mmm. And this is pure veg. Pure veg. Oh. They make it even without onion and garlic on request. Mm hmm. For people who are Jain. Okay. So. Yeah, and one thing that, you know, I've been converting a lot of people to Indian food, and they get blown away. When they learned it's just pure veg. Yeah, pure veg. They're yeah. like, how is that possible? Because it's so tasty. Tasty and it has all the right amount of ingredients at the right <laughs> quantity. But it's spicy. It's spicy. It's yeah. like real spice. Yeah. So this is I how the it. Indians eat the street. It's a street food in Bombay. Let me Bombay. join you. Let me join you. Just grab it that, right? Yeah, just grab it. Oh, look yeah. at that. Mm, it has a tanginess of the tomatoes. Mm hmm. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> I'm getting hit hard. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should try some lassi now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna finish this whole thing. <laughs> so it's like a potato mash, green peas, tomatoes, tomatoes, uh, onions, bell peppers, <coughs> and a lot of spices. <laughs> this one's spicy. Yeah. So they have a house blend here and mm -hmm. they make their own spice blend, and okay. that's why it's spicy and it's fresh. It was so good. If you like like pasty tomato paste, yeah. With vegetables, I think you'll love it. Obviously, don't go with the Indian heat unless you love spicy food. Yeah. Mm hmm. And it's how you eat it, right? Yeah. Break, dip, and eat it with your hands. Mm. I think I have to limit this because we still have a lot to eat. Yeah. And this is what you're supposed to drink, you know, after a really spicy meal, you know, or, you know, you're on a really hot day in Mumbai, you drink this. Lassi. The only thing is it's so thick, <laughs> so it fills you even more. It's not like Amritsar thick. Yeah, it's you know? not. Yeah, but it's thick. It's, it's still thick. Thick. Because I've had variations where it's like crazy thickness with like crumble. Yeah, right? the malai and everything. The malai and everything on top, but this one's uh, a little more watered down. Watered right? down, yeah. But it's then there's some versions that are super watered. Watered down. Yeah, this is a. It's somewhere in there between. Mm, I think I gotta get a little more. <laughs> One more bite. Yep. Mmm. Wow, what a delicious spicy meal. Yeah, to start with. Mm. So this is a Mumbai street food. staple. Yeah, Mumbai street food. The hard thing in Mumbai is you eat this, but you have to be standing up eating it. Yeah. You know, like it's, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. 
Oh man. Maybe next place we'll have to tell them to tone it down. No, no, no. Are you sure? The spicy the better. <laughs> I am pretty full, but we still have a lot of places to go to. Egg mania. They have a lot of Indian variety eggs, like uh, Surti Gotala, which is a famous uh, Surat street food. And you have Volcano Biryani, which has an egg in between. And it's really tasty, and you should definitely try the spicy one. I'm trying all of them. All of them. Egg spicy biryani. Yes. So here we are at Eggmania and we'll try all the different kind of varieties of egg and let's start. My man, how you doing? I'm fine, how are you? Very good. So what are we doing? What eggs are we doing? Something from Surat, right? Surat? I recommend you the Surti Gotala, that's the one of the famous dish from Surat. And the another, it's a biryani, it's called Volcano Biryani. We're gonna do those two. Yes. That's, that's perfect. Oh. So I'm in the back seeing how they make a few dishes. Over here they're making some masala, right? So you have the onions, you put some oil in there. And over here he's making some eggs and he makes them call. So that's funny. Right? Paneer bougie. So it's like a mix of like herbs, some vegetables, and then paneer, which is cottage cheese. Incredible. Over here, we have the eggs. Lots of eggs. In Surat, I heard it's a street with all the eggs. I gotta go there one day. One day I'll go. Okay, so we have two dishes. I just watched them make both of them. What is this one? So this is called Surti Gotala. Okay. It is shredded boiled egg with lots of butter and right. spices. Yummy. And yummy. It looks like a thick, thick. pasty again. You yeah. know, you have to use bread, yeah, obviously. You have to. It's a toasted bread. Okay, then so you just break a piece. Break a piece and then. just scoop. Mm -hmm. Take all the so, butter and. And when she egg. says a lot of butter, you put like a big yeah, block. Block. For this one bite. One <laughs> bite, yeah. <laughs> and then you just. Mmm. Spicy. Mmm, a little spicy. Mmm. Yeah. So I'll say, like, it's a nice. Scramble egg with paste, you know, a few different herbs in here. Herbs and. Mmm. Let me try it like this, okay? Mm hmm. Oh, nice and oily. Yeah. Oh, now I'm getting spice. Yeah. I didn't feel it before. But, like, the more bites you eat, you're gonna feel the heat and mm -hmm. it's gonna be more spicy. And a super filling dish. Yes. Like, it's so thick. So thick, it has butter, it has eggs, and it's just gonna fill you up. Right I've in. never tried this before. So, is this from Surat? Yeah, it's from Surat. It's uh, a street food in Surat, like a place where you get all the egg varieties and all the specialties there. <laughs> it's spicy. I feel it, but I need some more. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm gonna say is that this is probably one of my favorite scrambled eggs ever. Got it. But I heard so many good things about Surat. You know, I went to Medabad mm -hmm. uh, 2018. And everybody's like, how can you not go to Surat so, for yeah. the eggs? And I'm like, eggs and next the time. Locho and everything, you need to go to Surat. Mm -hmm. It's really good. The street food there is amazing. This is amazing. This is so like, whoa. Fine. I mean, I love the textures, right? Yeah. So it's a big mix here. Yeah. A, a little slimy too. Yeah. Right, like because that. of the butter and the egg. Yeah. Look at this. If I eat this whole dish, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I'll have one more little one, but I gotta say, I'll rank this again like top egg dish ever. That's great. Mm. I'm glad you loved it. Mm. Okay, so before we get to the volcano biryani, which looks like the best biryani of all time, <laughs> we have uh, like cacao? It's, it's called cocoa. Cocoa? Cocoa. Cocoa. Okay. cocoa. It's take cocoa powder with milk. It's sweet, it's, and it's served chill. I mean, basically like a chocolate milkshake. Yep. Mm -hmm. And on top, you can't see it from it's, there, but you have, you the, have the pieces shed, of chocolate. Shed. Okay, so how do we eat this? So you have to mix okay. the gravy. Wow, just mix it throughout? Yeah, throughout, so that you get it's evenly spread out. Whoa. And this is so unique, you know. I've eaten Indian food so many times. First time trying this dish. Yeah, it's, it's a speciality in the girls. So. Wow. And then you have the omelet down here. Yeah, so the omelet's at the very bottom, right? Yep. Just so you break it up. Break it up. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. Another super buttery dish. Spicy. Spicy. Really spicy. Mm -hmm. And the flavors are really. I love the flavors. So obviously this is not your traditional biryani. Yeah. There's something else. They just it's just like this. a mix, maybe say a pulao, and with gravy and omelet in the base. It's amazing. It is so unique. 
Nice flavors, lots of heat. Lots of heat. Mmm. Eggs everywhere. Yeah, but it has boiled egg, it has omelets, and... So the omelets at the very bottom. Yeah, it's in the very bottom. It, that's the base for okay. the... Okay, right there. And, and you get some more of this. Some of the rice and gravy. The gravy is like all throughout. <sighs> the spice though, the spice is it's intense. It, it's intense. You can feel the butter mm -hmm. here as well. The butter. The whole thing is butter. Yeah. Like another big block of butter. Each one has that. <laughs> yeah. So lots of butter, lots of eggs, nice gravy, yeah. and just, you know, infinite eggs. Yes, here. infinite eggs. Wow. So Surah is the place to go if you want to eat eggs. Yep. I should be done with the tour, but <laughs> no, we, no. Need, we need one more. We need to go one more place. Oh. That's hot. Maybe two more. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so it's a different type of rice here. Yeah, too. it's it's basmati. Basmati? It's basmati rice. Mm. This is perfect to cool me down. Yeah. You know, nice and liquidy. This is the ultimate. 100 percent you gotta try this when you come to Jersey City. Yeah, have you to. should. Egg menu. But yeah, I mean I think this is the spot you yeah, have to come you to. You have to, you shouldn't miss. You have the same thing in paneer as well, people who don't eat eggs. So that's good to know. So if you're a veg, obviously you'll switch it up. Yeah, they'll switch it up for you. Same way with the surfi gotala, it can be made with paneer as well. Oh that thing is just like heaven. Heaven, yeah. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so bro. Much, Thank bro. you. Amazing. Thank Amazing. You, nice Loved it, man. I'll come back for those eggs, bro. Thank I'll you come so back much. for sure. Back. Next time I'm in New York, I come back to Jersey City. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs> Namaste. Namaskar. Let's go. So what is this place? So uh, it's more like a department store which sells all puja items and spiritual items and they have all kinds of gods and goddesses. So unfortunately they don't want us to shoot inside so we're gonna keep going and see if we find some more food. Where are we going to next? Next we'll go to Matas. It's a chat place. They also sell sweets, Indian sweets. We'll have their uh, save puri and uh, yeah. raj kachori. I've had both those dishes before. I love them. But I don't know how I'm gonna do this. The food, <laughs> the food come on in right now. And it's called uh, metais. Metais. Metas. This is metas. Every restaurant we've gone to today has a different layout, right? This is more like a bakery layout. Yeah. As soon as you walk in, you have a bunch of tables. I think it's 20 because they have all the numbers, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Over here, they have all the sweets, lots of sweets. So the guy said, we'll get you the Raj Kachori, but instead of getting the Sev Puri, let's go with Ras Malai because you have to try a dessert here. So we have Ras Malai here, which is like a mix of like cottage cheese, cottage right? Cottage cheese boiled in milk and soaked in milk at this place, and it's a speciality here. This is my favorite. I'm this over Gula Jamun or Ras Gula every day. Every day. This is so good. It's sweet. <laughs> yep. And then right here we have Raj Kachori, which is like potatoes, a big, huge, huge puri. puri. And it is stuffed with potatoes. It has sweet chutney, it has mint chutney, yogurt, save, and some cilantro. Amazing. I had this in the city of Jorhat in Assam. Okay. Yeah. And it was like a big one like this, big a monster. Okay. I mean, look how monstrous this is. Huge. So how do you go into this? So, yeah, just spoons. Break. Oh. And what I love about this is it's going to be a little cold, right? Yeah. Oh, so you if see you see it. the stuffing here. Mm hmm And just break. Just break. So, Cheers. Cheers. It's so good. Mm. Mm. It's like the mm. ultimate refreshing chat. Yep. It's sweet. It's cold. Mm -hmm. It's refreshing. It's crunchy. Crunchy. It has everything. It has everything. So many textures. Yep. Mm. If you didn't know, and if you don't know about Indian cuisine, you probably think this is a dessert. Yeah, but it's not. No. Nah. It's, it's a chat. It's a street food. Oh, it is so unreal. Love the stuffing, right? So yep. it's potatoes. You and got some has, lentils, right? Yeah, it has green uh, beans. Mug beans, mm -hmm. it's soaked and mashed. Look at this. I'll say every dish I've had so far today has been mind blowing. Mind blowing. Yeah, they're all amazing. Yeah. And obviously, the difference is the people who is doing it, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, they're all locals. Uh, most people here, like born in India and moved over. Yeah. So yeah. a few are like that, and a few are second generation. Mm -hmm. So it depends from place to place. Taste away from me. Oh. <laughs> Take it away, I'm serious. <laughs> you sure? Oh, it has um, mm. chickpea as well. Mm -hmm. So chana. Chana. Mm. We gotta finish this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before I get to that, I'm gonna have a few more bites. Yep. 
You have to come here and try this. The one thing you have to try here is this. Yeah, Raj Kachori is, be is the best thing in Mithas. And it's really fresh and refreshing. I think it's also because I haven't eaten this in so long. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Uh, once you, you go back to India, maybe you'll feel that. Yeah, yeah, better. exactly. Are you ready for dessert? Yep. I know I am. Everybody I introduced to Ras Malai fall in love. Everybody. My parents. You love it? My cousins, yeah. This sweet dish is just... It's addictive. Yeah. It is truly addictive. Cheers. Mmm. So it's like a huge... Yeah, cottage cheese, like, it's like a, not meatball, not, yeah. like, it's like in that shape, right? Yeah, that shape, and it's so, it's juicy. It's crumbly. Crumbly, and it has the flavor of saffron, pistachios, and... Exactly. The milk and malai. No, the milk. The milk is too much. It's too much, and it's really good. Mm-hmm. I mean, saffron. Wow. And this Look. one, another one at the bottom? Yeah, he's giving Whoa. it Whoa, so. <laughs> this is like a lot. <laughs> I mean, for good measure, right? Yeah. This is my favorite Indian food in America so far. Like, straight up. I've had a lot of Indian food in America. Los Angeles, Miami, even yesterday in East Village. But this but is something should. different. You're going to Edison, you'll love it. I then. know, I'm going to Edison tomorrow. Oh, one more bite? Yep. Mm. I'm done. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you so much. Amazing. I love the Raj Kachori with the Ras Malai. Yeah. Stole my heart. <laughs> we are always here for you. Welcome anytime. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I'll see you next time. Thank you. I'm extremely full, but we still have two more things to try. Where are we going? We'll have sugarcane juice and Indian sweet pan right next door to Mitha's. Okay. Shikal pan house. This one? Yeah. Oh wow. So this is this restaurant across this little street right here. And we're here at Shital Pan Center. Oh cool. It's a little hole in the wall. So this is the Indian sweet pan. And Traditionally, you have it in one whole bite, just like. Oh yeah, I've done this multiple times in India. I love it. This gives you energy. It yeah. literally okay. gives you wings. Mm. Love it. Hard to talk. You have to leave. You have so many different things inside. Nice and sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. Yeah. It's the sweet bun. Meetha pan, you call it meetha pan. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. And they add um, gulkan, which is made of uh, rose petals and sugar. But once you're done, you feel it. You go up. Yeah. Energy level just skyrockets. Yes. I need it right now because it's four o'clock. I'm very tired. And that's how you need to end an Indian meal mm -hmm. with pan. With pan. And here he's gonna make the sugarcane juice. When you walk the streets of India, you'll see guys doing this everywhere. They usually have like a big cart. They have a billion. Long sugar canes like this, right? This is actually very small. Over right here, he's putting the same machine, same type of machine, right? So it grinds it and extracts the sugar cane out, right? The juice looks amazing. I can't wait. Obviously, lots of sugar, but this is the best refreshing thing you can ever have on the streets of India in the heat. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good. I'm your scout. No way. If it's been here, dude, another subscriber. Yeah. What's your name? Sai. Sai? Yeah. And you're from here? Yeah, New Jersey. Awesome, man. <laughs> so this video is coming out soon. All right. Plus Thank Edison you. as well. All right. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. You have followers all over the world. Sugar cane juice. Sugar cane juice. Let's yeah. do it. <sighs> Whoa. So refreshing. I know. We were talking about this earlier. You know, when you're walking around India, you're eating, you know, spicy food. You're out in the super so hot sun, sun and, and you find a guy selling this. You're like, yeah, for five rupee, you know, yeah, you get a cup, a cup and, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. It's really refreshing and it is so good. It's so good. And it's natural, right? This is the hardest thing to find in America. I actually found a place in Miami, okay. a Cuban place that mm -hmm. has it. Same thing. It has mm -hmm. a machine to extract the juice, but this is just unreal. Unreal, yeah. Unreal. The Indian thing with uh, they add ginger and lemon to it so that mm. it gets more. Flavorful. And sometimes they throw like some masala, right? Yeah, the jaljira. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am so calm now. Calm? I need a bed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna finish this really quick. Now, let's go explore a little more. I know there's a few other shops around here. There's also a grocery store. And this is it, right? The strip is very small. I mean, it's like two blocks, one street. That's it. You got restaurants. You have Patel Brothers. Oh, Patel Brothers is right here. Bro, what up? Yay! Thanks, man. What did you guys try today? 
Oh man, too many things. So, so are you guys going to Edison? There are like more tomorrow, places tomorrow, tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. So I'm gonna suggest you some place called Mughal. Mughal. Okay. Try that. They got amazing, amazing food there. Thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you so hey, much. hey, thank I will you. Follow you, man. Awesome, awesome. See every day. Thanks, guys. Oh, you're all too right. much, man. Hey, David. Before we leave, let's go to an appliance store and see what we get. Like all the Indian utensils, and we have Lord Ganesha's here. I mean, you weren't kidding with the Lord Ganesha. I mean, yeah. how many does he have? Huge. Huge. So people buy these and put them in their homes, right? Yeah, in their shrine. Shrine and like they bring him mm -hmm. and they celebrate him for like one day, three day, five day, depending on how their rituals are. And in the last 11 day, they put him back in the river or sea and that's called Visarjan. Okay. And he's, he comes back every year. Oh, okay. That's Ganesh Chaturthi. So he comes every year, he's prayed for a certain number of days and then he's immersed in the sea or river. Okay. Have the Ganesh Chaturthi coming up. We have a lot of different different types of Ganeshas and eco-friendly ones and other decorated ones. Over here we have the pans that they use to make doses, which is a little different, right? So it's more like a flat pan. And the reason for that is just the way they do it, right? Yes, to it make it to perfect. Fried. Rotis, dosas, parathas, and all different kinds of flatbreads. So this is Thoran and this is usually placed outside everybody's house or temples and it's decorative and it's a kind of symbol like it's an Indian household when you see this outside every house. So this place you can find all the Indian utensils, the cookers, you have this to separate for the tally. So this is like a, you know, the bowl, right? So here you put the few different things. So a tally basically means big dish and you put a few different things on it. So you have basically, um, you know, a big sample of stuff, yeah. right? It's curry, savories, chapatis and whatnot. I love your shop. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I think I'm going to take one of these for my daughters. You want to like girlfriend? I'm married. I'm married. Oh, I'm married. Okay. This guy's a character. Oh. Too much. Too much. Too much. Okay, so my friend here is charging me only $10 for these two. He's giving me basically a gift here. Thank you, sir. Thank you I so much. I appreciate for coming and I appreciate for visiting. No, thank you so much. My daughter's going to love this. Yeah. So blue for Sienna and pink for Melina. I love it. I want some for me. No, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> I give it to you. Yeah, give it to you. Uh, I don't know, for a man? For a man, what do you want? I don't know. Maybe look for Uja and Do they have for men? Yeah. They no have way. Seal color. You do? Yeah. Your hand is big, I think so. No. Oh, that hurt actually. Yeah, I need a, I need a pretty big one. I don't know good for you. Okay. Woo. You're too kind. Thank you so much. Nice to see you. Thank you. Take care. Bye -bye. Take care. Let's go. Let's go. And that's it, my friends. We explored Jersey City's Newark Ave, also known as the Indian Square, Journal Square. Yep. Incredible. What an amazing strip. I mean, it's just like non-stop Indian restaurants, grocery stores, you got jewelry shops. You have places like that one we just went to. And it was amazing. We had Papaji. Papaji. We had Raj Kachori. We had eggs, different styles. That is Surti Gotala, Volcano Biryani. Sugar can juice and pan. sweet pan. Sweet pan. Incredible. What an experience. Really some of the most authentic Indian cuisine I've had in the United States of America. Just a quick 30 minute drive from Manhattan. You can also get here with the subway, right? Yeah, as yeah. well? Yeah, you can take a park train and you can get down at Journal Square. Just walk for two minutes and you're, you're so excited to eat. <laughs> Yeah, so I've never been here. I've heard so many good things. And if you guys don't know what dim sum is, well, that's basically small plates, right? So for sharing, you choose like 10, 15. Usually it's like two, three dollars here. Probably gonna be a little more, obviously. Yeah. But this is like the most affordable Michelin star restaurant in the world. Right. And we might get some baijo. No, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's go inside. Follow us. Mask on. All right. Let's go. All right, I'm ready. This is the Hong Kong style milk tea. Yeah. Enjoy. Awesome. You're welcome. So Hong Kong style milk tea is it's like super concentrated tea. It's very popular in Hong Kong for breakfast, but all throughout the day too. It's sweetened. People just drink it all day sometimes. Yeah. And it's, I guess it's a British influence kind of spread yeah. through to Hong Kong. Actually, not just breakfast, right? Like lunchtime, tea yeah. time too. Yeah. <laughs> so we sort of know what we're gonna order. Oh. Sort of. We definitely okay. are gonna go with the uh, chicken feet. Okay. Okay. Yes. So chicken feet. We're gonna the shrimp dumpling. This one number S two. Uh, S two. Okay. Yeah. The big hot one is a must. Yes. Yeah. And we like maybe a chow fun. Chow fun. Yeah. yeah. Chili flavor, right? Yes. So it's concentrated milk tea, almost like I'd say chai, but a little different, right? 
Yeah, definitely a British influence. So th they traditionally drink this in Hong Kong? Yeah. This? Yeah. In the morning, they might have a hot version of it. So they have it with the big goods. Okay. Yeah. I guess on a hot summer day, they go with this. Wow. Okay. This is a bean curd. Enjoy. And this is spirit with red bean sauce. Shrimp with which is shumai. This is a spring roll, veggie, tasty. Oh my gosh. This is a shrimp rice roll. Also, soy sauce. This is my favorite one. Enjoy. Thank you. I cannot believe how many incredible dishes we have to try today. This is insane. We have 13, right? From spring rolls to eggplants. Uh, rice roll over here. We have some different shumai, dumplings, but we have to start off with this. This is a barbecue pork bun. It's one of the most best sellers here. So this one and uh, what was the other best seller? Mm, this one. This one. Yep. So those two. So the shrimp chive dumpling, right? Yep. And the pork bun. Yeah. So let's go with this one. Let's do it. So, okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Sweet on the outside? Wow. Mmm. Sweet on the inside too. Yeah. Whoa. This is so different from all other pork buns I've had before. Usually they're just very soft. This one's completely different. It's a little like a uh, flaky, right? Yeah. I think it's pineapple cluster on the outside. Mm. So they combine a breakfast item with a traditional pork bun. It's a great combination. Delicious. Yeah. I love the pork buns because it's a little like Almost like barbecue uh, sauce inside. Yeah. I was right. Barbecue pork bun. Yeah. I'm gonna finish it. It's so good. <laughs> mm. So good. Mm. It's almost like a dessert, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it felt like. Drink this, cleanse your palate. And on to the next one. We're ready. I think we just gotta jump on that one. It's the other bestseller. All right, so this is extra sticky. Extra sticky, but we have to get some soy sauce, right? Yeah. Don't worry, we're sharing everything here. Yeah. <laughs> Including soy sauce. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Cheers. Mm. That was so chunky. The shrimp is super springy. Yeah. Yeah. It's very bouncy in the mouth. So thin, the layer. Yep. It's just way more shrimp and chives, right? It feels so good in the mouth. I, I think I need another one. No, no, wait. We got the iconic duo here. We got the shumai, we got the hagao, and together we got the hagao shumai. <laughs> so the shumai is an open top dumpling. There's a pork in there, there's a shrimp in there. This one, you only have the shrimp. Let's go with the shumai. Let's do it. This is how you know it's good too. When yeah, it's nice when it's that sticky. Yep. Wow. But the inside should be nice and moist. And do we dip it in the soy and this? I think the soy is a must. The soy? This one is optional. Okay, so I'm gonna just add that. Good choice. Good, right? Yeah, I always need a little kick. A little kick. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Got flavor. Nice and tender. Mm -hmm. So juicy. Just as bouncy as the last one. Yeah, right? And then the skin, you call it skin, right? The rice flour dough. It's very nice and thin. Yeah, and some flavor to this one too. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously a little chili. It's nice. Yeah. I enjoy the chili. <laughs> <laughs> and this one? Not surprised. Shrimp. This one definitely needs some dipping. Is that good? Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty delicious. Yeah. Personally, I'm oh, a huge fan of this. If I was in China, I would get like four of these. <laughs> this one's better and better. It's better and better. Yeah. And you can eat this for breakfast, right? Dim sum, sometimes, some places, breakfast. Yeah. When I was in LA, we did 8 a.m. dim sum. Dim sum is mostly breakfast. It's mostly breakfast. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but right now we're having it at 7 at night. So, yeah. <laughs> a little different, right? But love the concept. I think we have to do the eggplant next. I mean, this is something very unique. I've never seen it before. So it's eggplant, and what's on top? That's shrimp. That's shrimp? Yeah. Amazing combo. What? <laughs> okay, let's do it. I don't think we need any dipping in this, because there's already drenched in soy sauce. So just go for it? it? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Cheers, bro. Mmm. 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 Wow. 
The eggplant's like butter. And then it falls apart. Nice, chunky shrimp. This one has more of a bounce. Yeah, and there's a crispiness in the beginning. That mm -hmm. first bite. Oh. Wow. It's good stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got more to go, David. And this is all for you. Thank you. All of it. <laughs> yes. Enjoy your meal. I'll have one. <laughs> Alright, gotta tip it. Sticky, sticky. Double dip. Alright, I'm gonna bite into this one. Mm. So good. The crunch, the silkiness of the eggplant, the egg no, the hoisin sauce, so good. Right here we got the phong jiao, which is chicken feet, aka phoenix claw. The way you eat it is you grab it, you grip it, and you bite it, joint by joint. You bite the joint off, you take the skin, you, and then you spit the bone out, you do that repeat for every single joint. So good, it's a delicacy. So how do we eat this? Oh, there's no graceful way of doing this. <laughs> <laughs> we just gotta grab? try it, yeah. Oh my gosh. We go one joint at a time, the pros, they pop the whole thing in the mouth, spit out the bones, but we just want to do one at a time. So the pros just put it all in their mouth? Yep. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> okay, so one one joint? Yep. Mm. Mm. Nice. That's mm. a good one. It's good. Yeah. Nice. I mean, what you're getting here is basically a little bit of fat, a little bit of skin. And that's it. Yeah, tendon skin, that's pretty much it. That's basically it. It's a real delicacy here. Mmm. Definitely tasty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the sauce they have it in. And obviously if you want to get some more sauce, just put it back in yeah. a little bit. And you could give it, uh, you could do the hot sauce for The hot sauce too? Yeah. Why not? Just rip it in here. Yeah. You can't even pick it back up. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put the whole thing in my mouth to see how it works. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna try it too. <laughs> mm. Mm. You guys, this is like a traditional thing they do there, right? It shouldn't be looked down upon, that's just part of the culture. Mm -hmm. oh. All that tendons is good for your skin. And it's also an aphrodisiac. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm good with that. I'm on to the next one. All right. Just way too many joints for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we should jump on this guy. All right. He's our favorite, I'm, I'm right? Excited, yeah. Ah. So what's inside the shrimp this time? Shrimp. Yep. I think that's and then the vegetables. Okay. Scallion, bean sprouts. Scallions, bean sprouts, shrimp, and then a rice roll. Yeah. So that's spongy. Huge. Oh, I love the sauce. How do you even pick this up? Like that. Usually people cut it in half, right? So we're just gonna get half and half. It's a lot easier to eat, obviously. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. My favorite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my favorite too. Mm. I have another piece. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. So good. Mix it with some of spice. You eat like a pro, David. Mm. So soft. Spongy, right? Yeah. And you have the shrimp inside. It's just a great dish. So easy to eat. So easy. It's light. Yeah. Flows down like literally drips down your throat. Yeah. <laughs> Take it away from me. <laughs> Take it, Ming. When I eat with my family, we order like five of these because it's such a favorite. The best part is the soy sauce. If you want to drink something, I would drink this. <laughs> Time for me to get my youthful skin <laughs> from this collagen. <laughs> so graceful. So for the chicken feet, you eat everything except for the bones and the claws. I've never seen somebody eat this good at chicken feet. <laughs> she destroyed it. <laughs> it's just bones. <laughs> I, I should be proud of what? <laughs> I know, right? I should be. Hey, man, be proud of that. Yeah. <laughs> so we have six more dishes, but the next one is something very special. So this is a lotus leaf and inside is sticky rice. Yep. And the leaf gives it an earthy flavor that you can't get anywhere else. Okay, so we just open it up. Oh, look at this. Oh man, the aroma coming out of here. 
insane. It's so sticky. Wow. Look at that. You can't even take it out. Oh. So you have a spoon. Do this, right? And look at that. So we have what is in there? Pork, right? Yep. Pork, mushroom, and some shrimp. Use your chopsticks. Just get in here. Start digging in. And this is the one dish you have to get when you have dim sum, right? Mm. Mm. It's still nice and warm. Still nice and warm. Man, the lotus flower, the lotus leaf, the earthiness just like goes through all the rice. It's good. Mmm. So much flavor. Even on rice, right? You wouldn't expect that. No, at all. Rice. But this is my favorite type of sticky rice. Yeah. No? I've had something like this in Thailand, but I've never had it like this in the United States except the dim sum I had in, in LA. Okay. Yeah, just so fun to eat. Open it up and does everything. Mm hmm. All right. I'm gonna pass that over to Ming. <laughs> but we have to try this one next. This one is bean curd, and there's shrimp in there. It's extremely juicy, so be careful when you eat it. Okay, so we just pick at it? Yep. So you grab it. Oh, it's juicy. I'll dip it in the spicy chili sauce. Dip it in here? Yep. Am I eat this whole thing? Yeah. Have to, right? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. 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 Nice wrap. Yeah. So it's bean curry wrap. Nice and chewy. There's a lot of shrimp in here, cabbage. Oh, it's stuffed. Very juicy. Super juicy. I love the wrap, man. Mm -hmm. So different bean curd compared to the rice. Yeah. Right? Exactly. You're right. Yeah. One thing, one main difference. Mm. I actually would go crazy and put it even hotter. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. 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 Mm. I love it. Must get. Oh, mini break. <laughs> Apparently, this steamed bean curd is good for my skin, so. Give me all the collagen. This is, this is a lot of collagen, right? And next up, we have the pork braised ribs with a sweet sauce. We got black beans. Yep, I love this. I'm a, I'm a big meat eater, so I'm really excited about this one. Me too, let's go. Run through that oil. Oh, you have to. <laughs> I personally yeah. love the pork ribs from China. They give you a lot of meat. Yeah, I'm ready. I love the pork in China. Mm -hmm. The bone comes right off. Mm -hmm. You got meat, you got fat. Everything next to the bone is juicy. Yeah. Extremely. It's the fattiest part of the pig. Bone. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. This is a congee. It's a stable. It's as popular as rice. You know, we eat this when you have a cold or you just don't feel like eating something heavy. Okay. So, so it's anyway. like a rice soup. Pretty much. Yep. Awesome. And this is in Hong Kong, right? And yes, yeah, that's actually pretty common all throughout China as well. All throughout China? Yep. Wow, it's like sticky. It actually reminds me of like oatmeal. Yeah, it really does. You're right. Because right? people eat this for breakfast. So this is really good for your for your system, right? Yeah. Clears, it clears you out real good. Cheers. Mm. I love the sliminess. Yeah. And there's, right here is a lot of preserved eggs. Okay. Thousand euro eggs, as we call it. Yeah. That, it's that bitter taste. It tastes good. Mm. Yeah. Right. It's really good, right? I love it. Yeah. But I can see like getting really full off this, right? You can eat a whole bowl of it. But it's gonna be like <laughs> oatmeal, right? You get full, but in two hours you're empty. That's true. Ooh, big spoon. Big spoon of porridge. Flavorful. You don't. It doesn't look that flavorful, but there's a lot of flavor. My man, thank you so much. We loved it. We see you again. Thank okay. you. Thank you for sure. Yeah. Ready? So ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. I am so full. Me too. Wow. <laughs> Tim Ho Wan. Yes, sir. That's correct, right? That is correct. Here on 10th and 4th. Dim Sum Michelin Star Restaurant. You have to come here. What an experience. I mean, I love the restaurant, the setting. You have a lot of good vibes there. Great food. You have like, I think it's 16 or 17 different things on the on the menu, right? Yep. What was your favorites? My favorites, definitely the ha chun. Ha chun? Uh, yes. Okay. I'll go with the shumai. So I think mine is the same as yours, right? Yep. 
So it's the rice roll with the shrimp inside. Yes. Oh, that is delicious. So uh, I think the chicken feet were amazing too. <laughs> I mean, it's, a, it's an experience, you know, it's more of an exotic taste, you know, yeah. but I think everybody should try just to understand that that's part of the culture, mm -hmm. right? Today I'm super excited. I'm here with my boy Diwan, and we're gonna be eating Indian food for 24 hours. If you guys don't know about Edison, basically this has the largest Indian population in the Western Hemisphere. Yes, how many Indians live here? Thousands, uh, it's probably over. <laughs> 20, 30,000 here. Okay. So it's pretty big. And what are we gonna eat today? We're gonna eat various foods from the north to the south and gonna try some street foods too. So So maybe some dosa, galgapa, I don't know, pani puri. Maybe. Maybe? Maybe. But okay. mainly we're gonna eat some street foods. Okay, so what is this street right here? This is Oak Tree Road. Oak Tree right Road? Here. Yeah, so all the Indian businesses are around here. Yeah, so like yeah. right over here we have, you know, it's like three restaurants right here, they're Indian. You have Patel Brothers right over there. You have a few different uh, like grocery stores, also some places where you can buy traditional clothing. Yeah. But we're going to eat today. We're going to eat non-stop food. I'm excited, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, this is the first uh, Indian restaurant we're going. It's a vegetarian restaurant, mainly South Indian, but they also have North Indian vegetarian food, is Saravalan. I'm excited, hopefully they have a dosa. Yeah. I'm sure they do. Indian, South Indian vegetarian. Loving this Southern Indian restaurant. Look at this beautiful like diner setting, really colorful. Over here you can see them making dosas and you know what? Let's go to the back. You ready? Yeah, ready. Okay, I'm excited. This is my favorite thing to eat in India. I love this. Wow, and this is the ghee roast. Yes. So ghee roast dosa, so it's basically a plain dosa, but they add ghee and then sometimes Inside is doughy, sometimes it's crispy. Yeah, so you could get uh, whatever you want inside of here. Um, so they have hundreds of types of dosa, but this one we're just getting plain. Uh, it doesn't have anything inside here. We're just gonna try it with the sauces so we can get, you know, we can try the main dish, which is mm -hmm. the dosa itself. So we have sambar right here, the tomato, mint, coconut. Thank you so much. And then we have a tally here. That's next up. Oh my gosh, dude, there's too much right here. So we're gonna break it. Okay. Yep, break it and dip. Just like that. So where do we go in first? I would recommend trying it with the mint first. This is the best thing on earth. So you just dip it into some chutneys. Oh man, I can't wait. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a good breakfast. Mm-hmm. A little spicy. Yeah. A little bit. This is the least spicy. This is the most spicy. This is in the middle. Mm. But my favorite part, honestly, is this. Is so right? Indian foods are meant to be shared. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very different from Westerners, where Westerners will get the whole dish. And that's not the way, best way to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Because um, for us, is all of our dish was meant to be shared. Like this whole thing, a single person eating it, it would be too much of a carb. And it's too much gonna be rich, but sharing it is the best way to eat it and get another dish. Mm -hmm. um, that's why we honestly have tallies where, you know, where if you're getting a single uh, individual serving, that you could try different dishes. So, here, exactly. for example, in that tally, there's around 12 to 14 dishes, and that's how we Indians do it. Wow. But my favorite is the sambar. Um, mm -hmm. My favorite is this one. That's the coconut. I already know. I went to Kerala, Liana Coconuts. I have this every day. So how do you do it? You just keep going, right? You just keep, keep mixing. Mmm, coconut. Mmm. So good. So crispy. For me, honestly, this is my favorite type of like pancake in the world. Yeah. Dosa. And the Dutch pancake in Amsterdam that mm -hmm. you get. So those are my two favorites. Mm -hmm. That one's also a little savory, no? Yeah, that's savory too. So American pancakes are very sugary and fluffy. It's uh, yeah. our entire culture here in this country. It's based on the sweet tooth, you can say. Mm -hmm. We have a certain, you know, certain five things for breakfast. You know, obviously pancakes being one of them. But in, uh, you know, Indian culture, obviously this is South, Southern India. This is where you'll find this, you know, Bangalore, or Hyderabad, that's where it really begins. In Kerala, I didn't have that much. I had like the tata dosa, which is mm -hmm. almost like a pancake. Mm. This is the best one. It's a little bit of controversy, but as somebody so who's from the Northeast of India, I can be a little neutral observer to this. Uh, dosa is the principle of udapi. 
uh, form of cuisine which is from Karnataka the state of Karnataka that's why you have hundreds of thousands doses from that region alone where let's say in Kerala and Tamil Nadu you also have diversity but you don't get it as much as you get it in uh, Karnataka for example and right here I think we have Karnataka filtered coffee yeah, non-filtered so this is filtered coffee. filtered coffee. So like I said, this is the vada, the savory donut. This is a staple in southern Indian cuisine. You mix this with sambar, so you just dip it. You let it soak up the sambar, and it's so good. I'm personally a big savory guy. I'm like the anti-sweet. This is my jam right here. Oh, look at that, look at that dosa. So where is the one? <laughs> So they brought us this one, which I think this is the ghee roast, right? Am I crazy? No, it's um, it's, it's similar. It's similar? Yeah. So so it's another big dose. I mean, basically the same thing, right? Yeah, it's almost the same thing. Almost the same. So I'm just going to grab more piece. So the best thing to do is just yeah, like just drown it in the sambar. Let it soak that up. Mm-hmm. Love this. Yeah, I have a full-time job, so, so it's you hard, can't? To, hard to get. Hard to make time? Hard to make time. I actually like it with less butter. Mm -hmm. No, it was a little too much. It was buttery. Yeah, mm -hmm. this one is without. So. And again, the best, the best chutney is the corn chutney, in my opinion. I'm just like going all in on this. You gotta slow down. So much, so many carbs, right? Yeah. Just brought some bar, with some more chutneys. We got the tie right here. So this one has another puri on top, right? Mm -hmm. You know, pop it up. Yep. And then you have rice and you have like seven, no, it's 12, right? Different types of uh, curries. Okay. And this, the filter coffee. Yeah, the filter coffee. My favorite. Mm. And if you want to cool down, you do like this, right? Yeah, yeah. You pour put it in. it in there. Pour it in here. Then pour it back. And pour it back. Pour it in. That's all. That's all. That's it? Enough time. You, you want some? Oh, sure. Yeah, let's drink, man. Mm. Fantastic. Oh wow. This is the savory donut. Ooh, super hot. We're actually gonna wait on this because it just came out of the fryer. So it's way too hot. That's one thing about Indian food. They always serve it to you scorching, scorching hot. hot. Scorching. Especially tea. Especially tea. Yeah. Especially tea. Chai. So do not drink it quickly. <laughs> yeah, you, you burn your gums. And this is the pour, guys. Look at this. Massive. Yeah. So and there's the dip. Okay, so this is it's almost looks like a chana masala. Yeah, it is. It is? Yes. Perfect. So we just break it up like break this. Break it off and... Nice and oily, huh? Nice and oily. Want some? Yes. Man, I'm so happy I'm here. We've been planning this for like a month. Yep. He told me it's the best food you're going to have in the United States, Indian food in the United States. So, and that's how you do it. So just add a little bit on top, right? Mm -hmm. I do it American style. American style with a spoon? Yeah, I make it into a taco. Yeah, if you don't want to get your hands too dirty, right? Yep. Cheers, man. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice and light. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice chunky chickpeas. Yeah, nice curry. Mmm. It reminds me of like one of these like like Thai curries in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Indian and Thai food is very similar. Yeah. Obviously the Siam Kingdom was right next door. Yeah, yeah. If you go to northeast India, that whole area is influenced by uh by Thailand, right? No, actually it's the other way around. Northeast? Northeast India, a lot of a lot of um, you had migrants coming back and forth between the two. Oh, yeah. yeah. So the Pala Empire was the one that influenced all of Northeast India, uh, Northeast India as well as uh, Southeast Asia. That's why you have Buddhism and Hinduism in from Bali to Thailand. Learning something new every day, right? While Diwan continues to destroy that puri, <laughs> I'm gonna jump on this one, which is the tally, right? So we have a few different items on the side. I I think I'm gonna go onto one of this, this one, and maybe this one's pickles. So just get the puri right, just a, you know, fluffy, break it. Basically the same, this one's a little thicker than that one. And then I'll go in here and try this. Give me curry, right? Over here, this is pickle. Oh, get, get, get more, less, ooh. <laughs> Dude, you basically take like a dip. <laughs> a dip. I know. I'm gonna look crazy. <laughs> so this is like ones. a condiment. It's like the pickle. Yeah, pickle. So you basically eat like very little mm -hmm. when you are eating it. So and you want to cool off with this. Okay. Um, and what's this? This is different. 
This is like a tomato soup. It's basically a tomato soup, and you drink it, right? Does mm -hmm. it that? We have a lot of food today. Let's jump on the vada. I think we're ready for the vada. Yeah. So how do you do it? So just tear it up. Just break it? Break it in half. Ooh, okay. And dip it into whatever one you want. I'm going for the one I love. Mmm. I think Dunkin' Donuts needs to adopt this. <clears throat> Maybe, right? So vada is basically a lentil yeah. donut, right? It's a lentil donut, yeah. And inside, it's right now it's like a little crumbly, outside a little flaky. I love it. But it's, it's delicious. It's healthy. Mm -hmm. um, although it is very carby, but mm -hmm. it is healthy. Everything here is very carby. Everything here is meant to fill you up, right? Fill you up, yeah. It's breakfast food. Mm -hmm. yep. Dasso's first time? Dude, yeah. Like, actually, I think, I don't know, like, Indian cuisine is crazy. I'm so confused. There's so many things going on. America is becoming more and more globalized, so people will eat it, but. When I was growing up, no, my, getting one of my friends to try Indian food was uh, <laughs> was a challenge in itself. That's why I'm making a believer out of all of you. Thank you so much, my man. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. This guy's the man. So now you know, come here, have some dosa, some vada, a puri. Thank you so much. No problem. Amazing Thank food. Thank Amazing. You. So what's up? Where, where are we going? So we're going to go to Tabak, which has Indian fried chicken. Um, it's just like what you get in Delhi and Lucknow. And that restaurant is at the end of this strip mall, right? So you just walk up this little corridor and it's right there. So it is Indian, Bangladeshi, Pakistani. It's a mix of food, right? Yash, where are you from, Yash? Yeah, from, I'm from India. From where? Uh, Haryana. It's one of the states I haven't been to. I haven't been to Haryana yet. Where? New Delhi. New Delhi? Okay, okay. I've been, I've been. Is it where the real butter chicken's from? Yep, you're right. I've never done this before. Dessert before. The yeah, main it's dish. the Bora style. Bora style. Yeah. And Bora are the people when you said in Mumbai? Yeah, they're the people in the coastal regions. So coastal regions. Yeah. So they usually start dessert first and then they eat the actual meaty dishes. So they're known for their meat and their desserts. Awesome. And this is Zafrani Kir. It's uh, again, it's uh, from Lucknow, but the Bora is also. It does, so it's saffron and kir. Saffron and kir, yeah. And so pistachio. This is like a rice pudding. I've had it so many times. I've had it on the streets of luck now. It is delicious, super sweet, but you have this chunky rice, right? Mm -hmm. Enough talking. Cheers, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mmm. Mm. So sweet. Oh, I love it. One more before we get to the chicken. Mm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Oh, it's super light, nice and liquidy. I love the saffron. Yep. Without the saffron, yeah, I think it'd be too bland, right? Yeah, yeah. And right here we have, what chicken is this? Just a fried chicken? No, so this is a um, North Indian style chicken. It's um, chicken boti. Chicken boti. Mm -hmm. So is this put on the grill? Yeah, yeah it's right? put on the grill. So there's yep. not tandoor, just on the grill? Yeah, on the grill. Okay, and then we also have raita on the side. This one looks like it's thick and crumbly, right? Yeah. Mmm. Oh man. Nice and charred. Incredible masalas here. Mmm. Nice and juicy. Mm, it's so good. You know how to have some? Yeah. It's so tasty. Mmm. Mm hmm. I think it needs that, right? So, this is one of the biggest mistakes non Indians do is they get a tandoor and they won't eat it with the sauces. It's like eating a burger without. You know, any condiments. That's crazy. Yeah. That you need it. And you need some yeah. chutney, right? So I had this one close friend of mine. He uh, didn't like tandoori because he's like, it's dry. Then I told him, have it with the right time. Mm. And literally now he always gets tandoori. This is actually a very unique right time. Never had it like this. So right is produced differently in all over India. So mm -hmm. Southern India will produce raita very different from Assam. It's Assam, yogurt, right? Yeah. It's basically but yogurt. Locals have different spices that they will use. Well, oh, man, I love this chicken. So Lucknow is the kebab capital of India. Well, Hyderabadis will disagree. But. See, when I went there, unfortunately, I was a little sick already, but I still ate. Mm -hmm. Dude, the food there is impressive. So, as a neutral person, Lucknow all the way for kebabs. Lucknow. Yeah. I've been to both, Lucknow. Yeah. But Hyderabad, Pirani, Hyderabad. Yeah, exactly. Uh, are you good? One last bite for good measure. Just walk this off. We need to walk this off right now. Hey, David, we're going to enter India Groceries. So, it's one of the largest in New Jersey. Yeah? Yeah. So, an Indian supermarket, basically, right? So, you're going to have spices, you're going to have basically everything you can find in India. Price. 
right here. A lot of rice. Rice. Wow, this place is huge. If you guys don't know about it, thumbs up. It's India soda, almost like Coca-Cola. Too much sugar for me. This is Parley G. It's the most famous Indian cookie. We've been walking around this grocery store for about 10 minutes. There's so many different items. I mean, rice galore. You got ghee. You have pans to make dosa. You have all the fried, uh, you know, fried frozen food, right? Yeah, right here. Yeah. So, so you can't get this kind of selection anywhere in New Jersey in one place. Usually you have your Patel Brothers, your Apna Bazaar. They'll be about one fifth the size of here. So this is the biggest grocery store? It's the biggest I've been to. When I was in college, there wasn't any uh, Indian stuff around here. So I would actually come to Edison to get all my Indian groceries and take it back home uh, to my college. So uh, it was a lifesaver. Yo, what's poha? Poha is uh, ground rice, basically rice that are flat. Okay, so that's poha. So we have never ending poha over here. And on this side, we have soy. Soy. So almost 50 to 80% of India is semi vegetarian. Mm -hmm. So this is like the meat substitute. And that's basically because of the Hindu religion, right? Hindu Jain. More so Jain okay. traditions. Okay, some people told me that I was incorrect, but it is something that like almost half the population is veg. Yes, okay. semi. Semi. To okay, veg. perfect. My mom, for example, won't eat meat on certain days. Okay. of the week the, everything from india most people come here to take it home right yeah. this is like where the main reason i come here is i i don't like ice cream personally but i like indian ice cream okay so i prefer that so kulfi yeah they have to have kulfi yeah it wouldn't be in an indian grocery store if they didn't have kulfi come on this is the the pan for the dosa right right here it's a little different from your ordinary pan right so it's completely flat and then they put it in and they just swirl it and then eventually they flip it and that's it very easy Oh, look at this, Punjabi chole. Chole batore? Oh, wait, I love the music too. It's like we're in Bollywood, right? Yeah, it's so. Uh, let me bring my two favorite flavors. Two favorites, okay. You have, oh, you have a jalapi one? So these are your two favorites? Yeah, these are my two favorites. This is saffron ice cream. Um, it's one of the best ice cream ever. It's unique. You won't find this in any Western score because saffron is not yet popular in the United States and they don't add any sugar too. So this is Alfonso mango. Yeah, so this is the most popular forms of mango in India. And mango, all Indians love mango. Yeah. Any mango is fine, but Alfonso is the most popular. Alfonso or Bengal, those are the two most popular. And mango so, is the national fruit of fruit, India. Yeah, so Alfonso comes from Western India, and then there's other one, the Bengal one, which is from the Eastern parts. Awesome. And over here we have all the little plates, right? Everything for kitchenware, yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. David, we're done here, so we're gonna go to get Indian street food right now. I love this place. You have to come to this grocery store when you come to Edison. Just explore it, walk around. Next time I come back, I'm gonna go through every single aisle and probably try some stuff. They don't have any food in there to eat, right? It's no, not, no. It's not like Patel, because Patel has that sometimes. Yeah, Patel has like samosas and other uh, snacks. But here, yeah, like it, it's just pure groceries. It's okay. like the Costco of Indians. So we're gonna get some fast food like right over there? Yeah. This trip on Edison reminds me of just, you know, everywhere else in America, like real American yeah, city, yeah, right? Yeah. So everything's really spread out. You have strip malls, just non-stop strip, strip malls. malls. Yep. So here it's basically grocery stores and restaurants. Correct. That's it. Easy, like 20 restaurants, Indian restaurants in this like one strip. I would say more close to three figures here. Three figures here. Look, just here alone you have like ten. Wow. There's another five. Oh, down there is another twenty. Alright, so we're going right now to Desi Galaxy. Desi Galaxy for Lassi, right? Lassi, Tandai, and various different types of Indian drinks. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Very good, and you? So this is it, Desi Galaxy. So this is like uh feels like little stations, right? And we have some jalebi right there. Really good. Tried that in Chani Chuk. Can't even believe how good that is. It's, it's, it's addictive. Too much. Yeah, it so they have the filtered uh, coffee here. They have the Ilaichi tea here, which I really much enjoy. You can't get that everywhere. You ever had the Rose Lassi? I love the Rose Lassi. It's the best. I love this place. Look at this. They also have Pani Puri right here. So they have how many different pur uh, Panis you have? Like five, six? Six? And spicy one too? Spicy, mild, like khatta, meat, everything. Okay, I'm just taking it straight. Or bowl? No, I'll just take it straight. Alright. A little messy, but this is the best. <coughs> That's the spiciest pani puri I ever had in my life. <laughs> I had a spicy one in Jorhat. Jorhat? Well, that's crazy. That's where my family's from. No, really spicy, though, the best. 
Best pani puri in Edison, you will get it. First time trying pani puri? Yeah. You know, in India they call me the puri god, so I'm gonna get some more pani puri. Let's do it. One more. Oh yeah. Oh. Put it in the little bowl. And the reason you do that is because all the, you know, the pani is coming out. Pani is water. With all the spices, right? That's spice. Yeah. Got that. Got that. Me that. Yeah. Oh. So you got six different pani flavors. The spicy one's damn hot. Mmm. Super good. I like that she puts only a little bit of alu, so that's potatoes. That's the filling. Sometimes with chickpeas, sometimes they add other stuff, right? Yeah. This was just like more like the regular style, right? Yeah. It's really good. Then we're ready for some faluda and the last thing, I don't know how I'm gonna eat all this because it is so filling. Look at this. So this is faluda. If you guys don't know what faluda is, uh, there's like samalina noodles in here, right? So it's more like a dessert. And this is lassi. There's kofi in it as well, so there's an ice cream in here, right? And then this is rose lassi, a little different. So basically this is uh, rose, a water. rose water mixed with yogurt and milk. So which one do you want? Uh, I guess I'll go with that one. Is that okay? okay. And you go with this yeah. one? Yep. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, love the rose water. Mmm. This one is delicious too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it has uh, ice cream in here, uh, semolina, and then it has just, you know, milk. Yeah. And this is like the best thing to have on a super hot day. Oh, again. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this like amazing. Is, it's very rich though. So yeah. make sure um, you haven't had dessert before. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I had this at like the end of every night in Mumbai. So good. And by the way, this rose water lassi, it's a little different. It's uh, way more liquidy, mm -hmm. a little frothy on top. But I mean, the rose water for me is the best. I yeah. love rose. This is the East Indian style. So this is like the Assamese, Bengali mm -hmm. style, where it's not as thick as the, the Punjabi. UP or the Punjabi ones. So UP and Punjabi ones, you literally need a spoon yeah. to eat it. All right, so I'm gonna have some of this. I love going to the bottom and getting the noodles, right? And mixing it with some of this ice cream. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. So this one isn't too thick either. Nice and liquidy. Mm. And the bottom. Just pull everything out, right? So a few jellies in here. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then you drink. Straight up milkshake. <laughs> it's a milkshake. Mm -hmm. It's really good, man. Yo, dude, where are we going next? We're going to the Mughal Express. Uh, it basically has a uh, lot of uh, Indian street food. Um, very cream heavy. After a quick two minute walk, we're here at Mughal Express. Loving this place already. I just met with a chef right here. His name is Vipal. 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 And he's telling me that I can't try this stuff. I have to go with a butter chicken pizza. Yeah, right? exactly. That's for And my, my, my friend over here, he's the one who <laughs> manages everything. So Awesome, awesome. <laughs> we have some Indian inspired American pastry range. We have Rasmalai Trelishe. We have Gulab Jamun Shrikhan Pots. We have cupcakes, which are Indian inspired, a lot of stuff. And this is it, the butter chicken pizza. I've actually had this like three times in my life, but this one looks stellar. Look at this with spices and jalapenos, right? Dive in? Yeah. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the ones with chili now. I need yeah, that. I like the chili too. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Last bite. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Man, the creaminess of the butter chicken. Mmm, with the cheese and the spice level is perfect, not too hot. Delicious. Delicious. And if you guys don't know butter chicken or makhni. Well, it's the gateway Indian food. Gateway. Yeah. It's also the national dish of Great Britain, I think, or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. Well, Chicken tikka masala is the national dish of Great Britain. Butter chicken or morg makhni is like, uh, it started in Delhi. So butter chicken uses more cream. Uh, chicken tikka masala uses more tomato sauce. So that's the main difference between the two. I'm destroying this, bro. It's delicious. <laughs> oh my God, man. Yeah, Indian style pizza. Fusion is sometimes good. Fusing up Italian, American, and Indian. Okay, lastly we have? We have the gulab jamun dessert and we have the Las Ras Malai dessert. This is uh, more, you can say, Indo-Western version of Indian dessert. So it, ha it brings the best of both worlds. So this restaurant itself is um, a mix of cultures mm -hmm. with an Indian base. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Ras Malai. Oh yeah, look at that. So it's Ras Malai and under it, 
We have ice cream. I think there's like it's rice pudding, I think, as yeah. well. Saffron. Too full. This guy ate all the pizza. Cheers, man. Cheers. Fantastic. Oh my god. Mmm. The saffron. Whoa. That's insane. This is the best crossman I've ever had in my life. But obviously, it's an American twist here. Indo Western. Indo Western. <laughs> I like this one better. Oh man. This one has like fruits. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's like a whipped cream. You got fruits in there. What else is in Cake. here? Cake is at the bottom. Yep. Wow, so it's very crumbly. It's amazing. And that is it, my friends. We did eating in Edison, New Jersey. I mean, it was like really five hours, <laughs> but that's it for my entire day. I'm not eating any more food. 24 hours eating in Edison, New Jersey. The biggest Indian population in all of North America, actually the Western Hemisphere, right? Yep. Indian restaurants everywhere. You can go veg, non-veg. They have so many delicious things to eat. We did what? Dosas at that yep. first place. We did South Indian, North Indian, uh, Indian fast food, uh, and we did Indo-Western. Exactly. As well. And we also went to India Grocers, which is right there. Grocers, yep. right? Yep. Uh, you know, huge supermarket. Next time I come, I'm gonna go like deeper and explore more. The owner's super nice. He told me next time come. And uh, yeah, Desi Galaxy. I had the Pani Puri, which I had to have. Thank the Lord. The only thing we didn't have today was biryani, but I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to Janoon. Today we're here at Janoon. This is an incredible Indian restaurant. It's actually the first Indian restaurant I've ever visited that has a Michelin star. Indian and Michelin star is like, oh my God. I know, I know. That's like the best combination of all time. Yes, exactly. The food's gonna be like mouth-watering. I cannot wait. So they got a Michelin star in the year 2012 and they got eight consecutive years a Michelin star, one Michelin star. Eight years, God. Oh, it's incredible. The inside is beautiful. It's like a lounge, very light, you know, very music. Indian, I guess. Very Indian, but also modern, incredible bar. They have cocktails, they have an incredible wine list, but we're here for the food. And we're not gonna sit inside, we're gonna sit outside because they have terraces now. Look at this beautiful terrace. So we're gonna sit here, we're gonna relax, we're gonna have some food, we're gonna have some drinks. Are you ready? Oh, yes, please. Let's do it. Let's do it. So let's go right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cocktail menu, so I guess uh, we shall pick some because it sounds so nice, Mumbai Margarita or East Indian Gin Tonic. Oh, or Janun in Manhattan though. Or Masala Whiskey, that's one you're having, right? So they made me a Masala Rye, which is basically a Indian twist on an old fashioned, right? Huge. So strong. Oh, it's so strong, but mmm, nice spices. It's nice spices in it, yeah. yeah really nice. I mean, and it's better than clear whiskeys, obviously, for mm -hmm. me. Yes. Yeah, I don't really drink like hard drinks. I don't really do cocktails. Okay. I'm more of like a wine or beer yeah, person. Me too. But, but this is nice. Mm -hmm. It smells good. It smells, it smells amazing. Know, citrus, right? Something like mm -hmm. right? This is with it. the orange peel right there. Orange, yeah. But the rye is delicious. 100 percent rye. And they have a crazy wine menu. I mean, look at this. Massive. I think you said over 200 different bottles. I mean, it is huge. That's a lot, but we get it. A lot of wine. Sweet wines, world wines. Alright, you know what? I just need the food. <laughs> we need to eat right now. Please bring it, bring it, bring it. Come, come. So you're having the pork ribs, uh, masala pork ribs, which is rubbed with the vindaloo spice, which is very indigenous and uh, very popular. Uh, it's in the Goan region of the country. Uh, that is served over, uh, that smoke was the charcoal smoke, and that is served over some chaat masala uh, sprinkled uh, apples and some micro cilantro. Next one is the eggplant chaat, which has been in the Janoon menu since very first day, very popular. Uh, baby eggplant, which is crispy, then served, served with some tamarind and yogurt based sauce, some other red onions, and a cilantro on top. Enjoy, David. Okay, we're gonna start off with the masala ribs. Masala that was ribs. crazy presentation, and that's what Mission Star restaurants are all about presentation. Every plate has to be perfect, they clean it all, you know, they do it slowly. I just went to the back, I saw how they put it together. Ooh, it's still super hot. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh. Oh wow. Mm. It's like whoa. It's like it falls apart. I'm not a big pork lover. Me either. But this is something that's something. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. How easy it is to eat. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 It's like a masala barbecue. That's what it feels like. Actually, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of, you don't even feel like pork too much. Mmm. Mm. Look how easy it is. Is it? 
Oh, oh my it's God. apple. Mm. Oh, apple, this is spicy. Mm? <laughs> it's, yeah. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> spicy, so it's like a little bit of massage, right? Well, because I eat pork, I don't spicy, right? Mm. Spicy. No, it's hot, it's hot. <laughs> it's also a little smoky. What an appetizer. I'm so happy we came here. Oh my. You know, my love for Indian food gets like bigger and bigger Indian every day. Food. I love Indian food. Indian food is the best. That, it's, it's truly my top like really? food yeah. right now, yeah. Mm -hmm. God, I can eat the bowl too. <laughs> <laughs> this is the eggplant chat. So it's baby eggplant, right? Small. Okay. You have like a, I guess it's like a yogurt on top. Mm -hmm. Maybe raita. Yeah. I don't know exactly. He also said tamarind as well. So tamarind chutney. A is it spicy too, do you think? No, I don't think it's spicy. It's gonna be like very refreshing and cold. So it's good after ribs, like. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cause that was a little hot, right? A little bit hot. She's literally <laughs> eating it before I can. <laughs> oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So this is a chat. This is like Indian street food. Chat basically means like something quick. I really understand go. why it's uh, eight years straight for Mission Star. Mm-hmm. We have a chat this. Amazing. Even with appetizers, it's just crispy. Mm. It's a little sweet. Mm. It's refreshing. This on the streets of Mumbai, in super hot weather. Oh, Have so you good. been? Mumbai? Yeah, yeah, I've been to Mumbai. Like this? Yeah, no, neither. <laughs> no, I mean, similar, similar. Similar, similar. Yeah, definitely chats, but this is another level. You know. I love this. It's also like a, a little barbecue sauce or whatever. It's just... No, that's, that's tamarind. Tamarind, right? Tamarind chutney. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mmm. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. What great dishes. I'm so excited for the next ones. I'm so happy that I haven't eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so You're much. You're so welcome. Enjoy. This is mango lassi, one of my favorite, uh, you can say milk fruit drink. I don't know. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, oh, it's amazing. This is amazing. Mango lassi every day. Yeah, like, I mean, I the hot weather that is amazing, yes. Mmm, I like it. Nice and thick, this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not so watered down. And this is perfect for like right after the ribs because it's spicy, right? Mm -hmm. It was so spicy, there's a tank to it. Mm -hmm. so that's why in India they have a lot of dairy drinks. So right after you eat, you have that, you know, you cool down everything. Plus it's a palate cleanser, right? So next next dish, we're good. David, you're going to have the Janun famous gin and tonic called East India gin and tonic with lots of love, like the leaf of pan, which represents the heart safe, which is indication of love. It's a piece of love there. But this one is done, you know, over 200 years. One cocktail have, hasn't evolved, that is gin and tonic. So our take on was like, how can we pair 100 different kinds of gin with only one tonic? So we customize uh, a tonic, Junoon tonic, keeping in mind the 10 different botanicals of the Bombay Sapphire. And that's how the East India gin and tonic is born. I mean, it's going to be strong. It's a gin and tonic. Yes. Okay, uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> try, try, try. <laughs> I'm next, I'm next. Mm, that's very refreshing gin tonic. Yeah? Do you want to keep it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of gin tonic usually. Mm -hmm. But this Ooh, one is something... That's great. That you don't even feel that it's a gin tonic. It's something... Something different, right? So different. Yeah, so like I'm not a big it's, gin guy yeah, either. Like either. so I, I never really order this, but this is a great drink. I mean super easy to drink. It doesn't feel That's so That's what strong. I was thinking, like, oh my god, this is gin tonic. I can't drink that. Right. Here is the explosion of flavors with our tuna puchka. And right here is tandoori octopus, which is nicely confit chored in tandoor served over some Matania chili aioli, uh, which is slightly spicy but really goes with octopus. The next one, as I said, tuna puchka. Those pops are filled with some sesame style tuna with some onion, tomato, and lighter spices. Top, is, top it up with some caviars. And right in the center, we have uh, pani, which is referred to water with cumin, coriander, a little bit of mint. Uh, cilantro, touch of passion, passion fruit, that's our touch with lots of uh, black salt. So you fill that water in puchkas one at a time, then that has to be a one bite. So you had to eat this? Okay, so grab one. <laughs> the inside is ridiculous. I've never seen this before. With caviar and tuna. Oh. And then right here you get, so this is the pani right there, right? And then? And then go, and all of it. All? Oh. 
Go, go, go fast. I can. Just I'll do it. I'll do it with you. Oh, this is nothing. It cracks in your mouth. Ready? One, two. <laughs> All right, let me drive. Mm. Yeah, it's like, look, it's nice. It's good. That is the best bunny foodie of my life. Her first time trying bunny foodie, she tries to miss the star bunny foodie. I don't know, I mean, nobody said, but I guess to start this bunny foodie, the best one is, is I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy because usually what they do is they just put like potatoes and chickpeas I love it. and some other stuff. This. I love it. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> mm. Thank you, thank you, God, for food. I know. <laughs> food like this, I can eat it all. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, yeah. Get the sauce, right? Yes. So I don't know if that's like a, like a alioli or something. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is tandoor, right? mm. so they put it on a skewer and they put it into the bake to bake. Bake it, cook tacos. Mm -hmm. I love the spice. Wow. Janoon, my number one Indian restaurant in the world right in here. The world, no. I'm going to be dreaming about this restaurant for a long time. No, it's good. Manja, manja. Put this together. Not so spicy, but you do have a little bit, right? It's so enjoyable. Mm. And what's amazing is that as people pass by and see everybody here enjoying the food, they go up and see the menu and they like read what this place is about. Biscuits must get a lot of business. Now after, oh, this is like spicy after effect, huh? Mm -hmm. This works like this? I don't know. It's the first time for me. That's Being like that. That was like later, way later. Later, I just felt it too. And by the way, it's fashion week. That's why we're all fashioned out. <laughs> Okay, so we just moved inside because outside the light's gone. We have mushroom truffle kuchri, which is basically rice and lentils mix. It's like a really, you know, household, you know, homey meal. This one obviously is elevated. I love the presentation nice. with this, you know. This is gonna be absolutely phenomenal. Whoa, and, and grab some of those truffles. I love a truffle shaving. If you guys don't know, my family's from Umbria. We eat this all day, every day. Mm. 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 It's like a light doll. If someone just, you know, close my eyes and put this like dish in my mouth, I would not have even guessed what is it. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm. It's melting. It's melting. It's amazing. Isn't it? Love the truffles, nice mm. mushrooms, very subtle. The whole mushroom, like that. Yeah. Huge, right? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven. Oh my god. This is heaven. We are it, in heaven. It's like earthy, but it just falls apart. It's amazing. This is crazy good. Oh, we're mm. going to finish this, right? Mmm. Mm. God, I live in the best city in the world. I swear to God. I'm lucky. This is the best city in the world. Well, yeah, but I, I can try every kind of food and the best food. Mm-hmm. You cannot have this anywhere except no. New York. What a dish, huh? What a I'm so happy. I'm so happy too. <laughs> mm. So this is Mumbai Margarita, which is uh, looks very, very um, like it's orange, right? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like a mango, right? But mango, I don't know. Let let me try that. Oh my god, this is so nice. I guess this is my favorite margarita ever. I do like margaritas, but I don't like the salt usually because it's too strong. But this one is special, I guess. There's also some spices in here. So it doesn't feel like so salty. It feels, but it gives you some, some literally, <laughs> literally weird taste. But it's so good, it's so good. So start with the duck. It's a talichary duck pepper, which is dry aged duck breast. We do it here in our basement for about 14 days. Then it's a pan seared, thinly sliced, then served over the Talichiri pepper sauce. So we literally bring that pepper from Talichiri region of the country to make this dish. And we don't use that pepper anywhere, any other dishes. Uh, next to that is the vegetarian, which is Nadru Matar Makana. So it's a lotus root and green pea with onion and tomato sauce. 
some lotus root chips and uh, makhana on top. Right here, the rice tonight is the uh, jafrani jikini flour rice. So it's a saffron with some jikini and some uh, raisins, uh, little spices, flour rice. And right here, the star of the evening is the Janoon naan. Uh, so this naan is stuffed with some uh, gurier and a paneer cheese, sprinkled with the Lebanese jatar spice. That is amazing. Sometimes I call it Janoon pizza. Don't tell to anyone because I joke with my chef, but this is, this is, this is fantastic. Enjoy, my friend. I am so excited. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> this is too much. I mean, it is ridiculous. The duck with that like curry sauce, nice gravy. We have the veg dish here. We have the rice, fruity one, right? So there's raisins in here. Mm. And I'm really excited for the naan. He said it's the start of the show. What you should do always here is get that like mm. that. Mm. I mean, if you come to New York City, and you don't come to this restaurant, it's a sin. You are full, yeah. Let's do it Indian way, right? So Indian way is like grab this, the yeah. naan. Just like this. And go in and get some of this. this duck maybe too, like that. The duck? I like to eat with my hands. Oh, I love it. It's the <laughs> best. <laughs> best. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. It's just so tenderness. And coconut. Coconut, yeah. 100%. Mm. Wow. I don't usually eat bread, but I eat Oh, wait. Indian bread. Indian bread is a must. It's the best pairing. You cannot not eat bread, Indian bread. You just you cannot eat it. Mm. Thank you for bringing me. No. <laughs> I do not want to eat Indian food without company. The right decision? No, because I know. The right decision is me. Yeah, yeah, the right decision was you, yes. <laughs> but you know what? It's, it's more like a. It's a food to be enjoyed, to share, you know, with somebody else. So don't forget to put likes, guys. comments, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Everything. Everything. Share. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this gravy like is it. outstanding. Mm. 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 How's the food can be so I mean, it is something special. Mm hmm. Mm. It's one of my favorite places in New York right now, one of the top 10. Yeah, Definitely, yes. For sure. Me too. Definitely. Mm. 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 Oh, I love the rice. So I'm guessing this is more like a pulao. So mm. pulao is like another... Indian version for pulao. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 We have raisins so mm -hmm. Sometimes I think I can become a vegetarian too. With Indian food? 100%. 100%. Mm. Mm. I am in love with this food. Also, I mean, if you really want spicy, mm -hmm. obviously just tell them, you know, throw it up a notch, they'll probably put some chilies in there. Mm -hmm. But this is perfect just the way it is, right? Wow. I love this rice. Just wow. not the white rice. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little different, right? So it's not the biryani, which is, you know, mm -hmm. lots of layers. With the raisins too, it's beautiful. It's no carbohydrate, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this is our dessert. <laughs> what a day. I know, <laughs> this is too much. So we have this beautiful cricket. Filled. Oh man, I don't even know. It's like the it's mousse, cricket. right? I guess it's a mousse. Yeah, so it's a mousse made out of a fruit from India. Yeah. Um, and under it we have like grated coconut, right? And under that we have like, I wouldn't say it's a jam, but it's a nice like fruity Thing that basically glues it all together. So this is the field, right? Amazing. First time in my life I could stress a felt. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> then right here we have kir, which is basically rice pudding, but it's a little different obviously, and this is oh, one of the mother's recipes of one of the yeah, chefs. Yeah, it's a home recipe, so yes. So homemade recipe, right? And That's then we why have, it's so beautiful presentation. Yeah, and they nuke the banana, right? And then behind us we have the kulfi pops. So kulfi pops right here. I've never tried that. So you never tried kulfi? No. So, okay, this is an Indian ice cream. It's a, it's, I would say it's a mix almost between ice cream and I don't even know what to say right now. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, perfect. Should we try this first? Yes, yeah, try. It. So which one do you want? This one's rose. That one I forgot what he said it was. It smells good. Yeah. This is saffron. So I'm gonna go with saffron. Okay, Saffron's okay. India right here. Mm. I have cinnamon on top. Mm. Oh, so nice. Oh, wow. See, it's different. So it's not just like ice cream. It's a little denser than ice cream. It stays together. It doesn't mm. just melt, you know? But with cinnamon on top, it's like... 
Mm. And it's not heavy because I'm full mm -hmm. and I don't usually eat desserts. I'm not, no desserts for me. So. I'm the same. I'm more savory, always. Mm. I'm gonna pass on the next cookie. We'll have that later. But we have to try this, like right now when you're done. <laughs> you have to enjoy yourself. Come, come with a date. You need a date to come here. Don't come alone. No, never. 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 So you want to try this one? Mm. Are you ready for this? Mm. How good is that? It's perfect. I'm sure. I love here. So rice mm. pudding. It's the best mm. ending for um, mm -hmm. all the courses. It's not heavy. It's very very light taste. It's not that sweet as you think mm -hmm. for dessert. So yes, it doesn't make like you know that you're so full and you can't have it anymore. Mm -hmm. It's very light. Mm -hmm. And then there's also like a I think like almonds, right? Yes. Top and you have a banana. Banana. That's but I think we have to do this guy, the cricket. So that's right. there's it's a, a bit cricket score. match. This is a moose. <laughs> cricket mm. moose. Mm. This is my favorite. Oh my god. This is my favorite. Mm. Best stuff uh, cricket fields I've never tried and wow. I've never tried in my life. Mame sapote. Yeah. Okay, mame sapote. Chico in, in India. Chico. And uh, by the way, the whole entire field is edible. Mm. The cricket field. And having the coconut changed the game coconut. right there. I love coconut desserts. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. That's my favorite. Mm hmm. Wow. I love mousse. Mm -hmm. You know, you can literally just bite through it. It just mm. flows down so easily. I like the desserts are so small. And I'm gonna have the the racket, right? The cricket racket. <laughs> okay. Oh. I can have the ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh, everything's so good. Mmm. The ball is also good. I don't know what is it, but. I, I don't know. So let me ask you, what do you think about this place? <laughs> I, don't I don't have word for that. I'm speechless, literally speechless. The taste is divine. Yeah, I mean, this is obviously the most elevated Indian food I ever mm -hmm. had in my life. Mm -hmm. It is the best Indian food I've ever had in my life. Best. I mean, I mean, obviously going to India and having food on the streets is very authentic, but this is just something very special. If you're yes. ever in New York City, definitely come out to Janoon mm -hmm. here on 24th and 6th Avenue. I'm pretty sure that's it. And between fifth and seventh, so it's between the sixth and fifth. Sixth and fifth on 24th. And uh, for me, what was my favorite? I don't know, the duck was up there, the pani puri with the caviar is up there, the drinks. I liked everything. Everything, right? I liked everything. Even this kheer. This kheer is the best kheer of all time, right? Here. <laughs> I want just a little bit of, of this. Mm. Salt. Those almonds? Almonds, yeah. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Today I'm so excited because I'm going on an Albanian food tour with my boy Nick from Bread, Salt, and Hearth. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing today, Nick? All right, today, like you said, we are in Little Italy. Um, this is an old Italian neighborhood that in the late 60s, early 70s, um, Albanians started to move to. Mm -hmm. Started to open up their own spots. We're right here next to Arthur Avenue, Crescent Street, and Hughes. And we're about to have some burek, we're about to have some jabapa, we're about to have some other Albanian treats. I think you wanted some raki. For sure. <laughs> 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 and we're outside of Dea, which is where we're gonna have our first burek. Okay, so we're outside of Dea, they make burek, so we're gonna have like three different burek. From here, we're gonna go to like three other spots. Literally everything is in this one, two block radius, yes. right? Yep. All right here, very easy to do. I'm excited, I'm hungry, it's already 10 in the morning. Let's go. Let's do it. Pass, are you ready? I'm ready, let's go. My friends, yes. <laughs> Albania in America. I love it, I love it. He's me. Hey, hey, nice to meet you finally. <laughs> so this is more like, you know, a really chill spot. Come here, relax, have some burek, have some yogurt. We're gonna go in the back right now and see them making burek. Yo. Yo, David, what's up, man? Ready to go. So this burek is a little different from what I've seen before, so. Uh, you he... want the roll soup? I can do the roll soup. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. But this one, it has a double layer. So you did, you did the dough, then you added all the spinach, yeah, yeah, yeah. closed it, and then you put it into another one and added more yeah, spinach. Yeah, yeah, I try to do as much layers as possible. We make it thin, you know. So multiple layer layers. Layer after layer, thin like 
try to go as a paper, thin as a paper and stuff. And this one's just like this is round, the other one's gonna be more yeah, like a, a roll. roll style. Okay, so now that the burrito is ready, we put it in the oven, we wait 15 minutes, and then we eat. Okay, so Nick, what do we have here? All right, this is three different kinds of burrito. We have cheese, that's gonna be like white cheese or feta cheese with what's called G's. It's like similar to ricotta, but it's a little ripened. Mm -hmm. uh, this is with meat, it's ground beef and onions. Okay. Uh, probably a lot of black pepper in there too, oh, really amazing. good. And then the last one is gonna be spinach and leek, and there's a little cheese in there as well. Perfect, and yes. if you want, they probably have Nutella one as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they also have dessert if you want that, but we're going super savory today. Yes. Uh, I think we have to start off with cheese, right? Let's do it. Okay, so just grab one of these. Beautiful, look at that cheese. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Mm. Oh. oh, the layer is so crumbly. Mm. Like crispy and soft at the same time, right? Exactly. Oh, so good. And the best thing about this is you can eat it whenever you want throughout the day. You know, for me, it's more like a breakfast item. Yeah. But if you want to, midday for me, snack. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm hmm. Same day. <laughs> it even work for 24 hours. <laughs> mm hmm. And you pair this with a coffee. Water and if you want raki, right? If you want some raki, also we got this yogurt drink okay. called Iron. It's um, just like from just regular yogurt, fermented milk, water. Exactly. So this is the perfect pairing, right? Oh yeah, super savory. Mm, yeah, a little salty, a little bitter, right? Yeah, that bitterness helps cut through the the grease of the the burek. Exactly. So it yeah. also works as a pack cleanser, mm -hmm. right? This is amazing. Incredible. <laughs> I love this. Incredible. Okay, so which one you want to go to next? Um, let's get at the meat, yeah? The meat? So this is the meat, right? This one's the meat, yeah. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Wow. These guys are not stingy with the filling. Exactly, because sometimes love that. it's like just layers and layers and layers and no, nothing <laughs> yeah. the filling. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. And it comes off obviously like this, the rolled one, mm -hmm. and then you have the other one that's more like a pie. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The other one's sort of like flat, all the layers on top of each other, mm -hmm. and cut into slices. Yeah, they cut into slices like a pizza, right? Yeah. Just like this. Just like that. Wow. Oh, you haven't finished yours yet? Mm mm. <laughs> mm hmm. Are you, what's your favorite of these? Oh, man, that's like a Sophie's choice, right? So I'm like, I think on, on a usual day, I'm a leek guy. Okay. You know that savory, sweet onion flavor? Mm -hmm. But the meat works as well. Yeah, the meat's amazing. <laughs> I mean, the minced meat, you have like a little bit of spices in yes, there. Yes, exactly. That peppery so is really good. And the onions are like caramelized and melted. Oh, wow. What a good food. What a good food. <laughs> I know. Comfort food. And this is the leek one, right? That one's the spinach. That the one's leek. the leek. Yeah. So good. The first time I tried burek was when I went to Bosnia. But there, it's always like meat, mm -hmm. right? It's yeah. meat pie. It's not really spinach and cheese. But in Albania and Kosovo, you have the variation. And then obviously, you could add other things, right? Yeah. Yeah, in Bosnia, uh, burek is only with meat. And they have other names for like every different type, every okay. type. And they get really offended if you if you call a, a, a burek with leeks. If you call that burek, they get super offended. But okay. for us Albanians, it's all burek. So it's all burek for you guys. Obviously, other countries, it's a little different than names. Yeah, yeah, we have names as well, but if you say to somebody, Burek with leeks, they know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. And this is all obviously an influence from the Ottoman, right? Yeah, you know, it's kind of interesting because um, if you look back, there's actually a food in ancient Rome mm -hmm. called placenta cake. Okay. Placenta basically meaning like a disc. That's mm -hmm. the word for disc. And it was like layers and layers of dough. And in between the dough was honey and cheese. Oh, that sounds amazing. It sounds amazing. But actually, I think um, it's actually one of the precursors to what's, what we eat now is, is burek or pita or all the savory pies that you eat in the Balkans. It actually Incredible. might be an indigenous food eaten since like ancient Roman times. Incredible. As well as something else, which I'm not sure if we'll have later today, but it's called fli, which you might have had in Kosovo or pita yeah. klinit. Yeah, lots and of layers again, as well. lots of layers. Dairy. Yes, lots with dairy. dairy. And, and so that's actually a food that goes back to ancient Rome. Wow. Incredible. The history yeah. there is insane. Yeah. And I think like, because you were saying honey and cheese, this one paired oh, with yeah. some Albanian honey. Incredible. And this, by the way, the leek. So delicious. good. This is the best one for me <laughs> right now. Mm -hmm. So sweet and savory mm -hmm. at the same time. It's a perfect blend. Yep. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. So obviously, if you're a vegan, you have a few different options. If you want some meat, the meat. Mm. Definitely. 
Definitely. So I'd rank it like Renato Leek, then meat, then cheese. Wow, check you out. <laughs> it's interesting because I think you find a lot of people, cheese is their go to. Their go to. They're like, oh, cheese is my thing, but I'm with you. I'm like, I go for the savory, I go for the leek, I go for the meat for sure. Yeah. Before we go to the next place, I just gotta say this is an amazing cheese borek. Feta and ricotta mix. I haven't had this before. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Crumbly cheese. Mm -hmm. Next layers. Nick. My man. David. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so next we're going to Chakor, another Albanian restaurant. So this is my first time in the Bronx, and this is what I came to, you know? Amazing. So Italian neighborhood, Little Italy. Love the architecture here. So the brick buildings, really old school, right? So everything here is from 60s, 70s? So the 60s and 70s is when the Albanians started moving into this neighborhood. It was also, it was already like a really established uh, Italian neighborhood by oh, now. Hello, David. <laughs> David. Pleasure. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where's the Rocky? <laughs> Where's the Rocky? Oh, we, we, we got oh, it inside. Yeah, we're doing it, we're doing it. Oh, Your episode in Mrizi is on of it. Oh, it's the best. Uh, uh, loved it. Oh, That's my favorite place in Albania. Oh. But it's, <laughs> I'm gonna give you some traditional Albanian food and some traditional Italian food as well because we're an Italian Albanian restaurant <laughs> okay so I visited Stone Castle when I was in Kosovo amazing winery huge the biggest right yep and they make some good raki delicious raki cheers Gazur Gazur rich mir Ooh. So if you guys don't know, they drink this in the morning, usually the older men, to get the blood flowing. Oh yeah, and they say it kills the microbes, right? Kills My the great microbes. grandfather used to have a shot first thing in the morning, even before his coffee. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it gives you wings, dude. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> ah, cheers. One more cheers. time. Gazor, gazor. Mm. Ooh, it's been a while. It is nice. I love Raki. Oh, such a good drink. So good. All right, let's eat. Here we go. We have, uh, I think, a dozen different dishes. Yes. We got a few Italian dishes, but majority of it is Albanian, right? Yes. So we have the baby lamb here with some potatoes. It looks incredible. So good. Juicy. Yes. Over here we have chevaptore, so yeah. it's like chevapcici, right? Minced meat, uh, basically like sausages, right? Yep. yep. Also the burger. Yeah, it's Not a really chute, it's like similar, but yeah, patty. Patty, patty same mixture. And these, this is sujok. Sujok, so yeah, so it's a spicy sausage. Yes. I had this in Beja. Yes, right? you did. You definitely did. I definitely did. And over here we have the kaimak, right? Yes, kaimak. That's the boiled cream, and then the the part that solidifies on the top is skimmed off and aged a little bit, as you can see. That's crazy. <laughs> mm, it's a little salty too. It's really nice. Yes. And over here we have like roasted peppers. We have some more cheese. We have this like white bean soup. I don't know what this is. Is that That's lamb? That's veal. That's veal. Okay. Yep. And then we have goulash over here. We also have uh, red wine from Stone Castle, and we have. Uh, so cordon bleu, right? That this one? one? Yep. And that one? That one is veal palumbo, I think. Okay. Yeah, veal palumbo. Veal palumbo. Yeah, right. And then over here we have the amazing bread. The best part of Albanian culture is the bread. It's so good, so nice good. and fluffy, and this pairs perfectly with literally everything here. Yeah. So I think what we should do is just probably get some of this, get a chivaptori, and that's it, right? Let's do it. So a little bread, a little chivapa. Mm -hmm. So you can just open it up. Just gonna open it up. I mean, just gonna grab one, right? Yeah. I did a little bad here, but it's okay. <laughs> Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the stuff, right? That is so good. Mm. I love like the smokiness in here, too. Smoky, salty, spicy. Mm -hmm. There's like a little onion garlic situation going on. Mm. Incredible. Incredible. And with the bread? Mm -hmm. So usually, you open this up. You know, stuff it. Yeah. Right, so that's not chebaptori. That's a mixed grill. So chebaptori, it's an actual store okay. that sells chebapa. Little kaimak. No kaimak. Okay. Can you put it in. Little kaimak with the chebapa. Okay. Looks good. I guess I'll do the same. Oh. There you Bost go. Mia. Mm. Bost mia. That's Bost what mia. we say in, in uh, Albania. Bost mia means. May do you well. May you do, may, exactly, may, may do you well. May do you well? Yeah. <laughs> Man, the pairing with this with the salt. So good, is, right? Yeah. And the and the kaimak has got that funk, because it's cultured. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, almost like blue cheese almost flavor, like blue right? Cheese, yeah. Oh, it's so smelly, good. That's great. Yeah, exactly. I love this. Mm. And then like, you know, the, the pairings make sense, right? So you got like roasted vegetables, but also these are uh, pickled peppers. Okay. So these are some borka peppers that are boiled in a mixture of vinegar and oil and water. 
and that acid sort of like cuts through, right? Because we got the, the meat, we got the dairy, and then you get the acid from the pickles. How about some of this goulash? This is veal goulash. Oh, wow. So if you guys don't know, goulash is basically like uh, either veal or beef, like a stew, right? Yep, yep. Uh, you know, I'm Hungarian. It's a big thing in Hungary, but they also have it throughout the Balkans. It is amazing. It's a really hearty, you know, meal. This is for the winter months. Yes. So, so I'll move the bread because we have never-ending bread here. And then some potatoes. Some potatoes. Okay, so, so goulash. So goulash, right? So you're gonna do it yeah, with bread sure. or just like that? And it's veal, right? This is veal. All right. Oh. Mmm. That is comfort food. Dude, it's so tender. Literally so just tender. melts in your mouth. I love the gravy here. Yeah. Mmm. Nice and light. Yes, very, very light. light. Mm. It's not greasy, it's not fatty. No, at all. So this is so perfect good. for winter. Just this, some nice rocky. Yeah. Mm. Oh, phenomenal dish. My favorite dish is in this place. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Besides the, the baby lamb. Uh, I think yeah. we have to just jump on this. Like, yeah. I'm gonna grab a piece. Get in, we celebrate St. Nicholas Day. And my mm -hmm. grandfather would have a lamb hanging in the garage for a few days until the big feast. And he would roast this in the backyard. It's called Ferlick. For lick. For lick. Yeah. Hand, Hand to face, right? Hand to face. <laughs> Hand to face. No, yeah, yeah, you can use your fork. Yeah, yeah. We're civilized. You can see how it just falls. Look at that, how it just falls Dude, apart. It, it like melts. Oh, it's the skin's the best. Parts, and it's crispy, but it's still moist. It's not dry. Mm. That's the, the trick to making for lick. As he knows. Oh, wow. Look at this. The best part of the roast Man, lamb. Is the, you can that, see the rib is the best because it's got like the connective tissue between the bones, right? All mm -hmm. the cartilage, and it just slides off. And I know it looks like there's not a lot of meat in there, but look at that bite. Wow. That's the stuff, right? Ah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. I, I forgot. Oh my you God. Ate. Look at you. Mm. And the best part about this, if you have a hangover, he like cuts it, they, and they you know? Because <laughs> the oils, right? I'm gonna try some of the cornbread. All right, you try the cornbread, and then I think, Try the soup? Try the beans, right? Mm -hmm. It's like with the cornbread, no? So with it? Okay. So I'm just gonna try this solo. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice. It's, it's similar to like cornbread in, in South of America. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's not like northern cornbread that's like sweet and fluffy like cake. Exactly, it's, it's less sweet. This is like sustenance food, right? Like. Mm. It's very, very flaky. Obviously it has like some water or wine to flush it down. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Stone Castle wine. Oh, what an amazing cab. Huh? Delicious. Oh, Delicious. so good. If you guys don't know about the wines, Albania, Kosovo, they are incredible. So many good wines. I personally like the reds, but the whites are like, you know, outstanding as yes. well. And then obviously you pair that all with Raki and you enjoy life. Yes, you do. Basically, as we are it. now. Oh my gosh, my friends, this is too much. You <laughs> overdid it. This guy's like, you have to try every dish in the house. <laughs> no, I'm joking, it's not the whole menu. <laughs> dip, bro, dip. Mm. Classic. Oh, I Classic. love white beans. I got another light dish. Mmm, super comforting. In the winter months, perfect. But I can't wait to be in Kosovo, Albania, in a really cold day, you know, in January. Have this, pair it with some Rocky, walk around, enjoy life. Yep. Dude, that's, that's what it's about over there. The beans, you know, these beans are like clearly like a sustenance food, right? Mm -hmm. Like something that people had to eat out of necessity, mm -hmm. but turned it into something amazing. Like so delicious, so flavorful, so comforting. <laughs> And it's like, for me, beans are like soup from a stone, right? You get these exactly. little dried little beans and you make a delicious meal out of it. It's incredible. I love beans. I can have this with salad, you know, the big white beans. Oh, I yeah. love them. They're so good. <laughs> See, I like pulling out every single wine. I got the Chardonnay from Stone Castle. <laughs> Too many dishes. We're skipping a few of them. We're jumping straight to dessert. We have here baklava, obviously a staple in the Balkans. Yes. And then this is? This is called shechir para. Okay. And that means like sugar coins or sugar money. So it's basically and a sugar cookie. It's a sugar cookie. It's like a biscuit. It's kind of like a kind of shortbready kind of biscuit, mm -hmm. and then soaked in a sugar syrup. Sugar syrup, obviously. So super, super sweet. Both of them are extremely sweet. This one has walnuts, obviously. So that is more of a staple baklava. Definitely, yeah. This is like standard, but delicious baklava. Always. And and this is also called in some parts urmashitsa. Okay. Uh, and an Albanian Cheshire part. So if you want to go American, you just throw a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. <laughs> We're not doing that today. We're That's gonna right. do it. You keep it bulking. Just keep soak it, it in sugar syrup. Here's. Cheers. Mm hmm. Mm. Nice and moist. Yep. Basically, has absorbed uh, sugar syrup. Mm. 
called? Uh, like semolina, crumbly. Mm. Really satisfying after like a really savory meal, right? Yeah, it, it basically just like falls apart in your mouth. Whoa, great palate cleanser as well. Excellent. And then we have the baklava. I, I'm personally a huge fan of the walnuts, right? Nice and flaky. Mm. Staple. This is one of my favorite desserts on the planet. See, I'm not a sweet, sweet tooth guy, but this is the best. But when you go for it, you go real sweet. <laughs> I go real sweet. <laughs> I pay for it later. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to this incredible restaurant. Cheers. Chakor. 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 Yeah. Hey, cheers, 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 guys. cheers, cheers. Zuar, 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 all day. <laughs> Fanny Beneers, thank you for coming. Palamendir Shun. Mm. Wow. And thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Ciao, ciao, ti vediamo. Ciao, ciao, ciao. 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 Fanny Beneers Shun. Thank you. Ciao, grazie, grazie. Ciao, David. Ciao, I'll see you soon, okay? Of course. All right, so we're going to the next place, but Nick yeah. has to leave us. Nick, thank you so much, dude. Thanks, David. I appreciate Good it. Good hanging out with you. Thanks for enjoying our food and for being in the Bronx. Next time I come, I'm going to your house and you're gonna make me some burrak? Oh yeah. For sure? <laughs> yes. All right, awesome. So follow him, Instagram, all day. All right, take Let's it go. easy. Thank David. you, bro, thank you. Thank you. This is the real Little Italy, not the one in Mulberry Street. This is the real Little Italy and, and it's a, a Italian, now Italian, Albanian, and uh, South American neighborhood. But the Italian part of it is still authentic. It's old time Italians, old timers that still speak different dialects, Napolitano, Calabrese, Siciliano. Albanians uh, started coming in here because most Albanians came to the United States through Italy. And because they spoke Italian, they came and started doing jobs here in the restaurant business, becoming supers for the Italian landlords. And hence, we became one neighborhood. Uh, it's a very safe neighborhood, even though it's in the Bronx. People really, really take good care of each other. And if you want the best Italian and Albanian food in New York is right here. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. My man, how you doing? Thanks. David. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Hello, hello. How, are you? how are you guys doing? Good to have you here. Thank you, thank nice you. To see you. Pleasure. I love this restaurant. So it's like a traditional home, right? Yes, it is. Awesome. So you have all the different things you use for, for gardening, for yes. cooking over here. These are all artif artifacts collected from uh, mostly more from uh, 19th century and uh, traditional uh, clothing uh, from back 19th centuries to introduce our uh, culture and tradition to uh, Americans and others. So it's like a museum uh, and also like a uh, restaurant and museum. Uh, which you, you get to see it. And it definitely feels like you're stepping back into Albania, Kosovo. I mean, just the traditional style setting. I love it. So it's like almost like a Albanian tavern, I feel, you know? Yes. That's what the, the feels, yes. right? And what do we do here in terms of food? We do chavapa. Basically what we did is we do cook only authentic Albanian food. Show others our tradition and bring our food and introduce it to uh, everybody around here, which has been very greatly appreciated. We're starting off with a little Rocky. Yes. So let's do it. Gazor, Gazor. It's a uh, Gazor. 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 And uh, it's Rocky made in uh, raw vets, uh, imported and uh, made by a great family, Gates family back there. We are very lucky to have him in our community, and uh, it's uh, they brought it here for us. And, uh, do you do this bottoms up? No. Uh, you should. Uh, no. we, we're not that old. We can we can still do it. <laughs> <laughs> Gazor, 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 Gazor. Thank you guys. Mm. It's so good. Oh my god. It's nice though. It's nice, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you're supposed to do it. You know, early morning, a little bit of this. Yes. Keep going, right? Yes, you Gives you energy. So, so we have the appetizers. Yes. Too many. They, these are the appetizers um, that we serve in here. We try to stay very authentic, flea. Yep. It takes uh, around uh, four hours to be made. So, this is uh, the best. Yes, uh, and then that's why we have cooks coming in here in the early morning, and they start cooking appetizers very early. We have so flea, yeah. we yes. have like a small burrack. Yes. We have always cheese and peppers. It's like the best combination. Cheese and peppers from uh, for us and back home uh, always has been a saver. Uh, back there we had we had so many cows, we had so many uh, um, lamb and all that. So that's how we fed uh, in the poverty. And um, so cheese, peppers that was uh, made in, in our country, corn, flour, uh, uh, regular flour mm -hmm. has been there always. And this is why our dishes are basically mainly uh, have you on the cheese 
Yeah, so in Albania, if you guys don't know, they love their dairy, right? So cheese, yes. milk, that is part of the cuisine. Yes. You're always gonna have that. Yes. So it's six different cheeses, yes. multiple layers, and they do this, they, they yes. put a layer, exactly. cheese, layer. Uh, very thin layers of a dough put down with a spoon. It takes it takes a lot of time. The first time I tried fleet was in Kukas. Kukas, yes. Kukas, yes. yeah. So that was like, it's a border town with Kosovo. I mean, from there to prison, I think it's like 25 minutes. 25 minutes, really exactly. Close. Yes, very close. But this was like the ultimate. You know, I thought Burek was good. This is way better. This is... Uh, so do we try one of these? So this is like a yes. mini Burek, right? This is uh, called Mantilla. Mantilla? Uh, yeah, it's Mantilla. It's uh, uh, five different uh, layers of, five layers of the, um, the dough. Um, and after that, right, there's a veal meal, uh, veal meat in mm. there. A lot of our dishes, uh, the taste that you're gonna get is you're gonna get from uh, different vegetables uh, combined together on different level. There's a lot of products that now exist, but the back, back then they didn't exist. This is it's like the ultimate bite. It's an amazing bite, right? It's an amazing bite. It's doughy. Yeah. It's full. Yeah. A little crispy on the outside. It's like yes. perfect. But you know what? Forgive me. <laughs> Mmm, there's like 18 layers here. Crazy. Yeah, it's many. Mmm, so six cheeses here? Yes, melt together. So basically you put dough, and between each each, each layer of dough, you put down a um, layer of uh, cheese, mm -hmm. very small portion. It's filling, I mean, this is something that, like obviously if you're gonna go work in the field, you have this in the morning to get with you rice. Yes. You can eat it right there. That was the idea, that was the idea back then. Yes. This is next level. It's, it's good. Who's? Yeah. I'm poor with cookies. Mm. Yes. Well, and so there's herbs in here as well, right? Yes. A little bit of, a um, little bit of uh, our, um, our, our herbs. <laughs> so there's cornbread with some more yes. herbs, right? Exactly. So basically, um, as we were talking earlier, um, back in the park, we didn't have a luxury of. Uh, uh, making fancy dishes and uh, Sorry, corn was something that was um, that we grew back there and so we had to become um, uh, creative with what we had exactly. at that, back then and this is um, this is one of our dishes it's called lechenik mm. it's made as well with some cheeses in there some uh, Albanian ingredients oh, uh, and um, it's, it's like, a, like a sour cream on top right it's like a, it's a cold tamak Mm, it's, uh, yes, it's kind of Obviously, it's Kaimak. Yes, Come on. you had it before, right? And over here we have the Ivar, and Ivar yeah. which I love. Yes. This I would mix it with everything. Yes, and you do actually, but with the cornbread, it's, it's absolutely oh, it is? very, very delicious, yes. It's a, it's a pe red pepper paste. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. So mm. um, it takes, you know, it takes hours, hours to, uh, to make it. A little smoky, uh, too. Yes, it is smoky, yes, it is. So basically what we do is we take the pe pepper, first we put it on the fire, we burn them a little bit, and after that, they go into the container, they get smashed. It's, it's, it's a long, long process. And after that, they go back into the in fire and container, and they get like uh, cooked for hours. Cooked for hours? For hours. Wow. I mean, this is the best paste on the planet, right? It is. Yeah, no, it, it is, is. It is. So, like, it is. this compares well with everything. Yes. You can have it with some peppers, some cheese, or you could just go in and grab some, right? Yep. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I would eat this like this. Yes, and um, this, <laughs> <laughs> and this gets. This, I have uh, one of the cooks in here. He takes pride of this. So next up, I'm gonna grab some of this beautiful bread, open it up like that. Oh, okay, wow, the creaminess mixed with the bread. Mmm, more like sour cream. Yes. Mmm, sausage. It's good. Dude, you're too much, man. Thank Let me you. also get some of this right here. Yes, to try that. Mm -hmm. That's gonna give you a different taste. This is insane. <laughs> this is part of the culture, right? So they always have pepper and cheese. It's one of the best combinations ever. I'm a big pepper guy. I love vegetables, and the vegetables in you know Albania, Kosovo, they're so fresh. Oh, we were very lucky to have a Italian market. Uh, like literally door. right next door, yes, right? Yes, with an old lady here, we all call, call her mama because she's like, she's like an old, she is an old lady. She's very strong though. She comes in here and, you know, she's like a, like a supervisor. A little auntie, right? Yes, and she comes in and she goes with a couple of bags into the Italian market, uh, picks up all the fruits and everything that we could cook for that day. It does 
cleans them very, very well, puts them aside, and tells everybody what, what we're going to cook for that day. I'm definitely going to try a little piece of this. Yes. All right? So just going to cut it right here. Oh, wow. So what type of pepper is this? Is it a red pepper? Spicy? No, right? No, it's not spicy. No. It's Ital actually, we call it Italian pepper. Mm. That's what it's called. Mm. Oh, man. This is my jam. Creamy peppers. It's like, this is a great dish. Again, this all feels very comforty, right? Yes. Very homey. You know, again, people were very poor. They just made stuff with what they had, you know, the land. So they had their cows, yes. they got the milk, they got the peppers, and they just mixed it into a tub. Yes, and because of many, many wars that we had back there, that was not import, import and export most of the time mm -hmm. at that, the, the, those times. And because there were no, uh, no transportation except on the horses back there, you know, you had to live with what you can make. Whatever is within the land. Yes. When I decided to uh, make this restaurant and do what I did in here, I said I am going to stick to what they used to eat and the way they used to prepare dishes. Okay, so that was the appetizers. Now we have yes. the entrees. They come from different uh, parts of, um, of our country. So you have Monti and Tavi mm -hmm. here that uh, basically are made in Kosovo. The burek, right? Like a little it's dumpling like, in a way? Exactly, uh, with veal meat. Wow, um, with and, cheese uh, always. Yes, cheese. Yes, it's a pepper uh, filled in with, um, with the rice, uh, veal meat as well, uh, pepper, some tomato. And if you guys don't know about tavas, basically they put it into the oven. It's yes. baked in like almost like a skillet plate, yes. right? Yes. And uh, and then they put it in here. Obviously, it was moved from the tava yes. into these plates. So basically, yes. And this is like the, the best. This is uh, tava there. We take pride of on, on the liver. Liver inside. Liver inside. Yes. Also pepper. Yes. You got cheese. Yes. This is what I consider the like the holy grail of tavas. Yes. You know, it's creamy. It's hearty. It is the best. It is. My God, this is the best dish. Thank the you. best dish of the house. Thank you. Wow. So I'm gonna just use that. Mm. Mm. You know, liver has that like that feeling. It's always the same, right? Yes. It's almost like a gamey uh, texture, right? Yes, it's a little it dense. Yes. Whoa. You're gonna have some, or you're good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some. <laughs> I'm also gonna get one of these. It reminds me of the brook. Well, it's on fire. Looking hot. Mmm. So imagine like a tiny burek, right? But then you have all the creaminess around it. Good. I love you. This guy's the man. This guy is like too much. Oh, uh, another Rocky? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have Rocky with your meal, you weren't in Albania. Yes. The way we uh, toast it, we say uh, cheese. So gazor and, and then tadua. Yes, and it's, we say the, um, the Albanian home or the restaurant belongs to the God and the guest. This is how we do this. Hey bro, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for that. Thank like, you. this Appreciate is too much. Like, I thank really, you. really love your food. I'm gonna thank just you. like, I'm supposed to be eating a lot more today, so slow pace. Yes. Mm. Okay, next up we're going down to the kitchen to see how they make the Skanderbeg yeah. dish. He's our chef over here, Avni. He's making Skanderbeg um, from scratch. You guys will see it, how he makes it. These are the ingredients that uh, we make it with. It's basically filet mignon, it's a veal. Filet mignon. There's smoked meat in there. There are three cheeses blended together and the spices. And there's a way we roll it and we make it. It's called uh, Skanderbeg. It's named after our greatest greatest warrior, Skanderbeg, Judge Cassio de Skanderbeg, are a savior of Christianism, known as a savior of Christian, Christianism back in, uh, in, uh, in Europe. So Skanderbeg is Jez Castriotti, right? So that is in Kruja. It's about an hour, hour and a half north of Tirana. He basically, you know, fended off the Ottomans for 25 years. If it wasn't for him, they would have gone into basically Western Europe and taken over. Okay, and right here we have the Skanderbeg. So basically it's veal that has been pounded. They added the smoked meat, cheese. They wrapped it, right, with the veal. Then they breaded it and fried it. That's great. It's gonna be amazing, and like I said. This is a dish that we take pride of because and it's named after after Skinder Bagels. It's gonna be really hot, right? Mmm. Oh man. This is the ultimate schnitzel. It is, yeah. <laughs> wow. Mm, I love the cheese. Very gooey. Oh man, the veal is like perfect. Nice. Nice layer too. It's not like crazy fried, but yeah, it's it's, it's made by um, uh, veal uh, filet mignon. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, we even, even when we pound it, we pound it just very, very, very light. 
I can't stop. I didn't want to eat too much more. <laughs> it's so good. Thank you. Wow. And so where would you find this traditionally? In what city? It's more, uh, mainly in, in, uh, in, in Kosovo and, uh, and Kruy as well. Mm -hmm. um, mm. But uh, in uh, North Albania more. More? More than, uh, yes. Yeah, it's another like really hearty dish. Great for cold weather. Yes. But you know what? This this deserves a little gazor, right? Yes. Another Rocky? Yes. Gizor. My friends, thank you so much. Thank I you. appreciate Thanks it. For coming. Thank you, thank you. But I'm a Thanks for coming. An Albanian restaurant belongs to the God and the guest, and it's great to have you guys here. <sighs> Woo! Cheers. My man, thank you so much, Palamenderi. Thank you. Thank you, Tassos. Amazing, huh? Why are why are people here so kind, man? It's oh crazy, man, it's the man. hospitality, dude. I know, I know. You know, like I've experienced hospitality around the world, but this is like next level. You know, this is, this is like you're basically part of their family now. Yeah. Know? And yeah, so we're almost done. We're going to No Fork right now. So might have a little snack. <laughs> please, <laughs> no more, please. No more food, right? <laughs> right there, right there, No Fork. Beton, how you doing, man? Doing great, man. How are you? Very good. So tell me about No Fork. Uh, so No Fork is the sandwich shop uh, brought from Kosovo. Been on in the industry for like 25 years. We have those kind of famous sandwiches from back home. The main stuff is the prosciutto, the chicken, or the mixed sandwich as well. So No Fork has sandwiches. They have pizzas. We have the prosciutto with cheese. We have oregano on top. I love the bread. It's almost like a hot dog bread, right? And then if you want, they also have pizzas. Beautiful pizza. I just saw like two of them being made. Really incredible. <sighs> Let's do it, my man. Last oh bite, my, last bite. Oh my God, bro. Look at this. Oh Oof. yeah. Dude, you got it too much. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> gizur, gizur. <laughs> oh my God. What a sandwich, huh? This is amazing. Amazing. This is amazing. The cheese, <laughs> it smells through. Oh my god. You have so much prosciutto in there. I love the brand, nice, nice and fluffy. Mmm, but the oregano, that's what makes this dish, huh? You know, it's like the cherry on top of the cake, the oregano. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it adds so much more flavor to it. A hundred percent. And wow, this is my last bite, dude. Oh my god. So good. Wow. This is the Albanian corner in Little Italy, the Bronx, New York City. What an experience. We went to four spots. You have to go to all these places. Oh my God. I mean, we tried Burek, we had Chivap, we had Raki, we had wine, we had Tavas, and a sandwich. I mean, what an experience. If you guys are ever in New York City, definitely head out here to the Bronx and experience true Albanian culture in America. Queens, New York City. Today I'm here with my friend Nikita and we are gonna explore the Bangladeshi Nepalese district of Jackson Heights. If you guys don't know this area, you know, back in the days, a lot of Indians came here. Eventually they moved, most of them moved to Edison and now a huge influx of Bangladeshis and Nepalese are coming in and they have incredible food here. So we're gonna get a mix of, you know, momos, biryani. Dumplings, puchkas and fish. Fish too? Yeah, yeah, local fish you get here. And so puchka is like pani puri galkapa? Yeah, not exactly, but it, it has scrambled eggs on it. Okay. And jalmuri. Okay. You have different types of charts on the street here. So it's all Bangladeshi style. So I've never been to Bangladesh, but I've been to Northeast. I've been to, you know, West Bengal, Kolkata. So I know a little bit of the, you know, of what the cuisine is all about. We're going to start with this food truck right here. So it's Amdo Momo. So we're going to have some momos. Follow us. The best momos in town. The best momos in town? Yeah. You want me to see? Mm -hmm. you, want to, you want me to prove? So here we have beef dumplings with radish, pickled radish, and these are the sauces, and we have to just dip in and eat. And here we have the momos, so beef momos with radish. Beautiful. So what does this remind me of? Well, like shalambao, almost like a soup dumpling, right? So we have two different sauces here. So what is this, like ketchup and uh, mustard? No way. Hot sauce and sesame. So hot sauce and sesame. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the hot sauce because that's my jam. Hot sauce. Woo! <laughs> oh. it's, it's too hot. It's hot. Mmm. Basically, it's like chili oil right here. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh man. Super soft dumpling. Really filling, right? So they filled it up with beef. Obviously, in case you aren't for beef. You know, just know this is a beef dish, but it's so good, nice and juicy. Oh wow, tasty, super tasty. So this dish is $7 for eight pieces. I'm definitely going with some more. 
Spice, because I love a spice. So tasty. So good. Mmm. This is like a, I'd say a seven on the, the heat scale. Wow. Incredible momos. Super delicious. Last time I had something like this was like in Bhutan. Obviously, they don't call it momos there. It's a little different, but so good. My friends, enjoy. Enjoy. Approved. Man, thank you so much. Thank you, thank right. you. So here in this trip, we'll see all these local retail um, shops from Bangladesh. They have blankets, clothing, jewelry, uh, accessories, cell phones, you name it and you get it here. And you even have uh, Patel Brothers right in front of us. No way. Yeah, the best Indian grocery store. So this area is made up of two blocks of grocery stores, restaurants, jewelry shops, everything is Indian, Bangladeshi, and Pakistani, right? That's Th right. That's the blend yes, here. that's the blend here. Awesome. So where are we going next to eat? David, let's come here. Let's go to the shop. Okay, so we're going to a shop that sells basically earrings, necklaces, everything is desi. And you have the earrings, bangles, necklaces, and those are the bridal sets there. I mean, it's just a, a very, very long shop. It literally, I can extend from here to here. That's it. Beautiful bangles. Gorgeous. So everything here is for more for celebrations, right? Festive and wedding bridal wear, with hidden gem and Jackson Heights because it has everything you need. And David, here you have these things called jutis. Seen these in Punjab? Yeah, yeah Punjabi beautiful. Jutis and it's like this one, Bangla juti. It's yeah. Bangla juti, okay. Beautiful. So basically, like sandals, right? Yeah, yeah. Very beautiful. I mean, lots of details, right? Yeah. Intricate designs. Yeah. Very colorful. Obviously, that's what Punjab is all about. Everything good? Yeah, good, good man. There's everything bridal. This and all bridal set. This and bridal shoes. This and backside man's shoes. Yeah, all item. This coming. Follow me. But this is all for women. Where's the men's stuff? Yeah, wedding. Only it's uh, coming, 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 coming. Where are we going? <laughs> this is all men. Baby shoes, men's shoes. This is all leather shoes. This is decoration item. This is everything. So if you're a man and you're looking for, you know, shoes, traditional Desi shoes, Punjabi style, you have over here. These are beautiful designs, very colorful. You have some blue ones, white ones, red ones, burgundy, you know, gray. Very nice. Punjabi. Punjabi Juti. Gorgeous. How much? How much for these? Thirty dollar. Thirty dollar? Only thirty dollar. Oh. Everything thirty dollar. These are shoes. Thirty thirty dollar. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. I see you next time. Oh. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye, thank bye. you all. So next place we'll go to the Fuchka stall. There, it's a Bangladeshi food stall, and we'll have some Fuchkas, Jalmoris and uh, doi puchkas. This is the first puchka cart in the USA. Bengali street food. My friends, puchka. How are you doing? I'm doing. Yeah, doing. You all right? we, want, we want some puchka. No, no, yeah, puchka. puchka. All right, so I'm here with a new subscriber. His name is Charjol, and we're gonna have some puchka. Not Yo. bani puri, it's puchka, right? Yeah, so we have the bani, which is the water in the bottom, right? Right Basically here? Basically take it, you dip it into the, the shell, okay. and you go for it. So yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do one for you. I'm gonna do one for me. All right, let's do it. Grab it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Mmm. Good, right? Tastes like you know, never gets old. Coriander potatoes. Wow. It's so full. It's so filling. Yeah. Eggs as well. Eggs, chickpeas, um, onions, different different masalas. Mmm. It's really flavorful, tender. A little spicy. Yeah, and the shell has to be crispy. Yeah, it has you, to be crispy. You have to eat it right after you, you know. If basically. you throw this, uh, you know, the, the water into it, yeah. and you wait too long, it becomes too soggy. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You want to go for it right away. Right away. There we go. There we go. In India, they call me the Pani Puri God. Oh, really? Well, in Bangladesh, they're going to call you the Fucha God. <laughs> Fucha is better than Pani Puri. No. Yeah. Oh, we're starting, we're starting drama already. Yeah. Mumbai? <laughs> okay, let's go. So, what is this next dish? The next dish is jalmuri and it's a puffed rice, crunchy due to the save, and it has spice because of the green chilies. It's really good. All right, so let me try it. Mmm. A little bit of spice. Yep. Not so bad. Mm -hmm. Very crunchy. 
Okay. Obviously, pop rice. This is a chat. Yeah, it's a chat. Mm -hmm. It's a street food. Me <laughs> Oh, it's spicy. spicy! Yeah, because it has green chilies. Nice, yeah, spicy, spicy. Mmm. <laughs> uh, green chilies, like you mm -hmm. have these green chilies here. Fuchka, I need one more. No, no, no. Wow, that was amazing. So where to next? So next, we'll take a break from eating and we'll explore the farmers market right in front of us. Okay, that's apna. It's apna is like ours in Hindi. It's called like. Our sells like closed ones. Apna. Okay. Bazaar is like a bazaar. It's in it's a farmer's market. You have groceries, you have vegetables, and whatnot. Let's check out. Let's go. It's right here. Literally just across the street. This is the best thing about India. You oh get this all over the streets. So we have sugarcane juice. We have sugarcane. Just gonna cut it up. We're gonna put it into this. It's extracted Inside, juice, yeah. and you have it. Obviously, right now it's not so hot, but it's perfect. And this is it. Sugarcane juice, the best. If you ever walk the streets of India. You have to have this. I have like two of these a day, especially in the heat. But this one, they added a lot of ginger. Let's see. Oh, I mean, if you don't like ginger, don't get this one. Yeah. <laughs> but I love ginger. Mm. It's really sweet and it has that spicy ginger. Flavor. Yeah, exactly. I mean, sugarcane juice is extremely sweet, but, but this is the best thing to refresh you in the heat, he, right? Yeah, it just calms you down immediately. Yeah, luckily for us, today's a really cool day here in New York, so it's not so bad. I'm a Miami guy. Yeah. If it's only 70 degrees, I'm freezing. <laughs> Dude, this is amazing, dude. I feel like I'm back in India, back in Asia in general, you know? When I was in Asia, as you said, when it was hot, I was I used to I used to have like a couple of these every single day. This it's amazing. Hey David, so we just finished having our uh, sugarcane juice. We have some grocery stores around here, but this place is really good for its sweets. It's called Premium Sweets and Restaurants. Let's go and check out. Okay, Premium Sweets. Let's go inside. This isn't just a sweet shop. They also have basically a buffet line here. So they have different biryanis, they have different curries. Over here we have duck curry, we have... Lamb, we have chicken, and all these are vegetable, like that's cabbage and cluster beans and what? Green beans as well, eggplant, that one looks amazing. And that's potato. So we have a variety of vegetarian and non-vegetarian feast over here. Okay, I think we should do sweets though. Yeah, that's right? it, yeah. I've eaten too much today, I need sweets. Oh, this looks all so good. This one right here, the duck curry? Mm. It's the next, time. next time, yeah, next time. This is the biggest thing about India, Bangladesh, that whole area. They love sweets. Sweets, 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 sweets is king, right? Yeah, all meals we need to have one sweet with every meal. And so what is this? So this is uh, kala jamun, this is baby gulab jamun, and this is gur sandesh. It's like brown sugar. Okay. And it's very famous here. People from different states drive in and they get it. This one? This one, yes. Okay, so just cut it? No, you have to just open it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you have to open it? Yeah, so it's wrapped. Oh, it's wrapped. Okay, I thought it was... No. It was a big thing. Wow, I didn't know this. Cheers. Mmm. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet, and you have the milk powder taste. Mm -hmm. And it's sweet from natural brown sugar. Mm. It's called gur. Gur. Gur, yeah. Wow, I mean it's dense, dense. it's crumbly and sweet, that's it, basically it. It has a hint of caramel because it's, mm. the sugar has been, you know, burned down to like the caramel kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. Take that away from me. It's too much. <laughs> I mean it's like straight sugar right there. Yeah. This is the one I haven't tried before. Yeah, so this is Kala Jamun. Kala Jamun, so it's like fingers. Kala, it's Kala is black. It's okay. Kala Jamun, it's similar to Gulab Jamun, but it's... So basically the same thing, just the shape is different. Shape and the color. Okay, my friend, let's do it. Mm. So basically the same thing. I don't really taste a huge difference. It's not, but the shape and the color is different. Mm -hmm. And it's called Kala Jamun because of the shape, mainly because of its shape. And this is from Bangladesh? Yeah, this is like their local dish over there. Okay. Everybody loves it. And the other ones are Gulab Jamun, yep. which is a you know a staple in Desi culture. So I wasn't expecting this, but we got biryani. So what biryani is this? Uh, it's called Kachi biryani. Kachi. It, kachi. And it has goat meat in it, and it's a very... Um, flavorful and a local biryani which is loved by Bangladesh people. So how do we eat this? Very easy. With your hand, right? Yeah. Oh, the coat is so hot. Okay, it's too hot. 
I'm just gonna get some of the biryani. Ooh, it's like scorching. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. So tasty. You need to have the egg. The egg too? Yep. Whoa. This egg has something different on top. Yeah, it's flavored. Mm hmm. Nice flavor. Yep. Whoa. A little bit of spice in here too. Uh, in terms of biryani, mm -hmm. it just obviously it feels just plain right now because I haven't mixed in the goat, yeah. but the meat's way too hot. I think I'm gonna use something to break it up. My hands are on fire. I broke off a piece. Mmm. Oh, nice tasty goat. Mmm. I love goat. It's more lean, more gamey, way less fat here. So you mix it in with some of this with your hands. And also mix in some egg. I'm not a fan of the egg. That's all you. <laughs> she's vegetarian, so she's not eating this, but yep. it's really tasty. I, I really haven't had a lot of goat biryani. I have more chicken biryani, veg biryani. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you'll find this more in places where they're more non veg, right? Yeah. Yep. It's too good. Mm, biryani is life. They call us the king of dishes in India, right? Yep. And every place has their own special biryani. Mm hmm. In terms of the rice, there's no raisins in here. It's basically just a few spices. Yep. So you pepper right there, peppercorn? Peppercorn, cloves. Oh. <laughs> that was spicy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I love it, but the goat's still way too hot. I'm gonna wait a little while. I think I'm good though. Yeah. You sure you're not gonna eat? No. I know, I'm joking yeah. with you. <laughs> I'll watch you enjoy. It goes so much flavor. Very tender. Some spices as well. It's marinated. Marinated, huh? Yep. Oh, it's still too hot though. Cool down with some of the rice. Really good. My man, thank you so much. Thank you. We've been eating non-stop. I'm really, really full. Cannot eat any more sweets of Riani. Too many sweets here. Wow, everything looks amazing. That's rasgula, right? Big rasgula. You like rasgula or yeah. gula jamun? Which is your favorite? Rasgula is my favorite. Yeah? Yeah. Like a true Bengali? <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome, brother. Take Thank care, bro. You're done? You're done for the day? No, I'm just done eating. <laughs> no more eating. And we're going over here to basically where the train goes over, right? This is the most iconic thing you will see in many movies, including Spider Man. Spider Man Homecoming, actually, the first Spider Man with Tom Holland. This is the spot, right? So I was here the other day, I did a Colombian food tour here. There's also amazing Mexican food here. It's a big diversity of food, but obviously this section over here is Bangladeshi. And over here, we have the spot. Love it, look at this, beautiful. Wow, man. All right, my friends, we did it. We explored the Bangladeshi area of Jackson Heights right next to this overpass. You have a small area, it's like two streets. You have non-stop shops. You have street food vendors, you have restaurants. We did a few things, right? Yeah, we had uh, the beef momo. Beef momo. We had puchka. Puchka. Jalmuri. Okay. Biryani and sweets. And sweets. Oh, and we had and sugar cane. Juice. So extracting it right there on the street, just like they would do in India, Bangladesh, that whole area. I mean, today I'm here with my cousin Paulina, and we're gonna be eating Indo Chinese food at Tangra Asian Fusion. This is an incredible restaurant. The family comes from Kolkata and from Darjeeling. And if you guys don't know that area, a lot of Chinese influence. So Chinese immigrated over there and they started mixing their cuisine with masalas. So Indo-Chinese is amazing. You got like chow, you have some like delicious chicken. They got momos. Oh, I cannot wait. Are you excited? I'm super excited, let's do this. And what does Tangra mean, do you know? No idea. No idea. So Tangra is the Chinese neighborhood in Calcutta. That's why they call it the Tangra. So let's go inside. Let's meet with the owner. Let's go to the kitchen. I can't wait to eat. This is going to be amazing food. A little spicy. I love spice. I'm not good at spice, but... <laughs> Alright, let's go. Ready? Ready. Love the restaurant. So it looks like a traditional Chinese restaurant, right? And you got like some beautiful tables, very spread out. And over here, we have the family. What's up, guys? How's it going? Good, you? Good, how are you? Kai. David, pleasure. Nice to pleasure. meet you. Hi, Yulan. Nice David. to meet you, David. Pleasure. So what are we doing today? Uh, we're going to feed you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're here to introduce you guys to Indo-Chinese cuisine here at Tangra Asian Fusion. We are going to make a Tangra soup, Tangra masala soup, which is a special house soup. And it's, uh, it's with like shrimp, crab, and, uh, I just put chicken. I chicken. Didn't, I, didn't, okay. I put shrimp and chicken. chicken. Okay. I got a little spot in it. You ready for this? 
Definitely. <laughs> I love this restaurant. Look at this. You got the wok. You have the soups, we have the chicken. It's gonna be so good. Chicken lollipop. Oh, the best, the best. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the soup and some chicken lollipop. Paulina's never had this before. She's gonna be blown away. Let's hope so. Okay, Paulina, are you excited or what? I'm scared. You're scared? <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at handling spice. <laughs> no, it's not gonna be too spicy. So the soup is gonna be a little spicy, but not too much, not overbearing. They put a little bit of sriracha, right? And it's more like an egg drop soup. If you ever had you know, Chinese food, egg drop soup is one of the staples uh, soups they have. And then in front of us, we have the chicken lollipop. So this is the wing, and they move the meat to the bottom, and then they fry it. It is amazing. It's not a drumstick, so it's not a drumstick. It's a wing, and then they have this delicious sauce on the bottom. And they gave us mango lassi. So this is a staple in India. So wherever you are in India, wherever it's hot, you know, after spicy food, you have this. Let's try it. Mm-hmm. Mango's amazing. So good. Mm-hmm. Super tasty. Not too thick. Yes. Mm -hmm. No? Wow, so we have fresh mango on top. I've never Thank seen you. it like this. Yes, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh nice. So good. Fantastic. Yeah. I don't know if you know, but mango is the national fruit of India. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm hmm Didn't know that. So there's shrimp, there's egg, I think there's tofu. Mm, so it looks a little slimy, right? In terms of the consistency of the soup. Mm -hmm. You ready for spice? Yeah. Mmm. Oh, but it's like the perfect amount. Yeah, right? Not too spicy. So good. Mm hmm Mmm. Nice chunky shrimp. Tofu, slimy. Mm -hmm. mm. I love this type of soup. Um, cilantro. Oh, cilantro, so right? So good. You're you're from Calcutta. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> Amazing. Sorry, my hands are I've been three times Calcutta. Yeah. Three times. All right, three times. I had to cross to Bhutan. I had to cross to Assam to Meghalaya. Uh -huh. Amazing. Next time I go Darjeeling. So, Let us know when yeah. you go. I, I hear it's yeah. paradise. It's very nice. And by the way, the prettiest women in India, Darjeeling. <laughs> 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 it's like the perfect level of spice for people that can't really handle their spice really well but super good because it's like a good kind of spice where it's not like burning your mouth but it's like really tangy tangy you know so paulina and i literally fasted this morning we wanted to eat a lot today because mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gonna eat a lot i think it's gonna be like 10 dishes yeah, yeah. and this is just like wetting our appetite 100%. Mm -hmm. mm. i'm personally a huge fan of chinese food and obviously i love indian food so there's like the perfect mix. So much flavor. Yeah. They don't even skimp out on the shrimp. Put a lot of shrimp in here. But now, you feel it. Mm-hmm. Like, <sighs> and the whole face. The whole face, the oh whole my face. God. <laughs> it's like burning up my tongue. <laughs> and that's why we have the mango lassi. Just mm -hmm. for this reason, right? And right here, we have the chicken lollipops. So this is the wing, right? They move the meat to the bottom and they fry it. And it has some nice, Sauce, it looks like a mayo sauce, you know, mm -hmm. like a spicy mayo. I don't know exactly if it's exactly that, but uh, luckily we let it sit for like five minutes, mm -hmm. not too hot. So definitely get some of that sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Right there. Good? All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. It's so good. It's chunky, it's crispy. There's herbs in here. My cousin loves like Korean fried chicken, right? doesn't get any better than this. No, I don't know. This is so good. Mm. Oh, wow. And it's lightly fried, not too deep. Mm. Look at that. Amazing. It's a great appetizer and it's a staple, right? Another thing you have to try when you eat any Indian Chinese mm. restaurant. Wow. When you get close up in here, you feel that spice, right? Yeah, this is it hits you. This is called sizzling uh, okra, tangra masala okra. Then we are going to serve it to the customer. The 
perfume of the chili, right? Uh, we use everything like fresh chili, ginger, garlic. It's all fresh. And so, and so you said the f the main ingredients in Indo Chinese is chili, garlic, and and uh, ginger. And ginger. Right, Hugo. Yeah. Onion. Fresh ginger. Fresh, uh, all this. All these other ones. Chicken chili. Look how tasty that looks. Here we have Georgia chicken that's a little bit sweet and spicy and it's garnished with uh, sesame seed and the next one next dish is uh, called chili chicken fresh ginger and garlic and some onions on the top uh, fusion tacos that's with uh, chicken with tzatziki sauce on the top with some garnish with lettuce and all that and then we have gobi salt and pepper and the other one we have here is uh, paneer that's uh, Sejuan paneer, a little bit spicy and sweet. Uh, this is again the tangra masala uh, fried rice, that's with shrimp. This is a twist of uh, Indian spices with a few, uh, fusion, a Chinese fusion. And then we have chicken dumplings with a house-made green chutney. And the filling is chicken inside. Okay, we have too many dishes. Too many to remember, right? Too many to remember, but we're gonna start off with the tangra tacos. Cause you said it gets a little soggy, so you have to eat it fast, right? So you wanna grab one? So tzatziki sauce, lettuce, Manchurian chicken. So this is gonna be crunchy, it's gonna be refreshing because of the salad, right? Oh, I can't wait, cheers. cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, good. oh, the sauce. It's sauce makes it. It's ridiculous. Oh. My mouth keeps watering, looking at it. Look at this, and the sauce is so good. So it's not sweet, but it's more like a Whoa, got a little heat, huh? A little heat. We're enjoying it. Mmm. Now it's eating with your hands, so just pick it up, right? Mmm. -hmm. Great mix, huh? Mm hmm Whoa. So if you want to, you can go chicken, beef, or shrimp. This one's chicken. I think we have to jump onto the momos next because she's saying, obviously, this came out of the steamer. So I'm gonna grab one for you like that. Boom. Grab one for myself. And we have cilantro chutney. Cilantro chutney? Yes. So I'm sure there's some chili. You want some, you sure? No. Oh, a little chili, just a little bit. Just a little bit, right? I'll get a lot. And this, we're eating with our hands, it's all good. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. So it's like a, it's totally like a salsa almost. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Oh wow, not spicy. Chicken momo, so basically chicken dumplings, right? Steamed. I prefer always steamed over fried. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fry guy. It's a mash. So good, auntie. So good. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. I'm actually like getting to a food coma just looking at the food, you know? Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. So maybe next we should get some of this. You want some some of the Thai basil noodles, right? Thai basil. Shrimp, chicken, and beef. Bro, it's still hot. Yeah. I'm get some of the shrimp too, no? I'm blown away. I love this, these dishes and right here, this is basically, it's almost like glass noodles, so super thin noodles, right? Mm -hmm. It has Thai basil, it has a little bit of sauce, you can smell the chili, it's like hitting you right away. Ready for that bite? Yeah. Let's do it. Mmm. It's so chewy. Mmm. -hmm. Chewy. Mmm, refreshing. Love the spring onion in here too. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Not too spicy, right? No, it's perfect. I feel like I'm getting spices from everything, right? Mm -hmm. Like it just hit you. Mm -hmm. 
So it's her first time on camera. She's a little nervous. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good though. Yeah. But you enjoy it, right? Yeah. I mean, this is the best part about like, especially Indo Chinese food, people don't even know about it. Mm -hmm. You know? You didn't even know about it when I told you about it. Not at all. Taiwanese So good. I love this type of dish in Chinese cuisine. It's like chicken with sesame seeds, it got spring onions, and then it's like a delicious glazy sauce always. Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes spicy. I think this one's like a half and half, right? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> Cinnamon. Yeah, something like that. So far, it's my favorite dish. Yeah, same. I need some more of this lassi because. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's still burning. Mm -hmm. They also do cocktails here, so they suggested that we try their mojito. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of a twist, right? Not your, your common mojito with Bacardi. This, I'm sure that has like a masala in here, something spicy, right? Mmm, -hmm. mm, love the mintiness. My cousin, cheers. Cheers. So happy to see you. We've never hung mm -hmm. out for real hung out, right? Our first time. First time. It's crazy. She just moved here to the city. College girl, all grown up. Wow, that's really good. Oh, it's refreshing, so huh? So good. So, have you had a lot of experience with Indian food? Is there any in Puerto Rico? Mm, not that I've ever gone to. Not that you ever gone to. So, basically, this is the first time for you trying Indian food slash Indo Chinese food, right? Yeah, first time. So, let's try this. Mm hmm. So, basically, just breaded cauliflower. Not too spicy. Yeah. If you want to. It's a mess like that, right? Mm. On top. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope you. And it's certainly not too spicy. Mm. Just enough. Mm, nice and sometimes chutneys are just a little thicker. Mm. This one, like not like more pasty. This one's more watered down. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. All right. We need to jump on this right now. Yeah. This is like spicy rice tangra. I forgot the name of it, but she said it. There's some um, some shrimp in here, and obviously red always means the tangra. Tangra. Are you feeling the spice? Or what? Yep. I know. It starts to sneak up on you. Wow. Mhm. Mm mm. It's really mild. It's mild. Pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have egg in here, we have peas, onions, and shrimp. Mm -hmm. yeah, this oh. is one of the lighter dishes. It's starting to hit. Yeah? Okay. yeah? It's amazing. This one's not too spicy. Yes. Mm -hmm. this is, this is the it's perfect, it's mild. Flavor, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the, we have like three other locations. So one of the locations that's in Grand Avenue. They have crispy ginger pea, beef, uh, crispy ginger and scallion. They have uh, Hakka chow mein, Hakka fried rice, and uh, sizzling dishes, a lot of them. So next up we have this the chili they chicken. They give you more of like a masala sort of. More chicken. More chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm. That was a whole bone. Mmm. Too much bone? Yeah, no. some pieces have more bone. No. The sauce is more dry, right? Yeah? No. A lot of chili in here though. The yeah. whole thing is like covered in and chili seeds. <clears throat> Feel a little bit, right? Cool it down with some mojito. No. Mojito. I'm in love with this restaurant. It's so good. It's too good. And you know, traditional style. And also, I was gonna tell you, this is a 40th. So when you come from Grand Central Station, go to Queens on the 7th and get off at 40. That's what we did today. Another beautiful dish. I think you're gonna like this a lot. So you never had paneer, right? Mm -mm. So paneer is basically cottage cheese, always like this in cubes. Looks like this might be a little spicy. Okay. We'll see. But um, it's so good. And if you eat pure veg in India, like I told you before, like you know, big pop, big majority of the population in India is uh, straight vegetarians, mm -hmm. right? Because obviously, if they're Hindus or J Jains, Jains, sorry if I say that wrong, um, you know, they're pure veg. They don't kill animals. Okay. It's part of it, right? So that's why they eat cottage cheese, and I think you're gonna like it. If you like cheese, yes. love it. Mm-hmm. So a dense cheese cube. That's good. Mm-hmm. Cottage cheese balances out the spice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cuts it, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Whoa. 
I'm getting there, huh? No. We still have dessert. Okay, so we cannot finish any Indian meal without sweets. It's part of the culture. They love their sweets in India. And here we have two kulfis, which is, <coughs> oh my God, the chilies, which is basically um, an ice cream from India, kulfis ice cream in India. So it's not exactly how ice cream that we know, you know, it's not like super creamy and falling apart. It's a mix between like that and sorbet. You could tell, right? It looks yeah, like yeah. it, right? So it's delicious. This is the chai one. Love chai. Chai is tea. It's my favorite. So it has, I think she said, uh, cardamom and saffron, I think she said, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then this one's rose. Love rose. I can drink rose water all day long. Mm. Let's do it, my friend. Ooh. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, you don't know. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. And they also put cinnamon on top of this one. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. Mm. Let me try that one. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. The rose. So good. There's some um, like raisins in here too, right? Mm hmm. It's like fruity. Mm. Yeah, they're both so good. Oh my gosh. So different, right? So different. The rose ones, a little denser. Mm -hmm. This one obviously is more like. It almost reminds me of like a coffee um, ice cream, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. Oh my gosh. Hey, bibs, auntie, best food ever. Mm -hmm. This food is mind blowing. And that's it, my friends. That is Tangra Asian Fusion, Indo Chinese food in the heart of Queens. This is called Sunnyside. I think Sunnyside, right? It was so good. You liked it a lot, right? Yes, awesome. First time trying it. Incredible. I made a believer out of her. Yep, 100%. Oh, and that's it, my friends. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere in New York City where dreams are made of. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> Asian fusion, Indo-Chinese food in the heart of Queens. This is called Sunnyside. I think Sunnyside, right? It was so good. You liked it a lot, right? Yes, awesome. First time trying it, incredible. I made a believer out of her. Yep, 100%. Oh, and that's it my friends. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure. Somewhere in New York City. Albanian food at Dua Cafe. If you guys don't know what Dua means in Albanian, that means love. So it's the Love Cafe. This place is beautiful, super small, intimate setting. I love the interior. They have like church benches and seats, lots of different famous celebrities all over the walls, and they make traditional Albanian food. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, I know you don't, right? No. So that is a mix of like tava, so basically tava is like almost like a skillet they put it in the oven, right? So it bakes, so so good, nice meat with tomatoes. They also have something called flea. Flea is like lots of different layers of dough mixed with eggs and that goes into, you know, the baking oven like a tandoor, but not tandoor, it's like a real oven. Mm -hmm. And then they have raki, which is distilled grapes. And then we're gonna try like seven different dishes. Talista. Yes, I'm hungry. All right, so let's go inside. Let's meet with the owner and let's eat some food. I mean, right over here we have Dua Lipa. We have, who else do we have? I mean, it's all Albanian superstars, right? Rita or Dua Lipa, Rita or Dua Lipa, Bibereja, Ava Max. You have Mario, you know, make up Mario with Kim Kardashian. So, Cheleshe from the south and north is please. See, it's a little different. I don't know if you know this, but when I travel in Albania, I wore this every day. I saw it, yeah. Every single day. <laughs> I was like the tourist, but to be honest, everybody loved it, especially Albanians, they love it. Welcome, you're Albanian now by adoption. <laughs> okay, you gotta see this painting, it's also in, uh, in Tirana, the National uh, Museum. So this is not just a painting, it's very meaningful. So we start from Pelaz, where we come from, Illyrians, and then uh, now Renaissance, and then nowadays, and always women first. Look at that, women first, everywhere. Okay, so before we start with the food, we're yeah, gonna do some the Rocky. Glasses too, right? Yeah, get it's the glasses. Amazing, yeah. amazing. So these glasses, obviously, they're from here, so branded, and they have the yeah, yeah, eagle. We, yeah, we made it. Yeah, we're drinking this. Uh, it's called Balkazani Scrapari. That, so it's supposed to be the best Rocky in, in Albania, and Scrapari is known for it. You know, Rocky is like it's a hundred percent grape. It's a white brandy, mm -hmm. and it, it's it's uh, like a grappa, but grappa is made with leftovers. We make it with 100% grape. Gazor. 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 It's good. It reminds me of aguardiente. 
It's really good. And oh my god! <gasps> I wish it was winter. <laughs> salad octopodi, octopus salad here. Okay, so these are uh, stuffed eggplants. These are really good vegetarian style. All right, Diana, are you ready to try some of the best Albanian food in New York City? Yes, I oh am ready. Oh my gosh. So you want to try, obviously, the cheese first because yes, it's really cool. Yeah, right? So I'm going to cut this in half. Wow, this is, oh, look at this. It literally just like melts and spicy. So spicy feta. So the oil plus the chili flakes. So it's not oil, it's spicy honey. Spicy honey. So which one you want to start with? I'm going to try the spicy feta first. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Mmm. The honey. I wasn't expecting that. Mm-hmm. It's like literally melting in your mouth, right? So it's super soft. Mm. The spice level is perfect. Nice and light, yeah, right? Not too much. Yeah, because I don't eat a lot of spicy food, but this would be good for someone. Much, mm -hmm. This is the right kick of spicy. Yeah. And yes. it's, it's a little bit sweet. Yeah, yeah, the honey. Because of the honey, it's so mm -hmm. good. So like in Albania and in Kosovo, you get you don't get that much spice, but you get like chilies. Mm. So they have peppers with cheese, and that it's hot, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's not like spicy, spicy. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Here wow. we go. Here we go. Mmm, mm. Nice and soft. The crunch in the top. Like they he nuked it, right? What is that crust? It's just the cheese? I'm gonna dip this into the honey. I have to. Fine, I'll do the same. Mmm. Are we supposed to do this? Is this right? Hey man. I think it is right. Yes it is. It's <laughs> right, it's right. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. So really different cheeses, right? So this one's extremely soft, feta cheese. This is more of a white cheese mm. that is a little denser. I love the layer on top. So that is just the fire, right? Yes. That's it. So one is called Kachkala. It's a... Uh... Mm -hmm. I think Diana and I are not gonna leave one thing. Um, food coma. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a food coma. Mm. Next two dishes, we have eggplant, which it's gonna be amazing, I'm sure. It's like falls apart in your mouth. Very versatile. This is a vegan dish. There's no cream, no butter, nothing, right? Just nothing. just like a stew almost, yeah. right? And then over here we have the octopus salad, which looks like a ceviche, right? And then you put dua right here and you put a little heart, so dua to dua. Dua to dua. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's Love start. For the stomach. <laughs> yeah, right? Love for the stomach. This is gonna be so good. Let's do it. Let's do it. I, I, I'm gonna have a big bite. A big, big bite, huh? Mm. Mm. It melts, man. Que rico. Que rico. Mm. Mm. <laughs> nice, healthy dish, right? Oh, this is so... Oh my gosh. This is... Tomatoes, but you have some... Um, onions. Onions. What else do we have in here? That's it? The onions. It's, uh, you know, tomatoes. The... Tomatoes and then herbs, you know, mm -hmm. oregano stuff. And mm. black pepper is salt, that's it. So good, and so then healthy. You bake this, you know, but it's a process, like you have to. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have to go through, you know, and then you bake it. Mm. Doesn't matter what country it's from, if it's homemade food, it makes you feel like home, right? Mm. <laughs> Gazor. Gazor, this Gazor. is a rackel, and then the first rackel ever. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, easy to drink. I love the pomegranate. This is dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is scary stuff. <laughs> All right, so next up we have the last three plates, right? So we have the octopus. Over here we have the albasan tava. So this is a lamb casserole. So it's yogurt and lamb. This is the best dish in Albania. I mean, for me, the tavas, so good. And over here we have chivapi. So minced meat, like almost the shape of sausages, right? But I've never seen it with cheese on top. So good, and this is flea. So flea is like so many different layers. I think it's like 20 layers in between, usually cheeses, and this one has honey. We're gonna let this stuff cool down. Let's try this octopus. Oh, I love octopus salad. I mean, I would eat this just as my meal, you know? Yeah. It's incredible. I'm gonna give you more, no? Thank you. You always sort of like try to compare when you try something new to something you already know. Mm-hmm. 
You didn't do oh. that. I'm sorry. It was so good though. Couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. It's so soft, the octopus. Mmm, nice and tender. Tomatoes literally like been baked, you know? Yeah. Falls apart. This is take too much, my friend. Too much. You can tell this dish took a lot of time. Look, I'm Italian. I don't want to insult Italy. But some of the best pastas of my life, best seafood of my life, was in Duras. Huh? On the coast. Oh man, and so you get, it, it's so good in Duras, it's so good. And obviously because they have a huge Italian influence, they do really good stuff. And usually a lot of the Albanians, yeah, your brother states in a way, so like a lot of Albanians go over to Italy, they learn how to cook, and then they come back and they use the ingredients that are super fresh, mm. and it's just like a mind-blowing experience. Like, for real. Mm. I don't want to insult any of my Italian family here, but... No, we love Italian. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I'll keep going with this. It's too good. I'm gonna be so popular with my New York friends. Oh yeah, you're gonna be like bringing them to the best restaurant ever. Mm -hmm. This is like the main dish of the country, Chivapi. But also the neighboring states have it as well. Uh -huh. So like Bosnia does it, most of the states in the Balkans do it, but they just do it a little differently in Albania. And usually you'll get bread, you know, a nice bread, and they stuff it. So you say you want five, you want 10, or you want 15. Some people get 15 and make like a huge burger. So it's so chibab. sort of like a bread and bread, and in between, like in a between, you, you just add these, like a million of these. Some people really get fifteen, like they're like ah, huge. Mm -hmm. Oh man! And they're this size. They're this size, yeah. And wow. this is chivapi. And then if you go to a place, like if you see a restaurant in Albania or in Kosovo, it's called chivatore. Okay. So like chivapi place. Chivape. 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 Sorry. Chivape. Chivape. Mm-hmm. The cheese. Mm. Mm. Nice minced meat. Smoky on the grill. They gusta. Mm. Colombia approves mm -hmm. of Albanian food. <laughs> so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't even tell you how good this is. I'm not a meat eater, but um yeah, this is the type of thing that gives you yeah. switch back to meat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> To be honest, I don't know how people give up meat because it's hard for me, obviously, with my job, but... Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Good. Too good. I actually didn't try a flea until my second trip to Albania when I crossed into Kosovo. Mm -hmm. I went to a place called Kukes, mm -hmm. and the women made it for me, like, in the back of the house. So they have a huge pan, and they put the dough, they, they put it, and then they put cheese, like, super like melted cheese mm -hmm. we put another layer then cheese another layer cheese like this and so you see there's many layers but this one's special because it has honey so let's do it yeah let's go for it okay. oh i love the layers you have talked so much about this one i'm really excited about it this one's the best wow mm -hmm. mm. so outside a little crispy inside i love the dough I don't know how to, spread, how to compare this with anything. Mm. There's no point of comparison. <laughs> no. mm. It's its own thing. I never had something like this. No. In my life. That's why I love it so much. Oh my gosh. So mm -hmm. tasty. So tasty. The honey, man. This honey from it's Albania. It's better, right? Oh, it's way better. It's much better now. I, I, I like honey a lot. So. No, but also this is like a cooked honey with it, you know? So oh, okay. It's like a. That's the tiny, you know, so it's different. My friend Gazor, I hope you enjoy it. Salud. Salud. <sighs> oh. You know what's crazy? I drink this four times a day in Albania. Ooh, this I is know. the other one, right? This is the other, yes, yeah, so this is Stone Castle. This is actually the biggest winery in Kosovo. This is their part of it. Okay. And they have their office the, for the USA office in the Bronx, like right there in the Albanian corner. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. So next up, we have one of my favorite dishes ever in Albania, the Albasan Tava. Albasan is a big city. It's about an hour south of Tirana, really close to where my farm is, like Dias Village, like 20 minute drive. Beautiful place. Uh, they have a castle, etc. And this is where this Tava was invented. It's a lamb casserole. Look at that. Just cream, huh? So that's yogurt and lamb. Mm-hmm. 
for about No, that's why you have to let it sit. You yeah. know, that's one thing that you have to like know about this country is that they serve everything really hot. So let it sit, but you ready for this? Part. Yes. Ooh, it's still hot. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tenderness of the lamb. And they also have this version, but like it's not arbasan, but it's with tomatoes, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they'll put a, a pepper and just the cream and just a big pepper and that's it. And then you obviously get the bread and you dip, right? Yeah, yeah. This is a very unique thing again. Mm -hmm. I've never had anything similar to this before. No, and again, this is like for the winter month, right? Mm -hmm. If it's really, really cold outside, you have this and you get really full. Like right now, this is what's filling me up the most, the dolo. Uh -huh. you know? Yeah, very filling for sure. Mm hmm. Mm. Save some room. We have baklava. Mm, dessert? Mm, dessert. With their honey? With more honey. Mm -hmm. Honey, walnuts, dough, the whole array of Albania. Mm. <laughs> Here we have a tres leches cake, okay. Albanian style, with some caramel on top. Okay. And here we have a baklava with sweet and condensed milk. And with thyme on top. With thyme on top. So which one are you going to start with? I think here because it's closer to me. So if you guys don't know what tres leches is, so it's like a milky <laughs> cake. So you have caramel on top, mm -hmm. not too sorece, but very sugary, obviously. Yeah. Tres leches cake is one of the best things mm -hmm. in the world. It's literally a cake dipped into a mixture of three types of milk. Evaporated okay. milk, sweet and condensed milk, and another milk. Okay. For um, a few hours until the cake absorbs all this mixture. So it has and everything blended through, right? Exactly. So the cake gets really moisty like this. Mm -hmm. And then they add caramel on top and some cinnamon, I think, as well. Exactly. It's really nice. Yeah, it reminds me of like if you have like cafe con leche and you like put the tostada inside. Mm. Like that? Yeah, it reminds me of that. Mm -hmm. It's a staple dessert throughout the entire Balkans. With condensed milk. With condensed milk. This is unusual. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Accidente. No, you're. Está bien, está bien. Mm -hmm. It's warm. No, nice and warm. Yeah, you see, it's unusual, that's what I said. I like the condensed milk. It's condensed milk, it's mm -hmm. not the, the classic, you know, sugar, so diabetes, no. No, no. This is fantastic. Mm. And the bottom? Look at this. Oh, thank you so much. Nyatutre. Gazor, Gazor. Oh, do a cafe in the East Village. I love this guy. Amazing. Thank yeah. you so much, dude. Thank you so much. The food was incredible. Thank you. What was your favorite? The eggplant, number one. The eggplant? Yes. I'll say the octopus, but I love seafood. And the javapi? Mm, delicious. Yeah, thank you. Man. Thank delicious. you so much. Everything was amazing. Well, guys, if you're ever in the island of Manhattan, the city, come down. To the East Village and come to Dua Cafe, which means love in Albanian. Incredible food. Definitely make a reservation, right? Yes. We don't take any reservations. <laughs> <laughs> but we're here. Come out here. Try some Albanian food. You will love it. In Murray Hill, this is basically Lexington and 27, and this is dubbed Curry Hill. Why? Well, there's over two dozen Indian restaurants in the area, and today I'm here with Ankush. Hey, how you doing, dude? Ankush is awesome. He's a lawyer. He has like seven restaurants. Today we're gonna visit four of his restaurants right here. We're starting off at Sahib, then we're going to Daba, then Chote Noab. Chote Noab, and then finally we're ending off at Walk in the Clouds. So we're gonna do a lot of curries, a lot of bread, a lot of North Indian cuisine. I'm excited, man. And me too. Looking so, forward to it. what's up with Sahib? So we got some Kashmiri cuisine for you. Uh, some tandoori items, rosemary naan, something that you probably haven't tried before. Okay. Uh, give you a little bit of a Kashmiri touch. Awesome. I'm excited. I'm ready. 24 hours. I just got off the plane. It is 9 in the morning. Let's All do right, it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's cross. A uh, side we created back in 2017. Our chicken biryani was rated top 10 international dishes by New York Times. And uh, it's got a fair of all over India, primarily 
uh, Kashmiri cuisine, but we have a touch of the south, touch of north, Delhi, all over the place. So give you a variety of cuisine. All right, so we're going to the kitchen to see how they make some Kashmiri dishes. This looks incredible. My friend, how are you doing? How Everything you? good? I love your hairstyle. My boy. That's Yo. Yo, ready to go. How's it going? Ready to go. 24 hours, Indian cuisine in Curry Hill. Let's go. Right now we're making two dishes. The famous chicken biryani, which looks absolutely incredible. Smells so good, the aromas. And the other one is a Kashmiri dish and they added saffron and rose water. Yeah, that's our damalu. It's stuffed potatoes in a creamy gravy with uh, saffron. And the other biryani, he's going to actually put it in container and put it in the tandoor oven to give it a steam and give you the actual dumb effect. Plus smokiness, right? Mm -hmm. uh, everything in the tandoor is like the best. Everything, yeah. right? I love it. Me too, me too. I can eat everything from the tandoor. Fish, paneer, doesn't the matter. Chicken you got. And next up, he's making some lamb rishta, which is a dish of lamb, like kebabs or like burgers, right? And then he puts them into the cream. Right, it's a creamy sauce. It's also a Kashmiri dish. A uh, very popular Kashmiri dish and we've introduced it. A little bit of a fusion touch to it, but uh, it's got the authenticness as well. Looks good. I've never tried those two dishes for sure. I've never tried this one. Obviously, this is going to be the best biryani in New York City. Of course, definitely. Good. I'm so excited. Down. This is the king of dishes. The biryani is ready, so he put all the rice into a clay pot. Then he covered it with bread, with the dough of the naan. Then he put it down into the tandoor and look at that. Ooh, so hot. How hot is this? 350 Fahrenheit. 350 Fahrenheit. No, thank you. I'll pass. <laughs> I mean, literally, you go like this and like you lose your hair. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's so hot. Wow. Rosemary. A rosemary not a little different. Lots of fragrance, right? Oh, yeah. that's great. That's it. We saw how they made a few different dishes. Now let's go to the front. Let's eat. I'm excited. Kashmiri food this is going to be the best. Ready? Yeah. Let's go eat. Ankush, I am so excited. This looks absolutely amazing. We have two different curries. We have the naan, we have the biryani, which is infamous, and then we also have the chicken chops. Yep, you got it. Okay, so how do we start this? Uh, so let's start with the tandoori item first. Tandoori item first? Yep. So this will be your appetizer. It will be a tandoori chop, similar to a lamb chop. So chicken chop, so you just marinate it with a different uh, gravy, right? It's or a masala? different marination. There's some yogurt, some mayonnaise, some Indian spices, a uh, wide variety of spices. Very different than your normal tandoori chicken. Okay, let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man, what do so you think? good. A little spice. A little right? bit, yeah. Mm. It's nice, obviously, tandoori flavor. It's the baked, right? right? So it falls apart in your mouth. Right. I love the marination. Thank you. It's so subtle, too. Not too much, right. you know? And, and the great thing is about the more chop, it, it's softer than your normal tandoori chicken. Mm -hmm. Usually tandoori chicken is wow. a little bit harder. So the tenderness of the meat mm -hmm. makes a big difference. Super tender, very chunky. Yeah. Lots of meat here, wow. Mmm. I'm so happy to start my day with right. this. Mm-hmm. Are you joining me? Of course, of course. Come on, come on. Mm. <laughs> if you haven't had anything from tandoor, you're missing out. Paneer, chicken, sikabas, lamb chops. Yep. I mean, the list goes on and on. Even fish, right? Of course, yeah. Salmon, uh, tilapia, shrimp, all of it. Mmm. And we also have mint and tamarind chutney, so I just dip it into this mint chutney. It looks so good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Not spicy at all. No. What's your favorite chutney? I like the tamarind chutney. I like the sweet to the spice. This is very exciting. I've been to India four times. I've eaten at hundreds of Indian restaurants, but I've never tried both these dishes. So right here, this is the lamb one, right? Yep, the lamb rishta. Lamb rishta, so another creamy sauce, beautiful, nice and yellow, and then over mm -hmm. here is more like an orange sauce, and that's potatoes, right? That's stuffed potatoes, yep. Stuffed potatoes, mm -hmm. okay, and both of these are from the from Kashmir. They're Kashmiri dishes, yep. Wow, and so you pair this along with the bread, right? Yep, the with the rosemary naan, yep. This is so unique, so different, so up in Kashmir, there's a few different naans, right. from my understanding. One of them is like, they have raisins, nuts in stuffed it, naans, stuffed yep. naans, and then you have this one, it's too good. It's too good, my friend. Thank Enjoy. You. All right, so let's grab this beautiful lamb. Look at that. Wow, what a beautiful gravy. More sweet style gravies right, right in Kashmir. This, this is a saffron based gravy. This one is a little bit also sweeter gravy, more tomato uh, base. Okay, so how do we start? So we take the naan, and okay. with the naan, we're gonna 
break off a piece and mm -hmm. take the lamb patty. Okay. Break off a piece there, get the gravy, make sure you get the gravy with it. Remember, don't take huge bites. India is all about smaller of course, bites, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> cheers, man. All right, cheers. Mm, okay. The flavor of the, the lamb, so different from the gravy, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Balances it off nicely. Incredible gravy. Wow. It's a little sweet, right? Yeah. So it's saffron, uh, it's an onion base, and uh, cream. So. Kashmiri dishes will generally have a lot of more on the creamier side. Super creamy. Yep. But North India is all about cream. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's cream about and cream. bread. Yep. This is how you eat Indian food. You do it better than me. <laughs> mm. And you got me with lamb because lamb is my favorite meat. Nice. They don't have that much fat. They're lean. Incredible. Yep. And obviously in India we don't eat beef, so. Of course. Never had it before. And this naan? Mm hmm. It's incredible. Whoa, the rosemary. It's getting the flavor of it. Mm. 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 It actually reminds me of like pizza, like white pizza in Italy. Right. They throw rosemary on top right. and just put some oil, right? That's yep. it. Mm -hmm. This one has ghee, obviously Indian style. Yeah, of course. And this is a huge potato. Yep, stuffed potato. Stuffed potato. It has cashews, raisins. So with bread, without bread, I'll do it like this All just right. to try it, right? Mm -hmm. Get the flavor of the mm -hmm. stuffing. Whoa. Okay, a lot of different things going on here, huh? Mm-hmm. Plus, the, the gravy is almost like the Mood Makhni mm -hmm. gravy, right? Similar. Similar, yeah. First time having a stuff with everything. Right. Yeah. It's almost like a baked potato, right. but obviously this one has the gravy, mm -hmm. and it's completely like surrounded with potato. Right. Inside is it's stuffing, that right? Stuffing, yep. Remember to add more of that gravy right there. Mm. Delicious. Mmm. Next up, the king of dishes. So, top 10 ethnic dishes in New York City, yep. this biryani. Yep, there we go, that's our chicken biryani. Uh, New York Times gave us the top 10 international dishes. Wow. Um, and this was steamed in the tandoor. I, I know, we have a long day, so we're taking Definitely. it slow. But look how beautiful this is. This is a mixed rice layer dish, right? Yep. And you just gotta put it here, right there, perfect. Don't mix it with the gravies. I suggest doing that later. Yeah. You know, best thing to do is try it alone, then have it with raita, then mix with gravies, yep, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. Okay, so how do you eat biryani? Well, like every single rice dish in India, use your hands. Well, really it's south, right? Right. But everywhere in India, they use hands, you know, for bread, for rice. Yep, we're all about the hands. Are we ready? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, so how does it work? Well, you just get in here, Grab. and you break it up, right? Yep. You're supposed to break everything. Ooh, it's still flaming hot, right? So you bring up everything, mm -hmm. and then you could just take a bite like this, you know, grab it, a yep. little bite with the, these three fingers. All right, cheers. cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. What do you think? Oh, wow. Mm. God, so much flavor in here. Man, the chicken's incredible. I'm gonna get a food orgasm right now no, with this no, one. go for it, yep. Whoa. Let me try more. Mm. It definitely got a uh, smoky flavor from the tandoor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's very simple. I feel like there's not too much going on in here, yep. but there's so much at the same time. A lot of flavors. A lot of flavors. Yep. And we have this raita, a little different, right? It actually yep. looks like a, a thicker raita. So this is our bundi raita. Bundi raita. Yeah. So it's a raita, right? Mm -hmm. And then you go in here and you mix it. Love this biryani. Mmm. See all of these curries? You mix it all together. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't matter, right? Yep. That's the cool thing about Indian cuisine. You're allowed to do this. Just don't leave any grains of rice. Bring them all in, of right? Of course. Get all the flavors in there. Look at that. And then you just have it like that like on your hand, right? So this is how I do it. Some people put it inside, yeah. right? Am I an expert or what? You're, you're, you're the best I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The best white guy doing it. <laughs> No, people love it, you know, no, it's great. especially learning how to do this. You know, it took me like three days in Hyderabad to wow. get the hang of it. But once I, I learned, you know, the main thing is to make a ball. Mm -hmm. It all, you know, gets glued together. So it's that. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow, with these two gravies? Yeah. Oh, now, now is the best biryani in Manhattan. <laughs> wow. Anymore. Dude, it is incredible. Thank you. Mm. 
so different, right? Mm -hmm. And no one else in New York City does this, right? I haven't seen this before. I mean, people have different versions of it, but mm -hmm. uh, this is our version and it's been very popular. It's one of our top selling items. And uh, we have people coming in from London, especially for this dish. And uh, you know we get reservations well, where they you know specifically tell us, hey, we're coming in from London. Can we please get a seat? We want to try your biryani. We heard a lot about it. That's so, incredible. Yeah, thank awesome. you. I have to go to, to London, the South Hall. That's where yeah, everybody's that's coming to go there. Yep. And by the way, I just got some mint right now. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Explosion of mint right here. I mean, all the flavors. All the flavors. So now you know. Fly to Manhattan for this dish. Off to the next one, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, next one. Round one. <laughs> We're going right next door to Daba. If you guys don't know what Daba means, that is a roadside restaurant in India. All the truck drivers stop here. And the reason why it's so good is because they have like literally every dish from all the states of India. Their menus are huge, obviously. 250 but, items. 250 <laughs> items right here? Yeah. Wow. Let's go inside. Let's eat. Well, I don't know how much more I'm going to eat. <laughs> this place is amazing. It really reminds me of a Daba in India. And look at the very end, we have the truck. Awesome. What's up, man? This is the bar? Oh, man, we have Bira. This is the craft beer of India. This is the best one, right? 91? We're definitely gonna try this one. We need two. <laughs> We're back in the kitchen. Let's go. Whoa. What's up, guys? So good. David, so here we're doing sarsuga sag and makili roti. We're doing uh, kalimir chicken, a rumali roti, which is a flat, long roti. Uh, in addition to that, we're doing tangri kebab, which is chicken drumsticks, tandoori. The smells in here are insane. So good. Thank so you. what are we making here? Sarsuga sag. Sarsuga sag. And right here he's making the rumali roti. So it's made out of wheat flour, and they actually use the bottom piece of the karai. So usually they'll make karai in these big like pans, but they flipped it over, and that's what they use to heat it up. It's actually very, very thin. It's incredible, beautiful, and it looks like a pita bread, right? Pita, lavash as well in Armenia, very similar. I can't wait, man. Oh, more bread, look at this. First restaurant done, and I'm done for the day. I don't know about you, bro, but I'm cool. I'm cool till 6 p.m. I didn't eat so much. I can eat like a lot more. You'll see, you'll see now. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, here we go, round two. We have two different sizzlers. We have the spinach with the cornbread. Mm -hmm. And then over here we have a beautiful curry dish. Yep, black pepper chicken, chicken kali merch. And then what are these two? So this is tangri kebab. It's a drumstick chicken, tandoori marinade. And that is pahari kebab, which is chicken thighs marinated in a spicy uh, chili marinade. Okay, so lots of chicken, right? Yep, a lot of chicken. Well, I just had a little bit of a pepper. I am dying. So we also have some rose lassi. Yep. I love the rose water one. Cheers. So good. Mmm, nice and frothy, right? right? Mm -hmm. Love it. It's great. Not too chunky, not too thick. You know, I had it in Amritsar. That mm -hmm. is like crazy. Oh yeah. Like you have to get a spoon to like eat it, you know? <laughs> So how do we start with these two, right? Yeah, we'll start with the sizzlers. We have the chutneys as well. So it's an onion relish. Oh, onion it's, relish, yeah, okay. It's a mint and a tamarind. So the chicken drumstick. Is a, the chicken drumstick is a little different from the one we had the last place. Yeah, that's the marinade, right? The marinade's different, yep. Okay, so let's try it. All right, cheers. I'm gonna try it without chutney, then chutney. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm. Wow, very a different. A little bit more tangy. A little more tangy. Also spicy. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm gonna try it with the tamarind. So tender. Mmm, so sweet. So maybe I should try this one next. Yep, that's our mint. The mint. Mmm, -hmm -hmm. oh, so good. Mmm, this one's actually a little more watered down, right? Mm -hmm. Easier to drink, yep. or if you want to, you can drink it, but. Yep, but pour it on top of it. Pour the... it on top, right? Mmm, yep. very nice. Tender, smoky. Again, you have all these flavors, but the difference is the marinade. Right. And right here we have. This is pahari kebab. Pahari kebab. Mm -hmm. so, spicy chicken. Spicy. Very spicy. Okay, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Oh. Oh. I think the spiciest chicken I've ever had in my life. We need that rose lassi after that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, cheers. the chilies throughout, nice and tender, but mm -hmm. you have to like spice to eat that. Whoa, what a spicy dish. It's one of our most popular dishes. People love the spice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Whoa. So it reminded me like almost like a chicken tikka, right? Right. But the difference is you put it in a chili. Yeah, it's a chili marinade. Chili so marinade. it's much more spicier than chicken tikka over. Oh, I think I need something to cool it down. Maybe that one? <laughs> yep. So what is the difference between sag or sage mm -hmm. and palak? 
So balak is uh, more, it's spinach and sag is mustard leaf mixed with some spinach and sarsoka sag is actually you have um, corn flour also in mixed in it as well. Okay. Yeah. And then this one goes with this cornbread, right? Right. That's makay roti. Makay roti. Yep. So we're going to dip it in. Okay. And grab that sag. And there we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. So creamy. But there's nothing, there's no like meat, there's no penny or nothing, it's right? It's just pure sad, uh, sad, sad. So almost just like, a, like an appetizer in a way, right? Well, it's a main course dish. I mean, this is a combo, sarsoga sag, makiki roti. It's very popular in Punjab. You know, it could be a breakfast food, it could be lunch, dinner, all throughout. You know, it's one of those staples of uh, Punjabi food. Yeah, I mean, my wife would love this. You know, it's a creamy spinach. Obviously, if you want the chilies, grab it. I'm staying away from that right now. <laughs> yeah. But I love the bread as well. So it's a nice, thick corn bread right so it reminds me of cachapa venezuelan uh that's a, a style or a breakfast item mm -hmm. but obviously thinner crispy yep. it's perfect calimer chicken so black pepper chicken mm -hmm. see this beautiful gravy wow look at that the colors okay so we eat this with with the rumali roti yep rumali Indian roti style. yeah this actually reminds me of an armenian lavash oh. So we just grab a piece, right? Yep. Or just grab a piece. Break it off like that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. There you go. And, and then from there, same thing. Right? We're gonna same break thing, the chicken. Just gonna break the chicken, dip it in, and voila. Voila. Hey Eddie. man, you eating right, gravy? Cheers. cheers. Mmm. Yep. What do you think? Feel the peppers. Nice cream. <laughs> Tender chicken. Not too spicy. Not too spicy. Mm -hmm. mm? This and is then the bread. What about the bread? Oh, nice I love the bread. Soft. Yeah, super, super thin. And again, I said lavash. It is almost identical okay. in terms of, you know, super crispy. It's easy. It's it's meant for this, right? right. It's yep. meant to just go in here mm -hmm. and grab food. Yep. Step it in. Oh, I got like a big pepper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've actually eaten peppers straight in Kerala, I'm straight from the tree. And I like great oh, wow. peppercorn. I could never do that. Oh no, it's good. It's good. You know, I, I know we still have two more spots, but this is so good. I'm not gonna let this go to waste. All right. A little more, right? Yeah, of course, take it. Hey, I'm eating any for 24 hours. I got time, time to spare. Do not miss this dish. Mm. So curry is really developed in British. It's not really originally an Indian thing. So what we did is we did a British curry house. And within that, we have all our different British curries. We have the Balti, the Vindalu, Fal, korma, etc. And uh, you can have them in veg, Thai chicken, white meat chicken, lamb, goat, whatever you like. So if you'd like one style of curry, you can get it veg, non-veg, they got what? So fish, chicken, yeah. paneer, etc. Yeah. You have a big mix, right? Mm. So curry is a British term. When you go to India, it's all masala, masala, masala. If it's masala, it's good. So where to next? Chote Nawab. Chote Nawab. So it's like Hyderabadi food, right? Yeah, Hyderabad. So for sure some biryani. So this is Tunde Kababi. So I had this in Lucknow at Tunde Kababi, the, the most famous restaurant there in Lucknow. So good. And this is lamb. So it's basically like a lamb patty. You put it on the pan, nice and oily. Cook it a few times and it's ready. This is absolutely phenomenal. And this goes perfect with that super thin, like almost like pita bread, right? So, Nawab. Nawab, right? Yep, Chote Nawab means Little Prince. Little Prince, yeah. yeah. So, city of Lucknow is called uh, something Nawab, right? Nawabi, like it's the Nawabs. It's known for princes. It's uh, more heritage there, a lot of the Mughal, older. right? Yeah, Mughal, exactly. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. And here we have a few incredible dishes, uh, but this one is absolutely phenomenal. Kebabi, tundi kebabi yep. from Lucknow. We also have these nasi kebabs, they are? Kakori kebabs. Kakori kebabs, so yep. what's the difference? So uh, they usually have papaya and uh, some other marinade mixes in the marination, so it's much softer, melts in your mouth. Papaya. Kebab. Yep. I love papaya. That's oh, great. I love you, it. you should enjoy it then. And over here we have salmon. Uh, tikka. Tikka, so basically yeah. salmon that was on a skewer, yeah. but in the tandoor oven, it's gonna like literally melt in your mouth. 
Here we have a Hyderabadi biryani. Biryani, yep. Goat yeah. biryani. Goat biryani. Oh, dude, you read my mind. <laughs> and then right here we have the butter paneer. Yeah. So this is basically similar to butter chicken, obviously veg version. It's cottage cheese, nice, you know, cubes of cottage cheese, mm -hmm. paneer right inside. And this is a beautiful bread. Yeah, leche paranta. Leche paranta. Yeah. And it actually reminds me of parota. Right. You know, like in Kerala, but the difference is in the Kerala, they, they do this, right? right? Mm -hmm. They make it a very uh, like flaky and stuff. Same thing, right? Similar Multiple layers. Similar flakiness, yep. Layer, layer pranta. I love this. Right. Ghee. I guess not yeah, ghee, dude. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so how do we start? So let's start with the tundi kebab. Hands? We can grab it with our hands, yeah. Perfect. So... Burgers, with yep. no bun. Yep. Oh my god. Nice and soft. Mmm, nice and soft. Oh, I love it. the flavors in here. The texture is incredible too. Yeah. We have on top of coriander. Yeah, we have coriander, some spices, some garam masala inside. Mmm. And this, do we add chutneys? We can. Mm -hmm. Some people do it with the chutneys, some without. It all depends. I mean, the flavor you're gonna get without the chutneys is the original flavor. Exactly. Chutneys will add some little bit of a tanginess to it. So we can give it, you want to give it a shot with some. Yeah, chutneys? I'll try it. You know, I, I went to Lucknow uh, almost four years ago, so I don't really remember the taste. Sure. But this one feels amazing. I mean, super soft. Mm -hmm. It's almost like minced lamb that has turned into this beautiful patty, and they do it super lightly yeah. on the pan. It's not like crazy grill either, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. That's why you still have a lot of the juices. Exactly. So always tamarind, always mint chutney. Yeah, those are standard staples. So sweet. And for this one, I'll just dip it. Yep. Last bite. Mmm. Pairs better with the mint. Pick it better. Yeah. So what else do we try? Next we have the kakori kebab, also lamb, nice and soft. This is from the tandoor. So very similar. Mm -hmm. but this one, obviously the the masala you guys put on, yeah. the marinade is completely different, right? Yes. Uh -huh. But same mushiness, same animal, right? Right. Lamb. Same lamb. It's great. I mean, a wow. little smokiness because of the tandoor. Yeah, yeah, and I think. You definitely should add some sweetness to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I've had something similar at Bademia. 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 Bademia yeah, yeah. In Mumbai. It's almost the same thing. Mm. Obviously a little different. They give you a bunch of chutneys, they give you the bread, and you just combine it all. Exactly, yeah. Oh, I had that like at 3 in the morning oh. after getting off the plane <laughs> from Miami. Oh, wow. like, a, like an animal. Yeah, great uh, snack food. Great snack food. Mm. Buenísimo. Next up, we got this beautiful salmon. Look at that. So it's definitely gonna be super soft. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously that's in the tandoor oven. Always just like, makes it like, almost like fall apart. Right? Yeah, it will, and it'll be yogurt marinade. Mmm. I wish I would've started at this restaurant for this <laughs> one. Wow, man. Mmm. It's so unreal. Seafood in India is yeah. something completely different. It's you know, huge. It's huge. Right. Ooh, look at that. It's falls apart. Yeah, look at that. Look at how meaty it is. My man here is smart. He's like, we're eating all day. I'm going to take it very slow. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> got to pace ourselves. Mm-hmm. Mm. So far, it's my favorite. All right, great. Mm. Oh, my God. I'm a big salmon guy. Salmon tuna are like my seafoods, right? Got a little Indian touch to it now. A little Indian touch, yeah, and the tandoor smokiness that also comes with some peppers on the side mm -hmm. if you want that. And next, we're gonna jump on this. So this is the butter paneer. So basically, butter chicken, no chicken, they put cottage cheese. Right. Okay, so this one, obviously you're gonna pair with this beautiful flatbread. Yep. The parata. Right, so you just go in. Mm-hmm, dip in. Dip in, get, you know. Get the paneer. Paneer, just like that. Yeah. This is gonna be everybody's favorite. Mm -hmm. If you don't want paneer, you can go the chicken route. Yep. It's so good. That tomato sauce would never get old for me. I mean, it doesn't matter that it's like the most, I guess the most common dish in yep. Western Indian restaurants, mm -hmm. but it's one of the most delicious dishes. It is, definitely. One of my favorites. <laughs> I mean, you can never go wrong with it, right? Yeah. So my wife always is like, just give me, you know, naan and butter chicken. Yeah. That's it. Or go. chicken makhni, right? Yes. All right, so next up I have to try this biryani. So this is goat biryani. So for me, the mutton biryanis are usually my favorite, mm -hmm. and that's Hyderabadi style, right? Yeah, Hyderabadi style. Here it go with your hands. Like yep. this. I washed my hands prior to this. So you just go in here, 
I do it like with my eyes closed. And you just gotta go in there and get all that chunky go and to the goat you're gonna have some bones yep, right some bones. so you have to go in here and really take it apart yep and then you mix yeah, you don't want to be like too much meat right you have a more good a good mix and just like that very chunky and then if you want you can go like this all right so i've seen this done and then they get the whole hand mm -hmm. or you just go like that three fingers always so you, let me know guys am i doing it right the goat mm. Oh, we got raita. We got raita, we got sala. So we have two things to pair with the biryani. We have the raita, again, yogurt with cucumber, a few different things. Some people make it differently, right? Yep. And then this one is? Mirchi ka salad. Okay. So it's a spicy meat stock gravy that you can put on top of, mm -hmm. give it a little bit more spice to it. Tomato? Uh, yes, mixed with tomatoes and peanuts as well. Peanuts as well, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. awesome. So I'm gonna put some on the side right here. So maybe that's a lot. <laughs> and then this always on the side, right? Yeah. So, you know, raita is something I learned in Kerala, you know, mm -hmm. that they, cause they mix it with the biryanis a lot. Right. Like they don't even eat it regular. Mm -hmm. They just add, you know, the raita on top and that's it. Yeah. Wow, this looks spicy. It is spicy. <laughs> okay. You can tell it's spicy when your fingers start tingling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Biryani, man, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There you go. Mm. Not so spicy. Definitely feel it though. Little. It's nice, it's not so crazy hot. So I definitely think if you don't love spice, you could still have it. Right. I'd say it's in the scale of like one to 10 heat, probably a three or four, yeah. you know, not too crazy. Mm -hmm. And then obviously cool it all down with some raita, right? So add it in there. You got every single grain, right? Yep. Usually they don't leave a grain, obviously. People are hungry, you can never throw away food, right? Mm. That is delicious. I'll tell you though, the biryani, the other biryani, better in my opinion. Okay, yeah, of course. Different, right? Mm -hmm. Woo, I need a break. We're gonna take like a, an hour and a half break. We're gonna walk around, yeah. see a little bit of Curry Hill. Mm -hmm. Curry Hill is really, it's all about uh, diversity. I mean, it's, it's Indian food, it's Pakistani food, it's Bangladeshi food, but uh, even within that, there's different regionalities and I think it really brings people together. Um, you know, we have a very diverse audience and uh, you know, we just want to see it uh, be here for years and years to come. Okay, so walking around the neighborhood, we found a specialty store called Heritage India Fashion. So what do they have here? Well, basically everything you can name, right? So bangles, earrings, clothing. These, most of them are for weddings. You know, very traditional clothing, beautiful. So this is something I would put on. Huh? Look like a, a Mughal king here. Right, you like it? Prashant, pleasure. pleasure. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet so, you. what else do you have here? Uh, men's clothing, like uh, shirvanis and bungalow jackets, and dresses for women, for weddings, and so forth. Skirts, awesome. and saris, and in, in the heart of New York City. It's amazing. I mean, it literally is like I'm walking into India here in New York. I mean, Curry Hill is awesome. It's All beautiful the saris, man. You know, in Varanasi is where I saw a lot. That's yeah. where they produce a lot of them, right? Yeah, they do a lot of silks. A lot of silks. Nice. Yeah. Wow, beautiful store. Thank you. Thank Maybe you. I take something for my daughters. What do you think? So Tassos, what do you think? Have you ever been into a store like this? I haven't and it's so nice, bro. And you know what I love about New York and about, you know, traveling in general, you, you go, you know, you walk down the street. New York is 30 countries in one city. So love it here, bro. My man, thank you so much. Sure. Appreciate thank it. You. 131 Lexington, Heritage India Fashion. All right, let's go. And our last spot is walk in the clouds. It's not walking, it's walk. Walk. Yep. walk. So this is a uh, Indo Chinese. fusion, yep. so Indo Chinese. Fusion, yep. So if you guys don't know what that is, India China border each other right there. Yep. You bring all the ingredients from China, you mix the spices from India, and there you go. You got some Thai in there as well. We got some Malaysian. I know we're having some paneer chili. Uh, yes, chili paneer. Definitely. My favorite dish. Right, My favorite awesome. Indo Chinese dish. All right, awesome. All right, let's go inside. Let's go to the kitchen. Beautiful. Look at this. The lighting. So it's one nice long room, right? Dining yep. room. Mm -hmm. You have like ten. Yeah. Tables. Each one's like around four each. Yep. The back we got a bar. Yep. Waiting for our liquor license coming soon. Oh yeah. Yep. And we're back in the kitchen. Can't wait. Hello, hello. How are you doing? You good. Whoa. This is it. Chili paneer. Okay, so they just made four different appetizers. We have the chicken lollipop. Oh, so delicious. Really red, vibrant. We have the chili paneer next to it. 
We also have some momos, which are dumplings in India. And next to it, we also have some spring rolls. Awesome. Everything looks really red, right? And these are appetizers. We also have some papa noodles. We have some fried rice. And we have another dish, right? Hong Kong food. Hong Kong food. That's like a sweet salad, right? I don't know about you, but for me, Indo-Chinese is like super underrated. And it's absolutely delicious. Every dish is so good. A lot that uh, people still don't know yet about it. I hope you guys noticed behind me, the ceiling. We're walking in the clouds. Yep, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different dishes. Mm -hmm. Everything looks incredible. Again, this is Indo-Chinese, so it's fusion. Oh, wow. So we're going to definitely start off with the chicken lollipops. Yeah, of course. Right here, we have spring rolls, uh, the momos, and paneer tray. Those are the four appetizers. Mains are the Hong Kong chicken, the fried rice, and the Hakka noodles, right? Mm -hmm. And so all this originated in Kolkata, right? Basically. Started off in Kolkata, you know, different parts of Kolkata, then it spread out to all over India. Um, obviously, the border, India, China, being bordering countries, a lot of you know food mixes, and you know that's where you're getting the Chinese. So. It's the best. Yeah. I, I really love it, especially you know West Bengal is one of my favorite places in the world. This food's gonna blow your mind. This I know is the best. Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah. Bring me some more spice, man. <laughs> I need a spicier yeah, than that. No problem. Here we have chicken dumplings. We call them chicken momos. Steamed. Okay, let's do it. So how do we start? So let's start with the drums of heaven, the mm -hmm. chicken lollipop. You grab that. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So much meat. I love crispy. Yeah, crispy. The marinade's amazing. It's not crazy fried. Mm -hmm. Lightly, you know, light batter. Way more meat right. than fried here. Mm. And the spice level's okay? Perfect. Okay. I would add something else. We have soya sauce, hot chili sauce, and uh, vinaigrette sauce. Chili vinegar sauce. If it ain't hot, I don't want it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice no, not. That wasn't too hot. Not too hot? Not okay. too hot, not too hot. But earlier I had a nasty chili. <laughs> like one of the hottest chilies I've had in a while, but mm. I love this. Easy appetizer. Mm -hmm. And again, that is not drumstick. That is the wing. They move all the meat to the very bottom and then they fry it. Yep. Now let's do the <clears throat> chicken momo. Okay. So there is a momo sauce that we have, which is it's a chili sauce. My man's a little scared of the heat. I like to take I'm it easy. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Wow. Nice and soft inside. <coughs> Super tender. <laughs> Spicy. Spicy, right? Spicy sauce. That's mm. why I kept it light. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. And for this one, we have this sauce. You have this sweet chili sauce, so it's sweet sauce now. Sweet. Sweet and. Mm hmm. I love it. So it's like a sweet and... A little bit of a tangy taste. A little bit of tangy. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say sweet and sour, more sweet and tangy, right? Right. Mm -hmm. But you can go crazy and just go in here too. Of course. My Marantz, this is so good. <laughs> I'm out beating him with the food here. <laughs> it's been a long day, right? It's been a hell of a long day. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Four restaurants, what is this, dish number 24? Something like that, 24, 25. <laughs> <laughs> you were missing the chili paneer, yeah. right? My favorite. Mm-hmm. Mmm. This made this extra chunky, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Spice level's okay. Spice level's perfect. It's a nice, dense, you know, cube. Cottage cheese. You have this incredible... I, I don't know exactly what you would call this sauce, the chili sauce. Mm -hmm. But it's it's not gravy. This right. is more like, almost like a sweet and chili. Right. Right? But it's awesome. Like, I recommend this every time you eat at an Indian restaurant and they have this, try it. Mm -hmm. so Definitely try it. Fried and delicious. Mm -hmm. Expand that waistline. <laughs> okay, now we're on to the entrees, the Hakka noodles. Do you want some? Sure. Yeah, these are great. So we have spring onions, right? Mm hmm And then next to it, we have the fried rice. Yep. And this is the beautiful Hong Kong chicken. So there's chicken, there's onions, there's uh, corn, pieces of corn, and baby corn, and some peppers. So it's like a glazy sauce mixed right. with vegetables, right? Well, right, and some cashews. Mm. And I love the baby corn. Yeah. This is the best. Little corns yeah. like that. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 
That's what I was missing all day, man. Mmm, and it's light. It's, light. Not, it's yep. not spicy. Mm -hmm. Not too many spices. Very like intro dish, right? Right, balanced, yep. Balanced, especially like, talking about Western palates. They're mm -hmm. not used to all these spices. Especially with the, uh, after like appetizers of like drums of heaven and chili paneer, you know, it helps balance the palate out mm -hmm. comparatively. Okay, so we have to end with these beautiful Hakka, Hakka noodles. noodles. Yep. So I had this in uh, Kolkata. So good on the streets. Yeah. Mm. Great. Cheers. Mm hmm. Feels like I'm in China. You know, the taste. Spice Later. levels okay. So easy. Mm -hmm. Love the spring onions. You have onions as well. And over here next to it, we have the fried rice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, spice level perfect. And this is a vegetable fried rice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of chicken in there. A little bit of chicken? I guess well. I'm done. <laughs> thank you. No, mm -hmm. thank you so much. This was eating Indian food 24 hours here in Murray Hill, AKA Curry Hill, Lexington 27 and 28. You have to come to this area and eat Indian food all day long. There's like over 20 restaurants do these four. Sahib, Daba, Chakra Nawab. Chakra Nawab. Chakra Nawab. <laughs> Walk in the clouds. I mean, if I have to go back through each one and see what my favorite was, obviously the biryani in the first place, second place, hmm, I'm forgetting now. Black pepper chicken? Black pepper chicken, exactly. Third place. Butter paneer. The butter paneer. Butter paneer, that's probably one of my favorite butter paneers ever. Okay. I've had it multiple times, but this is like absolutely phenomenal. I mean, just that creaminess mixed with the naan, so good. And then here, my favorites, I don't know, it's hard. I'll tell you, the momo's fantastic with the spice. I love the Hong Kong chicken. Mm -hmm. And then the chicken drumsticks, a given, and paneer chili, always, or chili paneer. I actually had chi chili paneer masala the other day. Like, oh, wow. like this is dry, that mm -hmm. one was more curry. More gravy, yep. I like, like this more, yeah. you know? And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video here in Manhattan, Curry Hill. Oh man, if you ever come to New York City, definitely come out here, experience a true Indian day, right? Hey. It's funny, I've actually never met him in person, but we've been in contact for about four years through my boy Tall and my boy Jimmy. Yeah. Amazing, dude. We have a lot of mutual friends. It's the first time we just met like three minutes ago. So I'm excited. What are we doing? Well, today we're here at the number one Indian veg restaurant chain in the world, Sarvana Bhavan. They have like a hundred locations around the world, lots in India, they got like three here in New York City, they have in New Jersey, I mean all around the world, and they do South Indian breakfast. So what is South Indian breakfast? Well, dude, it's Joseph's Indian crepe made out of lentil batter. You got idli, which is rice, uh, steamed rice cakes. You have vada, which are like savory donuts. And you have coconut chutney. Dude, I am so excited. I, I love South Indian food. South Indian food for me is like, it's the ultimate. I mean, you got the pancake, not really pancake. They, have, they also have a pancake, which is called udabam. So lots of different things on the menu. Huge menu. Are you ready? Dude, I am excited. You excited? I'm hungry too. I'm starving. We also getting filtered coffee. So follow us inside. Let's go. My man. Yo, what <laughs> up, bro? You ready? I'm ready, bro. I mean, like, you know, hanging out with you, I think I'm gonna gain like 100 pounds by the end of the week, but I'm good. Let's go. So you've never had South Indian breakfast, right? Ever. 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 So we're here on Curry Hill, so that's Murray Hill area, so Lexington and 27th, and the restaurant's right here. World's number one Indian vegetarian restaurant chain. And right here on the wall, you can see all the locations they got. Look at that, man. So Australia, New Zealand, USA, UK, Canada, Johannesburg. Sweden. Johannesburg, Qatar, I mean, Hong Kong. That's awesome. Everywhere. Dude, everywhere, everywhere. Even in Paris, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right there in Paris. It's impressive. What, what is the Greek one, bro? Ah, uh, I know. You start that one. <laughs> I gotta preach. <laughs> preach. I gotta I bring this to Miami, dude. Yeah. I didn't bring this one to Miami. Yeah, it's sure. not Miami yet. There's a little space down here for Miami. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go inside. Let's eat. Let's go. My man. Good morning. We ready? Yes. Sir. Filtered coffee, dosas. Dude, I, I want some spicy dosa. You got spicy right. chutney? We have coconut chutney. We have like two, three chutneys. So okay. it's up to you to you know, decide. Awesome, and we're starting off right here with some filtered coffee. So this is from Karnataka, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So this is the filtered coffee. So how does it work? Well, right now, ooh, it's still really hot. You do this, right? Mm. And you just keep doing that. And the longer you do this, the colder it gets. Okay. Right? So it's still like piping hot. Yeah, ooh. ooh, it's too hot. Look at that, a little high pour. Yeah, this is hot. In India, they serve you everything scorching. 
Like you can't get chai on the street without it being like this. Like you burn your gums every time. So I keep going, right? It's how you literally cool down. The reason they cool down is obviously this one's not hot at all, right? This one's already absorbed the heat. Yeah. It's, it's even hard to grab. Oh, dude, I'm so excited. In New York City, having South Indian breakfast. All right, let's try this. Do you even have one here? I don't. Okay. <laughs> here, have that one. Okay. Oh, it's all good, it's all good. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Nice, right? Mm. It's almost like cafe con leche. Yeah. It feels like, you know, a little bit of milk. There's milk in here, right? Mmm, nice and fluffy. And everything Indian, there's always milk and sugar. So you feel that, right? It's sweet. It's good. But it wakes you up. Yeah. Okay, so let me show you this massive menu. So the breakfast starts at 9 in the morning to 11.30. So this is like one of the only places open for South Indian breakfast. Most Indian restaurants don't even open till 11.30. Got appetizers. We have the dosa corner, which we have like... I think it's like two dozen dosas. I haven't seen that big a menu before for dosas. You have rava dosa over here, special dosa, utapam. This is the real pancake, Indian pancake at the tallies. So that is big platter. House specialties, we got rice. You have more side orders, lots of stuff. But you know what? Let's go to the kitchen. Ram, my man, how you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. How about you? Awesome, very good. So what do we have here? This sambal goes with uh, the different items like idli, dosa. Next, we follow with the dessert. That's called Rava Kesari, which is made of uh, suji. And then comes Bisibalabad, which is mixture of all the vegetables, dal, lentils, and uh, rice. Where are you from, by the way? I'm from Chennai. From Chennai, Tamal, Tamal Nadu. I've been, man, I've been. It's amazing. Over there in Tamal, that's where the real dosas are. Exactly. You know, you go to yeah. uh, you know Kerala, and they have a tata dosa, small dosa. Small dosa. It's almost like utapam. This yeah. is like the real thing, yeah. the nice crispy, yeah. Oh, so good. And over here we have some of the chutneys, right? This is called a kara kolambu. In South Indian, we call it as kara kolambu. We have varieties of kara kolambu, which is made up of uh, uh, tamarind sauce. This is called rasam. Every day we have flavors of rasam. One day we have pineapple, one day we have tomato, one day we have jeera, uh, one day we have ginger, and then garlic. And now we're going to see how he makes the paper dosa. Huge, like two foot dosa, maybe three feet. Look at that. Huge frying pan. He's gonna use this whole thing? Yeah, the whole thing. Oh. Okay, so the difference between a regular pancake here in America and what they're doing here is that the batter is made from rice and lentils. Okay, that's the biggest difference. We just did the paper dosa, which is like two foot huge dosa, super crispy. The next one is the maestro masala dosa, right? So what they did is they made the dosa, took off some of the batter, and then he added this beautiful spicy chutney, right? Maestro chutney. Maestro chutney? Yeah. All right, so next up, he's making the vada, so a savory donut made from lentil batter. This is onion rava dosa. And what is it made with? Uh, rice, rice flour, and uh, suji. So it's going to be very similar to the paper dosa, right? In thinness oh, and crispiness. Uh, the paper dosa is bigger one. This is a smaller one, but it's crispy. Babu Kanabra. 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 I'm from Chennai. Chennai. So everybody here is Tamil. <laughs> Tamilese. <It's> Tamil. <laughs> awesome, awesome. We are Tamil. Okay, so next up we're making a batura, which is basically a huge puri. It like explodes. It's basically like a pillow when you get it and you pop it, right? And you said there's a difference between chole bature and chana batura? This one is chana batura, bigger one. Uh, chole comes with small one. Uh, so serves so with, uh, you know, garbanzo. Mm -hmm. Comes with garbanzo, side dish. Garbanzo, chickpeas. Chickpeas. <laughs> Great, yeah, dude. Every language here, dude. <laughs> it's like a pillow. Hold on, let me pop it. No, I'm joking. At the table, at the table. No, and this one you have to eat fast. You have to get to the table and eat right away. Thank you, thank you. Shukriya, shukriya. Now let's go eat. Enjoy your food. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. Food's ready, David. We gotta go eat. Amazing, amazing. Let's go, let's go. Oh, look at this. Steve, so you ready for this? <laughs> yeah, I'm so ready. I wish you could smell this because it's amazing. Wow. Everything looks so fascinating too. Look how big these things are. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, we have a huge feast. We have one, two, three different dosas. We have bara, we have idli, and we have chana bature. So in Delhi, they call it chole bature. Uh, you know, I guess from Chennai, they call it chana bature, which is basically chickpeas right here. And you have this huge puri, right? So it's bature, it's not a puri, it's massive. So how do you eat this? How do well, you start? Pop it first, like okay. you know, break it up, and you use one hand. Usually, you use one hand to do yep. this, just like that. Just get a bunch, you know, not too big. This is usually what they'll grab in India. They don't get like too huge. Okay. And then you go and you grab this. So you go in and you know, chana or chole. 
That's chickpeas, right? So you just grab this, so it has a nice gravy. Are these the same? Same thing, yeah. Let's give us a bunch, right? Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Oh man, so much flavor, right? That's incredible. It has a little kick to it, but a not too spicy. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's actually a little thick, this gravy. It's not like so watered down. It is. Right? Oh, delicious chickpeas. I know. It's perfectly crispy. It's mm. crispy. It's, you know, it's, it's like soft. And, oh. It just has a lot of air pockets, right? Like, look at that. Scrap bunch. This is delicious. I love this. Yeah, I need some more of this. And, and you just wow. go in, grab as much as you want, right? It's the best part of Indian cuisine. And obviously, we washed our hands right before this. Have to do that. Mmm. Mm hmm. Wow. Wow. So fresh. So, so fresh. good. Yeah, man. It's like teaching you straight back to India. Tell when you like close your mind, like close yeah. your eyes, you know? I don't know about closing your mind. But <laughs> Open your mind, close your eyes. It's really early. <laughs> so delicious. Creamy too, right? Oh, wow. Mm. So it's a little oily, obviously, but not so bad. I mean, it literally took like, what, like 10 seconds once you put it into the, into the hot oil? It blew up right away. Blew up. Like I was not expecting on. that. I didn't know it was being made, so mm -hmm. to see it just inflate like that was awesome, right? really cool. Yeah, because it looks like a flatbread, and then he throws it into the oil and just pops up pretty fast, takes it out, and this is the thing you have to eat first, because if not, man, it, just, it won't taste the same, mm -hmm. you know? Even the way he rolled it out and then whipped it was so impressive. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, dude, he has strategy. Thank you, thank you, appreciate you. Oh, <laughs> so nice. That was the manager, by the way. Yeah, this is great, man. Mm-hmm. What do you want to try next? That looks really interesting. Yeah? So this is the Rava Onion Dosa. So what does it come with? Okay, so three different chutneys here and a sambar. So sambar is like a, like a lentil vegetable stew. Okay. Right? So usually they dip anything in. You can also drink it if you want to. Really healthy. Next to it, we have three different chutneys. So we have tomato chutney. It's probably gonna be a little spicy. You can already see a chili in there. You have coconut chutney. This is my favorite, dude. I can literally just go like this out. Yeah. And you have the mint chutney. And then for this one, it's super crispy, right? Never tried this before. Look at that. Wow. It just peels right off. It just peels right off. Got some vegetables in here. Mm hmm. And then, so you want to try this? I think you should try this one first. All right. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Wow. You're right. I know. That coconut, wow. That's bomb diggity. Bomb. Wow. And it's actually a little doughy. There's certain parts that's doughy, but majority is crispy, right? And it wasn't too spicy. Yeah, it has a nice nice flavor to it. A little mm -hmm. spice, but not too much. Yeah. And it's cooled down because of the coconut. Wow. You wanna try this one? First, I wanna try this just alone. Because alone? That, was, that was really delicious, but I think it was mostly flavored with that. Okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That onion flavor. Again, savory pancake, right? Mmm. Savory, crispy. Just alone, this is amazing. Oh, but you man. have all of these. Ugh, to go with it. I mean, the best part about this is the pairing of the chutneys. Yep. For me. It works. Dude, just put it in there. Yep. It Let works. it soak up, right? So it absorbs all that. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. So healthy. Mmm. And this comes with everything. Wow. Mm hmm That's a punch of flavor. Punch of flavor. So many vegetables. This one's yellow. Usually it's like more red. I'm getting different flavors now. Like the aftertaste mm -hmm. is even better. Wow. Yeah, you have a lot of uh, a lot of different flavor profiles here. I love the texture of this mixed with that. Mm. You know, it's light. I think this one's gonna be spicy though. I'm just gonna dive in here. Let me get your reaction to that. No. No. It looks spicy. It's subtle. Mm-hmm. Thing is that sometimes with these, they start to sneak up on you, right? So you have to be careful. Right. <laughs> and over here with the mint one. Wow. Mmm. Yeah? Mmm. Gotta get in there. So good. Mmm. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Wow. For me, my addiction is this one. It really is. How good this is. Mm. What a unique dosa. I'm trying to pick which one's my favorite, Samba. They're all so good and unique in their own ways. You want something cool? Yeah. Mix them all. Boom, boom, boom. 
Mmm. Right. Trifecta. The trifecta <laughs> right there. Yeah, because you have that tomato. It's almost like a tomato paste wow. mixed with the coconut and then the mint, right? Ooh. Good enough, right? Huh. You gotta wear it too. Mm hmm. <laughs> Threw my pants right there. <laughs> wow, I need to live here. This is amazing. I know, man. For me, South Indian breakfast is the ultimate breakfast. You know, I'm a big pancakes guy. Grew up in America, born and raised. Pancakes all day. This is. This is next level pancake. This is next level. This is incredible. This is vegetarian. Yeah, everything is vegetarian too. Next up, we have another staple in Southern Indian cuisine. This is the idli. So this is a steamed rice cake. So they get the rice batter, they make it into these beautiful little cakes, they put it in the steamer, and that's it. All right. I've actually had, in Bangalore, I had one the size of this plate. Really? Yeah, and then you mix it with the chutneys again, the same three chutneys, you have a sambar next to it. And I think this is a different chutney here, right? Oh yeah, that's different. Uh, Milka puri, it's uh, a bit spicy. A bit spicy? Mm -hmm. Spice is my name. All right, <laughs> let's do it. So grab one. And then I usually just do this, break it like that. Yeah, beautiful, look at that. Oh, I know. One hand, one hand cut. You guys gonna cut it like go. that? There we go. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this spicy one. I'm gonna watch you try that spicy one. Mm, let's see. Mm. Wait for it, wait for it. There's black pepper in here. Yeah. It's not too spicy. No? No, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm a spicy fiend, so okay. this is not that bad. I think if you mix these, I think the flavor will be amazing. Yeah. Do whatever you want, you know? And also, sambar, like if you do this, that it looks, absorbs it. I was just know? gonna say, this looks perfect. Like that. Cheers, bro. Oh. Mm hmm Ooh. Mm. So soft. So fluffy. Mm. Like a pillow, right? Mm. Wow. So good. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. So these are the staples. These plus the vada that we'll have next. Yep. And then, incredible. I'm just going to whichever chunk you want. Mm-hmm. Right there. Oh wow. So you're diving into South Indian heaven, right? <laughs> I think I need to take a trip to South India, man. I'll tell you, bro, you're fun loving. Look at this place, it keeps filling up. More and more people are getting here. It's already 10.30. They only have an hour left, so try to get here early. Nine in the morning on a Monday today? Yeah. That's why it's a little empty. I didn't drink all this, man. <laughs> so delicious. Delicious, but you know what? If we finish that, we won't get to the next one, so. Now these were really cool to watch how they make it. Mm -hmm. So same you know, concept, they give you the plate with the three chutneys plus the sambar, and then you have this. So a savory donut, right? This is called vada, V-A-D-A. -A. Vada, this is thick. Oh, you're just gonna use one hand, huh? Ooh, I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying, I'm the attempting. Way, I know, right? I know, you, gotta, you have to, man, you have to. So what do you want to try? First one, this is the one I go for. Okay. Yeah, man, coconut. coconut. Again, this okay. is like the biggest thing down there. If you ever go to Kerala, India, yep. the state of Kerala, the name means land of coconuts. Okay. So everything's coconut. I've actually been to Kerala. Oh, have you? Yeah, I actually Wait. stayed with a local in their home. It was incredible. Where'd you go, Kochi? Uh, just, yeah, just outside of Kochi. Okay, yeah. perfect. It was incredible. Look at that, he's been. I was couch surfing. <laughs> Amazing, dude. Well, cheers, man. Here we go. Glad to have you here. Ooh. Mm hmm. Mm. Savor, right? Mm. Not sweet at all, but this obviously gives it the sweetness. That's amazing. It's so good. Just the thickness of this, too. Oh, it's so soft on the inside, but perfectly crispy on the outside. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, so you have that contrast, right? And then inside, you see there's probably like a little chili in there. Oh, yeah. And again, this is meant to like, the way they make it, it's not too oily. You know, it's not like a crazy fried donut, but obviously it is fried. Yeah, and it's it's heavy too. It's It looks it small, heavy. but this is this is hefty. You have two of those and you're done. Yeah. Like, it's obviously easier to eat these uh, doses because they're thin, yeah. right? The moment I think I feel something, I taste something, then another taste kicks in. And then another one. Amazing. Coffee, water? What do you need? I need some water, but yeah. Wow. I know, me too. The best. This is a monstrosity. Dun, da, dun, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. So I love doing this because this is a very fun one to eat. Look at this. It's like here, pick it up. You can, like yeah. unravel it, right? Like unroll it, but you just pull a piece. Oh, it's oh, it's so thin and crispy. Yeah, so this one, you just go like that, right? Flaky. I, yeah, flaky. It's still a little doughy inside, right? I know, right? Mmm. 
So I go like that, then I just dip it into these chutneys, right? Yeah. And you keep folding, you make a bunch of layers, and then they'll absorb, right? Like that. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh man, but my hands are like super oily now. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's not oil, it's it's ghee, right? So ghee is clarified butter. Okay. That's what they use in everything. Let's do this. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. So crispy. Wow. I love how every dish is just unique. Mm -hmm. So different. Mmm. Isn't it amazing though? Because they're using almost the same ingredients. Just the way they just, prepare it. Is different. Yeah. Different styles. I love how this one is so thin and flaky and crispy. Mm-hmm. Mmm. This one called ghee roast, which is like a cone shape. Mmm. And they just put maggi. So all clear by butter. That all right? It's so good. It's too much. Eat some chutney. Mmm. Or not some samba. This is what makes it, right? It's uh, the flavors. Mm -hmm. Jam, jam packed with flavor. So much flavor. Nice and crispy. Again, I know we're repeating a lot, but at the same time, we're not, right? Oh. Yeah. It just keeps getting better and better. Mmm. It's a tomato. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> I can't get over how big this thing is. Normally, does one person eat this, or is it normally shared? You're gonna eat this if you're not eating all this other stuff. Yeah? Because it's just I, mm. huge. Baby, coconut chutney, bro. That's a game. Period. Mm. Dude, stop hogging this one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm done with it. Wow. Awesome, though, son. If you ever go to this restaurant anywhere in the world, you get this one. The last one, and we don't have any sweets after this. We're good with this. <laughs> Everything looks so interesting. <sighs> so interesting, so unique. They're all very different. And this one is the Mysore Masala Dosa. So this is how it works, mm. right? So you open it up, and there should be a place here. Break it somewhere, and then there you go. See yeah. the potatoes, right? So yeah, like that. So you see the potatoes, they're all in there. They just put like a little stuffing. So you do is you grab a piece, right? And then you go in here and you pull that and it's nice and mushy, right? Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of this. Take some coconut. Coconut? Yeah. Yeah, me too, bro. Ooh. Oh, let's do it. Cheers. Mm-hmm. It's a little spicier. You can put that chutney inside. Different, right? And this one's not crispy. This one's more doughy. Yeah. So each one's very unique, right? Unique in style, and then also with the flavors. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then this coconut uh, chutney has some mustard seeds. I love that. It's an extra, the extra kick there, you know? Man, I, I'm getting really full. Sort of. <laughs> Even though you get full, you just... You don't want to keep going, right? want to keep going. It tastes so good. It's so addictive. Oh, it's, it's like a good day. red and orange. You can see the flavor. Mm hmm You see, I mean, it's not so spicy, right? I think they kept it a little mild for us. Obviously, Western palates are a little different. I appreciate it. Yeah, but <laughs> if you want to, just add, ask them to make it Indian spice. And then it's, you know. That's real spice. I mean, I'm feeling something. A little, yeah, a little bit. But I know there's so much more potential to be way oh, more yeah. spicy. Get some more of this. Paper dosa. Team, thank you so much. Thank Thanks. you, thank you. Thanks, shukriya, man. shukriya. Thank you, we loved it, man. Paper dosa. Paper dosa is the best. Thank you, we'll see you next time. See ya. Thank you. Next time I'm in New York City, I'm coming right back here for breakfast. Thank, thank you. you. Thank I'll you. see you. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, my friends, we did it. Steve Yalo has South Indian breakfast here in Manhattan, Curry Hill, Lexington and 26. Dude, what was your favorite? Ooh, the first thing we tried, the big puff. What was that called? Uh, so chana bature or chole bature. Ooh. So big, you know, huge puri. Yeah, with, with chickpeas. chickpeas. Oh, delicious. What about you? Paper dosa. Yeah, that was oh, amazing. Oh, you know what? Let me change my mind. Onion rava dosa. Okay. Th that onion one was so unique. It's like super crispy, lots of onions, fantastic. And again, this is the number one like South Indian veg restaurant chain in the world. South Indian breakfast from 9 a.m. to 11.30, 26th Street, Lexington on Manhattan. What a way to start the day, right? That was just breakfast. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm so excited. I'm doing a Bengali Fuchka challenge here with Naeem. He has, <laughs> he has an incredible food truck business and they bring Fuchkas. If you guys don't know what Fuchkas are, 
So these are crisp flatbreads, almost like Bani Puri, Galgapa. Obviously, the language is what changed the name, right? So in Bengali, it's Fuchka. Also, this is like a authentic. So you see, Bani Puri is different, and the way we make Fuchka is an authentic Bangladeshi food. You know? So it's a little different, yeah, right? A little different, yeah. Yeah, so the way it works is that he just pops a hole in this, right? Like, he'll pop a hole like that. And then he'll stuff it with this potato mash that has been mixed with chickpeas. And then he adds in, you know, coriander, uh, red onions. He adds this beautiful bani, which is like a sweet, sour, spicy. It's like a big mix, right? And then we have chilies and he shaves egg on top, right? So we're gonna do a challenge. He has about a hundred here, roughly. I have my boy Steve Yalo is joining me. Also the Greek solo behind us. And we're ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm excited yeah, too. Go, man. So I started this one, but Steve, are you ready? Oh, I'm so excited. This looks great. I'm so excited for this. I've never done this, but that's what you, that's what you get for hanging out with Steve and David. So. <laughs> I company, man. Okay. It is. Oh my God, I wish. You know what they called me in uh, India? Oh. The Puri King. Oh, Puri King. <laughs> Usually oh Puri God, God, but I don't say God. I say King. You know? Because I can eat like a hundred of these, bro. Oh my God. Really? Don't stuff them too much. That's a secret. If he stuffs it too much. Then we get full really fast. Too much. Too much. No, no. <laughs> no. Usually I don't do anything. If I do something, I do it 110%. Otherwise, I don't do it. Yeah. When I, I do fun, I do it 110%. So this is authentic Fusca from Bangladesh. I came to this country after 15 years. I get to experience something really authentic from my country, which is from Bangladesh. And heads up, heads up to this guy, Tong, that he bring it here for us. I really appreciate that. And I come here almost every other day to have it. This is like my everyday snacks. I would eat it every day too. Thank you. I love it, I love it. Thanks, bro. Let's now I'm gonna put the red onion at the top. Lime, you're the best, bro. Thank you, bro. You know, I make my own masala, some of them. You know, it's a special it's ingredient. More so spices. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna save the egg. There we go, man. Now, what I'm gonna do, I didn't put the sauce earlier. So we are ready. We have the food, guys. We have around 40. Yes. This is easy. That's what we do, right? So you gotta put the sauce. Just get the sauce. Alright. And then you go in, you pour it inside. I add like at least, you know, maybe a little hot more. And I have more one, bro. More? more? And you know what? I'll throw a little chili oh, on top. Right away. Yeah, with yeah, the chili. I, I, I didn't know. Ah! No, 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 no. We have to, we have to. It's my first ever pushka. First ever. This is a good I'm excited. How, how does it go? Yes, Alright, let's do it. Oh, what? Yeah. So good. Oh, no. Ooh. It's crunchy. Mm. It's sweet. It's spicy. Woo! That flavor hits you. That is amazing. It's amazing. Mm. So many different flavors. And that was one. I'm ready for a hundred more. A hundred more. <laughs> yogurt fusca. Well, so yogurt fusca next. And, and you guys say doi, and doi. in Hindi it's no, in, dahi. Dahi, yeah. Cheers, bro. So, Mm. Bro, you took me back to India, man. Oh, thank you. Wow. Did you ever been to Bangladesh for the food? I've been to West Bengal a lot. But and Assam Bangladesh. and Meghalaya, but I haven't been to Bangladesh. Brother, trust I know. me. That's gonna save your life for the street food. Yeah? Trust me. Yes. He's saying there's over how many different street food items in Bangladesh? At least 10,000. 10,000 yes. street food yeah. items. It's very authentic. So I want people to know that, you know, Bangladesh street food is Bangladesh street food. Yeah. We are a small country beside big, big countries. People more know than, you know, about the culture of food and they go there more. Exactly. But we have some heritage that you have to go and explore. Yeah. It's amazing. And as much as I can, I will try to bring it in here in the USA so that people know about our food, you know. I started, lots of people are following through them. Again, lots of people are knowing about Bangladeshi food. This is my happiness. It's not for money. I love it's it. It's not guy. only for anything. It's a hope, it's a dream. You have to do something, right? Even a little step, you have to put some food a step. Are you going to jump with us? Are you going to try? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Yeah. Yeah. number three, man. Boom. So good. I love the egg. Mm -hmm. It just keeps getting better and better. Mm -hmm. I could eat this every day. This every is day, right? This is so good. Dude, the thing is that when I you know, travel in India, and I, I ate a lot of this in Kolkata, which is obviously right next door, right? West Bengal. Yeah. Mm. Just the crunch and all that flavor inside, topped with the egg. Perfection. Oh yeah, bro. Cheers, bro. Cheers. It's too good. The flavor. The flavor is outstanding. If you want, this is how they usually do it, right? Yes. Fill it to the rim. 
Yeah, that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. no. My body was spicy. It was sweet. It's incredible. Thank you, brother. Whoa. You see, even the pan is very mm. different than the one I think you tried in India. Yeah, very different. Very and also different. the the puri is different too. It's yes. more crunchy. Yes, brother. So you see, we have all of them to see the end. See what else know. I can't stop. Don't stop, man. Look, look how fast he does it. So they do in the streets of of uh, Dhaka as well, right? They die like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So quick. Mm. I am in love with this, man. I'll say this is my favorite favorite street food item on earth. Oh. It really is. Oh, thank you. That's really incredible. Wow. Oh, it's a spice right there. Look at that. Chilies. Let's do it, man. This guy. Another, 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 another popular serving. All I know is I did yeah. like 10. I never had it with the egg. It's you a whole different, yeah, okay. whole different thing. Okay. Yeah, I mean, usually it will just be like chickpeas, yeah. aloo, Maybe some spice, you know? And they put some like, you know, green sauce or like, you know, the very mm -hmm. thin order, right? Exactly. And this is my specialty brother, right here. Thank Man, you. this is the best. Thank so you. tasty. Seriously. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, brother, I, thank you. Everything is in front of you. Take it. Yeah, I think I think the key is this, right? Yes, the key is this. The bani. Like, if, if the bani is good, and we know it's good water, because we're in New York City, right? Yeah, we're in New York City. And you know, I have my honesty with myself, and the honesty is whatever I don't eat, I don't give it to people, no matter if I win million dollars or single dollar. Mm -hmm. This is my honesty with me and my God. So this is how I'm I here. Love it, I love it. This guy is amazing, bro. I love you already. Thank you, brother. I love you. My Bangladeshi brother right here. Whoa, I'm feeling it in like 10 already. Woo! Woo! I'm gonna keep going. Keep going, keep that's, going. That's, that's the, yeah, yeah, that's the you, secret. You just can't stop. Here, let's, let's do it together. Right. Ready? This I'm gonna give you the fusca shot. Oh yeah? Yes. Oh wow. I'm so glad you brought me here. This is I know. I know a lot of people who have never tried this before. I'm like, man, it's that we don't have it. We don't find it, you know? And this is the thing about New York City. The mix of all those cultures, and you can find unique things that are really authentic, you know? That's what I love about it. Bringing Bangladesh right here to the streets of New York City. Incredible. Oh I love it. Honestly, this tastes so, so nice, bro. Yeah, it looks so good. Yeah. And how much does it cost here for 10? Uh, it's a seven pieces. It's a extra takes six dollars. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go, brother. And this is for you. You guys give me non-stop. There you go, my brother. I think this is better, right? Yeah, there we go. Just You should have put it right in his mouth. <laughs> this is better. Yes. There we go. Let's go. Mm. Let's go, brother. This is better. Let's go, let's go, let's go, brother. Let's go. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Do it. I ate 10 like in a minute. More, 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 more. This is your favorite. Mm. Go ahead, brother. It's the way. <laughs> oh, I'm hitting a wall. God. Did you have like 25 already? Uh, yeah. I have the count right here. <laughs> I ate here, my brother. Oh. I need a break, bro. You have a break? You sure? Ah. This is the last place, hard, okay? Hard, hard. Take one more. You can take it, I know. Just don't put it in your cheeks like a chip on. I can eat a lot more. And the thing is, take it slowly. In India, they'll, they'll give it to you, and they'll have the next one waiting for you to the bite. Right, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right now. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> This one has a spicy, I put some green chili. No, did you? Yeah. 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 I'm good, don't worry. Ah, uh, yes. Woo. Excellent. Woo. <laughs> it's hot, it's hot. All right, here we go. Are you ready? The ultimate Fushka challenge. Yes. There you go, man. One. Two. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna keep awesome. going. I am ready. You can do it. <laughs> I'll take this one. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, there you go. This is why people call him Fiskar. Mm -hmm. Now I got it. You had only seven pieces. Oh my god. <laughs> Feel good, huh? I got this. I got this.
Oh. Mental toughness. You know, feel something. Oh yeah. So what he's feeling right now? That's a wall. <laughs> that is a wall of flatbread. No, no. There's always some room, bro. In Greece, we say there all. There's always some room, bro. I know. I know. You guys do that. <laughs> so anybody you are in New York City, you guys, I will see you guys, right? You guys. Oh, for sure, for sure. I would eat them a little slower, but right now it's great. Mm. Straight in the mouth. Come on, yay! Give me more. Give me energy. Because you can have wait a long time. You can wait a long time when he, once you put the pani in it, because then it's just yeah. soggy. Yeah. This is not a to-go item. This is right here, right now. <laughs> Seems very happy with the food. So magnificent. So it started raining, so we went undercover, set up some umbrellas, and we're right here on the side, right? I need like a 10 minute break. How you feeling? My stomach expanded, but I feel good. All right. Feel okay. good. You? I'm, I'm great. Yeah? It tastes amazing. A little quicker than I was expecting. Usually I'm a slow eater. I like to take my time, enjoy the flavor. But this is just pop, 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 pop. But it's so good. And I'm ready for more. I mean, that's the challenge, right? It's how much you can take in a short period. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I can do the whole day and eat a thousand, but. Yeah. No, man, you don't stop. It's a challenge, I can. I only got to have all the fusca together. Problem with the doy fusca, it's gonna be soggy right away. Because of the yogurt, it becomes soggy right away. So this is quick, he's gonna fill it up, he's gonna throw all the ingredients, and we're just gonna take them down. We're gonna take 20, roughly 20 down really quick. I the two pieces from over here. I mean, 16 each of us, uh, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. No problem, I might just hide some in my pockets. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> My food has to look good also, it has to taste good, oh, so good. you know? Alright, so ready? Eight in each palette. Eight in each plate? Let's yes. go. Oh, no. Can I have another two ready? Oh, I can have one try. Mm. Pancake. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that yogurt. Yeah, it was so sweet. Mm. Ooh, it's like candy, it's so good. Mm. It's crunchy. It's sweet. Easy going, right? Yeah, mm. right now I'm gonna do something very good for you. Well done. The way I do it, I like it. Mm. Right now, let's just change the lock. Mm -hmm. Which one is better? This one or the other one? This one. This one? This one's so sweet. I think if you like yogurt, no? I mean, it just balances it, right? You have a little bit of spice, but then the yogurt just cools it down. You got these little crunchies on top, too? Mm hmm. Oh, boy. You have two more players. All right. Easy work, bro. Easy work. So much yogurt in that one. Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is not easy yogurt. It's amazing. But this is amazing. Oh, look, look, so you wait too long, it's too soggy, but that one, just split it up, right? Whoa, yeah, the best. Yeah. Woo. Oh, man. This is filling. What's happening to you, bro? <laughs> Man, it's not even India. Like from now, you will be a street food god to me. Like, you know, yeah, the way you can eat that. Street food god. He's a beast. I, I'm going as fast as I can. Look at him. He's already on his second plate. I'm struggling over here. It's delicious, but woo, it's mm. a lot. I'll be eating, you know, Pushka with David Beckham, bro. One oh. day. You know, yeah, you, if, day. Yeah, definitely. If you put it out there, Inshallah, right? Inshallah, Inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah, this might happen. Please start making news, New York Times. I got all the food awards in New York City 2019. Mm -hmm. I got all of them. Oh, wow. All of them, all of them. Oh. Yes. Best food award in Queens and four in all over New York City. It's right here. And I want you guys to know something. I was here about a month ago. We were literally just walking around filming. And we found this stuff. We loved it. I DM'd him on Instagram. And he was like, no, you're coming, you're coming. So. We're here today. Yeah, I'm very happy, man. I'm very excited. And oh. I, as I know, I, I saw your videos and everything. I'm a fan of you. But when I saw the challenge in India, Fusca challenge, you know, this is my thing. Why not in USA? So Look, we're doing it. I'm happy, brother. I'm deep. How about you? Here's Paul. You already... I, I'm hitting that wall. I can <laughs> see it right here. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. you Fusca, know Fusca King yeah, right Fusca here. King. I'm, yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah. I think... That's you know. Plate, you ah. <laughs> get, get this one. You always holding the. It's okay. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Cheers, okay. Cheers. Cheers. All right, guys. One, two, three. Wow. Whoa. Mm -hmm. No, I'm doing. <laughs> you want me to make more? I can make more. I have three other items over here. 
Remember Pepto Bismol. Right? <laughs> Dude, you put some chilies in here. Oh man, I think this is my last one. I don't know, I'm feeling feeling it right now. He doesn't have anything. I have to make one plate for him. Hurry up! He's he making him get more. Uh, he can't stop. You can do it, brother. It's a machine. You can do it, brother. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was he keeps going. Oh my god. I never I have never seen somebody like you. World Trust record. me. I swear to you. Then what's crazy is that <laughs> is that where, hey, where does it go? Where does it go? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Pity <Pidimas>. us. <laughs> it's more. Oh my. Mm. I'm going to lick my fingers. Wow. I don't encourage gluttony behavior, but he definitely ate more than this. me. But <laughs> wow. I mean, for this, you know, it's like once in a lifetime. We're here in the streets of New York City, starting to rain. We're here in the streets of Bangladesh. Right? That's what it feels like. <laughs> it's amazing. This is incredible. Oh, I need a break. <laughs> What's up, bro? You good? My head's dirty, bro. You do. Oh, yeah? It's Uzbekistan as well, right? Yeah, 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 I've been in Uzbekistan. Everybody call you the Fusca King, and I think I agree with it. You have like at least 70, 80 Fuskas without blinking your eyes. That's respect, bro. <laughs> you don't know how I feel right now, dude. I'm hitting a wall. I need somebody to walk me to the to the train. Look, like. look, look, look at this. It, st it still looks like you don't have nothing. <laughs> so it's perfect, man. It's it's going through me. I'll tell you that. <laughs> There's one. Like it's better than the, than, than the last one. Uh, and that was our Puska challenge here in incredible Jackson Heights, Queens, New York City, with my boy. Oh my God, I feel. Coma, but it's all good, it's all good. They have four locations currently. They're gonna open the fifth one and they're opening a restaurant. So if you're ever in Queens or Jamaica, Queens, you got Brooklyn as well, a few Fort, different, uh, Bronx. And oh, Jamaica, yeah. And Jamaica, yes. Perfect. So if you ever wanna come out here, try their fuchka. They have like six other things, right? So total yeah. eight different dishes. Fuchka is my favorite. Pani, puri, galakapa, whatever you wanna call it, obviously in Bangladesh. It's called that I had roughly around 60. It's really filling. I do not promote gluttonous behavior, by the way. Do not do that unless you're going to do a challenge with your friend. Obviously, we did a big challenge here. I think you did 30? 40? Yeah, I, I did a few less than, less than him, but <laughs> they were really <laughs> delicious. Awesome. Well, guys, if you're ever in New York City, definitely get on the train on the 7. Get off at Jackson Heights. Walk four streets over. So we're on 73rd Street, 37th Avenue, right here, Tongue, NYC. You guys will love it. If you guys love this video, Thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content, and hopefully soon I'll see you in Bangladesh. And I am done, dude. I am so full. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful Brooklyn, New York City. Today I'm super excited because I'm exploring the Benson Hertz neighborhood, basically 65th Street and 23rd Avenue. And here there's a lot of Albanians, a lot of Kosovo people. We're gonna be hitting up a few different spots and we're gonna eat some burek some kebabe, uh, some flea. I'm super excited. We're starting off right here at Arberia and we're gonna see how they make some burek. Sabona, Sabona. Sabona, Sabona. How are you guys doing? Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right. Ready to make some burek? Of course. Yeah? Gonna make the meat, burek, cheese, spinach, pumpkin, potato, everything. We also make a chabab. We make goulash, fasule, soups. We make spetsam and moss which is very traditional. So let's go inside and see how they make some burek. My man, I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah. Unfortunately, no Rocky here, no Rocky. <laughs> morning, morning, morning. How you guys doing? Good. Morning. morning. All right, all right, hello, hello, hello. Morning. morning. I bring this thing from the Kosovo, the real grill from the Jakova. And my friend here actually has a kebab tore in yes. Jakova, right? Yes. Still, right? Yes, awesome. yes, yes, yes. Okay, so if any of you guys... We are working together with one another guys, partners also. Awesome. And we are come here to make some, something different here in so Something unique, right? Yes. So what are you doing right now? You just pull out the dough? We're just laying down the dough, mm -hmm. we prepare it. We're gonna wait like a couple minutes till it's ready. And we're ready to go. Perfect. Don't try this at home. Okay, so we just made two different styles of burek. Right. The first one was with minced meat. Yep. Right. A little burek. This is the whole pie cheese. And we have a bunch more. We have cheese, spinach, pumpkin, potato. Yeah. A lot of different shapes. And so the difference between these two is obviously the minced meat and this one's cheese, but this one has so many layers. I mean, you use like five, right? Four, four five, four, four layers. Four okay, so four layers. Four, he added multiple different layers of cheese as well, and it's round. The other one is more like a individual, yeah, rolled one, like a rolled one, right? Yes. Perfect. So from here, it goes straight to bake. Yes, sir. 
Hi, my name is Marianne and I live in Brooklyn. I come here every day to eat. The food is great. The people that work here are great. So just come and join us in Brooklyn. The restaurant is Albanian tradition food from Jakova and Prizren, Pristina, everywhere in Kosova. So here on this wall, we do have Prizreni, Jakova, Pristina, Tirana, Dursi as well. Yeah, so I've been to most of these places. Most of it's from Kosovo because obviously they're from that area. Prizren, Beja, Jakova, and this is actually the first prime minister of Albania, right? This one right here. Yes. Wow, beautiful. Plava, Plavgutia is Albanian from Montenegro. This is like stepping back in time in the history of Kosovo and Albania. You know, really old school photos, over 100 years old, all of these. And yeah, I'm ready for the food, my man. Burek right now. And this is fresh salmon, just like in prison, right? Ooh, I love this bread. This, you add the kebab, kebab. Oh yes. my God, it's, it's too hot. <laughs> oh man. So we have some meat, right? You're gonna be the first one to wear this. No way. This is their new logo, and he made this shirt for me. You're gonna be the first one to wear. It's great, love it. <laughs> Arberia. And your name is Arbor. Yes, sir. You have the today's date. Let's see, I put it on. Fits perfect. Perfect size. Outside. Look at that. <laughs> so many things going on right now. So we have the grill with all the meat, incredible, plus the kaimak, which is like the boiled cream, right? Yes. And then over here, they're take, they just took out a huge thing of dough. I mean, massive. So he's gonna separate way. So the weight of one salmon is like 240 grams. This is the dough for the bread, not for the burger, for the bread. Keep going all day, huh? All day long. What's up, man? How are you doing? How are you, brother? Very good. So you love this place? Yes, of course. The food's amazing. I come here every day for lunchtime. They have a huge variety of uh, the menu you can choose from. The Breck's amazing. I always come here for lunch. And it's uh, very convenient for me since I'm from the neighborhood. Uh, great people. I enjoy their company. It's like family where they help me out every time. They make my food perfectly. This is insane. Look how many dishes they provided us. So we have a big mixed you know, grill platter. Then we have the Breck. Incredible burger, just ones with the minced meat. We also have the one with pumpkin, yes. right? Then we have goulash, flea, salad, bread, and then we have these two. These are almost like little tavas, right? Yes, uh, tava. It's that one is chabapa on the uh, cheese. Okay, chabapa on cheese, which called kaimak. And also we have uh, spezza on kaimak. Sp spezza, yeah, so that's the peppers. Peppers. Peppers and cheese. Wow. Soups with a. Uh, Veal and also with chicken. Okay, so and our tradition salad with cabbage. Salad with cabbage, I love that. It's a nice, refreshing salad, yes. like almost like a summer salad, right? Mm -hmm. And how do we start? Well, right here, right? Start with the burek. Enjoy. Look at this beauty. Look at that. So, if you guys don't know about burek, lots of layers. So it's like a meat pie. Beautiful. Mmm, nice and flaky. You know, mimosa is doing it. You know, with fork and knife. I'm doing it. Well, I, I will do the also oh, the old fashioned way. way. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Burek. Yes. Delicious. Cheers. Delicious. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Amazing. Amazing. Mmm. Love the dough. Nice and flaky. Super airy as well. Yep. It's amazing. Very wow. Delicious. The minced meat. And my favorite is the most traditional. We also have on the side you know, pumpkin, spinach, and cheese. Yes. Wow. Yep. This is the one you'll find yes. all over Kosovo and Albania, right? Yes. Anywhere you go, you'll find it. You know, Anywhere you go, Borek is there. It's there. Yeah, <laughs> usually it's like small bakeries, right? Yes. Mm hmm. And the iron, which is the best thing after Borek. Iron, so basically yogurt. Yogurt, yes. Yeah, it's nice and liquidy. Yes. And so if you're getting any heat, because in this food there is some chilies, you know, peppers. So you will get a little bit of yeah. like heat, Especially right? a little the bit of Especially the chokte with the pepper flakes. Oh, that one looks delicious. Yes. I need to try that one. You take a bite of this and you get teleported back to Kosovo. This was delicious, but if I keep eating it, I won't be able to finish all this food. So we're gonna jump on the mix, mixed grill. So what do we have here? We have chokte, we have uh, sujuk, we have vishle. We have a uh, bombita. Yes. This one is a spice from the sujuk. Sujuk, yes. I love this one. I actually had it in Peya. Yes, in Peya they all so made the sujuk. They're yeah, the best. You, you just walk into like one of these places, like a little butcher shop, and they have them all hanging, right? Also, the wishle is like uh, hot dogs, but they, they make 
Oh yeah? Yes. It's like a long sausage, right? Yes, long sausage. And you have to eat this all with the yes, bread, with right? The bread. So you get the bread, break it down the middle, right? Oh, beautiful. So if you ever go to a kebab tore, yes. right? They'll give you the kebab, right? Yes. And then you fill it in to the bread, yes. like this. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> the smokiness. Yeah. Mmm. Very delicious. I love the peppers here. Nice, not too spicy. I'm a big chili flakes guy. I can do this like all day, right? And the bread is so fluffy. I mean, it literally just takes you back over there, right? Yes. The oh. way they make the bread. 100%. This is amazing. Yep. If I wasn't eating all day long, I would just get this, you know, fill up with like four or five. That's, and that's it. it. I'm gonna yeah. try the sujuk next. It's like a spicy sauce, yes. right? And this one too. Mmm, mmm. It's almost like chorizo. Yes. Oily. This is the ultimate sausage. Yes, that's traditional. Do you want to get one of these? Yes, this is the vishle. The vishle. Homemade vishle. So take a bite. So unique. Mm. Yeah, it's very unique. And it has just totally meat? different taste. Yes. Whoa, so different. So it has like, you know, these spices that are just unique to the land over there, yes. right? I'm gonna limit myself though. You gotta slow down. There's too many things to try. Way too much food, but I'm excited for this one. The cheese, right? Yes. So what do you call this one again? Chopte share. Chopte share. Yeah. So it's just cheese with minced meat. Wow. It's gonna be the best, man. Mmm. <laughs> cheese is like so gooey. Yes. Nice and moist. Mm -hmm. This is and fantastic. they also they use a different cheese, which called kachkaval. Kachkaval. Yes. Okay. So it, that's. The main of making the chofte shara delicious. Wow, yeah, I mean it's completely different, right? So it's it's like it melted out, it yeah. literally oozed out. Best thing to do is eat it right away, right away. as soon as it comes off the grill, because then it just like melts in your Melt. mouth, right? Mm -hmm. And you can't eat the food without eating without one of these. Without peppers, nope. <laughs> mm. Oh, I love these peppers. Fantastic. This is almost like a huge padron. Yes. No? Homey food, comfort mm -hmm. food, right? That's basically the main of the food here is yeah. homemade food. Homemade food. Yes. And you know now that that pepper was hot. We definitely need the need this yogurt. Wow. You know what? I'm gonna jump on this guy right here. I don't know how we eat like this every day. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but they love the food. Mm. Definitely sweeter. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Yes, they sautéed with the sugar, mm -hmm. so it gives the taste, sweeter taste. And it's also so the pumpkin is a little bit sweet itself. Yeah, and the dough is actually, this is more doughy, this yes. one. So if you want like a sweeter burrick, go for the pumpkin. That's right. That's so good. Mm -hmm. I definitely recommend this one over any other one right now. Very good, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta try this goulash. So, if you guys know, my family's Hungarian and in Kosovo, Albania, they also do a lot of goulash, yes, right? Yes, they make the goulash with a veal. So they make the goulash with a veal? Yes, the goulash is with a veal, with the tra this our traditional stuff. Oh my god, so tender. Yes, it's very mm, tender. I love veal. Mm -hmm. That baby calf. Yes. So good. And it makes the food more delicious mm -hmm. and it brings a different taste. Yeah, and if you were drinking raki last night and you have a hangover, Eat this, Gosh, right? That's so it. Yeah, I mean the fats, right? They make it everywhere else, but I love it here. Yeah, I mean Hungarian goulash is very different yes, from this. Yes. And the next two are the tavas, right? Yes. I'm excited for this one. I love this one, cheese and peppers. But this one I've never seen before. So the kaimak with the chivapi inside. Yes. Chivapa and kaimak. And chivapa, they are different from uh, chofte. Mm -hmm. Chofte, they make with the uh, garlic, onions, and pepper flakes inside. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Kaimak. Go in here, grab some of this, put it on top. Yeah, and the kaimak gives all the taste. It's delicious. Mm. <laughs> this is the best dish. Wow, wow. Mm. So you have all the smokiness in the grill. Yes. But then mixed with the cheese, is flowing throughout. It literally is like covered in cheese. Yes. Wow, you, you killed me with that one. Because <laughs> I would destroy that dish. 
<laughs> Whoa. So next time when you come here, you know what to get. Yeah, I'm literally coming here for that one. And then here we have the pepper the with peppers, the kaimak, yeah, right? The peppers. You're not Albanian if you don't eat peppers with kaimak. <laughs> mm. Oh, they're so good. Mm. Oh, look at this. Creamy, nice and fresh. Yeah. And this is not a spicy pepper no. at all. This is very light. Last bite, bro. So we tried like five different things. There's still a few more things. We could have tried like another soup. We could have tried the flea, which we'll try it at the next place we're going to. And yeah, just an like incredible spread. Lots of delicious food. A real Albanian Kosovar experience. Wow, this is awesome. And guys are coming in now. It's uh, it's already 10.30. People are coming here just to have coffee, right? Yes. Coffee, burek. And that's it. Yeah. And usually Some breakfast the, is late in Albania. It's, it's late, but over here, because people, they work, so they start a little bit early. Yeah. So 10 o'clock. That's breakfast. That's breakfast. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so I'm ready for the next place. Yes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. My man, thank you so much. Thank you. It was a pleasure having you here. Hope you see you again very soon. Fale mendere Fale mendere. All right. I'll see you next time, brother. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank guys. You. Thank, thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate thank it. You. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank hey, you. Montenegro, Montenegro. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. This guy's the man. Bye, this guy's the man. Guys, Bye, please brother. come here. You, you will love it. Welcome anytime. Thank you. These guys are the best. These guys are the best. Thank you. There's nothing like Albanian hospitality. Nothing like it, bro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. David, from the restaurant over here. We also have the market store with our Albanian tradition food, Iriria. Over here, David, we have a dry meat and sujuk, and we also is the best homemade dry meat. So there's like almost beef jerky, right? It's a yes. yeah, it's, it's a beef jerky. Style well, beef jerky. look at how big this is. I'm just take a bite. Yeah. Mmm, it's good. If you're hungry, put this in your bag, right? That's it. Mmm, so good. Veal. They have peppers, coffee, paprika. So it's a market full of Albanian products. So this is the Klesh. Klesh, right? Plisi, Plisi. Plisi. They say it differently in Kosovo and Albania, right? Yes, yes. So question, how do you make the beef jerky? Basically, you cut it into the pieces, and then you salt it, you leave it overnight on a, on a refrigerator for the blood to drain, and then you hang it. I have a special place in Pennsylvania where you hang it, and you, you put the fire, the wood fire on, and you hang it on a, on, a, on a ceiling, so that's how it, it gets dry after two, three days. We're cutting dry meat ribs. Bone in. This meat, they make beans with it, so it, it gives a smoky flavor to the dish. And it's uh, delicious. It's our tradition, so everybody likes it. And it's amazing. Now is the season for it, so it just came in. The cheese that we have, we have the sheep, Jerocaster. We explore the market. Now we're going right next door to the next restaurant. As soon as you walk into this restaurant, it feels very fancy, yes, right? Yes, yes. So here we are in Sushpe. We're going in the back to see how they make some of these beautiful dishes. Oh, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? I hey, David, I did mix the veal, ground veal, in here, and then I put it into a, a machine that it makes the shape of the chebab. So basically. That's what we do all day in, in Sinchpe. The chebab is so tender and juicy and it's pretty much delicious. So that's what we like to do. Yeah, so this is part of the experience always, seeing how they make it, right? It's all made with love. Minced veal, they put it into the machine. It comes out in these beautiful, like almost like, you know, sausage uh, shapes, yeah, you know? Things, yeah. And it's incredible. I love eating this. It's really filling though, dude, especially with the bread, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> So he's making a pleskavica, which is a burger, and then it goes to a homemade burger bun with a lettuce, tomatoes, and uh, onions. And he's putting it on the grill right now. Pretty much the same ground veal that we did it earlier, but this one is filled with cheese, with kashkawal. So when it cooks, the kashkawal melts, and when you cut it, it melts in, melts in your mouth. So it's very, very delicious. David, that's where we keep the hot bread. So many things going on in this kitchen. So we just made the Albanian pizza, you know, with some sausages, uh, pasturma, right? Plus some cheese. And they're also making a few different bureks. And over here, they have the grill full of meats. Lots of meats. They also have some tavas over here with the cheese and the kaimak. David, this is a pide share, so you have to try it now because then the cheese will get too hard and it's not gonna cut. So we're gonna have a bite. Whoa, it's a big bite, bro. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> Mmm. Oh. Fox, that's delicious. Nothing better than the cheese like oozing out. Mm hmm. 
Oh, it man, it blends so well with the minced meat. Yeah. Nice and hot. You cannot wait for this dish. It has to like be eaten right away. Oh my god, try mac and cheese. Mmm. That is better than any cheeseburger in America. Thank you. Yes. Wow. So this is the Albanian pizza. So what does it have? Prosciutto, which is beef prosciutto, dry meat, and then you also have the mushrooms and the sausage, which is the, from made from beef as well. And uh, pretty much that's it. The fresh dough is made every morning, so that's what makes actually the pizza special mm -hmm. because it's the fresh dough every every single morning. And, and you that's add, uh, how we do it in, in Albanian style. And you add the peppers on top. And then, yeah, on the end we have the peppers on top. Always. Always. Always peppers. Always has to be a little bit spicy pepper. Oh, I can't wait for this one, man. I'm gonna wait a sec, that's way too hot. You're gonna burn your gums, dude. I'll eat this right here, right now. I mean, it's still hot, it's perfect. Mm. It tastes Albanian. It does, right? Mm -hmm. It's the best pizza in the neighborhood. Wow. I love it with the <clears throat> nice chili. Man, the dough is incredible. I guess the water you guys are using is so good, right? Yeah. And you have the sausage, and you also have the pasturma. Nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. This is phenomenal. Best pizza in the neighborhood. Okay, we have a monstrous feast. Got multiple buriks, the pizza, chibapi. Too much, dude, too meat. much. And we got some Rocky, right? And Rocky is waiting. We have to have some Rocky. It's not Albanian cuisine without Rocky. Absolutely not. My friends, Gazor, 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 Gazor. Oh, this is this is the best Rocky. Stone Castle. So smooth, right? Okay, my friends, we have so many different dishes. A few of them, obviously, I tried in the last place, but here we have to try the flea. The lamb, this is gonna be amazing. So, you know, rack of lamb. We also have this one, which is it's this. It's pasol with the meat, the dry meat. Okay. Homemade, so it gives a smoke flavor. The beef jerky that we had yes. last yes. At, at the market mm -hmm. is what we're having here. Yes. Over here we have a peppers with kaimak. Wow. Yes. So basically it's like a tava. So you have the kaimak, kaimak super and, creamy. Yes. And the spicy peppers, that's how we call samborka, which is from uh, same as in Kosovo, we have it here. Okay. Just like the ones that we saw it on the store. Perfect. And so this is flea. And if you guys don't know yes. about flea, it's a different type of pie. So it's a lot of different layers, right? Yes. So many also, layers. Yeah, the flea is made with the dough mm -hmm. and with the kaimak. Every layer has to be with the kaimak. Exactly. So it goes one by one, just like similar to crepes, but has totally different taste. I saw them do this in Kukes, so it's a border town with um, with Kosovo, right? So it's like 20 minute drive from Prizren. Prizren. Right? So there they did it outside, you know, lots of layers. It takes time, right? Yes, dough, it does. cream, dough, creamy. Yeah. The way for the dough to get a little hard, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but yeah, I'm ready to go. How should we start? Just right here? All the time when I come here, I order flea. It goes with the cheese. It's amazing. Melts mm. in your mouth. Mmm, <laughs> the layers. Yes. Cheese. And it mm. cooks. Perfect. I love it. So it's a little smoky on the outside, a little crispy, right? Mm -hmm. but then very, very doughy. Doughy, yeah. And so many layers. So you have cheese, dough, cheese, dough, cheese, dough. Yes. Wow. This is the bomb. Yep. This actually takes me like straight back to Kukas in a, in a way, right? Yeah. Look at the layers here. Yeah, so this is almost like the Iva. No. Iron. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yogurt. But this one's actually but this thicker. This is thicker and we call Kos. Kos. So you have this with flea, right? Yes. Mm. Oh wow, super thick, huh? Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. Mm. It's enjoyable and obviously not very sugary. This is like plain, yes, right? Yes, it's plain, completely plain. So next up I had to try the lamb, try right? The lamb. Look at this, oh, look at the ribs just come off. Beautiful, oh, it's the best. This has, you know, for me, lamb meat is the best because it's, it's, you know, it's tender, not so much fat, mm -hmm. and a little gamey, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is the absolute. Look at that. I just pulled off the, the meat right here. Mm, the bones. Mmm. Wow, where do you get this lamb from? But I mean, from Kosovo. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have a mixed grill plate, but before we jump on that, we're gonna do this one. Yes, this one is sujok with kaimak. They cook the sujok and they put it on top of the kaimak 
and they cook it together and brings the different flavor and you eat it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The food is amazing. I gotta try the sujuk first. I'm gonna just take a little piece, right? Yes. This is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. I love the spicy sausage. Oh wow. Oh, beautiful bread. Different, right? Yes. Nice so this is what we call a pitalka. So this is the sujuk with the kaimak. Can you try it? Mmm. Delicious. Just dip it in here, just right? Dip this? It. I'm just gonna get some of this first. Mmm. Yes. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. So creamy. That cream is insane. Yeah. It's so Very tasty. fresh. It's like, and then you also added the, the sausage on top? The sausage on top. Yeah. And they cook together, which is bring this flavor. It's almost like a chorizo. Yeah. So like spicy sausage with cream. One thing you gotta know about eating Albanian food, you will get full. <laughs> I know it's a lot of meat, but it's a lot of bread as well. This is always amazing, but definitely recommend putting it into the bread and yes. having it as a meal. And then over here we have the kofte, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So it's like a minced meat burger, small version. Small. Same thing, similar to this, right? Yes. Put it into the bread and eat it just like that. Mmm. So, when you travel in Kosovo, not in Albania, specifically in Kosovo, you'll see kebab torres. Yes. And they're doing these two types of meats all day long with the bread. Yes. I love it. I had a bunch of Pristina and Peya, Prizren, where else? I even yeah. went to Kobe. In Pristina, it's one of the famous ones called Shabani. You remember those? Yes, ones? yes, yeah. I remember that. So it's the same thing. Wow, and then so we still have to try at least one more thing, right? Over here? We're gonna try uh, peppers with cheese and also the pasol with the meat, the smoked meat. Oh wow, look at those beans. This actually reminds me of a dish from Asturias, Spain or with like it's like a fava beans. Fava beans, Fava yes. beans, right? But in Kosovo we call it pasol and in Albania it's a grush with the smoky meat. This is like the perfect winter dish, right? Yes, for winter mm. we recommend it all the time. And yeah, super filling, right? Filling. Delicious um, beans. So these are like almost like white beans, right? Yes, it's white beans. That's how the one that we use. Wow, and next up I gotta just jump on one of these, yes, right? that's it. Pull it out just of here? Just like that. And you just eat like <laughs> and this? straight to the mouth. <laughs> spicy though. Spicy. Kukacha. <laughs> it's like spicy and creamy. Mm. That's right. Oh, I've never had peppers like in Kosovo. Like this, mm -hmm. with the cream. Mm. The best, bro. Nothing <laughs> like it. And the cream is, uh, they made a very special, which is very rich and flavory. So this is the goulash with the veal and also we serve it with the mashed potatoes. And for the winter as well, it's delicious. Mm. Melts in your mouth. Gazor, gazor my friend, gazor. I have to be at another restaurant in about two hours, so gazor. This is Sinshpe restaurant and uh, I'm from Pristina, the owner of Sinshpe. And if you're ever in uh, Brooklyn, you can definitely come and visit us. We are on 2307 65th Street, Brooklyn. Cheers. So we had a lot of different dishes. Next up we have desserts. We have five desserts. Tres leches, baklava, and then these are different. Yes, this one over here we call a pieshka, which means like peaches. Okay. But they are filled with a gem. Mm -hmm. And some of them with the Nutella, so I don't know which one is there. Has to be. Yeah. <laughs> and over here we call like bombitsa with the ground cookies and we dip it on a coconut flakes. Bombitsa, meaning la bomba. La bomba. La bomba. <laughs> exactly, right? And this one is tespiste. Tespiste. It's a very good one. Yeah. Okay. This is, uh, tespiste is an old tradition uh, dessert in Kosovo. So I'm trying this one first. Yes. Okay, so this is Kosovo traditional, yes. right? Yeah, this one is tespiste. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> no, it just melts. Melts, yes. Crumbly. Very crumbly. Mmm. And has totally different taste. Wow. I mean, obviously lots of sugar. Yes. Very sweet. But it's sweet and but fantastic. It's like, if you throw a, like vanilla ice cream on top. Oh, that will be perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna jump on this one. The leche. The leche. <laughs> coconut. Uh, yeah. yeah they coconut, coconut flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Not supposed to be eating this much, but. <laughs> and you should also mm. try the baklava and the la bomba, like you la said. La bomba. <laughs> do I cut this guy or do I pick it up? Yeah, you pick it up just like that. It's fine. You want to take a bite? 
Uh, I've cut it in half. I've cut it in half for okay. us. Okay, we can share. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect Thank cut. You. Yes. Wow, look and at that. It's like thick and dense, yes. right? Mmm. Again, coconut on top. Mm -hmm. It's like chocolate, right? It's a cocoa. Cacao. Cocoa powder. Okay, cocoa yes, powder. cacao. Mm. Yes. Oh my god, this is incredible. Mm -hmm. But again, it's not a bomba. Yes. I Meaning it's a bomb in your <laughs> stomach. And that's how we call it bombiza. Oh, so good. I think Rita ordered to try this. Yes, definitely. Rita, please, when you come to Brooklyn, welcome visit us here at Bensonhurst Sishpe restaurant to try the baklava. It's homemade baklava. All right, whoa, this is like crazy. Do I pick it up like this? Yes, you pick it up like okay. that. This is huge. Oh, and we have some Turkish we coffee. Have, uh, how we call it, it's Turkish coffee, but in Kosovo we call it coffee shiptare. Okay. Yeah. Baklava, traditional in the Balkans, obviously Ottoman Empire brought it in. Yes, Eastern it's European. Eastern European, you know, every country in the Balkans has it, but it's always a little different. And this one has walnuts, right? Yes. This is a big one. Yes. Okay. Mmm. Okay. A lot of sugar syrup. Mmm. Yeah. Super sweet. Mm. She didn't want to be on camera. Look how, look how long she's been on camera. Oh. Uh, <laughs> he shrieked me, by the way. <laughs> All right, so cheers, okay. my friend, Gazor. Cheers, this is the coffee, the coffee shiptare. Coffee shiptare. Mm, coffee shiptare. Mm, yeah, nice black, thick. You know, I love this coffee because at the end, you have, you know, that layer at the end. Yes. You flip it over, yeah. read your fortune, you read right? Read your fortune and hope you're lucky. <laughs> hope you're lucky. And right here we have lokum, which is basically a Turkish, Turkish delight, right? Delight, I yes. love Turkish delights. When mm -hmm. I go to Turkey, this is my favorite thing ever. Yes, it's the best. A lot of sugar, but it's fine. Yeah. Especially goes with the coffee. Mmm. <laughs> Jens, this one's pistachio. Oh. We did it. Yeah. Albanian food in Brooklyn, 65th Street, 23rd Avenue. Went to two spots. Yes, to Arburia and Sinspe. And we tried everything, right? Yes, everything. Basically Do you remember everything. all the dishes? Of course, yes. Burek. Fli. Baklava. Çofte. Cebapa. Çofte şari. Uh, peppers on a cheese. A sausage on cheese with a kaymak. I mean, it, it doesn't really end. Fasol, goulash. Goulash, yeah. So it, it never ends. <laughs> it doesn't end. I mean, no. there's easily like 12 to 15 dishes you could try each one of these. And it's really amazing because they're right next to each other. So go from Aberia, go from there, next door, see the market, and then come here, you know, have a coffee, have some desserts. You know, you don't have to come here and go all out. I suggest getting here around, you know, 10 in the morning, trying a burger over there, come yes. over here and having a and bigger also, meal. also, mm -hmm. you can enjoy your coffee outside on the porch. It's amazing. It's amazing. And this is incredible that we're in New York City and I feel like I'm in Albania. Yes, you feel like Kosovo. you're in Kosovo. Right? Yep. Incredible. That's we, the best part about this We place. bring back home here. Yeah. In middle of New York, middle of Brooklyn. I love it. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You're I very really welcome. appreciate it because Zor, you're very welcome. thanks to her because if she didn't write me on IG, I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> no, I appreciate everything. You're well welcome. Yeah. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. And if you're ever in New York City, definitely take the, what was it, the F, right? Yeah, F train, F train to Avenue P and straight down to Arboria and Sinspeet restaurant. Yeah, so that's what I did. I got it on yes. the train around 7.45 in the morning, took it all the way down, beautiful. I mean, you won't, right when you come out of the tunnel, you start to see all of Brooklyn. Yes. Brooklyn's huge. You make it down to here, Avenue P, walk up 65th, and you're here. They're right next to each other, very easy. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in Albania, Kosovo soon. That's it. See you in Pristina. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. Cheers. I'm going back for sure. For yeah. uh, what is it? Uh, for, uh, it's out Sunny of Hill. Oh, Sunny, Sunny Hill. Hill. Sunny Hill. Sunny Hill. It was out of my mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sunny Hill. Sunny Hill. We'll, we'll be there. Do Sunny I need We'll be there for you. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from beautiful Astoria, Queens, New York City. I'm here with my boy Tassos from Greece, and we are here in Astoria. This is the biggest Greek community in New York City. Tassos, what do you know about this place? First and foremost, my first day here, and I gotta say it's really Greek. What I do know is, you know, like the first immigrants back in the day came here in Astoria, from Greece to New York City, and I've heard stories. You could literally walk around here, 
only with Greek, no English. But like now, obviously, you know, the years have passed, and you know, people have left Astoria, Queens, and they've been, you know, they went, you know, they went to Brooklyn, they went to Manhattan, but it's still like super Greek. Like literally, like my first time in here, I was like, why is everybody speaking Greek? You know, it's like it's insanely, amazing. yeah, it's insane. That's awesome. So we're gonna do like five different stops today. We're starting off at Taverna Kiklades. Kiklades, yeah. Kiklades. So it's like a seafood restaurant, obviously. Cyclades Islands, Cyclades Islands, Santorini, Mykonos. Yeah, so like Cyclades or Cyclades in English, uh, it's a group of islands in Greece. Most foreigners, Americans, think that Greece is those white buildings. It's not only that, it's, it's only that, that too. That but chain. yeah. But so we're gonna start off there. We're gonna have some seafood. From there, we're gonna go over to have some cafe Fredo. Fredo espresso. Fredo. If anybody's watching that, this, this from Greece, it's gonna be so excited. <laughs> yeah, because it's not frappe. It's Fredo espresso. No, like right now, nobody's drinking frappe in Greece, bro. Fredo espresso is the holy grail. Trust me, everybody's drinking that. Amazing. And then after that, we're gonna like walk around the city, see a market. Then we're gonna go to King Souvlaki, have some delicious souvlaki, and then finally up. Bahari Estuario. Estuario, which means restaurant. Okay, so lots of food. It's 2 p.m. We have about four hours to explore. Let's go. Let's eat some shrimp, right? Shrimp saganaki. Let's go, bro. Let's, let's go, go. Let's go. David, let's go into the kitchen. Loving this restaurant so far. It feels like Santorini. You can see they're making the little potatoes right now. One of our top delicious side dishes. Hola, hola. ¿Qué tal? Todo bien. So we're in the kitchen, and right over here to the left, we have all the fish. So we have the ice, the fish, the shrimp. Oh, it smells so good in here. We have this. The clam, the octopus, and everything is getting ready slowly, huh? Slowly, the right? Smells and everything. Is, I've been 10 months away from Greece, bro. This is what I needed. Yeah. No, I know, I know. It's just like, you know what? Like, Greek food for me, shrimp sakanaki, moussaka, what else? Moussaka, like, it's not really Greek, huh? <laughs> hey, don't say that. Like, almost, you know? Like, what, what influence, bro? Like, you know? Cultures and the cuisines like influenced by you know by the Turkish, by the Middle East, by you know by Asia. So you take out the side basically, um, and then you start opening up the fish. It's easier to eat. You push it down, and then it just comes off just like that. And then you just lift up like this, and take out the bones on the side. This is the best thing ever because I hate bones and fish. And that's why we're it's the worst. It's the worst. You might find one here and there, but the majority is there. Spana copita. Yep. Spana copita. So that is a spinach pie. So you have tiropita, which is cheese pie, spana copita. We have bugatza, which is from Saloniki, which is with cream inside and uh, you know, all the crunchiness. I can't wait. Woo! It's getting hot in here. So we're making octopus. Fried calamari. They have stuffed fish. That looks so good. This is stuffed fillet. Stuffed fillet. Stuffed fillet. Stuff fillet yeah. Wow. And then you also have fish up here, like yes. on the grill, right? And then we have all these beautiful so calamari, pulpo. You got more fish. You have like almost like a kebab, right? Yes, the swordfish kebab. Swordfish kebab. Yeah. Wow, that looks great. And you also have this hard bread. So this bread uh, the is the bread of Greece. It's really, really hard, but it's so good. Very good. Beets that we have is almost fresh. Both over here is all. Yeah, for all. Gracias, gracias. All right, I need a uzo. The uzo, uzo. Come on, come on. David, we might have all this food here, but you know, you cannot start a Greek meal before you have, you know, a sip of uso, so. So it feels like we're in Greece, right? Definitely does, bro, it definitely does. <laughs> so what's the story behind the white buildings? He told me an incredible story that no one knows. Yeah, so, Chiclad is the name of the restaurant. Chiclad is a group of islands in Greece, right? Mm -hmm. So the architecture, one characteristic, you know, one common thing about this group of islands is the, you know, the white buildings. And most of you have seen pictures. Now, there are two main explanations. The first explanation is that they would, were painting all the buildings white because at the time there was piracy in the Aegean Sea. So they were painting all the buildings white so everything looked the same. So when the pirates would arrive at a, at a certain island, they wouldn't know where to search, you know? So people were like, it was kind of a hideout for people, you know? Amazing. And the second explanation is that they were painting the, you know, the buildings white because, you know, the white color reflects the sun. We see sunny most of the most of the time, exactly. and uh, you know the interior is cooler. So these are the two explanations. Bro. Awesome, man. Well, cheers. We got some ouzo. We're ready to go. Yamas. 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 Mmm. Hello, Anis, man. So nice, the flavor, right? Bro, like I've been away from Greece 
for 10 months. <laughs> and uh, I really needed this. And it's your last day here in New York. It's my last day in New York, first day in Astoria. And, uh, and I was like, we gotta do this before I go, before That's you awesome. go. That's awesome. And cheers again, Yamas, Cheers. Yamas. Yamas. It's been a great day, an yeah. amazing meal, and the people here are so friendly. And I'm excited, man. We have some octopus, a pulpo, like grilled octopus, the best. We also have some stuffed clams, which have been baked. We have the red snapper, beautiful fillet. And over here we have fried calamari. A Greek and salad, of course. Greek salad. The Greek salad is the best. It's a, you know, olives. This one actually has some peppers and big blocks of feta. Okay, so how do we open this guy? So theoretically, you you remove the head first. Okay. Yeah. We have the spine in the middle, so yeah. So that's why you cut the head and you open this and you remove the middle. You know what I mean? So from this, you're gonna get a little sure. berry as well. Yeah, it's fine, man. Remember, this fish is easy. It's oily. It is freaking delicious. And right here, you just gotta grab this guy. Exactly. And now you remove it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And there's yeah. still a lot of flesh here. You want some of this? Well, nah, bro. This is not how we do it, bro. <laughs> no, this is not how I do it, bro. I'm doing the Indian way. <laughs> mm. Oh, my God. But, like, the most important so part, you know what the most important part is? See, sí, lemon. Uh, no, this is the most important part. I've been eating a lot of Indian food. I had some Albanian food today. But I gotta say, this is gonna be easiest thing to eat because seafood is easy, it's light. Tasty. Tasty. All so the tasty. olive oil. The lemon. Oh man, the best, the best. Okay, so we'll get some pieces here. Yeah, you gotta be careful also, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I try to stay away from like the skin because it has some bones. Get some of these pieces right here. Mm. Oh, feels, feels like I'm back in Greece, bro. It does feel like it, right? Right. Wow. The only thing we're missing is uh, the, 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 the ocean. The sea. Nice fresh fish. Wow. Melts in your mouth. Dude, it does. Wow. I'll say, I've never had seafood like I've had it in Greece. Never. Bro, this is the best fish I've tried outside of Greece. Yeah? Hands down. Wow. Oh, this is Greek, right? Oh my god, bro. This is actually, this is actually Greek, bro. It's like I'm back in Greece. This place is authentic. It's real. Mm. Everybody told me to come here. I know five or six Greeks here in New York. Everybody told me you gotta go to the, that place, you know, to experience Greece away from Greece. So here we are. And this is my favorite. This one? Oh yeah. The octopus, my, so my wife is half Kalimian, so Kalimnos, the, the island of the sponge divers. Kalimnia. Kalimnia. And there I saw them beating these guys, like on the boat. Yeah, like, yeah. that's how you do it, bro. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Oh, and it comes out tender, oh, oily. Do we do yasas? Yas, calispera, calmera, what, what, yeah. else do, what else do you know? Man, I don't know that much, man. You know, it's been a while. I actually haven't been back to Greece since uh, 2015. It's been a minute. Damn. I've been away for 10 months. We'll see how long I stay away. I'm going to visit him in Thessaloniki. In the future, for sure. So let's get on this octopus. They give us two massive tentacles. Whoa, look at this. You just got to keep cutting them, right? Yeah. This is actually very, very easy to eat. It's very meaty, right? Yeah, it is. It is. The oregano. The oregano. Uh, oh, God. It's too good. Oh, man. A lot of people don't know about trivi. Like an herb that grows in the mountains on the mainland of Greece, right? Exactly. I'm not sure where exactly it grows, mm -hmm. but yeah, it does grow in the mainland. Yeah. yeah. And it's a pity, you know, because most people that visit Greece, you know, get introduced only to the islands, but there's so much more in Greece. But I get it, right? Like somebody has two weeks of vacation, they're gonna go to Athens, make on the Santorini. Exactly. But there's so much more to Greece. So, yeah. so I'm glad we're here in Queens, bro, to show this. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, Greece is two countries. It's the islands and mainland. Exactly. Completely different cultures, it feels like. Cultures, architecture, food. The way land is, I mean, yeah. yeah. So you have these mountains, everything's connected, and then the mainland is completely separated. Greece is 11 million people, right? Mm -hmm. Half of the population lives in Athens, five and a half million. That's crazy. It's crazy. People visit Athens and they're like, I, I, I thought I would find like an ancient city and stuff like Rome, right? Yeah, yeah. Like Italy. I mean, you do have that with the Acropolis and stuff, but... Yeah, bro, but like, because it yeah. was ruined, so... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna eat it? This is a crime against humanity if you don't eat this, bro. Oh, to leave that guy? Yeah. No, we'll take it off, right? What do you want? This one. I like this one. Okay. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. You never leave the octopus. Mm. Delicioso, man. Polinostimo. Yeah, bro. That's, that's, my right. <laughs> that's my guy. And right here we have the stuffed clams, huh? So this is easy, right? Just hop in. And what do they have on top? Is that cheese? No, it's like uh, breadcrumbs, I'm right? I'm not quite sure, yeah. Like that, right? You can do it with your mouth, no? Yeah, I guess. Let me leave it in here, right? Oh my god. It's like the sea had a baby with bread. Wow. Wow. So delicious. <laughs> This is the best this year, right? One of the best dishes I've had, both in Greece and abroad. Yeah? Yeah, hands down. Yeah. I'm a big clam seafood guy. This is one of my favorite dishes. Bro, this is, like, this is like melts. Yeah, it melts. Cheers. I'm in awe. Bro, this is, this is insane. This is next level right here. This beautiful stuffed clam. Wow. Delicioso. How you say it? Polo? Poli. Poli? Nostimo. Poli Nostimo. Okay, next up we have the incredible salad. Look at this block of feta. Sorry that I'm grabbing it, but look no, at No, no, I'll grab it too. This is the best. If you guys don't know, that feta is trademarked in Greece. Yeah, bro, and, and the thing is like, this looks and I'm sure tastes like exactly like Greek feta, but it's really tough to find. You know, I go places and they're like, oh, this is feta, and I'm like, no, that's not feta. But like this, you can tell it is feta. It is, right? So lastly, we have the Greek salad, the fried calamari, and this sweet potato with, you know, oil and some herbs. I'm ready. Let's go, bro. You want to do that one first? Yeah. Let's go. The herbs, uh -huh. mm -hmm. herbs, nice sweet potato, chunky, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Let's move because I'm gonna gain like a hundred pounds in this video. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I love fried calamari. You know, Italian, Greeks, all the Mediterranean. We all do this, right? Mm. So fresh. And of course, you know, a bit of feta, real feta. Mm -hmm. Real feta right here. Wow. Yeah, yeah. This is how feta is supposed to be, bro. It's real. Yeah, it is. So what you should do is get like some tomato, cucumber. Obviously that's the pairing, right? For me, you know, I'm not a huge fan of cucumbers. I rather just tomato. Yeah, but. me either, but like, you know, cucumbers, bro. It's a great, great <laughs> salad, you know? Tomato, the juice of the tomato, mm -hmm. yeah. mixed with the feta, right? So Mediterranean, right? So Mediterranean. I mean, this is the ultimate Mediterranean salad, right? Yeah. Obviously. So, like yeah. north of, you know, in Bulgaria, Macedonia, they have like the Shopska salad, a little different, right? But this is another yeah, thing. This next level. Yamas, bro. We have to. Yamas, yamas. Mm. Wow. It's crazy that we're in New York City. Doesn't feel like it, right? Definitely does. Look behind us, we're all like, you know, blue and everything. Yeah, it's like blue, blue skies, actually the gray skies. <laughs> gray skies, I mean, it's getting, it's, it's, getting, it's getting cold in New York, huh? Yeah, it's getting cold, it's getting That's why we have sweaters on. Yesterday it was hot, like 80, today it's 60. Same. I don't do far now. <laughs> well, you do Uzo, so. <laughs> that's enough, that's enough. That's all the, inf all, all the information I need, you know? Fried calamari, the best is the tentacles, look at that. Even the sweet potato, every, everything like just like blends together. There's this mix of tastes, mm -hmm. and I feel like feels like I'm back home. You know, my, my mom asked me the other day, "You're gonna come back home?" I'm home, apparently. <laughs> you, know? you know, I mean, the thing is that it's so fresh. You know, that's the main thing. And Greens things like good. and things like when you travel when you travel for a long time. I mean, you do food <laughs> yeah, yeah. food videos. I'm craving like I'm craving for this. You know, it's like yeah. it feels so nice. Uh, yeah. So thank no. you, bro. No, no problem, no problem. Dude, even in Miami, like there's only like, two Greek restaurants. Yeah. And it's not the same thing. I don't feel it's the same at all. Bro, I've, I've had the like Greek food in America before, but this is like next level. This is like, you know, legit Greek food, guys. So, well, you know. We haven't even had souvlaki yet. 
coming up. Guys, you can't live without having the best dessert you've ever tried. We have the baklava over here and the Galacto Bureko, which are both homemade, only by Kiklavas. So enjoy. Galacto Bureko. So this is like a custard dessert with syrup. It looks almost like a rice pudding, but way better. <laughs> this is a sin, bro. It's not a sin. It's happiness. <laughs> it is. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It's really similar to Bugatza. Are you familiar with Bugatza? Yes. Similar, but different. It's different. And it has cinnamon on top. Yeah. Love that. Great topping. You know what they say? There's a famous Greek movie called Politiki Cuisina. Okay. And in that movie, it's about food that mm -hmm. like came, you know, it's basically a family that was forced to immigrate from Istanbul back to Greece. Yeah. And they were cooks and everything. And they say that Canela, the main character, the, the grandpa in that movie, it's a really famous movie in Greece, says Canela brings people together. Cinnamon brings people together. It does, man. I mean, yeah. it's sweet and freaking delicious. Yeah. This is a crime to leave it. I'm gonna finish it. Wow, me too. Oh, but I gotta try this one. Let's try the baklava first. Or next. Try oh, it's hard, right? Yeah. yeah it's, it's very different from the one I had recently in an Albanian restaurant. Yep. You know, a little different. Obviously, always walnuts. Pistachio is more triggered because they produce uh, uh, pistachios, right? Yeah. And cheers. No sugar syrup. And the balance in this one mm -hmm. is perfect. It's not too much, not too little. Yeah. Perfect. But yeah, it's not too sweet. I love the feel though. Whoa, bro. It's, it's sinking in, no? It's sinking in. It's, you know, I think I'm done. <laughs> yamas, yamas. 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 Hey, I've got a store. Paragalo. Where are we going next? Bro, I got you, bro. You're in for a treat. You're gonna try the real Greek coffee. Not frappe, frappe is Greek, bro, but further espresso, bro. The holy grail of coffees, bro. You cannot find this anywhere else outside of Greece. That's what I thought, but apparently, you can find it here in Astoria, Queens, in New York. So, so let's see, bro, I'm excited. This feels so like Greece, and you know why? Can you see this? Well, everybody, you know, obviously taking care of, not, not everybody, <laughs> taking care of the, their gardens. It reminds me of my... It's like a Greek thing, you know, my grandma, my first day in this area, but I feel like everybody knows each other here, you know? You can feel it's like this neighborhood vibe. You can see like the gardens. This, this literally, this frame here, I could be in Greece, bro, like literally. What I was saying about like Queens, Brooklyn, is that you have all these like townhouses, brownstone buildings, I guess what you call them, right? You have the gardens, you have the house, but then right next door, you have Main Strip. Yeah. Right? And there's like all the restaurants, everything. It's pretty amazing. Like I've never seen a place like this. Beautiful. And, and th that's beautiful like for, you know, for your viewers to, when coming to New York, if you ha have the time, explore different areas outside Manhattan, you know? Like New York is not only Manhattan, right? Yeah, most people think it's Manhattan. It's not yeah. only the island. Which Manhattan is beautiful. Five boroughs. Don't get me wrong, Manhattan is amazing, but New York is not only Manhattan. Can you see this arch, bro? It, actually, there's an echo as well. The graffiti is behind me. Beautiful, but it feels like really Greek, you know, the arch, the arches, you know, there are many bridges, you know, in rural Greece, not in the islands, not in Mykonos and not Santorini, but if you go in mainland Greece, where I'm from, I'm from, my dad is from Trikala, in mainland Greece in the middle, and there are like many places like this, you know, like all the bridges with the arches, so it, it's another like, you know, little touch that you, you feel like you're in a Greek part of New York. David, this is the best place for further espresso, I was here earlier this morning, and here we are, let's go. You can even order in Greek. I get this one that is in Greek. This is the legendary Sokofreta, bro. I grew up, remember, like I grew up in Greece, like watching the advertisements on television and everything. So Sokofreta, further, further espresso doesn't get any, you know, any more Greek than this. So. What do I say? All right, bro. We ready? Yamas. Yamas. Because I'm from Thessaloniki, and Greek people know that in Thessaloniki we say. Halara, which means like we drink a lot of coffee in Saloniki. People from Athens make fun of us and we're kind of like laid back, you know, so we have the coffee culture. This is legit for the espresso. It's not like, I'll give it 7 out of 10. And we, we, we're in Astoria, Queens, so, you know, that's great actually. <laughs> Alright, let me try this. Oh, this blows away a frappe. So this is two shots of espresso. Okay. In one of these, a Greek will drink three of these a day. 
Really today? Bro, we're Greece is one of the countries with the highest consumption of coffee in the world. We drink oh. so much coffee. Like the coffee culture, you'll see like a place like this in every other corner in Greece. That's crazy. So that's why I told you. So good. So, so good. strong, right? So strong. I love how it's fluffy at the top. You know, you feel that? You, you can feel like goes directly in your brain, you know? It's like you're like... <laughs> yeah, that's what I need. Every morning I need something like this, like, woo! <laughs> the way we do this, it's called Freddo Espresso, right? So we, we take the traditional Italian espresso, you know, two sorts of that. You put it inside, you put one piece of ice, like an ice cube, and you mix it with a specific technique. And then you, you add more ice, more water, and that's it, basically. It's all about the mixing, bro. So it's basically Italian coffee, but the Greek way. So the coffee itself is Italian, but this way, I've been in 30 countries, I've never seen people make coffee this way anywhere else, you know, apart from Greece and Astoria, apparently, so. Next up is Titan Foods, a Greek market. Let's check it out. Titan Foods, let's see what they got. Here we have the legendary Koboloi. My dad and every Greek guy with his frappe or his Freddo espresso, you know, they play with it. You know, you do like this, you hold like this. Next up, we have Philo for Spanakopita, you know, for the traditional Greek pies, all the crunch with it, you know. And every Greek house has, you know, stuff like this in their home. This is not sponsored, but like, it's dif really, really difficult to find actual legit yogurt outside of Greece. So, this is one of the few brands in general, like, it's really difficult to find legit Greek yogurt. You know, without sugar. Yogurt is not supposed to have sugar, guys. So this is the actual Greek yogurt. You can find find it here in Titan Foods. So right here we have all the Greek beers. Mythos, Fix. Which one's your favorite? Uh, None. I like Mythos more than Fix, bro. Okay, yeah, Mythos is the one I've tried. I haven't tried Fix, but it probably fixes your thirst, right? You should try, bro. I mean, I'm not like big on alcohol, but you know, I'll get a Mythos. You know, when it's a summer day, you chill at the beach, you gotta try Mythos, bro, or like, sure. you know, any beer. All right, David, so next up, we have all the original feta cheese. I'm so excited, bro, because 10 months is a long time, and to get the chance to actually, you know, like, be able to touch Greek products so far away from home, it's, uh, it's exciting, bro, it's exciting. That's what makes this city so amazing. You have all these cultures mixed up, and you have real products from the mainland or from the homeland, right? Yeah, and it feels like home, you know, like touching it, tasting it at home, you know, being able to cook the same stuff you would back in Greece. It's exciting. My mom would be really proud of me right now. <laughs> Tzatziki is a goat. Tzatziki is the spread made with goat's yogurt. Do you smell it? Mm -hmm. You come here and you, you smell all the herbs, the oregano. Greek oregano, four ninety-nine. I mean, it's a bit more expensive than in Greece, but it makes sense, right? They, they ship it all the way. But it's beautiful, man. Celery leaves, all different types of oregano, tea as well. <laughs> Even the cleaning products are Greek. This is so interesting to me, bro. He, he just told him to offer you some feta. I want some feta. You don't speak any Greek though, bro. Mm, Paracalo, Cristo. Yeah. Real feta. Whoa. Which one is this one? They don't have that in Miami, do they? Mm. No, right? <laughs> mm. I love the salt level. It's from an area close to Athens. It's, uh, actually, it's this area, it's called Arachova. It's from. Uh, it's known for uh, ski resorts, actually. Actually, I didn't know they, they made feta, so how was it? It's actually like the best salt ever. Yeah, because it's a little salty, still super crumbly. Wow, that's the best part about feta cheese, the crumble. So this, we have Stafidokulura, Ladokulura. These are like, I don't know how you go, like, type of cookies that you have uh, sesame seeds right with mezes you know like with meze with small how you say dips yeah like you can dip this in stuff and it's really nice if you haven't had this in your life you definitely should man you guys don't know what meze is it's basically like different type of paste right exactly. you know paste of eggplant you have tomato I mean it's an array of things you can have this with a Greek salad, you know, with your Greek salad, dip this into the olive oil and everything that's, you know, mixed in there, the feta, the tomato, the juices, and you have this on top of it, it's just money. So she says she's from Cyprus and I, I served, you know, army is mandatory in Greece, so I served in Cyprus, so she's really excited. I, I learned some Cypriot Greek while I was there because it's different, their, uh, you know, the way they speak, you know, beautiful country Cyprus. Trodos, yeah. I love it. This is the place to come to buy, you know, Greek products. They got cheese, they have everything you want. They have baklava, they have donmatis. But this is what you come here for, the chocolate. Come on, there you Thank go. Thank you so much. Garisto, it's just a pakalo, no? Pakalo, it's garisto, it's garisto. Polizesti.
Poli, zesti. I want to go to Miami to, to the beach all day. Oh yeah? Ah, yes. <laughs> so nice people, bro. It's raining here in New York City in Astoria. I think we have to run to the next place. So this guy won the Olympics like many, many years ago. I'm not, I'm not sure if I was even born, but all this is his store, I think, apparently. His name is Antonios Lupakis, and he's like a famous acrobat, I think, or something. He won eight gold medals right here in Vegas. There are queens, bro. Cool things all yeah. around. Yeah, and it feels like Jackson Heights because we have, you know, the overpass for the next bus. So the whole way over to King Suvlaki is like this. We got about a five minute walk, and we're there. Suvlaki, remember, Suvlaki and Yiro are not the same thing. Definitely not the same thing, bro. <laughs> so like Yiro is when you have the pita, and you know, they slice the pork inside the, the pita. Exactly. But Suvlaki is the, It's you pork know, on a skewer. Exactly, on a skewer. So be careful when you go to Greece. You gotta know how to order. So David, next up, we're at Cink Suvlaki. This is my good friend Grigoris from Nafpaktos. And uh, we're gonna jump inside the truck and see how the, a Greek traditional souvlaki is made. Let's go. So I'm talking about real street food. How are you guys doing? Everything good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Oh, look at this. So right here, he made for me a real gyro, right? Yeah, make the real gyro. Okay, so what do we have here? So we have a pita bread, we have french fries, the Greek fries with the feta cheese on the top, pork gyro, lamb gyro, and the Greek salad. The Greek salad, perfect. You know what, I'm gonna take a little bite here. Mm -hmm. Nice pork. Mm. Like it? So good. With the oregano? Nothing like Perfect. it. David, let's go in. Come with me. First table? Yes. Thanks, bro. Thank you. brother. Come on, bro. Come on. What are you waiting for? Amazing. Going inside the truck. Nothing like it. David, let's go. This is my first bite of a hero in 10 months, David. Let's go. All the flavors. I feel like I'm back in Greece, back in the city of Athens, of Thessaloniki, you know, like hanging out with friends. Just, you know, like a real Greek experience today. I'm, I'm really content, you know? You know what? It's been a minute since I've had one of these. A gyro or gyro, right? Which means circular, right? First time I tried one of these, I was studying in Florence back in 2004. Back in the day. Wow, so good. Mm, I love the sauce, man. The sauce makes it. It blends everything together. Mm, you got the french fries, which makes it really Greek. No french fries, it's not Greek, right? Absolutely. Oh, what a bite. Mm -hmm. mm. It's definitely a filling meal. Come here, have this, you're good. But we still have this one. Mm. So fresh. Oh, wow. And you have the Greek side next to it. Mmm, those black olives. Yeah, we have this juice, right? This is the original orange refreshment. It's called Lux. They have an advertisement. I cannot recall right this second. They have a really nice slogan. But I haven't had this once in a while. This reminds me of my dad's village. You know, in the 15th of August, there's this you know, big celebration, big religious celebration in Greece. And we always go to my dad's villas in Trikala. And we always have Lux in the local, you know, coffee, coffee shop, so. Oh my God, bro. I miss Greece. <laughs> but I'm happy to be here in Astoria, Queens. You know, getting the chance to experience this with you. First hand, this is amazing, I love this. By the way, this food truck only takes cash, but you know what's, what's cool? Is they have an ATM inside the truck, right here, look at this. Yeah, so this is not black, this is Giros. This is Giros, right? With this creamy cheese, feta. French fries and feta is one of the best combinations for street food you can get in Greece and apparently here in Astoria, Queens, in King Sublaki. This is probably one of the best pairings on earth. Getting this, you know, you get the pork, the lamb, the French fries, and the feta. The feta makes it all. Bye, guys. My man. Thank you very much for coming. Thank Karisto, you. Ready? Let's go to the next place. Come with me. Come with me. Nice people, bro. The real Greek experience. Fredo Espresso, Sublaki. And we're gonna close the video out with what? Uh, what's the name of the place? <laughs> I don't remember, but I'm sure it's gonna be great because it's Greek food. David, last stop is gonna be Bahari Estiatorio here in Astoria, Queens. I have a little bit space in my stomach, but you know, in Greek, in Greek we say there's always some room. So let's go.
So David, last stop, again a Greek salad, you cannot go wrong with a Greek salad. And we have this feta with tomato, this is really similar, it's really close to a plate called bouillardi, which is it's baked in the oven, you know, feta cheese, pepper, tomato, all the juices together, and it's a beautiful combination, bro. Bouillardi. Okay, so it is feta cheese that has tomato on top, on the bottom other tomato, and then we also have some peppers, so we cut it. Nice piece of feta. Get some of that tomato. Mm, it's gonna be so good, it's gonna be a little hot. Mmm, feta, oregano, mmm, tomato. Looks like oozed out on the skillet, nice and hot. Oh man, so good. What I would do is I would add some honey. That's me. Honey, bro. No? I don't know, I don't know. On this dish, I'm not sure. Gigades, beans. Beans in the oven, but we say gigades. We have the, how do you call this in English? Lamb chops. Paidakia. And we have my favorite dish of all time. My mom will be, will be so proud of me right now. Mama, I miss you. I hope you're well in Greece. Pasticcio, my favorite dish of all time. I grab eating this every weekend. You know, every once a week, my mom would cook pasticcio for me. And I would go back, you know, to, to my home after school. And whenever we had pasticcio, I was so excited. Oh! Surprisingly nice. I'm impressed. Nice and juicy, right? All those juices, right? The way I'm gonna do it is the real way. Grab it. Mmm. Mmm. Juices. Mmm. So tender. It is the best. I'll say. Greek lamb chops is better than any other lamb chops. The reason why is because of what they put on top. You know, they put oregano, but sometimes they put trivi, which is another like herb. Wow, it's so good. And last but not least, David, we have gigades, or, or how do you say that's name? White beans. It really melts in your mouth. You know, it's like this is a homemade food. Bahari Steatorio, really good job. I was really full, but I gotta try these beans. I'm a big fan of beans. Oh man, look at this, and they have some herbs. Nice, just big white beans. Mm. Oh, like big power beans, right? And if you guys don't know moussaka, no, it's not moussaka, pasicho. This is almost the same as lasagna. So they have penne pasta, right? So it's penne pasta on top of cream. They also mix it with some minced meat, from my understanding, right? It's really good, let me try this. Oh my god, I'm so full. Oh, so good. Oh man, it's super thin penne pasta, right? <laughs> Guys, last bite. Oh, so much cream in there. I am done. We ate a lot of food. Greek food in Astoria. Who knew it was this good? It was great, great day. I'm so full, ready to go to sleep. All right, my friends, if you ever come out to New York City, come to Astoria, Queens, and get a real Greek experience. We start off in Tavarna, Tiklades. I mean, it's like the most traditional seafood style Greek restaurant. Best Greek food I've had outside of Greece, hands down. Hands down. From there, we walked around. We had a Fredo Espresso. Fredo Espresso at the coffee pot. And from there, we walked over to Titan Market. We experienced the market. You know, all traditional, authentic Greek items for sale in there. I mean, you have to go in there and just experience it. Super nice people as well. Yeah. And then from there, we walked over to King Souvlaki. We actually had yidos there. So we had like two different yidos. You know, lamb, pork, so good. Creamy. I love the pita bread. Thick. And then from there, we walked over here to Bahari. Estetorio. Estetorio. And we had these traditional plates lamb chops pasticho beans more, salad more of a homemade vibe and cuisine here yeah Def definitely on your to-do list when the story yeah. yeah this feels like way more mainland Greece that was more the islands right and that's the best part about Greece you know you have these two different areas completely different almost like different countries obviously united though under one country and yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content definitely follow my boy right here Tasos! AKA a Greek solo? A Greek solo. He's always solo. <laughs>
Maybe not soon, though. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful East Village, Manhattan, New York City. Today, I'm so excited because I'm here with my friend Nikita, and we are going on an epic all-day eating Indian food for 24 hours of the East Village. We're hitting up four spots. So, what are the four spots? So, we are going to Khiladi, NY, Desi Gali, Bar Bar, Malai Market. Perfect. So, the first one we're going to is right here. The second one is right there. And the third and fourth are down the street. I mean, it's a really, really incredible neighborhood, yeah. East Village. Yeah. So what do you know about the Indian cuisine of the area? So I've been to Kiladi NY before and they sort of uh, have Indian dishes, but in a very unique way, they twist every Indian vegetable or a dish in some sort of, you know, uh, spiced up level. Here we have all these Indian restaurants and East Village has about 20 plus Indian restaurants. You have fast food, you have fine dining, you have casual and You'll just love it and we're going to do a mix of both and we'll start with here. Okay, so we're going to start right here at Kiladi. If you guys don't know about the East Village, this is an incredible spot. A lot of youth here, a lot of colleges in the area. When I came here during college, I visited a friend and literally on this street on 11th and 1st and 2nd, that's where he lived. So I used to be here. And there, there actually was a lot more Indian restaurants on this strip. Now it's less, but these are the best. We're going to do the best of the best today. Let's go inside. Hi David, how are you? Very good, how are you? Uh, I'm super good and I'm so happy you're here today. Uh, we are in East Village and this is Kaladi. Uh, we do uh, our mother's recipes here, uh, mostly from southern part of India, but also a little bit of uh, chart items from northern part of India here and there, which are popular all over India actually. Okay, so in terms of food, we're gonna have Probably some naan, uh -huh. some curries. Uh -huh. Is there anything specific? I know we're doing veg and non-veg because my friend over here is a vegetarian. We have a little bit for everything. Actually, my mother is vegetarian, so I do have a lot of vegetarian dishes. And the good part of Kiladi's menu is you can always do meat on the side. That way, if there are vegetarians on the table and there are meat-eating people on the table, they all can share and still get everything they want. Awesome, love the yeah. kitchen. Hola, ¿cómo están? ¿Todo bien? Everything good? Take a look at the stuffed naan because that's one of the most popular items. Alright, so the uncle here is making the stuffed barata. This is very unique. So it's cheese and lamb. I've never tried this before. So today, David, you're going to have some cheese, potatoes, pori and onion on the dosa. It's our own way of doing it, just like my mom. I haven't had cheese on a dosa in a while since Hyderabad. Yeah, the dosa, right? Yeah, on me. I haven't seen a dosa like that, and the naan looks incredible. Now we're gonna do the fish, the fish curry, right? Fish curry. Fish curry. The nuggets, the Italy nuggets. Wow, Italy nuggets, I've never heard of this. So Italy, you know, uh, steamed rice cakes right here. He's gonna put them in, mix them in with some nuts. It's gonna be amazing. The aroma of this fish curry, you have no idea. I love the presentation. I see se come. Yes. Ahí, right there. Perfect. My man, I'm excited. I'm excited for your food. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> Nepal right here. We got Mexico right here. My man. This is amazing. This food looks too so good. If you guys don't know, there's two different rice dishes in India. It's biryani and pulao. It's usually meat for biryani. Pulao is vegetarian. That's it. We are ready to eat. This food looks incredible. What's up, my man? Everything good? I am so excited. We have so many different things to try. Everything looks fantastic. We got the dosa with cheese. We have the fish curry, the pani puri. We have this, the Illy nuggets. Wow, look at that. I've never seen it before. And then over here, we have the stuffed naan with lamb. Yeah. So unique. Everything is completely different. I haven't tried most of these things. And right here we also have two different lassis, right? Yep, so that's mango lassi and this is masala lassi. So I think I'm going for the masala. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, is that good <laughs> yeah, for you? Yeah. And I love the plates too. Like they use these plates that are like the tali plates, right? So usually, like in India, they'll give you like a few of these with different dishes, yeah, right? Yeah. Like small plates and you try a variety of everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> she loves eating with me. Yeah. She loves it. Oh wow, mm. Mm. It, it's almost like a pani lassi. Yeah. yeah. You know, like the, the yeah. masala. Yeah, the masala pani. because it has cilantro, ginger, and cumin as well, mm -hmm. I guess. That is like, so, it's, it's sour, it's bitter, and refreshing. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. So it's not sweet, like the mango lassi? No, at all, right? Yeah. And that's gonna be thicker. Yeah, it's gonna be thicker than that. And so what do you wanna try first? I think we have to try these two, right? Yeah, yeah. let's start with your favorite pani puri. Pani puri. So for the pani puri, obviously we get the puri right here, right? And then this is the pani. 
So pani is water in Hindi, yep. right? But this one has obviously masalas in it, yes, right? It has um, mint, coriander, coriander, green chili, um, pani puri masala, salt, lime. Okay. Yeah. So and then we just pour, right? Pour it in. So pour it that. Dump it up too much, and then we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm, like more tropical. Pani puri is one of those dishes that's throughout India. Yes, it started in northern part of India, but it's spread out throughout the country now, and every city has its own version of it. So it's even though it's everywhere, but it's very different in each place. It's it changes from one cart to another cart. And also in different parts of India, it's called puchka, puchka, golgapa. Like we call balls of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're saying I have to fill it more? Yeah. So let's just fill it to the rim, right? Like that's that? it, that's it, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine, like yeah, that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cheers, cheers. cheers, cheers. Mm. Today is a good day. I broke my fast. With bani puri. With bani puri. <laughs> My favorite dish. And it's not too spicy. Yeah, it's not spicy. It's not spicy. well balanced. Mm -hmm. It has a tanginess in the water. It mm -hmm. has a slight tang. And the filling is perfect. It's perfect. Not too filled. You know, sometimes they fill up way too much. You know, usually on the streets they'll fill up with very little. Yeah. Because they want you to keep eating, right? Got it. I'm gonna have yeah. one more, at least, yeah. right? We can just have this and it's called sukha puri. Sukha puri? Yeah, so, so dry. Yeah, dry. It's yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm no. So now you don't have the tanginess because which was there in the water, mm -hmm. so it's dry. Yeah, it's definitely easier to eat, yeah. right? Yeah. Especially if you're not into spices. Sorry, eating like this is it gonna yeah. be. Yeah, yeah. You can start with this and then slowly start adding like the sweet chutney and then with the. Yeah, if you want, you can throw some of the tamarind, right? Yeah. Like, so you can do that. they have added a bit of tamarind in yeah, it, yeah, but not sure. more. Yeah, not too much because yeah. it wasn't so sweet, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yum. You gotta be careful when you bite. They've started baking already. Mm hmm. Mm. I love it. And next up, I'm gonna dive on to the stuffed naan. So there's lamb. And cheese. And cheese. So you can't eat it, huh? No. Oh, man. I feel bad for you right now. No, I'm not doing that. Look at this. So for this one, you gotta dip it straight in here, right? Wow. So what is this? Right there. Right, right there. there. Mm hmm. Whoa, these are one of the best naans of all time. <laughs> of all time. Every dish on Kiladi's menu has a little story behind it. It can be from my childhood, it can be from my mother's kitchen, or our own kitchen, like stuffed naan. Uh, we did it as a staff meal one night, and we all fell in love with it, and we were like, everyone should be able to get this. What incredible naan. Mmm, got some fluffy, really full. Cheese and bread. Mm -hmm. uh, what's wrong with that, right? Nothing, everything's perfect with this. Wow. Love the cheeses. Not too much, right? It's a little bit. Incredible lamb. So ground lamb. Mmm, you put also coriander here, right? Oh, so oh, same yes. thing, right? Yeah. I love it. Approved. Pickle curry yeah. leaf? Yeah. Mmm, it's the best. Mm. Curry leaves. When you go to Kerala, mm -hmm. everything is curry leaves. Uh, yeah, even like basically in South India, you have in every dish curry leaves. Curry leaves, yeah. And here we have the Illy nuggets, right? Yeah. So what do we do? dip into the coconut. Yeah, chutney. Coconut chutney, my favorite. And first we we'll try with this, and then with sambar as well. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. That was crunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it has peanuts and different kinds of dals. Mm -hmm. So you're getting the crunch from that. And the spices, the puri. The puri. Yeah, puri. <coughs> wow, you feel it. Yeah. I feel up here right now, yeah. right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> spicy? The puri is spicy. You feel it. It's not too bad, but it's just right. Yeah, it's good. It's I love good. it. It's a good spice. What a good thing. Yeah. I'm just going to dip it deeper in this. I'm all about the tony tony. Mmm. What a great appetizer. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Sambar. Mmm. -hmm. Nice. Mmm. The sambar is really good. Really. It has the perfect amount of spices. Really nice. The sambar is delicious, but I'm all about that coconut. Mm hmm. Oh man. It's so good. Tossed in ghee as well. And you can really taste the ghee in here. Mm -hmm. I love the crunch though. The crunch of all the peanuts. Wow. And it's spicy. Yeah. You certainly get the spice, right? Wow. That is so good. You allow me to. I'll just... 
It's really oh my gosh. delicious. Yeah. It's the best soup ever. Don't call it soup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, it's more like a broth, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice stew, stew. really. Yeah. Stew. Okay. So this pulao is, you know, obviously vegetarian. Yeah, so it's a paneer pulao. Paneer pulao. And yeah. you see the paneer right here? Yeah. Cilantro, mint. Looks tasty. Looks super tasty. Yeah. Because recently people have been mm. selling me stuff about, you know, eating with hands, but when you don't use the, you know, the metal spoon mm -hmm. or fork, it's a different flavor. Traditionally in India, they say if you use your fingers, you get a better sense of taste than using the utensils. That's why in India we prefer eating everything by hand and you get a better flavor of everything. We're, we're in a fancy restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay, and yeah. this one we don't mix it with anything, oh, right? Oh, we have raita. Oh, we have raita? Yeah. Okay. So I'll just give it to here in the yeah. side. Yeah, we pour it right there. Perfect. Okay, so let's try it. So you think we mix it? Mix yeah? the raita with the flour. Okay. Plus Voila. Mmm. Mm. Nice. Mmm. Oh man. It's light on spices. Yeah, very light. Very light. Nice, you know. Fresh. Fresh. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, like, big crumbly cheese. Mm hmm. And the paneer has been just. Mm hmm. Shallow fried. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's not like crazy fried. Yeah. No, usually I get biryani, you know. I haven't had pulao in a while. No. But they say, like, there's no real veg biryani. It doesn't really exist, right? It's more pulao's veg. Yeah, but vegetarians do consider a different kind of veg biryani, and but there's okay. always a controversy. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure everybody's gonna go crazy here in the comments. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> definitely. I love the mint and coriander in this. It's really fresh. You know, it's hard eating like this all day long. Yeah. This is restaurant the, number one. You do it. It's really crazy. I I do like a champ. Yeah, you do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what's so unique, especially about New York City. Because the restaurants, they're not like doing your typical butter chicken, chicken yeah. masala. Yeah, so there, doing... there are a lot of different unique recipes, which you just get it in those restaurants. So it's really nice to explore them. Mm. We're gonna be done at restaurant number one. <laughs> no, but after this, what we do, like after the second place, we'll walk for a few hours. You yeah. Know? You know, walk around, get East a coffee, yeah. explore. Yeah. That's the best part about East Village. East Village is the best. Best, yeah. You you can find everything here. Everything. In yeah. every culture. Like, I'm walking around in literally every language. Definitely. It's awesome. It's very good. Okay, so for this dosa, we have the masala inside. So the stuffing's right here, right? So we're just going to break through here? Yeah, so we can start from the center so that we get the masala as well. Okay. So, yeah. Just like that. Wow, look, you, you see it some, inside. Yeah, you can just see, take some more masalas like this. Just like that, so we grab yeah. it this. Grab the masala. And then we dip. So what's this one? So this is a ginger jaggery chutney. Okay. Sambar and the coconut chutney. Your favorite. Let's go with this one. Yeah. Let's try something different, right? Yeah. Wow, never seen this one yeah. before. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. The ginger is so fresh. Mm-hmm. Exactly, you know? The sweetness is from the jaggery. Yeah, so jaggery is almost like sugar, right? Yep. Take the sugar cane juice. Okay. And they have really large fire pits in okay. which they, you know, keep cooking the sugar cane juice. Lashes, right? And they bring water down till it's thick enough and then they pull it down and you get jaggery. Dosa is not small at all. It is a thick, thick beast, right? And the stuffing is like... The stuffing is crazy. crazy. So I'm doing this one for sure, right? Let's do the same. We have to. Yeah. Eating Indian food all day, every day. Mm. Mm -hmm. This chutney has garlic in it. Mm -hmm. And it's so flavorful. I was gonna say, there's a spice now. Yeah. I don't know where it's coming from. I definitely get uh, <coughs> the taste of garlic in it and green chilies. Oh, wow. The green chilies. Yeah, you yeah. see it here too. Like, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. And this has podi in it, so it's. Isn't that spicy? So it's not puri, it's podi. Podi. It's P-O-D-I, podi. Okay, got it. And it's also called as gunpowder in India. In gunpowder, yes, yes. I've heard it, yeah, I've heard it. Yeah, that's it. I love this chutney. Mmm. So unique. Very. And obviously try to keep it light with the potatoes. Now you get too full, right? Yeah. So I'm just adding without the potatoes. Mm-hmm. And dip it in sambar. And you made it nice and crispy. Yeah. So it's still a little doughy in the inside. It's not like completely crisp, yeah. it's like a paper dosa. So, yeah, the center part has a little bit of dough and the sides are really crisp, so. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe just try the portion with podi over here. Mm -hmm. You think it's spicy? <laughs> yeah, it is. 
It's spicy. It's spicy. Yeah. It is freaking delicious though. It is, it is. I love it. And I'll say, this is becoming one of my favorite chutneys of all time right here. Yeah. I've never had a ginger. The ginger and jaggery is really unique. Mm -hmm. It's like sweet, but at the same time, like not too yeah, much, right? Because the ginger has its sharpness and mm -hmm. it's kind of balancing the sweetness and... Exactly. The, yeah. It's not yeah, too sweet, it's not too sharp, it's just right there. Yeah, I'm a big ginger guy, so I really enjoy it. Yeah. And this, look at this. Okay, so the last dish we have is the Malabar fish. fish. It's a curry. It's a curry. Served with rice. That's it, right? Yep. It looks incredible. And this is just for me, guys. My friend here is not eating it. Look at this beautiful curry. Look at that. So you have curry leaves as well, right? Yeah. Wow. Let me get a nice piece right here. Mmm. This is going to be so good. And this is one of her grandmother's recipes, yeah. right? For this one, I'm definitely using my hands. So I get the fish and then I also get a ton of this, right? Yeah. More of the gravy and get some of those curry leaves. Beautiful. And for this one, it is hands time, right? Mm-hmm. Have to. This is the way. But yeah, so this is how we do it, right? So we yeah. go like this and then pop. Mmm. Mmm. The gravy. Mm -hmm. Coconut. Mmm. Curry. Curry leaves. Whoa. So good. Yeah. This is the best dish. You're eating with hands, you have my heart, because that's how we eat at home. I've learned you could do like this, yes, do a yes. ball, or you could just do and like this yeah. and just like... I usually push the rice from my, with my thumb. thumb. Mm -hmm. Gotta say, this is the best dish. Yeah. This is too good, and you can change it if you don't want to eat it, you know, with fish, you can get it with chickpeas, chickpeas right? Chickpeas, yeah, for vegetarians. Wow. Mm-hmm, mm, like that, right? Put it all like that. Grab as much as you can. I know in India they do small bites. I'm a big bite guy. <laughs> That's fine. Mm. Done. I'm done. What an incredible feast. Friend, my friend, thank you so Bye, much. Bye, David. It was great having you, and please come back. So now you know it's 11th Street, and this is Avenue B. B yes. Avenue B. Perfect. So literally across the street, that's where we're going next, Desigali. But you got to come here and have that. Basically everything. Next yeah. time, I'll have the rest of your menu. Yep. And that's it for Kilari. Yes. Kilari, amazing spot, and they have outdoor seating. I love this new, you know, concept here in New York City. Obviously, because of COVID, they started setting up the outdoor seating, and hopefully, it stays. This is awesome. Yep. So and we literally crossed the street, and we're here at Desi Gali. We're gonna have kati roll, pani puri. I don't even know what else. Vegetarian poutine. I think so. Yeah, and. Maybe something else. Let's try. And this is Desi Galley. Right outside, you have this beautiful outdoor terrace. As soon as you walk in, over here you have a few different tables. You know, here's like an almost like a countertop area, so you just watch people from you know outside. And over here we have a mini market with different Indian items, right? So over here we have like you know candy. This is like cooking and cream bites. You have. Maggie, always. I had this in Meghalaya, delicious, right? I've had it many times, but Meghalaya had it really unique. And then over here we have different nuts, masur dal, so lentils, right? A mango pickle, this looks so good. So the area, I'm sure there's people here that make a lot of Indian food. There's Indian people living in the area. They come, they buy some of these products to get home. And over here, you know, you have all the spices, powders, etc. Got some honey as well. And then, come here, you order from the menu. The menu, 50 items, 47 to be exact, right? So you have sag, you have chicken biryani, chicken bihari curry, uh, vegan alu chana kati roll. I mean, it's so many different things. So again, we're getting the kati roll, we're getting the pani puri, and we're getting the wait, boudin, right? It's a, it's a Canadian dish. It's mixed because the chef, she's from Montreal. I'm excited. And I love how it's like an open kitchen. You can literally see them cooking. Listo. Listo. Oh, wow, what is that? That's chicken kurma. Chicken kurma? Yeah. Whoa, oh, and then this is the gravy for the pudding. And then over here we have the meat and kathy roll. Wow. So we're making a few different dishes here. We're making the vegan kathy roll. It looks amazing with the parata. And we're also making that like pudding, right? So it's french fries. You have the amazing gravy. And then it's also going to put cheese on top. Everything looks so good. Look, I can go back to India. I see. Woo, look at that. 
and here he's making the pani puri. So he's mixing the chickpeas and the potato mashed together. He mixes, 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 then he pops a hole into six pani puris, and then he fills all of them. After that, he's gonna put the water, right? Gracias, gracias. Gracias. Gracias, muy amable, gracias, gracias. Super excited, we got four different dishes to try. This is gonna be epic. So where should we sit? All right, guys, we are ready to rock and roll. We got four different dishes, plus we got some chai. Chai, 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 chai. Cutting chai. Cutting chai. It's called cutting chai. Like, if you get a glass and it's. Oh, it's half. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. I mean, it's good. Yeah. Frothy. Feels like the streets of India, right? Yeah. Definitely. Amazing. So, how should we start this? Obviously, pani puri, right? Always. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of delicious food. Look at this beautiful pani puri. So. Again, it's very similar to the last one, but obviously different, and I'm sure the pani, pani. is the biggest difference, yeah. right? So the pani keeps changing from every place. So these three are with mint chutney. Okay. And the other three are with tamarind chutney. Okay, so we'll do a mix, yeah. right? Yeah. Cheers. Mmm. The pani. Mm-hmm. The pani. Very different. Very, from the last one. Yes, very different. Mm hmm A little more minty, I feel. Yeah. And tangy. And tangy. Yeah. You want some more? Yeah. Definitely. Why not? With this stuff, it doesn't matter, right? You keep going. David. Guys, I, I do yeah. like a hundred of these. Easily. Easily. Yesterday I had like 70. <laughs> and the shell? It's very crispy. Very crispy. Mm -hmm. yep. And you know, it's crazy because in Miami, you can hardly get pani puri. Really? One or two restaurants may but have not, it, you know? But not every place. And not even on the menu. It's like I have to ask for it, you know? Alright. But here, you get it in every place. Here, in New York City, you get everything. Yeah. <laughs> and look at this. So this is a vegan kathi roll. So kathi roll was invented in Calcutta, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's always using parata, right? Yeah, parata and... Because it's always a little, like, like a crispy, thicker yeah. bread, right? Yeah, Parat paratas and then you have all the filling inside. Mm -hmm. It's wrapped, so it's like a roll. Mm -hmm. It's called kathi roll. And obviously, vegan version, no yeah. egg. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. Mmm. It's so delicious. Yeah, it, it's very flavorful. Very flavorful, nice and uh, like crispy on the outside, right? And, yeah, and the the Beyond Meat is really good. In. Yeah, like I, I would think it was like minced meat. You know, really? that's what it feels like, right? Yeah. But it's Beyond Meat. Beyond Meat, it's vegan. We're gonna keep going. Okay. It's so good. It has the onion, so mm -hmm. you get a gr crunch in it. Exactly. They don't like hold back with the filling, right? A lot of filling, yeah. and then you just have just one parata just circling it. Not like multiple layers, Not right? Not multiple layers. So I'm just gonna have a little more. So you can either do what I'm doing here, or you can go like that, right? Or yeah. like that. Oh, I don't wanna leave this. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. It is, it is, it's lovely. So here we have a samosa. It looks very different from any other samosa I've seen because it's red. Yeah. Right? Nice and crispy. It's really full. Yeah, but it doesn't have aloe and it has Maggi in it. It has Maggi. Yeah. So like noodles inside. Right. What? <laughs> Let's see. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah. I've never seen a samosa <laughs> like this. Yeah. A little bit, right? A little bit of this. Ah, okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. The inside is so unique in terms yeah. of like the noodles popping out. You have green beans in there, you have some carrots. carrots. It's it's really different. Not like your regular samosas. But At all. Yeah. So wild, right? <laughs> Very. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you want to try a really unique samosa, definitely come out here and try this. But the best part is you combine it with the tamarind, yeah. right? Yeah. Make you it can sweet. Have it with tamarind or you can have it with the mint chutney. With the mint chutney? So. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a more of a tamarind guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you and, know that. Yeah, and I'll have it with the mint. <laughs> it's a long day of eating, but somebody's got to do it. Okay, done with samosa, and now we have something very unique. This is french fries with a gravy and cheese on top. And this is a traditional dish in Montreal, but obviously not with the gravy twist. Uh, the gravy here is vegetarian, but huh? back in Montreal it's with meat, but Indian gravy fries. Gravy fries yeah, that's Beautiful. how we call it. <laughs> Chef, this is awesome. With the fork, so just go in, get a fry, get that gravy. Dive in. Cheers. Mm. That gravy. That's the Murka Makna. Yeah, the Makni gravy. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of butter. Oh, it's so good. I know. It's like the butter chicken or the chicken chicken masala without, without chicken. chicken. Yeah, it's just the gravy. 
Uh, you know, I said I was gonna eat very little, That's but I'm gonna really eat good. a lot more of this. Just come here and get this. Wow. It's very good. This is fantastic. My favorite dish of all these. One last bite for good measure. Okay. <laughs> it's too good. And then I said my friend Desi Gali, fantastic. Let's finish our chai. We're gonna go for a nice stroll before we go to the next place. I need a mini break. If I didn't have to eat more today, I would finish this delicious dish. Yeah, oh, it was so really good. good. Oh, somebody needs to like roll me out of here. We're pretty full right now, so let's take a small walk around the park. Yeah, it's 2.30 right now. We're gonna take a mini break, maybe about an hour, just walk around the East Village. The more you walk, the more you can eat later, right? Hey David, we just turned on third, and look what we found. Kolkata Chai Company. No way. Yes. Chai Company right here, Kolkata. Yes. Chai Chai. I am. Hey, hey, welcome. Thank you. Ready to drink some chai? Ready, what do you guys do here? Let's do it. Chai, but not chai tea. So this is a Coca-Cola chai shop, chai. right? So they do different types of chais. They also have samosas. You also make egg roll, like a kathi roll style. Exactly. And then what's up with your shop? What do you have over here? Man, we just have everything from our childhood. So we got cassette tapes. We have Kanye West college dropout, but also we have Dilse. So essential essential music we got some books that we literally stole from our parents house um and then we got some custom shirts and everything and where are you from uh i'm from boston originally oh awesome dude i'm going to boston in two weeks, two weeks? i'm doing okay. eating indian food all day I'll there too you, i'll <laughs> give you all the spots <laughs> okay awesome so let's get some chai because in india you know what they do they take the egg and then they flip it and they overcook the egg on the side but i like my egg scrambled because everyone here likes a soft scrambled eggs so that's how we make it a little different Remember, don't get it confused with the Chinese egg roll. This is the Indian egg roll. Parata, you got some chutney in there, and we have some chai on the side. I'm excited, bro. Thank you so much. No problem. All right, let's get our chai. Oh, I need this. I need to wake up. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's delicious. Yeah. Oat, milk. Oat, milk. oat milk. Oat milk. So it's a little different, obviously. Non dairy, yeah. Non dairy. Yeah. Look, we love oat milk. The mm. texture and everything is the most real to it. Dude, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. Like, it is, it's probably the best chai ever. Yeah, I Thank know. you so much. Wow. I'm gonna need another glass. <laughs> I got you. Don't worry. I'm thinking so good. good. Too, Thank yeah. you, bro. Thank you. Oh, wow. And right here we have the egg roll. Look at this, beautiful. So we got the egg, the parata. It's funny because Nikita and I were like, we're gonna take a three hour break between food. <laughs> it was like a half hour break, dude. Oh my God. Cheers, cheers. Yeah, it's fine. You walk around so much in New York City. Mm hmm Oh, wow. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. You know why I love this? I'm an American. I love like early morning breakfast sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. I love them, like breakfast burrito. Yeah. That's, what, that's what's close to this, you know, breakfast burrito style, that's right? We, we, we saw, yeah. We were mm -hmm. like, wow, people really like, I mean, I love breakfast. I love like diner breakfast, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I have you know, scrambled eggs. That's really good. Bacon and sausage. The barata. I can't eat any more food. Wow, I'm really, really full, but I still have to try another chai. This is called the dirty chai, so they actually add coffee to it so this is a uh, filtered coffee from filtered india coffee. right it's really strong and a little chicory in it too we decided that i'm gonna keep everything everything in <laughs> thanks so much thank it was you. lovely thank you bro Anytime. thank you thank you Anytime. we appreciate it now you guys know avenue b third street get some chai i got my dirty chai thank you i need the coffee that's more caffeine, right? For sure. Okay, continue? Yep, let's go. After about a 25 minute walk here in the East Village, we made it here to Malai Marke. So what does that mean? Malai is cream, mm -hmm. and Marke is like, you apply it really well, so it's like Malai Marke. Awesome. Yeah, lots of Malai. Cream. So Malai Marke on 6th Street and between 3rd and 4th, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, let's go inside and see what they're going to make for us. My friend, how are you doing? I'm good, sir. How are you? Very good. Kitchen? Ready to go to the kitchen. Let's go. Hello, chef. How you doing? Everything good? good. All right. So we're gonna do like two appetizers, four entrees. Over here we have the tandoor. We're gonna do some masalas. All right. So I'm in the kitchen with the chef. So what are you making? What are the four different dishes here? We have fried lamb, bunda curry, and shakta curry, and chicken jalapeno. Wow. So they're basically three non-veg, one veg, and we one also veg. have paneer and chicken in the tandoor. Tandoor is a uh, honey chicken and achari chicken. Achari chicken. Achari chicken. So spicy. Spicy and good taste. And good taste. And then we got some naan, right? Or some type yeah, of bread? Yeah. Naan bread, yeah. Awesome. Garlic naan and... Give me a bullet, bullet naan, bullet naan. 
Put it there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Four entrees. We got two super sizzlers. Wow. I mean, that's hot, right? It's spicy. You can feel the masala is hitting you. The breads are ready. The food's ready. I'm ready. I'm hungry. I built up an appetite. Two hour break, it was necessary. Oh wow. Nikita, you ready? Yeah, ready. All right, we're gonna go eat outside because it's a beautiful day and they have a terrace. Yep. Nice. Perfect, hey, thank you so much, thank you. thank you. Okay, my friends, we are ready to eat. This is exciting. We have two things on Sizzler. So we have the paneer. We also have this chicken, which is like spicy. We have the parata, the naan bread, garlic naan. Then we have four different curries. One of them is a dry curry with some vegetables. Another one with chicken, another one with lamb. And another one with chicken. Lots of chicken today. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So how do we start with these, right? Yeah, so this is achari chicken. Mm -hmm. And that is paneer tikka. Okay, so for you, obviously the paneer. Yeah. For me, the chicken. Chicken. And you know what, I'll get one paneer too. Chunky paneer. So much. It's huge. <gasps> and the tandoor on top? Squeeze it on top on your... Perfect. Chicken. So I'm guessing we're doing the paneer together, right? Yeah. It's soft. Yeah. It's crumbly. Yeah. It's also nice and dense at the same time. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. I love the massage here. Yeah. It's really well marinated. Mm-hmm. The paneer is really soft. So soft. So soft. Like really filling, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like Chunky. a bite. The bite's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's heavy. I actually haven't seen it this big. Like cut in these dices? But usually you have paneer tikkas. Like that? Like that, it's diced in iron and tandoor. Perfect. Yep. And then it also obviously comes with some cabbage in the bottom. Yep. You have some uh, bell peppers, bell onions. peppers, onions. And the same thing over here? No. Yeah. No, here are just a chai chicken. A chai chicken. Yep. Can't leave this. Mm hmm. What a great day eating Indian food. And that's a chari chicken. A chari chicken. Hmm. Hmm. So smoky. Mm -hmm. Like a nice chili paste. Yeah, it's like pickle. Mm -hmm. Achar is okay, okay, pickle. pickle and it's marinated in pickle and tandoor. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. It's extremely soft, obviously, with the tandoor. Smoky mm -hmm. with a pickle. Pickle, yeah. Wow. So it has the chili. Not too spicy. It's so just right. I would finish that whole plate. Mm -hmm. We still have some more to try, right? Yeah. You can't order this plate and leave it. Yeah. Mm mm. Mm. So I have four things to try, you have one thing to try, yeah. and we also have the parata. It's lacha parata and garlic naan. I love it. So this parata is a little different. It, he, the way he did it, he made it a little more flaky, right? Almost like they do in Kerala. Yeah, so it's called lacha parata because it has layers. It has so. layers, yeah. yeah. I love this. Yeah. A mixed veg curry. Say that. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Good mix of spices and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Not too you know, spicy. It almost reminds me of like a vegetable stew. Yeah, yeah. It feels, feels like it, right? Yeah. yeah, now I'm gonna jump on these chicken ones, right? Yeah. This one looks very creamy. Look at this beauty. Mmm. It has coconut in it. Coconut. Mm hmm. And cream. Mm hmm. And mustard seeds. What else? Oh, uh, curry leaves. Mmm. So. This reminds me of some of the dishes I've had in Kerala. Okay, got like it. Like chicken, you know, always yeah. coconut. Mm -hmm. And next to it, it's lamb. We have lamb, so I have to get this incredible garlic, garlic naan. Man. That crunchy, wow. So I'm gonna grab a piece like that. I'm gonna dive right here. Mm. Wow, look at this chunky lamb. Oh, so pretty. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that was really, really nice. Um, very chunky lamb. Nice gravy, and you also have some vegetables in here. Yeah. Very, very satisfying. I mean, I'm a big lamb guy. I approve this one. Okay. Wow. Sorry. You know, long day eating Indian food, you start hitting walls here and there. <laughs> <laughs> nice and tender, mm -hmm. but not spicy. Okay. Perfect. And next to it, it's another chicken dish, right? Yeah. Mmm. It's a little spicier. This is really good. Really good. I say of these three, mm -hmm. these two are my favorite. So, got it. Just because this one, the coconut, right? And the mustard seeds. Mm. Mm. It's so good. It's unreal, actually. The gravy. Mm -hmm. I lick it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm limiting the bread at this point. Can eat the chicken though. Got it. Ankush. Really good. Mm -hmm. Malai Mark here. Mm -hmm. And what I love about today is that we really changed it up. 
We didn't repeat any dish, right? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Everything is different. So tasty, everything. All the gravies are different. Yep, yeah. One has coconut, one has the regular masalas, and one is mutton. I need to walk a little more, right? Yeah, you need to walk an hour. <laughs> yeah, to the next and, and it's what? It's 5.10, it's getting dark. You feel it, right? Yeah. So we're already going down the sun. Obviously, we're in the middle of all these buildings. And Babar is Barbar. close, right? Yeah, it's just nearby, maybe like 10 minute walk. Probably yeah. walking back that way, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's your first time here, right? Yeah, it's my first time here and it's really good. It's really good. So, yeah. what did you like more, paratha or the. The paratha is really good. Paratha is really nice. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. if you go to southern India, it's all about paratas, right? Kind Pur of like parotas. A, it's called parotha there. Yeah, because she's from Chennai. Yeah. There it's paratha, right? It's called, it's called parotha, and in north India, it's called paratha, paronta. So, every place it's called different. Food coma every day. Yeah, <laughs> eating Indian food. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna do it in every city in the world, right? Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you to the team. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we still have one more. Bar bar. I'll see you later, man. Let's go. So right now we're walking down Second Avenue, and if we keep going with the bar bar. Yeah, bar bar. Bar bar, and this is like fine dining. Fine dining Indian cuisine. It's like every dish is upgraded with a twist. It's not your regular Indian food. It's something exciting in every dish, so it's gonna be really good. So after a 10 minute walk, here we are at Bar Bar, and it's one of the fine dining restaurants in East Village, and it's right on the first uh, street and second avenue, and here it is. And this is Bar Bar, an incredible restaurant. I love the interior. Big yeah. restaurant, huge bar, lots of drinks, like happy hour right now. People are in there drinking, lots of beautiful cocktails. He just made one for me. I don't know what this is, but it looks great. Yeah, it's bagicho. Bagicho. Bagicho, okay, so let me try it. Mmm, lime, right? Incredible, delicious. I'm not really into cocktails, but that's great. Green pea culture. Okay. So this is with the truffles on top, with the goat cheese on the sides. Wow. And here's that. Dahi puri. Cauliflower 65. Okay. Paneer pinho. Wow. This is the chicken ghee roast, butter chicken, and the garlic naan. And garlic naan. Oh man, thank you so much. Yo, enjoy. We're excited. This is, this is amazing. Yeah, I mean, beautiful, fancy restaurant, right? I mean, this is as high end as it gets yeah. here, right, yeah. in East Village. Yes, yes. Well, a little different, you know, presentation, obviously, yes. it's the way they present everything. The food looks amazing. Definitely, like this being a Dhai Puri, the way it's presented is not like the regular Dhai Puri, so it's upscale. Upscale, yeah. love it. And by the way, Payal, the owner, thank you. She's actually in India right now, she's the one that set this up. Yeah. Thank you so much, we're excited. Uh, so we should do this one first, right? Yeah. yeah. It's the easiest. Easiest. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, Dahi Puri, my favorite. Puri King, right? Yeah, Puri King. Mm. Mm. Nice, it's like so delicate. The dhari, mm -hmm. it has some lemon. There's some lemon zest, yeah, yeah right? Zest and the filling is so fresh. So fresh, I love the yogurt. It's obviously very filling though. When you yeah. ever have like dahi puri, you have like 10 of them, you will get really full, exactly. right? Yeah. So next is cauliflower 65. Okay. It's and then they have chicken 65. Yeah. It's a kind of uh, starter where you know, marinate and then fry it. So mm -hmm. it's a vegetarian 65, cauliflower 65. Perfect. With pickled um, cauliflower. Okay. Radish. And then what's this? It's like a chutney, right? Chutney. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, guys, sorry for the noise level, but literally behind us is like a party at the bar. Yeah. Come here at six. It's like happy hour. Everybody's chilling and drinks, and we're eating amazing Indian food. Right. Okay. So cauliflower. We're gonna dip this, right? Let's grab a cauliflower, right? Yeah. And we're both gonna dip into this. So this sauce is actually Hollandale sauce made out of rice. Yeah. Okay. It's a big bite, right? Crispy mm -hmm. and the uh, sauce is really good. Sauce is amazing. Yeah. Mm. I love the masala they put on yeah. the cauliflower. I was gonna limp myself, but you know what? You live once, right? <laughs> And next up we have this beautiful dish. So it's like a bird nest and under it is like chicken, chicken. right? So it's called ghee chicken. These small uh, things are called like eggs. Okay. It represents eggs and you have chicken in the bottom. And then this is the, the, the nest. The nest, yeah. So we just cut? Yeah, it's chicken so you're gonna have it. Okay, so I just break it up, yeah. go in here, get some of this nest. And chicken piece. Oh, wow. So it's like a dry curry, right? Yeah. 
it reminds me of like especially Chinese dishes. Mm -hmm. They make the like orange chicken oh, got it. and other things, but completely really different. Not too spicy. Loving this dish. Whoa, what a nice piece of chicken. Okay, so we still have three dishes to go. What do we go on to next? So th these are the main courses. We have okay. garlic uh, naan and this is green peas stuffed kulcha with truffles and goat cheese. Wait, how do you eat this? Just share it and have it with some curry. And that's it? Yeah. So we so we have it with one of these curries. Yeah. The food here is crazy good. Yeah, it's really good. It's 6.45 on October 6, 2021. So we're in fall. The light goes really early. By 7.30, it's dark, yeah, right? Completely dark. And obviously there's a party behind us, so it's like dark, a lot of sounds, yeah. but this is the ambiance, it's an amazing experience. The food's top notch. Yes. So what do we do? How do we get into here? So we just use the our hands. So keep breaking it, right? Yeah. And if you see there's stuffed green peas in it. Goat cheese and truffle. Wow. Beautiful. So just break a piece like yeah. that. Oh my gosh. This is so good with the cheese and everything. Yeah, just break it. Yeah, you got a lot. I got a tiny bit. <laughs> <laughs> and just and scoop dip it to the gravy. And scoop some gravy and voila. Mm. What? Oh my god. The goat cheese is so fluffy. Yeah. The truffles, it's like Italy, man. Yeah. <laughs> the truffle, the green peas, amazing. It's too good. Yeah. Just wow. Oh. And this is a pinwheel paneer. It's like so it's a paneer with like layers. Layers and it has stuffing inside. You just break in, take some curry, and mm. yeah, the truffle, amazing. She did the paneer. My turn. I'm gonna do the butter chicken. So just grab like this big piece. A chicken right here, dancing to the rhythm here. This is not butter chicken. This is next level. Mm. I mean, I'm not gonna rank it as the top butter chicken in New York City, but it might be. It might be. Well, I don't know where I got the spice, but I got some spice here. Mmm. The gravy. Absolutely amazing. You know, I'm gonna try this. Look at this thing. This one here? Yeah. Like no other paneer on this planet. Yeah, it is, it's really good. Roll paneer. I'm sorry, I'm using my hands because it's the Indian way. And who cares what people think, right? Yep, right. Mmm, look at that with the gravy. I love this restaurant. Yeah, so we also have the naan, but you know what? This is too good. Too good, too this good. This is too like, good. we're not leaving this. You should go in here, grab some of the truffles. Man, that cheese. It's so fresh. So fresh, so amazing. So good, have been gravy. My friend Cheers, what a great day. That's the best. This is unreal. Yeah. Mm. You get every plate that we got. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Well, finger looking good. Yeah. Nah. I'm a fine dining, guys. I'll respect it. It's now time for dessert, so what do we got here? It's strawberry pagloba, and it has uh, fresh strawberries, strawberry syrup, raspberry powder, and bottom we have badam kulfi. Badam kulfi? Yeah. Wow, so merengue and badai kulfi. Yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait. Let's... Whoa! Wow, so lots of strawberries. Got that meringue. meringue and the bottom you have the cool be right? Yeah. So just like that? Let's do this. Yes. I love meringue. It's wow. wow. It's actually, you know what it reminds me of? Like meringue with strawberries. I mean, obviously the same, mm -hmm. but then you have the cool cream, yeah. next level Indian flavor. Yeah, definitely. And the badam flavor in it. Mm -hmm. The almonds, badam is almonds, and it's really good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What an incredible dish to end our long, awesome day here in the East Village, eating Indian food for 24 hours in the East Village. Yes, in New York City. In New York City. What a place. Amazing. Wow, so we went to four spots. 
we went to Kiladi and why basically uh, Malai Marke Barbar and we had a surprise place of Kolkata Chai Company. Exactly, what an experience. I mean, it's all in a walking distance. I mean, we started like at 11 in the morning because obviously we don't open till 11 in the morning. And then from there, eight hours, just going in a circle, right? Yep. We started yes. in uh, Avenue B, 11th Street or around yeah, there? Yeah, 11th Street, Avenue B, and basically it was right there. Then we walked a couple of streets, then we had uh, the chai. Kolkata Chai, and then we walked a couple of more streets. We had Malai Market, and we ended up here in Barbar, Bar, which is on 1st and 2nd Avenue. 1st and 2nd Avenue, so from between Avenue B, 11th Street, 1st and 2nd Avenue. And that's what we got. I mean, there's a lot more Indian restaurants, but these are the four that I see selected because they look amazing. Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Journal Square, Jersey City, New Jersey. Today I'm so excited because I'm here with my boy, Jason Song. What's up, David? This, this I'm so, so to be here. <laughs> <laughs> He's been commenting on my videos for years and we're finally meeting up here in Jersey. We're doing an <laughs> epic day of eating Indian food. You like Indian food? Oh, I love it. Yeah. I just uh, got into it this year. Okay. And I'm so down to eat more Indian food with you, man. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I'm the king of the Indian food. <laughs> I love Indian food. We're starting off right here at Dosa House or Sri Ganesh Dosa House. It's been here for over 17 years and they make South Indian breakfast. You know, it's 9 in the morning. You know, the only places that open Indian food wise are South Indian breakfast places because oh. the rest of them open at 1130 usually because yeah. lunch, dinner, that's it. Right. Okay. So I'm excited. We're going to hit this place up. Then from here, we're driving down to Edison. We're going to eat some more food down there and then probably keep adventuring, you know, south parts of Jersey right? or central parts of Jersey. Central Jersey. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Are you ready for Dosa? So down. That's Let's go inside. Let's go. Let's eat. Hey. Morning, morning. How are you doing? Great. My friend, yeah, yeah, my friend. He, he's never tried dosa before. First time. We're gonna make some dosas. Yeah. This is the paper dosa. This is the paper. Well, he's making for us the paper dosa. It's a super long, thin, crispy dosa. And then obviously, we have on the side the chutneys, right? Yeah. Together. And sambar. Sambar also. Chai, chai. Chai, chai. Hey man, we can't start this morning off without some chai, right? Yeah. Mmm. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Cheers. Let's do this. It's like a, a baby dosa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, the dosa is like massive. The baby dosa? No way. <laughs> Yo, the last do dosa, that was like a blanket. What? So along with the paper dosa, we're also getting idli and vada. So idli is steamed rice cakes. Vada is a savory lentil donut. That's basically it. We have tomato chutney. We have coconut chutney. And I'm excited. This is utapam. Utapam is the closest thing to a real American pancake, but they put some vegetables on top. So what do you have there? What are you making? Uh, this is uh, onion, potato, the chili, green chili, everything mixed. And then over here he's making the utapam again, and next to what is that? Ravatosa. This is made with the lentils, and this is made with the rice flour, and suji, and uh, some water, and ginger, and uh, it's uh, like a water on. Hey, you're the man. Thank you so much. I'm hungry. Let's go. Okay, my friends, we are ready to eat. This is going to be amazing. We have the paper dosa, like two foot dosa, the sambar. The sambar actually is a separate because they have a sambar station over here, so you have to serve yourself. Then we have coconut chutney, we have tomato chutney. Over here, we have the idli, the vada, and then this is the rava dosa. Right? So it's a little different, uh, the flour, right? It's so rice flour for this one. Right, right, right. And this is lentil batter. Yeah. Okay, so you know how to eat this? Uh, not really. Not really? Uh, okay, uh, okay. I mean, I watched you, but uh, I've never used my hands. I've never had a dosa, so I'm pretty excited to have this. Perfect, so let me show you. Yeah. The dosa, I'm just gonna break it up here, and inside, as you can see, he oh, stuffed it, right? Damn. So it's potatoes. Delicious. Potatoes with masala, right? Yeah. Grab a piece like this from wherever. Let's try this just plain, right? Just, just plain. get a piece. All right. And then from here, you can dip it into the coconut. I'll get it from here. Same thing, right? Oh, okay. So we write that. Try get, you know, try get enough. That's shutting you, man. Oh, nothing like it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm hmm. What? <laughs> it's crispy. Mm. I love coconut chutney. Wow. It has almost like a tang to it, but mm -hmm. uh, a little spicy for sure. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Almost like a vinegar, almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little bit. 
Yeah. I'm pretty sure they put some like some spicy seeds in there as well. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, okay, so that's what I'm tasting. Mm. That's so good. Wow. My friends, we're, we're actually taking a light today. I didn't want to get too many doses, you know? Because uh -huh. usually they'll give me like three or four. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is the one you gotta try every time. The paper. Paper dosa. Paper dosa. Okay. Yeah, paper thin. Paper thin. Okay. Basically, right? Over here with the rava. So I think we should jump on this one too. So it's empty, right? Look at this. Wow. Massive. So again, different batter, rice batter. But it's beautiful. So same thing, right? We're just gonna grab a piece. Okay. Just like that. And then you go in and you dip. Oh yeah. Oh man, cool. Johnny, I drink this, bro. It's that good. Mmm. Very different. It has like a crisp to it. Mm -hmm. With all that. Way more crispy than this one, right? Yeah. At, at this point. I think it's, what happened is he made it a little doughier, this one. Mm, he didn't okay. make it as crispy. So obviously the rice flour is very different gotcha. compared to the lentil batter. Gotcha, gotcha. I, I actually like this one. I love this one. Yeah, yeah. This is the ultimate one. And you should go in here and do this. Like, look, this one he put the masala right masala. throughout. Okay. And you open here to so get the stuffing. Get some stuff in like that, just like that. You fold it into a little taco and you go in for the chutney, right? Okay, Super easy. Get as much as you want, bro. Okay. We got this. This is our breakfast right now. <laughs> Let's devour it. And then we put it in the coconut chutney. Uh, always a coconut. We'll get to the other one next. Okay. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. Mm, that potato, man. Mm -hmm. Everything. Sometimes you make it super crispy, sometimes you make it super doughy. Yeah. So it really depends on the person, right? Gotcha. I think we should definitely try the next chutney, the tomato one. I think this one's gonna be a little spicier. Okay. Here. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Creamy tomato y taste. Mm hmm. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's not so spicy. Not that much, right? I love spicy. Mm -hmm. I love the intense flavors we get from this. You said you're. Korean American, right? Yeah, I'm Korean American. Yeah. They love spice. I love spice, uh, but I love Indian spice too. So good. It's very different, right? It so is like, so different. That, that yeah. like tteokbokki spice uh -huh. is very different from this. So far, I'm loving this uh, the Those, potato part. Yeah. The potato part, yeah. Yeah. So th yeah, th that's the best part about this, and that's why you get full, right? Because if not, you wouldn't be full at all. Yeah. Oh man. All right, we're destroying the dosa. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So we could mix it with this uh, oh, you tomato can, chutney. You can mix tomato and coconut at the same time. Oh, yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Let me try that. Then. Wow. I don't want to get too full here, you know? Mm. You gotta be careful. Mm. With Indian food, but that's why we're starting early. <laughs> and you were asking me, like, South Indian, North Indian. South Indian, they have way more breakfast, obviously, because of dosas. Yeah. You know, North Indian, they don't have this uh, at all. Okay. They don't, so that's why they open late. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll show you the sandbar next, right? Okay. So it's dip into the sandbar. So that's also a dip. Okay. It, yeah, it's, so it's basically a stew, a, like a okay. like a vegetable stew. Gotcha, right? gotcha. All right, let's see. Mm. Mm. So good. It's like a curry kind of base. Yeah, yeah. Like. So you got tomatoes in there. Yeah. You have lentils in there. Yeah. Some other vegetables as well. It's almost so, it's not a soup. People always say I'm wrong about that. Not a soup, it's a stew. And if you want to, you can get in here and go. Ooh. Mm. Wow. It's so nice. <laughs> so nice. Okay, so what is this? This is uh, what? Rice, is it? Yeah, so it's the Italy steamed rice cakes. So basically, rice, which has been steamed in this shape, right? Okay. And then the same thing, you could just like break it up like that. You go in and you can do with either one, right? Okay. Which one do you want? Oh, it's coconut, right? Coconut? I don't know. Whatever you want. I actually, I'll mix these two, you know, like that. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. This rice is pretty uh, simple, mm -hmm. but I like that texture. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me like a uh, dim sum kind of bun. You oh. know, the... Uh, like very spongy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. This is a staple in Bangalore. They've actually... I had one called pata dosa. The size of this plate. Oh. Yeah, amazing. They put like all the things to it. Oh, so good. Wow. I mean, it's a delicious add-on, right? So, yeah. dosa, ili, and always. 
it just soaks up all that flavor. Mm -hmm. You just dip it in and it soaks. Yeah. And let me, let me show you this though. This is the okay. vada. So what is this? It looks like a donut mm -hmm. made from uh, chickpeas or, or It's something. a lentil. Yeah. So it's a lentil. lentil donut, so it's savory. Got Very it. different from American donuts. You know, we are all about the sweets, right? Yeah. This is the opposite. This is savory. Usually people eat like two eggs a day in the morning. Yeah. You know, some people have been the game out of me, but I know you got Indians out there eating a lot of these. <laughs> right here, just break it. Beautiful. And then again, what do we do? Dip. Gotcha. So I'm gonna go with this one tomato today. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be good, right? Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. I love this uh, crust, mm -hmm. the shell. It has like a crispiness to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's lightly fried. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's not like crazy deep fried. Mm -hmm. Inside, you know, fluffy and doughy. And then you also have, as you can see, some like, some type of herb in there, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just mix it again with whatever chutney you want. And this is like how South South Indian breakfast is, right? Oh, okay. And usually this is like more like tamanadu, Karnataka, these these states, you know, because I went to Kerala and they don't really have doses like this. Okay. They have different types of doses, which like tahada dosa, which is almost like a regular pancake, you know. Right. Part of the experience of eating Indian for 24 hours is the breakfast aspect, you know, South Indian breakfast like this. Obviously, there's way more dosas. They have utapam. They have many more items. But we do want to go the traditional route. I wanted to show you what this is. Obviously, paper dosa with the Potato mash inside, ili, vada, and then the other one, the rava dosa, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get a little bit more of this, like that, and I'm done. <laughs> we still have a lot of eating to go. Mm. This paper dosa is my favorite. Yeah? The potato filling, mm -hmm. excellent. That with the coconut chutney, mm -hmm. that was my favorite. Oh, cheers, bro. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, Karnataka, filtered coffee. I got regular shy. All right, so we're done here. Now let's get in the car and drive straight down to Edison. Let's go. Oh, man. So excited, guys. I'm excited, too. I'm <laughs> full, though. <laughs> My friend, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, let's go. It's going to be a long day of eating Indian food for 24 hours. We just did it here in Journal Square. So good, man. So good. My first time having the dosa. That's crazy. First time. Yeah. I, I think I've eaten... South Indian breakfast, maybe 100, 150 times already. What? Yeah, I try to eat a lot, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get in the car and then we're driving roughly about an hour south to Edison, right? Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's go. First time in Journal Square? I actually have friends over here. Oh yeah? Yeah, but it's my first time having Indian food in Journal Square. I love this little strip, it's amazing. It's literally like little India in Jersey City. So remember that Journal Square Right here, lots of Indian restaurants, got some markets. Basically all restaurants, but they open late. They open at 11, 11.30, every single one. Yeah, you gotta make it right here. We're going straight down to Edison. It's roughly around 45 minute drive because there's traffic. I'm from North Jersey. I'm originally from Palisades Park, but I, I now live in South Jersey. So you've never been to India, obviously, right? I've had some Indian food, and I, can, I could only imagine what it tastes like in uh, India. I've been to Edison last trip, but straight on the train to get down there and all the way back. I didn't go in the car. In, by car, you see what this place is all about. We're going on a bridge right now. So there's multiple bridges here. Wow, and what is this right here? This is the Hudson River, man. That's the Hudson. No way, I didn't know that. Hey guys, we're almost at Edison, but we're gonna stop by Island real quick, get some snacks. It's gonna be great. Yeah, so we're actually stopping at a place called Chow Patty Sweets and Snacks. They have Indian snacks from Punjab and Gujarat, and they also have some South Indian specialties. And it's like, uh, I think it's like 10 minutes before Edison, right here, Island. Yeah, it's pronounced Island. I know it's kind of uh, weird, but. Uh, and, that's, is, and this is Central Jersey? This is Central Jersey. So we made it here to Chow Patty Sweets and Snacks, and literally this entire strip just has Indian restaurants. You also have Patel Brothers right here. You have some places selling sadis. I mean, this is awesome. This is like another Indian area. Incredible. Hey, how you doing? Everything good? Good, good, man. We have Pani Puri, we have Jalabi, we have Kulfis. We have Papara also. You have Papara as well? Yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. We're gonna try a few different things, for sure. So India is all about snacks yeah. and sweets. Snacks and sweets. And over here we have like Ladu. Ladu is so good. You gotta try one of these. Yeah. We're gonna try at least one. And then over here we have the Pani. Ooh, look, there's a party pack, 300. <laughs> this is my pack. <laughs> Are all these snacks from like the same area in India or is it all over? 
Yeah, so it's a big mix, right? So a lot of Gujarati, a lot of Punjab snacks here. Like this one over here, this is 100% sure this is Gujarati. I had it in a medabad papti, right? So it's like crisp, right? So chickpea flour and then oil. Over here, obviously, we have the pani puri, but then we have all these different snacks, a lot of different crunch, right? They're all about the crunch. So the, you have a restaurant next door? Yeah, our restaurant is next door. And you guys have chats, pani yeah, puri, chats, everything? Yeah, pani puri, everything. So this is the shop where they sell all the sweets, yeah. all the crispy puff, you know, balls. Every, this is all basically take home, right? right? Okay. So next door, we have the restaurant. So let's go there. All right, let's go. Let's get a chat. You have to try a chat. Right. So we just walked into Chow Patty Sweets and Snacks restaurant. I love this place. Look at this. So they have two murals on the sides, you know, basically showing India, Bali with the scenes yeah. of Mumbai. At the very end, they literally have one of the buses. They took it from a junkyard in India and put it here. And that's where their kitchen is. We're going to go into the kitchen now and see how they make two different chats. I think it's going to be Raj Kachori and Bel Puri. Two things that you'll love. One spicy, yeah. one sweet. Okay. Right? And then they also cut the tuk-tuk in half in the front. Awesome. So that's the rickshaw. That's what you like riding all the time yeah, in India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, dude, I'm excited. I'm excited. How you doing, man? What's up? What's up? How you good, doing? good? Good, good. Dude, I love Bel Puri. Bel Puri on the streets of Mumbai. Dude, the best. So it's so this is more like Mumbai, right? Because next door, you guys have a lot of Gujarati and Punjabi snacks. It's next door. So yeah. same owner, right? Same owner, yep, yep. We've been here for 30 years. 30 years? Yeah. All right, guys, so we are ready to go. We just saw how they made two different chats. This is what you're gonna find more on the streets of India. I've actually had this one in Jorhat, Assam, India. And this one I had the first time in Mumbai. I love it, this is Bel Puri. This one he said is gonna be a little more spicy. Obviously this one's sweet because they put yogurt in it. Yeah. They put tamarind chutney. They got sev, they have a coriander. I mean, it's huge. Look at this monster. It's a massive, massive Puri. You know, we're in a restaurant, we're gonna use some spoons. And I think we should just dive into this one. So we're just gonna jump in, right? Look at that, look at this beauty. I could have lifted it up, but it's gonna be easier to eat this one like this. So usually you pick the whole thing up, right? Yeah. But obviously we're not doing it that. We're just gonna do it straight like this. Cheers. Okay. Mm. Mm hmm. It's fresh. Mm hmm. Sweet. Wow. So mm. good. So good. It has like what? Chickpeas and. The chickpeas. Um, there's obviously stuff. There's some um, nuts in here as well. A bunch of nuts and then the out of tamarind and the yogurt, right? Wow. So I feel like this is like a nice afternoon snack. Like, mm -hmm. how do they usually eat this? It's like a dinner snack or afternoon snack? Any time of the day. Any time of the day. So they go and get this out of guy outside making it, you know? Oh, okay, got it. Easy. And what, what, what town this is from? I mean, this is all over India. Yeah. But I had it first time in Northeastern India. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Love this uh, crunch from the outside. Mm hmm. Love it. It's, what it? it's huge. Look at this. Massive. It's good though, right? Wow. So refreshing. Yeah. You know, today, driving around Jersey, I really wanted to show Jason a different side of Indian cuisine, not just, you know, the curries and the rice. You know, that's why I want to start with South Indian breakfast, show you that aspect. Yeah. And now we're in the chats, which is completely different. All street food items, right? And here, you can just dive in, bro. So this is another snack that you could have any time during the day. Mm -hmm. But you mentioned it's from uh, Mumbai, is it? Uh, so. I don't know if it's exactly from Mumbai. Yeah. Please, guys, if you guys know exactly where it was invented, please let us know. But I tried it first time in Mumbai. Oh, you got you tried it first time. Yeah, okay. so Bel Puri. So as you can see, it's another incredible chat, right? And it's always gonna be crunchy. Mm -hmm. You got some fried like rice puff balls. You have the sev again. Sev is this guy. Okay. You know these little grains there, and you have this little crispy cracker, right? And then it's all mixed. And he says it's gonna be spicy. I love spice, so I can't wait. So this one again, just dive in, pull things up. Because in the bottom, that's where like get some more of the chutneys. And this one looks a little drier. The one I had, the Bapuri in Mumbai, they added a lot of yogurt, but that's a little different, right? Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. It did make it spicier. Mm-hmm. Mm. Love that crisp. Is it uh, rice we're having here? Or puff rice, yeah. right? Other things are just like fried crackers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's all rice flour though. Yeah. So good, so crunchy, right? It is. Very man. refreshing. It is. In the streets of Mumbai, super hot. You have this, you feel good. So this is a street food. You get it from like a cart? Street cart? cart? Yeah. yeah, not even a cart, dude. It's like three guys just making it out there in the street. It's like amazing. <laughs> I'm down. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. 
It's fascinating that snacks in India, it comes in like a bowl and you eat it like that. I mean, it's easier, right? Yeah. Sometimes though, I've seen it even just like newspaper. Oh, yeah. in the newspaper, you your stuff in the newspaper. No, because with snacks, I always think, you know, like uh, French fries or oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Know, potato chips. Something you uh, while you're walking, mm -hmm. you know. But here, it's it's sort of, it reminds me like a meal, but mm -hmm. you're saying it's a snack. I mean, it's a snack, yeah. but it can be a meal, right? We exactly. eat both of these right now, we're full. Oh, okay. It's not that spicy, to be honest. Yeah. No, it's sweet and spicy, but it's uh, in all fairness, the spice level here is probably a three or two. How is the heat level compared to uh, India, this no. spot? Yeah. Way lower. Yeah. yeah, remember, Western palettes are very different. This is our special surprise for you guys. We have our chocolate chip naan and our Parley G ice cream sandwiches. Oh man, I'm very, very excited. We're trying two things we've never tried before because they're unique to this place. Mm. Oh, so we have a naan with chocolate oh. chips and sugar powder. Yeah. Look at this beauty. Wow. And over here we have, so the Parley G crackers, this is what they usually use you know, basically you dip this into chai, right? Yeah. Usually you have it like that, like biscuits, you know, obviously British influence. Uh, but here, what they did is they added ice cream inside, right? I guess I'm basically, basically. American influence Indian dessert. Or British, British Indian. British Indian. <laughs> All right, bro. Cheers. Cheers. Let's do it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> mm. oh. Oh, I love the cookie. It's literally a vanilla ice cream sandwich. It's, it's basically a stuffed little thing, right? Yeah, so good. Wow. Yeah. I, I thought when I saw it come out, I was like, is this a s'more? But obviously, there's no chocolate inside. Yeah. Just a vanilla crackers. I mean, that was amazing. I literally had brain freeze. My teeth froze, you know what I'm saying? My teeth, so cold. Oh, so yeah. cold. Wow. Let's jump on this guy. Yeah. Incredible. Non with chocolate chips. Never seen this before. I've My kids would love it. Oh wow! I, I love chocolate and naan's what kind of like a bread. Naan so. is is one of the breads of northern India. Yeah. I mean, obviously, northern India is all breads. Southern India is all rice. All this, all breads usually go into tandoor oven, which is a clay oven, basically to yeah. get baked, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, this is fun. Yeah. Cheers. Mmm. 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 <clears throat> Whoa. Stuffed chocolate chip. Wow. Guys, it works. It's just bread. It's like bready with chocolate and some sugar sugar powder. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. Mm. So I've had something similar to this in Italian restaurants where they put either Nutella on like a white pizza. Sometimes they put chocolate chip and add sugar. So it's very similar. I love it. Definitely a super decadent dessert. So. These two are just like, to end the meal, that's it. But I have a surprise for you. I really want you to try Jellybee. So we're gonna go right back next door. We're gonna try Jellybee, which is amazing. It is the Indian sweet. Can't wait to try it, man. So what if we put the entire thing in one sandwich? Check it out. You're gonna do that? Yeah, why not? Mmm. <laughs> Great combo? So good. The naan's too good. Guys, it's so good. So good. Going back next door for that jelly bee. It's my first time, can't wait. Is it super sweet? I don't know. Super sweet. <laughs> All right, so here we have the Kaser jalebi, which is a saffron coating, and then we have our regular jalebi. So Jason's gonna try jelly bee for the first time. Which one is the original? I want the original. That one. Okay, this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can just take that piece. You don't have to get the whole okay. thing. Yeah. You know, just go ahead. I'll get a little piece here too. Mmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Sugar syrup. It's crunchy and mm -hmm. super sweet at the same time. Super sweet. It's almost like a. You ever been to the, like the, the carnival or the fair? Yeah. yeah. You have a elephant ears. Has no. the same type of. <laughs> yeah. The sweetness is like gotcha, crazy. Gotcha. So we have the original, and then this is saffron, which is kaser or keser, right? Kaser. Just bring a piece, right? And these are like smaller ones. Sometimes they have them huge. Yeah. Like you know, huge ones. This is like little ones, right? Gotcha. For snacks. That was nice, man. It has more of a flavor. Um, yeah, yeah, because it's saffron. Saffron, that's what it is. Craziest thing of my life. I landed in Delhi in uh, January 2018. First place I ever went to in, in India. Landed in Delhi. Went straight into Chani Chok, which is the belly of the beast. It's the old town. And then I saw the guys making this. I had this. I was like, 
<laughs> Where has it been my whole life, you know? I feel like it's good with chai, probably, mm -hmm. or coffee. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's extremely sweet, so yeah. obviously limited because yeah. you got a sugar rush, but yeah. I mean, Indians eat this all day. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't know if I could eat this all day. But, <laughs> uh, you know, it's kind of like a juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like pops in your mouth, right? Yeah. And then obviously a little like crispy, Crunch, yeah, crunchy, yeah, yeah. crispy. Uh, it's just dough that they do it in this, you know, circular shape or cylinder shape, right? My man, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate man. it, dude. You guys were such good people. Loved it. Delicious food next door. Over here, you can buy all the sweets. I mean, they have infinite Indian sweets plus some puris, you know, sev. You got like endless stuff over here. Lots of Gujarati and Punjabi stuff. He's in New Jersey, yeah. okay. Oh, it's a town before getting to Edison. It's like 10 minutes away. Well, thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> yes, sir. You ready? Let's go, baby. Let's go. We got a 10 minute drive to Edison, let's go. First day that he tries real Indian food. Yo, so far so good, so delicious. Can't wait to try more. Wow, this is like India, man. I've never been to anything like this, but it's in the, the US. India and America, basically this whole strip, all you have is Indian businesses. You got jewelry stores, you have places to buy local uh, clothing. You also have snack spots, lots of restaurants. Like there are so many restaurants, you know, over here is, oh, that's the one I went to last time. So I visited this area about a month ago. I did that place right at Tabak. I also did the it's South Indian happy. restaurant at the very end. And right here we have Indian groceries, the huge Indian supermarket I went to last time, ginormous. It's a massive supermarket. I think it's the biggest one in Edison. And then the next place we're gonna go to, I don't know, I heard about a place called Bombay Spice. So we might go there. There's also a lot of other places. So you have both sit down, you have quick snacks, and you have high end. Right. For a pan place, so pan. So it's like beetle leaf, gives you a lot of energy. It's like 3.30 in the afternoon, and uh, we're excited. <laughs> Never had pawn, right? Nah, man. What's it taste like? Gives you wings. <laughs> <laughs> so right next to the Honest restaurant, we had the Pan House or Pawn House. And this guy, look at it. He has all the pans right here. Whole thing. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. I know, it's a mouthful, but you're going to feel a lot of energy. It's going to literally wake you up. This. <laughs> all right, all right, let's do this. Look at this. Huge. Mmm. Mmm. So much, right? What is that? Like minty? It's juicy. Uh, so mm. much flavor, man. Nutty. Yeah. Nice paste. Mmm. Wow. I love it, these. It's just like mmm flavor. Oh man. And this is all in India, everywhere. Wow. It's a street food, right? Yeah, I mean, it's basically product cleanser. It's definitely refreshing. Mm -hmm. It gives you kind of like a burst of energy, and you're just like. Shh. First time I tried this, yeah. I was in Varanasi. I was dead, super tired. I had this. I woke up. Wow! Wow! I was like, Whoa! Wow! <laughs> it's amazing. A pan house in Edison, New Jersey. I asked them how much we owe for the pan. They said no way. So how much does it cost? Pan is two dollar. Two dollar. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so right next to the Pan House, we have an amazing restaurant called Honest. It's a huge restaurant. They're not open right now because of the timing, but next to them, they have a sugarcane. Guys, this is just like the streets of India. You got sugarcane right on the street. They add some ginger, some lemon, some lime, and they make it delicious. Literally the sugarcane right there. They put it into this machine, they extract sugarcane juice, and then we drink something super fresh and you get like lifted again, right? This is for the heat. Uh, it's so hot and Indy, you have to take this. My friend, too. Here you go. Everything, no lemon ginger. Yes, yes, everything. So you can't just buy the sugar cane here. You have to go inside, pay for it, then come outside. It's actually $3.99 each. Very different from India. India is like 20 cents for a cup. Here it's four bucks, but it's all good. They add lemon, they add ginger, then they get the sugar cane, and they put it through this machine, it extracts it all, it comes all out, as you can see. Incredible, look at this. Look at this, dude. It's gonna be great. All right, guys, we are ready to try some sugarcane juice in Edison, New Jersey. I'm excited. It's amazing. And he actually added some masala on top, so a little spice, right? Mm. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> right? Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> so, lots of sugar, obviously, sugarcane yeah. juice. You have that incredible 
lemon in there, right? Then yeah. you have ginger and the masala, so a nice touch with that with some spice. It's fantastic. Super refreshing, guys. Super refreshing. Yeah. It has like a tang. It's it's really sweet, super refreshing. So good. Oh, so refreshing. <laughs> so this is just like India, well, sort of. I mean, you would see guys with like literally this cart, the entire thing, yeah. just in the middle of the street. Mm -hmm. They have one of these extracting machines or they have another one they use by hand, right? Oh, what? And that's it, same wow. thing. Same feeling, and again, this the reason for this is because the heat, this cools you down. Mm. It's lots of sugar, but obviously this is not processed. This is straight, straight from the natural. sugar cane. Natural. Yeah. I love it. Get some food, right? Yeah, let's go. I'm hungry, man. Need some masalas, need some naan, some tandoor. Let me get some food, guys. I'm so hungry. Gracias, gracias. Okay, Lo vemos. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so next up, we're going to Bombay Spice number two. It's 0.5 miles away, so roughly like five minutes, and there we're gonna have more delicious Indian street food, lots of snacks and chats. Hey, my friend. How are you? Good, you? After a long, right? I know, we're ready, we're ready. So what do we have here? Kathy roll, vada pav, samosa chat? Everything. Everything. Yeah. Front has a lot of stuff, right? So they have appetizers, they have Bombay Chat Station, so they have like samosa chat, Kota Gopa, obviously, Bombay Explosion Bell. I mean, I think we should definitely go with some chats, but they also have like a lot of masalas, right? So what do you what do you recommend, my friend? We are famous for our chats, our kathi rolls are amazing. Really good. Let's get one kathi roll, uh -huh. one chat. He's never tried, you didn't try Pani Puri today, right? No. I get you. Okay. He has to try Pani Puri. <laughs> All right guys, here at Bombay Spice, we're starting off with three different appetizers. We have the Bombay Bell, which is basically Bell Puri, right? Then we have Kathy Roll that comes with chicken, and then obviously on the side they have like this nice chutney. And over here we have Pani Puri. So we got the Puri, and over here we have the Pani. So how does this work? Well, like this, right? So you're just gonna go in here and go, and that, crack it right there, not too much, right? And then you should stuff it, right? So usually it's potatoes and chickpeas. This one's a little different. I see some tomatoes, I see some peanuts. You see also sev, you know, they make it nice and just like more tropical in a way, right? And then we do this, right? So, ready? All right, right there, fill, fill to the rim, let's go. One, two, go. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Wow. Very crunchy. Mm. You get that burst of flavor from that. What? What is that? That's so that's pani. So that's that's basically masala water. Mm. Pani in Hindi is water. Mm -hmm. So it just makes with masalas. Wow. That's it. It sometimes. has like a tang to it. Exactly, and sometimes it's spicier too. Yeah, this is crispy and it has some of that chickpeas, is it? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure the chickpeas in here, usually it's chickpeas and potatoes, right? And potato, okay. And then over here to the side, what do we have? Mmm, smells like a tomato chutney or something. Maybe a sambar, actually. It's so good. Yeah, you're, you're destroying that guy. But don't worry, this is this is the fun part about it, right? So usually they'll do it on the street for you. Okay. Right there. Mm-hmm, filled, filled, uh, pani puri. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. It's water. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Alright, so what's next? Kathy roll? So do you know what a Kathy roll is? No, it looks like a burrito. Uh, basically, it's like the Indian burrito, but it's actually invented in the city of Kolkata, Kolkata. in a place called Nizaram, mm -hmm. and Nizams. Yeah, and so I'm pretty sure I've been there, right? So it's usually a parada. Right, so that's the bread, the parata, and then they stuff it with something. Mm -hmm. Egg. This one has chicken, right? Yeah. So we gotta dip it into this, right? Gotcha. So it's a chutney. I think this is like a mint chutney, but it also has like, I think a tomato or some spice. Mm -hmm. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. More. Oh, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so happy. Wow. It has like a spiciness to it. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm. And this sauce. Chutney. Chutney. So it's not the same as sauce? Indians don't get mad about that. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> no. This one is mixed. It's a mix, right? Right. This one's got to drown it in this chutney, right? 
Like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love this chutney. This one's really good, man. This one's amazing. So good. This is actually one of my favorite casseroles of all time. Mm. Mm. And you have to add this chutney, right? Keep it coming. Let's keep it going, right? And it's getting hot, right? A little bit. I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's my boy here, Korean family. Anaseo. <laughs> Oh, you know what? It's it's more like a glazy sauce, right? Yeah. So it has like a uh, sweetness mm -hmm. and a little bit of a kick to it. Mm. Kind of like that. I'm gonna say right now, probably one of my favorite casseroles of all time. Wow. Of wow. all time, bro. I think it's also the chutney. The chutney really elevates it. <clears throat> the chutney is so unreal. Look at that. Mm. Yeah. And next up, my friends, we have the Bombay Bell. Let's do this. Another super puffy chat. And dig in, look how good that is, huh? Crisp puff balls. Rice puff balls, please. All right. Mmm. Mm hmm. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> nice, wow. huh? This one's super tropical. Mmm. So good. I know, right? I love it. Mm. It has like onions in it. Exactly. Right? It gives that the, like uh, freshness to it. And okay. tomatoes and yeah. cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. I don't want to overdo it because we have a lot of food coming. Mm. All right, my friends. So they surprise us with some, you know, Indian inspired mojitos. <laughs> All right. So cheers, bro. Cheers. Mm. It's almost like masala in here, right? I don't know what this is. It has a spice to it. Mm hmm. It has a spice. And obviously, there's Bacardi. Mm -hmm. Always Bacardi. That is mojito, right? From Miami, basically, it was invented there. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next up, we have the goat curry and some naan. Oh, wow. That was super refreshing, huh? Yeah. Nice and minty. Love this. Love mojito. Mm hmm. And right, my friend, here you go. Goat curry. Beautiful, right? Wow. Mmm, love it. So you gotta good. throw this yeah. on top. And obviously for this one, we're gonna use our hands and we're gonna use the naan. Oh, okay. Smell that aroma? Yeah, smells good, man. Amazing. And right here we have the naan. So bring it up. Usually you're not supposed to use two hands. You're supposed to go like this, by the way. Okay. Like that, like a true okay. Indian, you know? And then you go in here, and I would say first thing we do before we eat the actual, you know, the meat, Go ahead and get some of the gravy to taste that, right? Okay. There's actually pieces of the meat there as well. You got a big piece, dude. Sorry. India, it's all about tiny pieces. Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's all good. Sorry. No, you're good, you're good. You can, you can eat however you want, you know? Right. Cheers, bro. Thanks. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The gravy? Wow. Mm hmm. It's a British term. Masalas is the true definition of all these gravies, right? Sure, yeah. This is a biryani. Biryani, huh? So wow. what biryani is this? Yeah. Beautiful. Which one is this? That's chicken biryani. Special for you. Chicken biryani? Yeah. Perfect. With the raita next to it? Yeah. Yeah, some people are telling me not to add raita to biryani, but you know what? You should. Yeah. Okay, so we have the chicken biryani here. So I have to pull some out for my friend. Oh, this is bomb. Look at this. So you know what biryani is, right? Yeah, it's rice, right? Uh, so it's a mixed rice layer dish. Usually like three layers, right? So you have the meat, mm -hmm. you have the rice, and then you have spices. Mm -hmm. You know, we still haven't tried the actual goat, right? Okay. So I usually just go in here because of bones and pull, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So soft. Mm-hmm. So rich and uh, flavorful. Yeah. So for me, lamb and goat are my favorites, mm. mainly because they are more lean, mm -hmm. right? Way less fat, but I love the meat. It's yeah. like gamey, yeah. you know? Yeah. And just go in, you know, play with this. Okay. Don't play with your food. Eat correctly, guys. Yeah. But enjoy it. Cheers. Mm-hmm. It's gravy, huh? More gravy. More gravy. Oh, have another piece of goat here if you want it. You know what? This is your intro to Indian cuisine. I want you to eat as much as you can. Thanks, man. And you know, this is something very special for me, this part of the day, showing people how to eat biryani the correct way. So how do you do that? Well, I washed my hands already. Same At this here. point, I'm just gonna clean it from the gravy. So this is what we do, right? So with your hands, okay. you, you can use the whole hand, 
you can use three fingers, you can use four fingers. You always use four because you use the thumb to push, right? Yeah. But you go in here and you start to break the meat. Go for the meat or the chicken, right? And you go in and you start to rip it apart. And try to separate from these, you know, from this gravy so it doesn't mix with this beautiful biryani. Because you gotta taste all the flavors of the biryani alone before you actually mix it with gravy. Yeah. And also the raita. Some people add the raita because it calms down heat. In Kerala, they always use raita, like everybody did. So you could be right or wrong with it. Uh -huh. it doesn't matter, dude. You're eating the food, you're enjoying. It's hot, man. Yeah, it's hot. Uh -huh. It's hot. And then you start to do this, right? And you pick it up. So, so David, I've seen you do the ball method. You gotta show ball. me how to do the ball method. So the ball is very easy, right? Yeah. So it's good that start doing this, and then using all four, five fingers, right? Yeah. Not four, five. Okay, ready? Five. Yeah, and then you go in. Come right here, and you go. Mmm. 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 Wow. Mmm. I love chicken biryani. Chicken biryani, so good. Usually, like you put everything in there, add it in, squeeze it together. You can use the hand and do the ball, like oh, literally yes. that, like that. You could do that, right? If you want to. But I like doing it this way. Keep my hand a little cleaner. No matter what, I'm starting to clean again, right? Mm -hmm. So like this, ready? Mm. 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 <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. I love the fragrance. Wow. Right? Like the aroma? Yeah. I'm so happy, guys. Mm hmm. First time doing the hand method with David. Awesome. Mm. You know what? Add some raita. So, it's like a, you know, yogurt right here. Always yogurt. You don't have to mix it in. You could, though. So, I'll show you. But this is going to definitely change the t taste, the flavor profile of the biryani. It's going to be way creamier now. Right. But it's going to be a lot easier to just get every grain like that, right? I like to mix it all in, you know? Yeah. This is, you don't want to leave any grain of rice, you know? The people are hungry in the world. You don't leave anything, right? Yeah. So, again, mix it all like that. And again, it's a lot easier to do this. You pick it up just like that. Oh, I'm excited for this bite. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow, well, right? I enjoy it like that. It's nice and creamy. It's creamer. So much more flavor. So much more flavor. And it keeps everything together. Exactly. Yeah. It's just like a glue, right? Yeah, love it. And then after that you can just mix everything and eat the gravy. That's probably the best rice I ever had. Probably right? Yeah. Mmm. They have like peppercorn in it. Right? Yeah. I've been getting like nice big chunks of peppercorn. <laughs> so good. Converting everybody to the Indian way. Thanks for showing me, David. No problem. You know what? I was off camera for a second living that year. <laughs> <laughs> mm. The gravy, right? Yeah. Let me get some of that. Wow, it's so unreal. Yeah. Is there any more rice? Oh, yeah, there's a ton. You want some more? Sure. Yeah, we're not leaving this, bro. I love this hand style of eating. Dude, this is the best. Yeah. My first time trying it, mm -hmm. but it, it feels like. Um, you get more of like a homey feel to it. When you do it like this, you don't get the, the steel taste. The steel taste yeah. changes the whole thing. Yeah. So why yeah. do that? You I know. know. Yeah. So it's better to do this, just go straight for a bite. All right, my friends, this is my last bite. I think we're gonna go to one more place for a sweet, but this is it for here. All right. You're gonna add on top. Can I do this? Animal. <laughs> yeah. Do people do this? Let me know. Mm. Mm. Wow, biryani, the king of dishes. You can mix all the flavors with the goat curry, the mm -hmm. raita, or like I did with the naan. That's it. Is yeah. that normal? Dude, yeah. you're supposed to eat. Yeah. If anybody tells you how to eat, yeah. tell them they're wrong. My man, thank you so much, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much for visiting Bombay Spice and the Sea Galaxy. It was a pleasure to have you. So this is the owner. This is his sister, which I met last time at Desi Galaxy. Hello. She did the pani puri for me, and she was the one that told me to come here, so I'm here because of you. Most welcome. I appreciate it. The food is amazing. Next time, if you're gonna visit this area, you have to come back again. Promise me that. Promise, no. promise. I think soon I'll have my own Indian restaurant here. I'm partnering with all you guys. <laughs> Dude, Bombay Spice, yeah, amazing, amazing. Oh my goodness, so oh, good. So, so good. Cool, man. We're dead. We're really full, but you know, we're going for one more thing. We have to have a sweet. We have to go to Sukaria, right? She said Sukaria, something like that? Woo. Let's go. Ah, so full.
after a quick two minute drive, we're here at Sukudai, right? It's hard to say it. Amazing, so as soon as you walk in here, you got all the sweets right in front of you. So they have like rasgulla, gulab jamun, they have, wow, it's like cookies, it's different sweets, right? And at the very back over there, I can see it, they're making jalebi. Let me ask you a question, do you have gulab jamun or rasgulla, rasmalai? Uh, we have gulab jamun. You have gulab jamun? Okay, let me get two gulab jamun. So they have gulab jamun, so we're gonna get two of them. Look, look, right? Which one you want? Let's go with this one, it's different. It's almost like a finger, right? It's a little different, right? So gulab jamun is basically sugar and dough. And that's it. So what is gulab jamun? So it's like milk, sugar, dough, then deep fried and then dropped into sugar syrup. Always sugar syrup in India. And these are a little different. They're not the balls. They're like, we got like fingers, right? Okay, dude, ready? I do it right here. Mm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Wow. The ultimate sweet. Super sweet. Mm-hmm. And it's funny because I'm, I'm starting to get like a, a love-hate relationship with Gulajimu. Mm -hmm. I love it, <laughs> but the sweet kills me. Mm. It's overly sweet, but you know what? We had so much savory food today. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect ender, mm -hmm. perfect dessert. Cheers. Cheers. Bro, what a great day. Edison, New Jersey, love you. Thank you. We ate Indian food for 24 hours in Edison, New Jersey. Well, we started off in Jersey City, went to Sri Ganesh uh, Dosa House, right? Mm -hmm. Amazing spot, 17 years in business, right there on Journal Square. You have to go there, nine in the morning, opens really early, delicious Southern Indian breakfast. Dosa's Ilivada, then from there we drive south and went to Chaupati, right? Yeah, Chaupati. Chaupati. Yeah. Amazing spot, we had Rajachori, Belpuri, we had naan with chocolate chips. Oh, the cracker with the vanilla ice cream, mm -hmm. so good. With that naan and chocolate. Exactly. Oh he also tried Jellybee, and then from there we drove all the way down here. We actually did a tour of the Indian grocers, we can see in another video, amazing spot. You have to go to the Indian grocers. Then after that, we had, well, we had pan on the street right there. We had uh, sugarcane juice. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think oh. for me, the biryani and the goat curry, but also the pani puri. I mean, everything there was fantastic. You have to go to that restaurant. And then we finally finished off right here at this sweets, Sukhadias. So they have lots of sweets. You can see them making jalebi right there. And what a great spot. What an amazing town. Jason, thank you so much. Thanks so much, thank David. You. Good afternoon, guys. David Hoffman here from David's Bin here, coming at you from Edison, New Jersey. Today I'm here with my boy Hippo. And Hippo is the owner of Indian Grocers, the biggest Indian supermarket in Edison, New Jersey. So Hippo, I'm excited. What do you guys do here? We sell literally anything you can get in India as in terms of whatever you want to cook or anything Indian kitchen related, we sell here. Literally, we've had people come in from India saying, oh, we don't get this much variety in India itself. So okay. it's actually a very, very unique place, uh, not just Edison, but in America, kind of. Awesome, so if you guys don't know about this area, it's one of the biggest Indian populations in the Western Hemisphere, literally this entire area of New Jersey. Lots of Indians, lots of Indian restaurants, Indian business owners, right? Yes. And here you guys have ghee, puris, I'm sure you guys have frozen section, also fruits. Everything, fruits, vegetables, We. Until the pandemic, we're getting fresh fruits from India as well, but awesome. uh, pandemic put an end to that for, for a little bit. Okay. But, but sweets, desserts, uh, we're starting fresh breads, a lot, a lot of cool stuff. Awesome, and how many lanes are there? How many rows? Uh, 14 technically, uh, but front and back 14, yeah. Awesome, okay, yeah. let's go inside, let's see what they got. Follow us. Jason, you ready? Yeah, let's go, man, I'm so excited. So Hippo, what do we have here? I mean, it's just like bell mix, just all like chat stuff, right? All chat stuff, all morning stuff. Like if you start the store, actually, we start off with tea because you start the morning with hot tea in India. So tea, a little bit of what we call nashto, which is anything you can eat with tea, like little trail mixes or, or, or spicy mixtures, sweet mixtures, stuff like that. So, so both sides, you can get stuff that you can eat for breakfast. And uh, not only that, but like even stuff like jaggery we have, which is, uh, Indian version of sugar. It's a uh, more pure version of sugar. It's actually healthier, right? This is this is before they make the white sugar because that that goes yeah. through another process, right? This is healthier. Over here we have the same stuff, right? All these different snacks, and over here to the left we have different paste. You have coconut water. You have thumbs up, which is like Coca Cola, right? Almost the Indian version. You also have limka. Tried it when I was in D.C. And what are these? Just chutneys? Chutneys for your pails, pani puris. Uh, uh, 
spicy date chutneys, sweet tamarind chutneys, all that stuff. So what have you tried here? So I'm interested, is there like a Indian fruits and vegetables that you import? It's a little out of season now, we don't get that much stuff in the fall, more in the summer. But, but we'll get stuff like jamuns, which is a, 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 it's like a traditional Indian berry. It's almost like a more tart uh, blackberry kind of thing. Mangoes, pomegranates from India, okra from India, a lot, a lot of different stuff. And everything else, we still get Indian versions, but just grown in the Dominican or the uh, Nicaraguan region. Different things for the kitchen, heavy use kitchen items. Like if you look over here, we have like massive stock pots, which we'll use for those sambars or, or in Gujarat, like uh, dals and stuff. But we, actually, we have a lot of restaurant clients that get those from us as well. So restaurants, temples, so we stock a lot of stuff for them. Uh, David, look, it has masala pomegranate. What? I've never had this. This is from uh, India? From India. Uh, people in India love masala spices, so even their uh, sweet drinks will spice it up. I've never tried that. I love the pomegranate, but with masala, yeah. it's a different thing. Wow. I might buy this on the way out. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. And we have curry leaves. Yes, you have to have curry leaves, especially if you're making Kerala cuisine. Curry leaves is a big staple. Coriander leaves is a huge staple. Onions, garlic, potatoes, massive. So where to next? So next we're going to do uh, the, one of the biggest ingredients in India, rice. I've been doing this for 20 years of uh, selling Indian groceries. Uh, 20 years ago, you got like four different types of rice in an Indian supermarket, which is Fasmati, Jasmine rice, uh, Swana Masuri rice and maybe, maybe Idli rice. Now you can find maybe 20 different varieties of rice. Now we probably have actually upwards of 30 varieties of rice. So there's so many different rices. Look at this, you can literally just keep walking through here. It doesn't stop. So rice, rice, rice. We have also here lentils on this side or it's just, all rice. just rice? All rice. It's all rice. Have you seen this much rice in your life? My goodness, this is like rice heaven. Like how many are there? 39 different varieties and that's just not different brands, just different types of rice. Like 12 or so different brands of rice. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so a lot of rice. It, Indians love rice. What is this aisle? What do you have in here? So over here, uh, if you're ever eating a chapati or a naan, we have flours to make chapatis, naans, paratas. And if you want healthier versions, we have uh, multigrain flours, uh, gluten-free flours. Obviously, it's not as extensive as the rice section, right? But still, lots Let's, of different flours. The next one we can do uh, more Indian uh, junk food, I like to call it. Uh, snacks and namkeens. Okay. Literally, this is from all across India. This is specifically from like the Andhra region. But if you look on the other side, there's more from Punjab and Gujarat. Uh, What's the difference? Because they're all like chat mixes, right? Basically, yeah. uh, quick snacks. Uh, th again, th guys, this is a little bit like junk food, right? You yeah. shouldn't be eating this too often, but in Hindi, you can eat it every day. We do have healthier versions. But nope. the difference is these are spicy battered peanuts or a muruk, which is again, fried batter. Uh, and even there, we have different flavors. So they can have a ginger one, a garlic one. I guess then, what's your favorite of all these? Because I like the banana chips. Yeah. It's actually one of my favorite things uh, that I had in Kerala, having these, like in Munar, Tekadi area. And obviously the sev, sev in every single chat, right? Masala chana dal. And then all these are like little bites, right? For me, uh, if we go at the end of the aisle, there's, the, there's one called uh, chakri or muruku. That's my favorite. Muruku. Muruku, yeah. Deep fried like a uh, spicy batter. It's almost like a chip. It is like, like this one. What's cool is this one's actually locally made. Uh, uh, in Edison oh. actually. But if you guys drink uh, any of these, they go great with like a cold beer basically. I mean, I'll do a samosa with a beer, dude. Anything <laughs> fried with a beer. The next aisle, aisle three, is all about the cookies. All about the sweets, right? So what do we have here? Because I just see non-stop biscuits. Oh, biscuits and sugar, that's all this uh, side is. Uh, and if you look on this side, we have more breakfast uh, pastries kind of. Like kakras, kharis, which is all baked stuff. Uh, cakes, uh, cake rusks. A lot of sugars, that's what India is about, right? Sugar, dairy, sweets. Sugar, dairy, sweets, and oil. We, we, we like to fry a lot of stuff. Typically we're vegetarian so we can do the frying. This one, it's the most selling uh, cookie in India. Not only in India though, all across the world. Now they're in Brazil, Mexico. So David, we saw a lot of food so far, a lot of junk food. This is more of the healthier stuff that we have in India. Uh, dals, lentils. This is a good like protein replacement for us. 
we use dolls a lot. Like how many different dolls do you have? Uh, uh, depending on the variety, but yeah, around like, like 20 different types of lentils. Have you tried a doll? No, a doll, what, what is that? How does that taste like? Well, I mean, dolls is lentil, yeah. right? So lentil, but you know, they do it very differently. And usually you always have doll part of every meal. Okay. It's almost almost every meal, especially yeah. north, right? If it's not part of like, like a doll like dry dish, you'll, they'll make like a soup out of it or soup. or something like a sambar or, or, or something of that sort. What you had this morning, you had dosa and that's lentil batter. Right. So they already, they use the doll to make the batter. Gotcha, gotcha. That's why it's a little different from like a, you know, American pancake, right? There's so many different flowers. Like what do you guys do with this? Is this for so, different foods? Yeah, different flowers. Um, you can make like a chapati or a flatbread out of them or something like wheat ladu flour, you can add jaggery, uh, a little bit of sugar, uh, milk, and make like a dessert out of it as well. So we got lentil, we have flour. I mean, this lane doesn't end. Wow, look at this. So you have these red lentils, beautiful bag. Wow. Right? What's it taste like? What does it taste like? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna see today. I know a lot of people that haven't even tried Indian food and they're 40 years old, you know? Well, I tried like three dishes. They're all good though but I want to try more today. After lentils, we're going to go into spices real quick. India is a land of spices. Good thing is we also have a lot of ready-made spices too. So if you're trying to cook and you don't know much about Indian cuisine, ready-made packets, all you have to do is add your vegetables, oils, and stuff like that. Like this, right? Like palak paneer. So this is basically, it tells you exactly how to make that's it. Exactly, yeah. Right. You just need paneer, uh, maybe a little bit of oil, uh, boiled spinach, and a blender. Perfect. And if you guys don't know the difference, palak paneer is straight spinach. Sag paneer is with curry leaves, right? Oh, uh, with uh, mustard curry, leaves. greens. With mustard greens, yeah. Mustard greens, exactly. Sorry. Very cool. David knows his stuff. I'm learning, bro. I'm learning yeah. day by day. In the kitchen, you're going to use a mixture of like cinnamon powder, uh, cardamom powder, chili powder, turmeric powder, and make your own mixture for like a, let's say, chicken tikka masala. I'm not going to know how to do that for myself. So, for people like that, we're gonna have like our own, like let's say chole masala to make our own chole. So I don't have to know how much turmeric powder goes into there or how much cardamom powder, how much coriander powder goes into there. Cardamom, teal sesame, okay. Didn't even know that, okay, awesome. Uh, so we have uh, black pepper. This is also referred to in Kerala as black gold. Really? Yeah, because this, is, this was gold at one point, you know? We have mustard seeds, always part of the Indian cuisine. More mustard seeds, some of them are black, some of them are brown. I guess that's like cooking or? Yeah. yeah? Uh, uh, and they're all, they can all be big or small, like in the north, they'll use larger mustard seeds, but the smaller ones are more pungent, so they'll use that in the southern cooking. Okay, awesome. Next style, we can go two hours over. We're gonna see a lot of the more uh, baking necessities, like ghees, oils, uh, uh, the big ones, jaggery, which we use in everything. You're learning, huh? Yeah, so much to learn. If you ever had achar at an Indian restaurant, all Indian achars, uh, garlic paste, uh, ginger pastes, uh, which we'll also use in cooking. But right behind David over here, we have oils and ghee galore. Uh, whether it's made from buffalo milk, uh, cow milk, uh, I believe we have one from camel milk. Uh, wow. Lots of different varieties for that. And even with the cow uh, ghees, there's different types of cows that they use the ghees from or where the milk comes from. For example, we have a special one called the gear uh, cow ghee, which is a specific uh, cow in India. It, they're typically more brighter red cows, but but even stuff like that will have, which is a very, very rare ghee. I love the music. You really feel like you're in a different world right now, right? <laughs> exactly, yep. It's amazing, amazing. Next, we have the frozen section, which, again, a lot of the stuff we used before was for cooking. Uh, if you can't do that, if you're like my wife, kind of, you can use all this stuff, where it's just heat and eat. Heat and eat. Heat and eat, yeah. So yeah, this is all paratas over here. It's like, ton of paratas over here. Samosas, right? And you have coriander chutney, Bani puri concentration, so that's basically the bani, right? Bani puri wine, yep. Mm -hmm. So it's always like spiced water, right? And here we have like potato cheese bites, kachoris, tons of little kachoris, jalapeno pepper. So this is all frozen, just really quick, heat it up, you know, pan, microwave, you know, really easy, right? So what's your favorite? My favorite? Uh, it's what you drink with beer, samosas. <laughs> uh, we have a couple of doors down, but you can't beat samosas. Yeah? yeah. yeah. You never try it. I had samosas once uh, with mint chutney, but that's all I remember. Today you'll have it with tamarind chutney. Okay. All right, sweeter. I like the sweetness, dude. Yeah. To be honest, I love the coconut chutney. That's like really? for me the best. Yeah. But that's yeah. always with like dosa, idli vada. It's more southern, right? And then over here we also have kitchenware, right? So stuff to make dosas. It's more like curved pan. Uh, it's perfect for cooking a chapati or a paratha, just because it gets to the whole tortilla kind of. They had uh, biryani and mutton paneer. 
I've never had the mutton paneer. This looks pretty good though. Yeah, so it's mutter, not mutton. Mutter. Mutter, mutter. Mutter, yeah. So mutton is lamb, goat, right? Yeah. Lamb. Something like that. Okay. And then over here we have sambar as well. So this is all frozen. So if you want to just get something really quick, take it home, eat it on the go, you know, it's right here. So the one we just saw was from uh, Holly Rams, which is actually a famous, famous brand in India. Uh, they may be like like the like, like an Indian version of McDonald's where they have a lot of cafes all across specifically the, the Delhi region actually started off as a snack pro, a snack maker uh, Which was in our junk food aisle uh, all the snacks and numkeens They were the first ones and from that they've diversified and they actually make amazing quality frozen foods now, too Okay, so we're done with the frozen section and now we're going to the front where you check out and we have, wow, what is this, dude? You have like all this religious stuff, huh? Uh, whether you're Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu, and we have a lot of stuff to celebrate those religions as well. Whether it's Agrabatis or, or, or different ceremonial powders. So over there on the wall, we have all the religious items, and over here we have the kulfi, so the ice cream, right? You have a huge variety, delicious ice creams. We have more of these quick snacks, right? So if you like that stuff, get some. Look at this, he's good, masala munch, mm-hmm. All right, so this is like the Indian ketchup. Uh, we'll use it for everything from like noodles to samosas, french fries, uh, but it's it's very, uh, it's not, it doesn't taste like American ketchup. It's very, like the name says, hot and sweet. It's very spicy and sweet at the same time. So it's like a very, very unique flavor that you only get in India for that. And that's it, my friends. Indian grocers here in Edison. What an experience. I mean, so many different products from the continent of India. I love this place. I mean, I should move nearby and just come shop here every day. Anytime. Tell me, you guys also sell online, right? We do. Uh, all of variety you see, everything you see inside, we uh, we just started a website called shopindianeats.com. Okay. It's uh, shopindianeats.com. Uh, you can get all that stuff delivered uh, countrywide. 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 So yes. me and Miami can order anything in the store yes. online. Yep. Perfect. Good morning, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here coming at you from Little Guyana in Queens, New York City. Today I'm here with my boy Shiva. Yes. Mr. What's up, Backyard. What's up? What's up? Oh, dude, I'm excited. Finally, yeah, yeah, finally. So Little Guyana is a neighborhood of roughly 30 blocks in Queens, also known as Richmond Hills, not far from JFK Airport. It's home to a massive number of immigrants from the West Indies, and its Guyanese population is the second largest foreign born group in Queens. Many of the Guyanese residents are Indo-Caribbean. The main street is Liberty Avenue along which you'll find a number of roti shops, bakeries, Chinese Guyanese restaurants, fruit and vegetable stands and other shops. I can't tell you everything now because you know, it's gotta be a surprise. And so right now we're here at Liberty Avenue and Lefferts Boulevard. So this is the end of the A line. This is where you should start your tour. We're gonna go around, we're gonna eat some rotis, right? So roti shops, curries. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna just prepare your taste buds, man. That's Perfect. Be great. So we're we going first, this way? Yeah. What's Liberty Avenue? I mean, it's the it's the mecca for Indo-Caribbean community, Guyanese, Trinidadians predominantly. Food is great, culture is great. Let's check it out. So this actually reminds me a little bit of Jackson Heights, just because we yeah. have this like overpass, yeah, right? Exactly, exactly. But that's more of a you know uh, East Indian community, Pakistan, India. Exactly. You know, yeah. So in West Indies, what that means is that people from India, you know, migrated over to Suriname, Guyana, Korea. Yeah. Well, if you know the backstory, uh, in a nutshell, our forefathers came from India as indentured laborers into the Caribbean, and after generations, generations, you know. We're West Indians, you know, so you have West Indians, you have East Indians, that's the big difference. And um, it's just a si similar culture, uh, just with a twist of modernization, I would say. Um, and we just made it our own and here we are. My boy here is actually from Trinidad, it's one of the places I have to go to. I gotta go because I know the roadies and the curries there are amazing. Yeah, yeah. And over here we have like a tropical jade roti well, express. Right, so this is one of the stops and it's funny you say that because I'm Trinidadian, I'm gonna take you to the ultimate for the ultimate Trinidadian breakfast right now. Okay, perfect. What's up, what's up? How you doing? Good, good. It's gonna be great. We have a few different curries, right? So we have a fish curry over here. We have shrimp. I'm sure we have lamb, goat. Yeah, right? Yeah, duck. Duck as well? Okay, yeah. awesome. And a few years ago, they started really doing boneless for, you know, the younger audience that, you know, they just prefer that. 
like cafeteria style. So you come over here, it's like a buffet, you ask them what you want, you yeah. sit down, and it's yeah. like a like a diner, right? Right. That's yeah, this one. Um, they also have certain things to go. You you can take, but for the most part, this is buffet style. You order, take it a go, you can have it right here. And what do you eat for breakfast here? Doubles is what we're gonna get first. So you like spicy food, right? Love it. I am Mr. Spice. Right. Mr. Spice. Alright, so let's get uh two doubles. So what's a double? Like curry, chickpeas. A roti, right? It's not really a roti, it's like a fried, a thin, a thin fried. It looks like just a, a very thin flatbread, right? Yeah. That's what it is. So they roll it up, right? Yeah. So it's double, double? Doubles. Doubles. Yeah. Okay, so not double, double, doubles. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so Shiva, what do we have here? Because this looks like an amazing brunch. Let's start off. We have doubles. Okay. Um, this is roti. This is... Um, we call it bus up shot. Some people say oil roti. This is dal puri with the what we just saw them making boiled yellow split peas and they they grind it up into um, as fine as they can and put it inside the dough, make it like a ball and then they flatten it up. Bake and salt fish. This is um, fried bake. So it, it, the name of it is bake, but they bake. actually fry. It. They okay. don't bake it. So it's a same similar roti like a dough. Okay. Make it flat. Put it in oil and like fry it real quick. And that's it? Yeah. Curry shrimp and some stew pork. Wow, and then we also have two hot sauces with the same yeah. thing, right? Yeah, that's hot sauce. And then you have a banana soda right. and I have so, a... Put you onto banana soda if you ever had it. Solo and uh, that's sorry. You know, typically more of a Christmas drink, um, but you know. Oh man, so refreshing. It almost yeah. feels like a... I wouldn't say cranberry, but it's something similar, like that, yeah, right? Similar, similar. It's a little sour, yeah. right? And you can try this one too. Here, you can try it straight. All right, I'm gonna try it straight. Try it, <laughs> dude. It's like straight bananas here. Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah, I've never had banana soda. But that's no. a big thing in the Caribbean, right? right. So yeah. Caribbean, they always mix you know, soda with different fruits. Right. You try to utilize everything, you know? Exactly. And how do we do this? How All do right. We start? So first thing first. Doubles. We Doubles. need to have this. The chutneys and stuff in it already. Uh, if you open it, you may see some stuff in there. Okay. It's basically... Uh, it's like a breakfast sandwich with chickpeas and chutneys. Yeah. They basically. Should, it's straight veggie. So, well, you're familiar with eating roti, right? Mm hmm So you just, you know, if you eat again. This is something no knife and fork with your hands. Bro. Yeah. Because. I know you know about that. I love that. So, yeah, you just grab it, you know. Get what you could get. Oh, so you take there. off one side. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's doubles because there's two bars. Right? Ah, I get it, I get it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, wow. Amazing chutneys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spicy, right? Yeah. Uh, you said you like spicy, mm. so I told them. It's basically chole, you know, chickpeas. Mm -hmm. India chole, right? Mm -hmm. I love the roti. So it's nice, it's not crispy, it's more doughy, right? Right. And then you just go in and get everything, right? Mm -hmm. West Indian way. Mmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Has a kick. Definitely very filling. And this is like standard breakfast, this one? In Trinidad. In Trinidad. It's also um, a very economical meal. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's portable. One of this is, uh, this is like, Maybe a dollar fifty for one fifty. So you know, some people would have two, three, four. Yeah, it, it's whoever. You know, I mean, I'll tell you this much: with one, you get full. Yeah, you, you will. Feel it right away. You will. And this is sure you're gonna come back again, dude. Too. It's delicious. Yeah, it's so delicious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's at its best when it just came out, like freshly made, freshly fried. Okay, so let me try it with some of this spice. Right? Is it really spicy? What's that's pepper. That's mm. not a chutney. That's that's hot sauce. Straight hot sauce. <laughs> I don't know if you want to do that. Mmm, it is good. Mmm. <laughs> I mean, it's not crazy spice, but I know in Trinidad it's they have a crazy spice. Yeah, it's flavorful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, <it's good. laughs> Let's go with the second breakfast choice. It's bacon salt fish. So salted fish is a big thing? Yeah, salted fish. Um, uh, I'm not too sure. I think it's usually like mm. salted cod or whatever. Oh man, I love the bacalao. 
Bacalao. That's what it is. Yeah. Bacalao. Codfish. I forgot. You got to say. No, no, no. no. So. It's a, I speak so many languages now. <laughs> you know? We hit the nail on the head. Bacalao. That's what it is. Mmm. But with some spices and mm. some veggies. Yeah, I love how the bread's completely different this one. No, this one's this more fluffy. This is a little more texture. Yeah, salty. Outside the bread is, is fluffy, right? Mm -hmm. It's more almost like a, I wouldn't say a hamburger bun, but no. it's more fluffy than, yeah. than the roti, right? Yeah, and freshly made, so. Mmm, so good. I'm gonna so, have some of this though. Bacalao, that's exactly Bacalao. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed this one, but when you add a spice, it takes it to another like level, oh, right? Of course. It's incredible. It's, you know, it's on your personal preference, you know, some mm -hmm. people, but you still always got to get you know, a little bit here and there. And you need something to flush it down because, yeah, wow, it is hot. So a lot of people coming in, you know, getting their lunch for the day, right? Taking a go, and that's yep. it. Yep. Now we got curry and shrimp okay. and stew pork. You know, um, so we just grab it like this? I got it because I wanted you to try it. Um, I know you wanted the curry, so for I sure. don't know, whichever one. Whichever one you want to try first. I'm going to jump on this one. All right. Go just ahead. like that, right? Go ahead. Mm hmm. Pork is so tender. Right? Dude, it's like melting. I like the piece, the, the, the fatty little piece. You know? That's the best part, right? Oh. <laughs> the gelatin. <laughs> Whoa. Mm -hmm. It's nice, it's light, mm -hmm. but this for sure you pair with some roti, right? Get some roti, grab it, eat it. So let's do this, right? Let's. Oh my god. So now we have curry shrimp, stew pork. This is, um, I already explained, dal puri mm -hmm. with the yellow split peas in it, and this is plain without it. And so, also, oh, there's nothing here, it's just the bread. Yeah, it's just roti. Oh, just the roti, perfect. Right. So basically, you know, get the roti, dip it. Dip. So, whichever one you want to try first. There's two combinations. So, I think I'm going to go with this one first, right? right? Let's do it. So, just like that, right? Yeah. Pick it out. Yeah. Put that for the shrimp, right? All right. Just Let's like that. It. Mm. The curry is not like a thick gravy. No, no. It's more almost like a stew, right? Because it's more liquidy. Yeah. Yeah. It's not heavy. It's not heavy. And these are like small shrimp, right? Not prawns. Like little mm. bites, right? Yeah. But I can eat this all day. Yeah. This is my type of like seafood curry, right? Mm -hmm. Very easy to eat. And I think this bread is probably going to be better than that bread just because it absorbs a little more, right? Right. right. This one just has, you know, the split peas in it, which gives it a little more texture. Okay. It's like dosas, you do dosas. Mm -hmm. like it's having the, the paper ones and having you the know, thicker the, ones. Yeah. yeah. Similar. Again, the same culture, just transformed into our own way. Yeah, it's evolved, right? Over the decades or centuries, really, yeah. at this point. Yeah. Well, I would eat all this shrimp. Yeah. No, oh, this is one of my favorites. Mm. Dude, this is my favorite right here. <laughs> How do you even. Just what do you do this? But look how big it is, dude. Yeah. Like here, hold this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's just half. Oh my god, yeah. Like that. <laughs> oh. So let me try the shrimp to see the difference, right? Yeah. And for this one, I'm just gonna like drown it in gravy. Yeah. Mmm. A little different. Look for sure. I mean, personally, I like this one more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's lighter. Yeah, it's it definitely bigger. lighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Less spices. And it's like flaky, you know. But that yeah. one's crazy. The amount yeah. that they gave us—that's yeah. one portion. That's one roti. Yeah. That's one roti. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. So I'm gonna grab a piece of this, this big chunky pork. You got some of the fat on the outside, right? By the way, guys, you're supposed to eat this with your hands. Remember yeah. that. Yeah. How was that? <laughs> It was chunky. Yeah. I mean, you could have it with rice or roti. I don't believe it's more rice. I think it's more roti, right? Yeah, Always. Yeah, yeah, of course. Roti chops. Mm-hmm. Mm, you going for the pork? Yeah. Dude, I think we're going to finish the shrimp. This is our first spot, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So, I've, I've actually... I love the gravy. Yeah. So, like, I just can't believe this, man. Yeah. So I cover you. <laughs> She was covered. <laughs> this is my last bite here, man. Can't eat anymore. It's only the first spot, bro. Mm. So. What a difference in terms of the cuisine from India, right? It's really evolved. Curries, even the roti. I'm guessing flour, <clears throat> the water too. Yeah. Oh, this Basic. is good though. <laughs>
So check this out. Let me show you something. What we just tried, right? This is how it's being made. The roadies are massive. I've never seen roadies this big in my life. Even when I was in like St. Lucia, they had roadies but small, you know, not this size. They're yeah. so big and the women just keep going, right? They keep yeah. doing it. What do you call that? The griddle, right? The griddle, yeah. The griddle, right? Yeah. And then uh, the, the roadie, you know, puffs up slowly and then she bangs it. And what is that called? It's called a roadie bust up shot. Some people say oil roadie because there's oil in it. That's how you know it's good. When it starts swelling up, Appreciate it. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Delicious, man. Time. Delicious. I love the shrimp. <laughs> wow. So good. Huge roadie. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go, bro. As soon as we walk out of the roadie shop, you have, you know, a little supermarket right here, but all the fruits and vegetables are outside. Hot peppers, lemon, star fruit. You got mangoes, avocado, bananas. I mean, it feels like I'm in back in Asia, right? Back in India. It's amazing. Hey, how you doing? Everything good? Yeah. Awesome. And coconuts. Coconuts. Look at these, freezing. You bring it from Miami. <laughs> Finished with Tropical Jade Roti Shop 3, Tropical Jade 3. Heading that way, 123rd. You're gonna check out this barbecue spot, right? And along the way, we're gonna see some, uh, you know, some more cultural items. I'm all about culture, right? Culture, culture. So it's a mix of shops, barber shops, And then as we keep making our way, you have some people, you know, reading astrology. You have some nail salons. And then we're walking up to 123rd, right? So we're at 118th. We're going to 123rd right now. And right here we have a sari shop. So Chahat sari shop. So if you guys don't know what sari is, that's like traditional, you know, women gown in India. Beautiful. Look at that. It's just incredible. I love it. Very nice. Love the detailed embroidery. And so there's a lot of shops like this, right, Shiva? Where we're going now. There's a lot more where you could actually get the items for the puja and the prayers and stuff like the incenses, the flowers. So yeah, so that's more like Hinduism, right? Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. the Hinduism religion, right? Yeah. Beautiful place. I'll, I'll tell you, today is a gorgeous day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good day today. It's amazing. Everywhere you walk here, you hear Hindu music. Some of these shops are just blasting it, right? <laughs> and more fruit vendors like this. Yeah, I told you, like every two blocks. Every two blocks. Hello, my friend. How you doing? So what do you have here? A million sadis. Basically bring all this from India. And you alter and do everything here, right? Yes. And so anything for men? Nothing? Yes, we have it over there. Oh yeah? Show me, show me one. Look at this. This is like for my nephew, he's like a little prince, right? <laughs> Beautiful. So up here, these are all like for super special occasions, like weddings, right? And then this is more just like, you know, go chill at night, Friday night with yeah. your friends, but still look like a Indian prince, right? Yeah. This is beautiful. I love it. So these are seventy nine dollars. It's a pretty good deal, yeah. and it comes with the uh, the scarf as well. Yes. Yes. Very nice. So now you guys know when you're walking around Little Guyana, come to this shop. What's the name? Hannah Fashion. Hannah Fashion. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you're you. Welcome. I appreciate it. Come here. Buy from her. She's from India. <laughs> okay. Ciao. Bye. Shukriya. Shukriya. Thank you so much. Look at this. We found a coconut vendor. Literally coconut vendor right here. He's gonna grab the coconut, cut it up. I'm gonna drink the juice and then I'm gonna have some tender coconut. Oh yeah, I'm gonna just drink it straight. Just drink it straight like this, right? This is how I do it in India. And in Suriname, I did the same thing. Drink coconuts every day. Oh, it's so refreshing. Now we cut it, right? The tender? You get the flesh. Oh man. You like this? Favorite. So what we do with the thick ones, you sprinkle some brown sugar. The real island people know about that. Shiva, cheers, dude. Cheers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fresh. Mm -hmm. mm. The best part, man. Mm -hmm. I think it is so filling, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's go get some more food. <laughs> so David, check it out. They have all the stuff needed for puja, prayers and stuff like that. You know, incenses. Yeah, so you got Saudi shops, you have shops like this that have more religious items. Across the street, literally, we have another farmer market right there. Yeah, yeah. Fruits and vegetables, I mean, literally yeah. every corner. Uh, every, yeah, every two blocks. I mean, they make it feel very tropical, right? Yeah, so we're South yeah. America, Caribbean. It's more restaurants, right? Roti yeah. shops. <laughs> it's little, it's little Guyana, but it's Richmond Hill is the actual Richmond neighborhood. Richmond Hill Queens, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lachman. Yes, Lachman. Lachman, what is this? It's Anita's fashion. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, this Ganesh, more let him, but there's a Krishna, Krishna stealing the butter. Mm. Look at right there. Wow. So what else do you sell here? Almost everything, men's clothes, women's clothes, wedding, bridal, everything. Religious yeah, items. Everything, every religious item, you name it. Anything you need, you come 
Richmond Hill. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'll see All you next right. time. Anytime. Thank you. Anytime. Come here, buy some stuff. Yeah. And right here on 123rd, we're going to Avenue Barbecue Hut to have some barbecue. And we got a we got a little special treat. We're going in the kitchen. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. We're in the kitchen seeing how they make the lamb and the chicken. So basically they add french fries, they put a bunch of different sauces, and they put the lamb on top. Same thing with the other one, except that one. Grilled chicken with this incredible sauce. What sauce is that? Uh, secret barbecue sauce. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So the chef is telling me that the barbecue sauce is still cooking in this warmer. So the, all the chicken on top of each other with the barbecue Appreciate sauce, it. and it's still really hot. Man, thank you, thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, the best is turning out. What is that? This one's apple G. So you had banana soda, now we're gonna have an apple. Okay, so we got lamb, we have chicken, both barbecue. Mm hmm. Right? Yeah. So we just dive in here? Yeah. It looks a, too good. A bed of fries, chicken, and it has uh, garlic sauce, mm -hmm. uh, shadow benny sauce, which is like a, a seasoning. Okay. Um, and um, a little hot sauce and some ketchup. Always hot sauce, right? Always. Always. Ready? So Avenue Barbecue is the hot spot, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. You got a bone? Obviously. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> it's so good. You know, I've never had like barbecue lamb before. So yeah. everything's 100% halal. Yeah. Everything. Wow. Yeah. And uh, the lamb is grass fed, came from New Zealand. So quality, you know what I mean? Quality for sure. Wow. Oh. It is absolutely delicious. I love the marinade. Mm -hmm. This sauce, this barbecue sauce is so good. It makes the fries. Mm -hmm. mm. Dude, I, I gotta say, one of my favorite lambs ever. I've never had barbecue lamb. Well, now you do. Wow. I'm a big lamb guy. My favorite meat, lamb and goat. Uh. Mm. It's really unreal. Yeah. Like it is. He was actually like, I wanted to surprise you this place because you have to try a barbecue in a Peruvian barbecue yeah. spot. I told you I had a surprise. This was a surprise. This is a surprise? Yeah. Dude, you, you're destroying me with this. <laughs> like, I'm so happy. You guys have to visit this place. So, Avenue Barbecue Hut. Hut. Yes. Mmm. Take it away from me, man. Nah, you go ahead. No, I'm going to eat the whole I, thing. I got, it is every day? I got it all the time. So. Oh, it's too good. You know? Sit right here. Heaven. Okay, so we're trying apple, right? Apple okay. soda. Basically apple soda. Okay. So refreshing. This is actually one of my favorites growing up as a kid. Dude, it's like apple juice. Mm -hmm. With a little bit of frizz, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a sparkling apple drink. I think I'm gonna be dreaming about this lamb for the rest of time. Number one lamb of my life right here. Let's do it, bro. Chicken. Chicken. Hi. Mm. Look at this, it came off the bone. Wow, two chicken. I don't know what it is with this, man. It's the sauces, the flavors. Mm. All the process. Look at that, everything falling off. <laughs> that was my favorite lamb dish. Now, I might be tempted to say it's my favorite, like, Caribbean chicken dishes ever. Wow. Yeah, yeah, barbecue. Barbecue. Barbecue, and then you have all the fries on the bottom. Drenched. And it's, like, drenched in all the sauces. Uh -huh. It makes it even better when it's all drenched and soaked up. This is unreal. So next time I come to New York City, I'm mean, literally gonna take the A line all the way out here just to get lunch. For real. No problem. It's that good. Oh, maybe some more of this though. Yeah. I yeah, have to. Back to the lab. I don't think I can leave any of this, bro. Nah, you go ahead. It's all you. You come here often? I would say so. Mm -hmm. But we usually uh, call and order. You know, with COVID, a lot of things changed into that. So there's no sitting inside, right? No. No seating, so just to go. Obviously, yeah. they set up a little table for us outside so we can eat here. Mm -hmm. Dude, I can't stop eating it. <laughs> mm. Unreal. Yeah. Unreal. Still hungry, though? We have, we have one more spot. I know we do. I know we do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry. I can eat all day. You guys want the fries in the bottom? Mm. I love it. You ever see chicken come apart like that? Never. Can't leave these fries because they have been soaking up in this incredible sauce. Mmm, the mix of barbecue and garlic. Oh my gosh, 
and flushing all the barbecue down with this incredible apple soda. Oh, it's so good. And this pairs well with the uh, doubles that we had early on. Mm -hmm. That's like the ultimate breakfast right there. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Best barbecue on Liberty Ave. All right, Shiva, let's do it. Everybody's saying hi to you. Yeah, I mean, I've been in this community for a lot of years. I DJ. He's a celebrity here. The <laughs> local celeb. It's amazing. Nah, so man. we got more bakeries, more pharmacies. Yeah, nightclub, uh, you know, everything, everything. Look at this, a barbecue right here on the corner. The chicken looks amazing. What's up, man? How you doing? Like David, that. pleasure. Pleasure to meet you. The food is great, though. And this is Hiwi Foods, so it's basically Jamaican food, yeah. jerk chicken, jerk pork. It's not, it's Fiwi. Fiwi. Like, like, like for us. For us. Yeah. Yeah. One of the hardest spots right now, from what I know, usually see halal cards. Yeah. It's a jerk chicken card. Crazy. So now you know if you want jerk chicken on the street here, just come to 124th and Liberty. Yeah. And there you go. Yeah. He, Fiwi. Fiwi food. Fiwi. Literally every corner we have a different like fruit supermarket stall, yeah, right? Yeah. So there's mini supermarket on the corner yeah. and they also sell sugarcane juice, coconut, obviously a lot yeah. of tropical yeah. fruits. Yeah. So if you're making your way on Liberty Avenue, there's one bake shop you have to visit. There's actually three branches. It's called Little Guyana Bake Shop. It's been here since uh, 1995. It's basically a mini grocery store, but you can go to the back, you can buy some bread. Fresh That's every day. Fresh every day. Uh -huh. I told you bro, there's, there's a much more. And th this is one of the preferred spots. Um, you get your bread, you get your, your, your puja stuff. David, I got a little gift for you, man. What do you got for me? I got you an authentic Backyard Republic hat, all right? Dude, you didn't have to. Snapback, huh? That's yeah. good? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. I got some more stuff in here, too. You're too much. I got you a little, you know, Backyard Republic? Care package. So that's his company, Backyard yeah. Republic, yeah, right? Yeah, that's our new, all the brand we just started. We got a lot of new things to drop. And you DJ in, in this neighborhood, right? Mostly, predominantly. But uh, basically anywhere that permits, you know? Next up, we're gonna make a quick stop at Sing's Roti Shop and Bar, because I really want to show you this place. It's a famous roti shop. I'm pretty full right now, so I'm not gonna eat, but I just want to show you. Sing Roti Shop and Bar is awesome. Look at this place. Really, really big roti shop, and it works the same as all the other roti shops. So they have all the food in the front, you got a big menu, you stand in line, definitely bring your mask. You got to have a mask on. Get in line, you know, you order what you want. They have so much. They, obviously, they got rotis, but then they have like chicken, they have, I'm pretty sure, lamb, they have vegetables, they have noodles, they have lots of breads, and they have a bar right behind us. So, I mean, if you don't want to eat, you can just go to the bar. So, we're gonna go to the bar, or what do you want to drink? We're already at the bar. We're at the bar, we're in the bar. <laughs> I love the lights, dude, too. It's like blue, red, and green. Yeah, actually, in the night hours, they sometimes they have a live band here, so you could uh, just party. It turns into like a lounge. Yeah, right now because of COVID, they separated half of the seating space. You could sit in the front. That's basically it. Most of these people are actually taking it to go because it is lunch rush hour, right? And the food looks amazing. I mean, I would love to eat here, but I'm really full. I need a break from eat, from eating, right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, where's the bartender at? Yeah. So since we're here at the roti shop, right? We're gonna have a carob, which is a Trinidadian beer. I actually never tried this beer because I've never been to Trinidad. I'm going next time, dude. I have to go. All right. Caribe or Carib. Carib, not Caribe. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, so it's not your standard regular lager, right? It's a little different, a little crispy, right? Caribbean style. Yeah. So smooth. I mean, this is exactly what we needed, man. I need to digest that food. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of food. All right, all right. Thank you, bro. Thank you. See you next time. See you next time. Right. This place is awesome. You have to come here to Sing's Roadie Shop and Bar. What an experience. Get a beer if you can't eat anymore. But you should definitely try the food. It looks so good. Next up, we're going to pass by Sybil's. So Sybil is, uh, what is it, like a bakery or what, what is it? Yeah, so Sybil's is uh, one of the popular bakeries. So as you can see, Sybil's is packed. So many people, there's a line out the door. When you go inside, it's like a bakery slash roti shop. I mean, they have lots of breads, they have drinks, but they also have a lot of hot food. So like, you know, everything we saw in the other places, like different curries, different salads. They also had some noodles. I mean, everything looks freaking delicious. So you have lots of different varieties here of different places to eat obviously come with an appetite because you will get full really quick all right so we're gonna check out the nest restaurant and lounge 125th street but we're going on 101 avenue that's why we're jumping in uber 
Let's do it. Oh, man. I actually wanted to walk, but he's like, dude, it's about 30 minute walk. Uh, the way I feel now is probably 30 minutes, but it's not really 30 minutes. That's Liberty Avenue is two blocks that way. This is uh, 101 Avenue. And after a five minute drive, we're here at Nest Restaurant. Okay, so here at Nest Restaurant, we have like Chinese Guyanan food, right? Yeah, Basically. Chinese Guyanese. Chinese Chinese. Chinese. Okay. Chinese, Chinese so. so we have like two different wontons. We have a fried rice with chicken and then we have here like crispy chicken. Right. This looks amazing. Well, right this here. is called Chai Ki Chai Chicken. Chai Ki Chai Ki Chicken. You see, it's a tongue twister. Okay. Chai Ki Chai Chicken. Chai Ki Chai Chicken. Right. So it looks like breaded chicken, a little crispy. The Chai Ki Chai Chicken is something you could get in almost any Guyanese Chinese restaurant. It's a spicy dish, I see, obviously. And then what's the difference here? I think this is like uh, vegetable one, right? Well, I'm not sure. There's two types of wontons. Mm -hmm. huh? Here we have, literally it's fried rice with chicken on top, right? Yeah, like a fried chicken. Chinese style fried chicken, Chinese style fried rice. Again, Caribbean Chinese. If you guys don't know, the Chinese have been immigrating to Suriname, Guyana, a lot of countries in Latin America, and they literally blend in the cuisine because of fusion, right? Right. Yeah. What should we start with, this one? All right, so let's just pick at it, right? Oh, look at this, crispy. Mm. Hot sauce. Okay, so hot sauce right here. And this is uh, ketchup. Oh, it smells hot. All right, let me try this. Yeah. Mmm. So fried chicken, mmm, nice and soft, right? Mm. Sauteed with. Sauteed. It's super good. Mm -hmm. But right now I'm gonna try it with this, right? It's very light, it's not like, it, it's fried, but it's not like crazy mm. double fried, you know? Mmm, yeah. the hot sauce. Hot. That's hot. <clears throat> <laughs> I told you. You know what? You have to try the hot sauce, dude. Oh, I'll try something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a hot sauce. good. If I was hungry, I'd eat this whole plate. Mm -hmm. Just keep popping them, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my god, this is becoming hot. I told you. Oh, it's hot, it's hot. Wow. Mm. I think next time I jump onto this wonton. All right. Find out. Cheers. Cheers. The cheese in here. That was a like cream cheese. Maybe this was dessert. Maybe it's dessert? Could be dessert. It's all good, we have another one here. So this one for sure, it's vegetables, right? Mm. Looks like it, looks more like veggies. So this is actually a blueberry wonton, so this is really a dessert. We just jumped over the savory one, right? Yeah. So let's try this one. But that's crazy because I never even knew that existed. That's crazy. It's so good. And so here we a have chutney. a chutney, so it's spicy. This is jerk chicken wonton. Not a flavor. Not a flavor. Crunchy. And next up we have chicken fried rice with a uh, grilled chicken or roasted? It's like a deep fried Chinese style chicken. Okay, look at this. Mm -hmm. Okay, my friend, let's try this. All right. So Chinese chicken fried rice yeah. with chicken. More chicken. Yeah. Double chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Cheers. Let's do it. Boom. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's almost like an orange chicken, right? Kinda. Mm-hmm. But tender. Mm-hmm. Flavorful. Lots of flavor. Love the rice too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Freaking. It's like it's married together, you know? Mm-hmm. Great blend, right? Mm -hmm. You? <laughs> I'll try it without the spice. Without though. the spice. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what it is. Good mm -hmm. chicken. Good chicken. It's very different. Pretty mm. cool. Wow, I love the spice. Love the crunch there. It's so different the way they do jerk chicken compared to this regular, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Me, hot. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to get a little bit more of this rice. It is yeah. so good. Mmm. I love this chicken. That one? So unique. How's your favorite? Pretty simple. Very juicy. All right, my friends, we are done. Last bite. Cheers, bro. Cheers. I need Remember, Guyana is not Ghana. <laughs> On two different continents, right? Mm -hmm. And that is it, my friends. We explored Little Guyana, also known as Richmond Hill, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Liberty Avenue. It's close. What an incredible spot. I mean, it literally feels like you're stepping into Guyana. I mean, as soon as you get off the train, everything is like roadie shops, lots of fruit vendors, lots of delicious. I mean, you got well, barbecue. You have uh, coconuts on the street. We have Rody, mm -hmm. who went to a bar. So what are the we what are the spots? A jerk chicken spot. A jerk chicken spot Cart. right there. 
Incredible. So, so where did this box we went to? Tropical Jade. Mm -hmm. We went to Avenue Barbecue Hut. We went to Sings. We went to Sybil's. Uh, little guy in a big shop. Um, and now we're here. Now we're here at the Nest. Yep. So for me, the shrimp at the first place. Mm -hmm. Shrimp was amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love, love the lamb. Barbecue lamb. One of the best lambs of all time. Uh, at Sings, obviously we didn't eat, but we just saw the ambiance, the people, the food, and the beer there it was really nice. Carib, so that's Trinidad beer. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we just walked around, we saw a few of the other spots, but this is something you have to do in New York City. It's something completely different. Get off the island, come out here to Queens. It's only like a 45 minute to an hour ride on the yep. A train all the way to the last station. Good evening everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been here, coming at you from beautiful Tribeca, Manhattan, New York City. Today I'm super excited because I'm here with Ming from the Bing Buzz, and we're at Benatis, a fine dining Indian restaurant in one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in the city. Tribeca is located between Chinatown and downtown. Here at Benatis, they do high-end North Indian food. So we're gonna have some delicious dishes, we're gonna drink some, probably some Indian beer, cocktails, we're gonna have a huge naan. I'm super excited. When was the last time you had Indian food? It's been a while since I had authentic Indian food, so we're super excited. Awesome, awesome. Okay, guys, join us inside. Let's go meet with Ankit, the owner. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go inside. Ben Aris. Welcome. How are you guys? Good. My man. Nice to meet you, David. How nice are you? Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you. Ankit. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Tribeca Benares. So we've been here for about 12 years now. It's a family-owned restaurant. We're so glad to have you here. All right, so what are we going to eat tonight? What do you have in mind? Quick question. What do you want to eat tonight? Everything, especially the lassi. Everything? <laughs> yeah. I, I want some curries. I want some masala, some naan. Honestly, Benares Tribeca has a bunch of cuisines. Vegetarian, vegan, non-veg, seafood, goat, <laughs> chicken, you name it. To be honest, I think I know what you guys are going to like. Let's start off with some custa gobi, which is a nice cauliflower dish. Some chicken 6-5, which is phenomenal. And then of course, some tandoori chicken straight out of our clay oven. I think you're gonna love it. But we have to start with a drink. I need a beer. Let's do it. Come on over, meet up with my bartender. What drink can we get you today? I would like some lychee lover. I'll take a lassie, please. Yeah, I'll take this one right here. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Cheers, cheers. 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 To Benares. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Yum. Yum. Oh wow. Wow. That's good, really right? Good. Beautiful. The lassi. Mm. Is it nice and thick, or is it nice and thick? Yeah. Oh, this beer is awesome. So it's like more of a wheat wheat ale. This one. Mm. Let me try yours. All right. <laughs> mm. Yum. Mm. Nice and sweet. I love it. So I taste a lot of coriander, orange peel. No, I'm joking. You just told me all the ingredients here. No, but it's really nice. It's a, it's a good. It's like a wheat ale. This yeah, one. Yeah, it is actually. You're right. Exactly. Nice and refreshing. Mm-hmm. Refreshing. Probably like five percent alcohol. Yeah. Oh, it's good. I could always 4. tell. Four point seven. Four point seven. Exactly. <laughs> when, when it's like eight or nine, you feel a difference. Yeah. My man, thank you so much. Of course, man. You are the best. Promise. Love you. So we're gonna go to the kitchen now. We're gonna see them make an incredible array of dishes. I'm excited. I cannot wait. There. Yeah, let's go. So over here, we have our tandoori Hi, section. Here's Gomez right there. So he manages the door. So all of our grilled food is actually made in these clay ovens that get up to about 400 degrees. Let's take a look at that. It's all nice and clay and hot. My friend. Yes. Pleasure meeting you. This is Jeevan, sir. He's our executive chef. He's been with Benares since we started, and he truly is the backbone of our business. And then we also have our other chefs here. We have Hector and Sean. This is what the curry chef does. So this is one of the nice dishes I wanted you to try called custa gobi. As you can see, it's a nice and cauliflower like dish, and I think you'll really enjoy it. So what do you guys think? Oh, it's amazing. So good. On the streets of India, they'll have these right there. And they're doing pakora and chicken uh, five. I mean, it's crazy. It's really hot. Woo! Oh Stay away from that. So we just made three appetizers. One's chicken tikka, but like the flag of India, basically all the different Taranga colors. kebab, yeah. Taranga kebab. Yeah. Chicken uh, tikka kebab. Yeah. And the other one is? Kasa gobi. Kasa gobi. For you. Okay. okay. My favorite. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so let's eat this, and then we'll come back later for the entrees. Let's do it. Let's my man, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, my friends. We are ready to try the appetizers. Are you ready? Man? I'm so ready, man. I'm so ready. I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited too. So over here we have the chicken tikka, but he has a different name for it. So it's basically the flag of India. And this this is basically boneless chicken. Chicken okay. tikka means boneless chicken. 
and he put it, you know, on a skewer in the tandoor oven, so it's gonna taste like, bro, it's gonna fall apart in your mouth. All right. It's gonna be so good. And over here we have the Gobi. I forgot the exact name of this one as well, but it's almost like Gobi Manchurian, a little different, right? Redder, and this is an Indo-Chinese dish, so it's basically fried cauliflower, and they obviously put some garnishing, so they put coriander, and then spring onion on top, and over here we have chicken 65, this is the bomb. This is almost like fried chicken with masalas mm. and chilies. Spicy. Spicy. Ooh. Which one do you want to try first? Let's go with this one. I like this the one? color. Okay, okay. You put two different chutneys, which we also have in front of us, just like mint and tamarind, right? All right, bro. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Tastes how moist it is, right? So tender. Tender. Wow. Mm. I love chutneys. So the tamarind, that's sweet. The mm -hmm. other ones, not so spicy, but you have a little more of a kick, right? There is a kick at the end. Yeah, yeah so it's a nice it. mix. Wow, that kick is nice. I'm pretty sure they're the same. They just added something different to make the coloring, right? Okay. Oh my Green, gosh. green yeah. chicken. Green wow. chicken, right? Look at this bad boy. And see, mm. you can put it on a skewer. Oh, I see the hole, yeah, mm -hmm. wow. Oh, this is the best. This is the way you have to eat most meats. I mean, I've eaten meat, you know, chicken, every type of, you know, animal yeah. around the world, mm -hmm. but when it's in the tender oh. oven, it's a different world. Wow, yeah. that's insane. It's insane. And you see the burn mark too. So yeah, beautiful. I mean, it's like a little charred, right? Yeah. Smoky as well. It's fantastic. Wow. I just dip into that one right, right there. Mm-hmm. This one? Mm -hmm. All right, adventurous. Hmm. Nice and sweet, super juicy chicken. Since you both tried the colorful chicken, I'm gonna go with the regular color. Mmm. You guys are right, Logan. Love the sauce. Just to correct you, it's not sauce, it's chutney. Chutney? Oh, chutney, okay. chutney. Because in India, people get mad when we call it sauce. <laughs> <laughs> this time, I'm dunking it into the chutney. I love the chutney. Oh, one more bite. We still have a lot of food. Mm. It's too good. I'm so excited to try this gobi. My favorite appetizer. Love that cauliflower. Love the chutney. I was gonna say sauce again, but thanks for putting me on. <laughs> All right, Archer, my friend, let's jump on this. All right. I love this. It's almost like a, it's like a sweet and sour type sweet of thing. Sour? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm, fun. Mm. This for me is China. Mm -hmm. Like the flavors of China, you know? You're right. So good. Oh, it's nice and tangy. It's not too spicy. Yeah. So it's it's not crazy breaded, but definitely fried, you know? Yeah. I'm not a big vegetarian fan, but I love this. Yeah. yeah I mean I have it every time. With Indian food, yeah. you will become a, a vegetarian. Alright. <laughs> you will love it. Alright. He doesn't love veg. I do. Mmm. <laughs> So good, love it. It's delicious. And we are gonna jump on a super spicy chicken 65. We asked for spicy because we love spice in this table. Wow. But I just have to mentally prepare myself for this one. Mm -hmm. So it's fried, then they mixed it in, they basically sauteed it, right? They mixed some curry leaves and so it's like a jalapeno. Oh, that's real, yeah. So let's jump on it. That presentation is a 10 out of 10. Oh, nice and crunchy. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Mm. Chicken's so good. That mm. chicken is so good. It's so smooth. It goes down so well. So well. Wow. Almost like butter, right? Yeah. Whoa. Exactly. I'm feeling the spice now. <laughs> but I had a little bit of that, right? Little pepper, yeah. Lightly fried. Not too much, right? But I just love everything they added to it. So they added a few different masalas from what I saw. But then you have a curry leaf right there at that. Okay, it's so tender, I can't believe it. Yeah, let's try more. Mm -hmm. Take a big piece. Almost like the chicken nuggets, right? Mm -hmm. But way more, <laughs> way better. Mm -hmm. For me, spice level? I'd say it's like an eight, maybe seven, right? It's manageable. Manageable. Yeah. I mean, you start to feel a tingle, right? A little bit. A little sweat <laughs> dripping yeah. down. <laughs> I'm all in with this. Mm -hmm. wow. I'm not leaving anything for. I could me. eat a whole meal of this, man. <laughs> Save some room in your stomach. <laughs> it starts to hit you. Oh, but it's worth it. Ready to eat. Mm. Uh oh. The hot? Spicy. Okay. 
is manageable, but it, it is like, it is like a seven. Seven, eight. The guy here was telling us, he's like, could have made it spicier. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> Very spicy, jalapeno, curdy. But wow, what a good dish, right? Really gotta eat it like that. Open up the palates. I'm ready to go for more. This might be my new favorite. <laughs> Move aside, Gobi. <laughs> Just kidding, they're both so good. <laughs> I'm on fire. Get the beer. It helped, like, ooh, come on the heat. Wow. Alright, we're going back into the kitchen to see how they make the entrees. A bunch of curries. So we just saw how they made the lamb and the shrimp tandoor. So basically just put it on the skewer, already marinated this beautiful like orange red paste, right? Yep. Look at that. Incredible. So huge prawns, nice lamb, lamb chops. And now he's gonna make a few curries. I think it's four curries and a massive naan. So it's biryani in a clay pot with naan top. So we're watching all these master chefs make non-stop curry dishes. Is incredible, they don't stop. Our food's already on the table, so we're gonna make a big naan right now, and then we're gonna go to the table and eat. Okay, thank my you man. So much, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay. You're a master here, dude. Look at this. All the masalas, this guy doesn't stop. He literally was making like 10 plates over two minutes or something. It was crazy. <laughs> thank you, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you boss. Thank you, boss. Thank you. I'll see you next time, okay? okay thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you ready to eat? Yes, let's go. Chef, chef. Okay. Thank you. Ming, are you ready? Super ready. Super <laughs> ready. This is gonna be amazing. Look at all these what? This is crazy. So we got some tandoori lamb chops, some bundi raita, a nice dumb veg biryani, a nice garlic of family naan, a vivani handi, chicken tikka masala, some alu gobi, and some lovely tandoori shrimp. Okay, my friends, Ooh. I am excited. I'm so excited, man. This is crazy. Wow, how do we start? Well, I think we start with the easy stuff first. Okay. Like that. So, Ben, are you a lamb guy? Sometimes. If yeah. it's done well, yeah. It's done well? Well, this is done really well. All right. Let's enjoy. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. It's done really well. Mm-hmm. Wow. I so, can't even tell this is lamb at first. I know, right? Wow. That, so, that feeling, mm -hmm. the moisture, mm -hmm. that's straight from the, you know, tandoori. Okay. Right? So the clay oven gives it this feeling so different. And I love how it's a little smoky and like the marination is very light, right? Mm -hmm. It just comes off. Usually mm -hmm. lamb is very dry. That's why I'm kind of like worried at times. Mm -hmm. but this is so good. Wow. This is unreal. Dave, this lamb is so freaking tender. It's so good. It's so freaking good. I love this. It's actually really good. I know, man. You know, for me, lamb is my favorite. Lamb and goat, really. Mm. But people tell yeah, me like, yeah. how do you eat lamb? Like, how do you not eat lamb? Like, it's this crazy. is how you do it. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd rather eat this over beef every day. Yeah, you're lamb right. over beef, right? And then we have also massive prawns. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Yeah. So these are the two tandoori uh, items, right? And we have to eat them right away because if not, they get too cold. So cheers. Here we go. Massive. <laughs> Nice and charred, I mean, but a huge, huge prawn, right? I never had shrimp done like this before. Never, right? No, but never. I mean, it's only done in Indian restaurants. Wow. You're never gonna find it anywhere else. And that's the best part about tandoor. You know, some other like Central Asian countries do it, mm -hmm. but not like India, you know? It's almost like you throw anything in there, it's gonna come out tasting good. Oh, dude, they even put <laughs> cheese in there. Wow. Oh, cheese is ridiculous. The paneer, this is right here, we have paneer, so big blocks of cheese. Put it in there on a skewer to die for. Wow. I love shrimp. Shrimp is my go-to meat. Let's go. Mm. I saw them cooking this. So much marination goes into this. So delicious. Cheers, my man. Cheers. I love this beer. Let's go. Wow, it's so fresh, so clean. Beer as well. The white one, right? So it's the, the wheat one. Some good deer. This incredible like paneer vegetable curry plus chicken tikka masala, the national dish of Great Britain. That's crazy. It's amazing. And over here we have some cauliflower and that's like more of a dry curry. Okay. And again, curry is a British thing. Masalas is the base of making these gravy. So curry is really gravy. Mm. Masala, the spices are used to make it, and obviously that's cream. Wow, it's a bunch of cream. Perspective right there. <laughs> Dude, it's a lot of perspective, right? Yeah. And we have to pull the naan, so just grab a piece. Okay. You know? 
So this is how we're gonna eat it, right? In North India, they always use their hands with the bread, right? So you just grab a piece. You're not supposed to get too much. Okay. But you just go in here and right to the butter chicken, or not the butter chicken, chicken tikka masala. You get a big chunk of that. Easy. Shove it in your mouth. All right. <laughs> It's creamy. Tender chicken is not spicy at all. So good. I like eating with my hands, to be honest. Mm. I enjoy it. Me too. So why can't we eat burgers and pizza with our hands and we can't eat this? Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on. We're humans. We're humans. Before there was utensils, we were always using our hands, yeah. you know? So it shouldn't be looked down upon at all, right? It feels so grounded. It's nice. Yeah, man. It's humbling, right? Exactly. This is how people eat, you know? Just grab some bread, and grab what you got, and you go in. I'm gonna get the next one. All right. Yeah, so what is this? It's like a cauliflower, you got paneer in here. Dude, bro, look how big this cauliflower is crazy. Mmm. <laughs> so it's spinach, it's paneer, cottage cheese, cauliflower. That's so different from anything else. Because there's two different dishes, like palak paneer and sag paneer. So palak is just spinach and then sag has curry leaves. Okay. Cur no, mustard leaves. Mustard. It's like basically greens. Okay. You no? Know? Man, if I have spinach done like this every day, I'll eat spinach every day. Dude, I'm telling you, <laughs> this is the best veggie dishes on the planet, yeah. right here. So much, but you just, you could enjoy every bit of it. Exactly. So next to it, we have massive cauliflower, right? And because my hands are already dirty. <laughs> We got potatoes, tomatoes, mm. and cauliflower. And it's a dry curry. Okay. So it's not like these that are super like, you know, saucy. Yeah. It's right? so simple, but it's so rich, I like it. So simple, so rich. And if you want to, dude, just grab some of this, put it right here, you know, like that. And then just get another piece of bread. And just pick up more. All right. All right. To be honest, I can eat any food every day. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing so it every are. day. <laughs> So that's how it's done. That's incredible. This is so good, huh? Even the bread alone is so good. Imagine the bread with the chicken. No, man, I know. And you can just get gravy if you want. Just like a little bit of gravy on top. Oh, okay. Like mm. For me, this is what makes Indian cuisine. Mm. All these gravies. It's amazing. Yeah, man, because you literally, they can make, they can use the same gravy mm -hmm. and do it with paneer. So it's a veg version. You could also do it with shrimp. You could do it with anything, you know, basically, right? Wow. Cool. I can get tired of eating this for sure, for real. So cheers, cheers. What a great wow. place. Banadis. Banadis. Banadis, right? Mm -hmm. This is Indian beer. Right here. My turn. Shall I start with chicken tikka masala and shove it in my mouth? I heard it. This is some good chicken tikka masala. All right guys, this is my favorite part about eating biryani with anybody, showing them how to do it. Okay, so dude, are you ready? We washed our hands, by the way. So wash our hands. Oh man. <laughs> now you go in, this is a veg biryani, so there's no chicken to break up, there's nothing, but you just go in like this. Oh man. Right? Oh, you know, this sorry, there is chicken. Sorry, it's not a veg, it's just chicken. So you're just gonna go in like that and break. Oh, feels wow. good, right? So warm. <laughs> 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 so in South India they do this, in North India they don't do it as much. But the reasoning behind this is that you get way more of the real flavor because if you have it with a spoon, you know, with a metal spoon, it's gonna change the flavor profile, wow, right? Wow, I'm so not used to this. What you do is you just try to like get like a tiny ball, like if you want, like try like that, like that. You could use the bottom three, you could use the four, you okay. always use the fifth to push in, right? Yeah. So like straight in. Mm. How's that? Mmm. Wow. Well, Spaghetti is incredible. The experience mm. too, mm -hmm. and the gesture without the without the utensil. It's so interesting, dude. It's an experience. Yeah. That's why when anybody tells me this is like primitive way or that's not how it's done, it is how it is done in South India. Mm. They always eat biryani like this. Wow. And then, you know, if you want, you can put some of this raita. So this is another yogurt, right? So you put it on the side. You can mix it in, but then you're gonna make it creamy and you're gonna lose a lot of the, the spices here. Okay. But you can still do that, right? Okay. But this is how I do it, just like that, and then. Mm-hmm. 
This is the king of dishes, by the way. Wow. The king. There's so much herb and spices in this rice alone. Mm hmm. So colorful. Mint. I taste it. Mm hmm. Very earthy, too. Mm hmm. Now I'm gonna move in the rice out like that, right? Oh, okay. This actually makes it like glue together. Look Interesting. At that. Makes it like a ball, right? I love this. I like the cream. I love that creaminess Can of the rice. Can we cheer this? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Cheers. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I feel like yeah. a real human right now. Dude, for sure. Wow. And I love doing this. So this is how I've seen it done in India. Look. Wow. Uh, Hold in. Just move it on. And don't worry. Your hands clean. We're gonna wash it after. It's fine. Get the ball. And we we'll do bon appetit. Alright. Cheers. Wow. Mm -hmm. I like this. It's like that's how you bond, right? You show your, you show your food together, but mm -hmm. this is a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. You have to know somebody. Mm -hmm. Lately, I've been meeting with a lot of people, and literally, I eat within the first hour I meet them. And it's like, you change, you know? <laughs> like, we really get to know each other. Right. It's not like somebody's in the way, we're just, you know, conversing over food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you've done a much better job than me. But. Oh, dude, I'm a pro, bro. <laughs> and, and, you know, you're not supposed to leave any grains. Oh, okay. Remember, there's people out there that are hungry, so you don't leave point. anything, right? Awesome, yeah. But we still have dessert. <laughs> That's sitting well right now. Wow. It's good, right? Yeah, it's really good. You love it? Even rice, just rice. I oh, love it. Wow. Dude, the biryani is so good. And this one, because it's in the clay pot with the, you know, they put the knot on top. It's so different. Yeah. Like a little smoky, too. A little smoky, you're right. How does the rice have so much flavor? It's insane. Oh, dude, the yeah. spices, it's very different layers. Yeah. And it's wow. all top ingredients, so it's not like just any sauce, any stuff. I'm gonna send you a video of how they make this. Okay. Oh. There's enough rice for me. Okay. Oh, it's so warm. Yes, you gotta break up the chicken. All right, I got you. Yes. Anki did not need to warm this up. It's already still warm. I, I'm so, I'm surprised it's still so warm. Mix it and then try to make a little ball like in your fingers. Okay. And then that's it. Just put it in your mouth. That's super easy. Not a pro at this. You're good. How's? <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's do a, let's have a mini ball. Mm. Delicious. So much taste to it. How long did it take for you to perfect the ball? Oh, that was a lot of years of practice. <laughs> Alright guys, so we have our desserts, three desserts. We have Ras Malai, my favorite Indian dessert ever. It's actually Bengali dessert. And over here we have the volcano we call it? Yeah. Volcano, so it's basically ice cream, some chocolate, right? Yeah. And pistachio. Pistachio kulfi. And the pistachio kulfi is actually melting, so let's jump on that right now. Alright. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Mm. That's the softest one. Yeah. It's not so dense, right? Yeah. Good? Pistachio is usually not my thing, but this is great. Oh, pistachio is my thing, bro. Oh. This is. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's like healthy ice cream. It's like healthy ice cream, right? So kulfi for me, the best way to compare the texture is usually between an ice cream and sorbet. It doesn't melt yep. as fast. Yep. And it's a little denser. Yeah. Right? It's like foamy in the mouth. It's like foamy, yeah. right? And then right here we have my favorite, bro. You have to try it. Oh, if that's your favorite, it's gotta be legit. Yeah, so it's like, man, it's hard to explain. It's like clotted milk balls. Okay. Something like that. So it's, it's very confusing how they make it, but... I'll learn one day. All right. Bro, I hope you enjoy this. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Cardamom too. Mmm. Mm. There's so much in there. I can't pinpoint it. Nice and sweet. And you have this milk, right? Mmm. It's very creamy, soft. Exactly. Wow. And it melts. It melts, bro. Yeah, there's texture, but it just melts. For, for me, this is the ultimate Indian dessert. So you have Ras Gulai, Gulab Jamun, but Ras Malai is my favorite. It's sweet, but it's, it's nice. It's sweet, yeah. it's nice, it's different. Wow. I'm, I'm getting so full that I'm just taking one bite of this guy. Chocolate oh. and rose. Chocolate and rose? Oh, I love the combo. So basically, it's like, it's Valentine's Day on October 7th or 8th. Wow. 
Mm. I have a sweet tooth. I have a second stomach for dessert. So I'll finish it off. <laughs> Pistachio kofi. Delicious. I like the texture, the little pieces inside. David's favorite. Ooh, let's see. Mm. I've tried this before. Good. Yeah, so familiar. I see why it's your favorite. You have one more. Chocolate is my weakness. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's go. Mm. This is my favorite. This is this is so freaking good. Love the chocolate. Rose combination. Perfect. It's really it's unique. Dude, she wasn't kidding. She has a second stomach. Look how much she ate. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. She ate everything. This is so good. All right, my friends, that is it. Benares, incredible, super delicious North Indian cuisine right here in the heart of Tribeca. What do you guys think? Oh, it's wonderful. Freaking delicious. Delightful stuff. Oh, so good. So full. What was your favorite? My favorite was the chicken six five. All the appetizer, I loved it. Yeah. Chicken six five and the biryani for me. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Gotta give a big shout out to Ankit and the entire staff here. What an incredible experience. You know, from the second we walked in, we had some drinks, we went to the back, we saw them making all the food, the curries, the non the tandoor. I mean, it was amazing. Then we had a non-stop meal. I think we had like 10 plus dishes. Good morning, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Parsippany, New Jersey. Today, I'm super excited. I'm here with my friend Nisha, a food blogger from the area, and Nisha, Tell me about Parsippany. I know there's a lot of Indians, like over 10,000, lots of Indian restaurants. Yes, so uh, me and my husband, we lived here like, you know, a couple of years ago and moved out recently. Uh, we know a lot of Indian restaurants. And so are we doing a mix of food? Is it North Indian? Yes, yeah. definitely a mix. Okay. Yeah, this place is pretty much like a North Indian restaurant. Okay, awesome. And then we have mixes coming and then we go south. Okay, so we're gonna do eating Indian food all day here in Parsippany. I'm so excited. I just got here. I took the path from Manhattan, then drove an extra like half an hour to get here. It's a little chilly, but I'm ready. <laughs> all right, so let's go inside. Yes. Josh, right. you ready? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it. My man, let's eat. Oh, look who it is. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how the man, the legend. How you doing? This is Ankush, my, my future restaurant partner. Right here. Yeah, we're today we're doing a variety of dhaba dishes. So we're doing chole bhature. We're doing some uh, starters, achari mushroom, uh, kalmi kebab, some kebabs for you. And we also have uh, soya chop, which is soya chunks marinated in a malai filling. And uh, mango chicken and aloo paranta. So we got a nice variety for you. This is breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, ready, I'm ready. I'm ready too. I'm ready. This is going to be awesome. Chefs, morning. How are you guys doing? Morning. All right, we're in the kitchen. We're going to see how they make some of these dishes. Look at this. We have chicken. I mean, what a mix here. We got like yogurt, masalas, a chicken kebab. So you're going to put all these on skewers and strain tandoor, right? So Nisha, let me ask you, what's your favorite? Everything. Everything. I could go on eating everything. It's like finger licking good. I gotta try the mushrooms. I've never had the mushroom dish actually, so I'm excited to try that one. All right. So he put the soya chop chunks in the tandoor. That's the malai sauce for the soya chop. So he's gonna after he's done, he's gonna put the malai sauce on top of it. So it'll be a creamy soya chop. And then also he's working on a mango chicken and a korigasi, which is a coconut based chicken gravy. And this is the first spot. <laughs> Nisha, what do you think? Delicious. Everything looks so good. Chef here doesn't stop. He's just making non stop incredible curry. We have some naan. Over here, look at this the list. So we have chole batole, we have soya chop. I mean, it lists at hand. I think it's like a 10 dishes, right? Something like that. Josh. Yes. You like spicy? Love spicy food. Yes. Her, her spice tolerance is not as, as high as mine. But Come I on, Paul. We have to food. eat good together. <laughs> so, Dave, we have chole bature, which is a chole with a puffed uh, bread uh, that's fried. In addition to that, we have aloo paranta. We have uh, kurchan pao, which is chicken minced with pao bread. We have achari mushrooms, soya chop malai, and kalmi kebab. And then we have two curries. So we're gonna start off obviously with chole batore, yep. right? Mm -hmm. So we're each gonna get one of these. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Do we even need a full one, right? <laughs> so good. So I actually had this on the streets of Delhi, and this is the breakfast in North India, right? So you have chole, chickpeas, with this, the bature. This is not a puri. It's, it's a batura. It's a batura, mm -hmm. right? And then people call it different, like chana batura. I mean, chole they have batura, different names yeah. depending on the state, right? Yeah. And how do we do it? So we break a piece. Okay. And just dunk it. And just dunk it, huh? the whole thing. Make sure you get the chole. Mm -hmm, that little gravy, curry. right? Mm -hmm. The curry. Cheers. <laughs> Mmm. So soft. So soft. Light. Mm -hmm. Not spicy. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Okay. Something, right? So the is a little different, right, in terms of a puri or a flatbread, right? It's a little doughier. Mm -hmm. Not so crispy, right? No. It, the mixture is different. Okay. And this is wheat flour, I'm guessing. It's all purpose flour. All purpose flour. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's how baturas are made. That's how they're made. Definitely will fill you up, right? Yep. If you have the whole thing, I mean, this is a simple breakfast. Yeah. It's very humbling, especially doing it on the streets of Delhi. You yes. know, just mm -hmm. this, this, you know, sometimes they'll add just a little more ghee, yes. you know, or butter. Yep. But for us, it's simple, right? Mmm, but delicious. Shouldn't finish this whole thing, but <laughs> today I have to. Mmm, I love the chickpeas. I'm, I'm a ready. huge fan of chickpeas. Yep. And I love how the bature. And the chickpeas literally bind together, mm -hmm. like perfectly, right? Yep. Let's lay low with this. Yep. What should we get next? The paratha. The paratha. Mm -hmm. With the yogurt. With the yogurt. Vanisha, how do we do this? Okay, so this one you take a piece of bread, mm -hmm. and you take a little bit of yogurt. Not a too little much. bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it's it. thick, huh? It's yep. like real yogurt. Yeah. Tear a piece. All right. Oh, I love this. It's stuffed. Just dip it. Oh, just gonna be nice and creamy, right? Yep. Mmm. Mm. I love stuffed naans. Yeah. This is paratha. Mm -hmm. Right? So a little paratha. different. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's always confusing for me. Paratha, naan, roti, I know the difference, right? Naan is more fluffy. Okay. It's made in a tandoor. This, you just roll it out. Oh, so that's the difference. Yes. Am I right? So paratha yes. has layers yeah. and uh, naan will be like the all-purpose flour that you were talking about with milk and eggs. Whereas this, this won't have any eggs or milk, this will be wheat. And then they'll stuff it with potatoes and onions. You can do it on the grill or the tandoor, but our version is the tandoor version. You have a chili, you have the alu. You also have like a masala, right? Yep, there's cilantro, mm -hmm. onions. Maybe I shouldn't finish it, but it's so good, why not? Yep. Mm. Where is everybody from? So big mix? Big mix. Okay. A lot of South Indians, North Indians. It's incredible how many Indians are just in Jersey. Yep. Like oh, Jer yeah. Jersey's like Edison, Jersey City, mm -hmm. here, just like all these pockets, right? True. Even New York, you'd be surprised. Anywhere you go, it's just. I know, Indian. I know. Yeah. But Manhattan has over 100 Indian restaurants, which is oh, wow. mind blowing. And my friend here owns most of them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's try the sweet Lassi. Okay. Lassi. Not Lassi. Cheers. Not Cheers. Lassi. 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 Mmm. Mmm. This would taste even more better after the spiciest of food. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So what's spicy here? I know we have some pickles right there. I'll add some spice if it's not spicy enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this, we're gonna open the bread and we're gonna put the kima inside, right? Or we could just dunk it. Or just dunk it. Either, Either one. This is more of like a dry scramble. Like with vada pav, you get the creamy thing, so you can dunk it. So this, maybe we tear a piece. Mmm. This is so good. You have to try it. Super mm -hmm. fluffy buns. Or you beautiful. can make a sandwich too. Oh, you could, right? Mm -hmm. You know what? Maybe I'll make a sandwich. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna just fill it up, right? Yep. Just like this. Garlic. Boom. Yep. Look at that. It's almost like a little, what's it called? Uh, slider. It's a little slider, yeah. I should have made a sandwich. Mmm. Okay. Love the bun. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Buttery. Super buttery. Mm hmm. But it has to be, right? That's the flavor. That's the flavor. Mm -hmm. So it's super fluffy in the middle. On the outside, a little crispy because it was on the pan, right? And I love the chicken kima. So it, it reminds me of like scrambled eggs, yep. but obviously it's chicken, right? Yep. Just mm. the texture. Mm hmm It's amazing. There's something you can get like literally on the go. Mm hmm Right? And there's yep. another one called like the belly, right? Or something like that. The belly? The belly. Oh, the, the belly, belly yes. The belly. The, <laughs> it's very similar, but it's something like more sweet inside, yeah, yeah. right? There's like sauces and stuff that you pour inside, yeah. Mm-hmm. Love a chicken korma. You know what? No one's watching, right? 
no judgments here. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I can straight up eat this for breakfast, just like that. Mm -hmm. No bread, but yep. obviously the bread enhances the flavor here. Yep. Oh, uh, too much, right? <laughs> you gotta be careful with the bread. It's, it's like, it's really filling, it's fluffy. You're gonna get more and more, right? Yep. Nans, paratas, rotis. Yep. Mm-hmm. All of the good stuff. Mmm. Love this. I remember that we got this the last time we were here. The, the chicken kima, mm -hmm. real good stuff. So we're gonna jump onto the tandoori items next, right? Chicken wings tandoor, mushroom tandoor, and soya. Soybean. Soybean chop, or soy chop. Malai soybean. Malai soybean, I love malai kofta. Yes. It's one of my favorite things ever, which are like dumplings and that creamy sauce. The sauce oh, yeah. is what makes it, right? Yes. And I think it's gonna happen here, so we should probably yep. do that one first. Okay. Look at that, massive. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's good. It's incredible. Mmm, creamy. Yep. Super soft. This is malai. No, the malai. So what's malai? It's basically cream, right? Cream. So I shouldn't eat the whole thing, but it's that good. Exactly. I have to. I've never had that dish before. It's mind blowing. Me neither. First wow. time. Mm -hmm. And then we got mushrooms, mm -hmm. right? So this one has like a marination, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, cheers. Mmm. Mm. What I love about all this is that it's smoky. Mm -hmm. a little charred. One of the things with the wings is that it's very hard to come by. Not every Indian restaurant does this. Right. You know? So, another delicious tandoori item. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mmm. -hmm. Chari. Exactly. Chari, smoky. Mm -hmm. It's just the moisture yep. you get from that clay oven. Yep. Wow. I don't think any other cuisine in the world has tandoori. Obviously everywhere around the Indian subcontinent, right? Mm -hmm. but that's, that's it. That's true, yep. She's like, no more food, David. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? So we have the mango chicken mm -hmm. and the? Korigasi. Korigasi. Yeah. We should do the korigasi because, you know, Let's coconut, kerala. Yes. Let's try that. Mmm. Mmm. Creamy. Creamy. You taste the coconut right away. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not too spicy. Mm -mm. Nice and light, right? Yes. And what I mean by is that it's not too rich. No, you know, sometimes it's you have flavorful. this explosion of like spices. Oh yeah. And you're like, whoa, what mm -hmm. is this? But that one's not very easy. Yeah, especially for Western palates. Yes. You know, people aren't used to it, right? <laughs> Cheers. Oh, and I love the gravy. Mm -hmm. Plus, it has like these big like chunks of uh, ginger, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Everything with ginger is delicious. Yes. But everything with masala is even better, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> I think this one is my favorite though. Not mm -hmm. the mango chicken, the other one. The korigasi. The yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing I loved about my time in Kerala was just having everything with coconut. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The fish curry with coconut? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's it for our feast here. But you know what? I'm not gonna finish because I really like this one. I know. <laughs> this one's good. You want some more? Just the gravy. Just the gravy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the gravy is the ultimate addiction, right? Because they have a lot of chicken meat. And that's the best thing about like Indian cuisine is just the gravies, you know? They don't stop. Very flavorful, yep. Very flavorful, mm -hmm. and you always have something different. Obviously, you have the standard curries that, yes. you know, the British have done. Yes. But then you have all these other ones where it's just like mixing masalas and mm -hmm. just like changing pork like crazy, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So yummy. Wow. So what was your favorite of everything? The chicken kima. Mm -hmm. This coconut curry for sure. This one I for mean, sure. everything is good, but... Yeah, but yeah. some of them are just like standouts, right? Mm -hmm. Just gotta do it, right? Yeah. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. Yeah. My man. Great to see you again. Good to see you too. We'll see you at the next spot. Yeah. All right, let's go. So we're going to Jashan by Daba, Ankush's second restaurant just down the road from here. It's uh, much more casual, pretty fancier compared to Daba uh, Express right here. So, but it's going to be good. More Indian food. Persephone. Oh man, I am full. It's a good start. <laughs> Here there's a bunch of supermarkets like Delight Big Bazaar. They also have Biryani Pot. So lots of Indian restaurants, obviously huge Indian population. And this is what Jersey feels like, right? So more like suburbs, right? Although it's so close to the city, but you have that suburb feeling. And like, as you said, the Indian population here. That's a big surprise. There's an Indian supermarket here that's huge. This is the largest supermarket in Persephone, Big Bazaar, 
delight big bazaar we're gonna just burn off some calories here make some room for lunch here you're gonna find all your you know typical indian spices they got kulpi for sure yes, snacks snacks so you remember the chicken kima pav that we had mm -hmm. this is the pav it's kashmiri i think with butter and good to go you know, this is a big thing in India. They do a lot of different pops, right? Yes. Uh, they put vada inside, so like a potato vada. fritter, right? Yeah. Um, they also put it with some tomato paste. I've yes. seen it done with a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Always this fluffy bread, right? Mm -hmm. I love this bread. You can also dip this into chai. It's yep. really oh, good, yeah. right? Yep. But here in front of us, we have forever fruits and vegetables. So a lot of this stuff comes directly from India, right? Mostly from India, some from Mexico. David, look, an Indian cucumber. I've never had this before, but it says Indian cucumber. Your favorite. <laughs> said peppers for days. <laughs> By the way, guys, this is actually turmeric, not ginger. Here. Oh, amazing. Yeah, so it's yellow haldi, right? You want that. Hello. Oh, just in the morning. No way. Pizza one. No way. Pizza. Thank you. Thank you so much. I it's was amazing. just telling my husband. I wish I see him. <laughs> and I'm here, right? Yep. It's, it's part of God's plan. So, Nisha, what do you think? My favorite? Your favorite. You want to take a bite? You take a bite. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've got a little one. Let me see a tiny one. This one. Look. I'll eat the whole thing already. There. Uh oh. Spicy? Oh. Yeah. That's crazy. Crazy hot. <laughs> Maybe I should have done that. Don't tell me I didn't warn you. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So this, these are the regular stuff. Dill, spring onions. We have palak. You like palak. You mm -hmm. had the sog palak um, discussion recently, I remember. Mm -hmm. So that's spinach right here. My man, how you doing? I was watching a video this morning. No way. <laughs> So my, wife, my wife was like, let's go to New York to meet David and you know. <laughs> and now I'm here, now I'm here. Thank you, thank you. But this is a syrup. It's, I think, rose syrup. Yes, this is like a rose syrup. If you've had faluda, this is what they put in it, in a rose faluda. And sometimes, as a kid, I used to put this in milk and drink it. Here we have all the rice. We have basmati rice, which is for biryanis and things like that. They have different kinds of rice here. So they have sona masuri, which is kind of like a tiny rice. Um, I usually cook with basmati rice, but everyone has different preferences. Each day is different yes. because they produce different rices I or... So with flavor and texture, there's a big difference. You have parboiled rice and I don't know, there's like different kinds of rice. So this is idli rice. You make idli with this rice. You soak it, you grind it, you get the batter. Mm -hmm. I think they put yeast, yeast or something. Okay, but it's not basmati at no. all. No. So it's just idli rice. rice. I didn't know that. I thought it was like they were using any rice to make idli. So that's steamed rice cakes. Yes. Wow. And then right here? Different kind of rice. It's kind of small. Same like pony yeah. rice. I think I need to find like a lassi here because <laughs> oh, the chili is hitting me hard right now. Oh, no. no, no, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> These are all snacks. You get like flavored snack, plain snacks and things like that. And then you have drinks right there. So, do you know mixture? Mm -hmm. You get some in there, but here they have like spicy mixture. So we have non-stop snacks here. Delights, lots of crunch. These are delicious. These are usually go with chats, right? Chats, chais, anything. Anything. Yeah. Behind us we have all these. These are healthy drinks. You know what Corella is? No. Bitter guard. Tastes, it looks like this. David, do you still want more lassi? They have like different flavors here. I need one right now. Let's just choose whichever one you want. Sweet lassi. No, mango lassi. Here. Got a shake. I'm still dying from that chili and it's the best thing to cool it down, right? Always dairy, milk. Oh, it's so refreshing. It feels like pure. Yeah. Like the pulp, you know? Yeah. The mango. Heaven. Lassi. Hey, this is something very unique. It's called badam milk, which is almond milk, but with flavors. So this is, I think, saffron. Then you have cardamom, and you have rose. I love rose. I would take that one. But you said it's like some sugar in it, right? Yeah. You can make it at nice. home. So a rose drink with almond. Pretty good. This is what makes Indian food very delicious. They see ghee. Clarified butter is what makes Indian food so good. It's a different world from regular butter. This reminds me more of like uh, what you would use in Indo-Chinese dishes, right? Yes. So it's like a, almost like a sweet chili paste, yes. right? 
When I was young and I had stomach ache, this is what my mom would give me. It's kind of like Pepto-Bismol, but Indian style. So as you walk your way through the supermarket, there's so many different aisles. I think it's like eight different aisles, A, M, B. And over here we have kitchenware. Tali, this is what most Indians eat. And they put, so you put your curries here, your rice or chapati here. So here we have everything for yep. your house, right? Also restaurants come here, I'm sure, and buy as well. So they have the cups, right? So stainless steel cups, the same thing for how they serve, you know, the, the curries. Well, not this one, but like those right there, right? We have clay pots, we have pans, we have jugs for water. Most things here are stainless steel, right? Yes. Basically. Yeah, some of these pans are to make dosas, some of them make uh, chapatis, chapatis and rotis, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So very different uses, right? But yep. always to make food, everything yes. on this aisle. Wow. There you go. You wanna fry up some stuff? That's what you need. This is what you use when you're frying up uh, anything in, in, in oil, in hot oil. So you're gonna use this to take out pakoras, jalebis, uh, bhajis. That's what you need. There's more of these in India than people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. It's heavy, it's heavy. Yeah. Weapon or food? Yes. <laughs> so this is what tamarind looks like, but this is just the pulp. So in case you guys don't know, tamarind is a fruit. You can open up the, this little pocket, right? It's almost this like the, the green beans, right? Similar. Kind of look, yeah. Like and a huge edamame. Exactly. Yeah. And it's a little uh, spongy, right? It's like, like mush. Yeah. Yeah, like a it has a little bit of flesh on the outside, yes. so you can yeah. suck on it, right? Yeah. Beautiful. So they also sell tamarind and date chutney. So this is my favorite besides coconut chutney. I'm all about the tamarind chutney. Yeah. Sweet. Super when I sweet. make pani puris home, I use this sauce. This one? This, for the sweet one. Not sweet sauce, sauce, chutney, chutney. Sweet chutney, yes. <laughs> And next up, we're in the spice aisle. Here is where all the magic happens, right? This is how they make all the masalas. So what is like the standard or the one you use the most probably in, in cooking? Obviously the girl masala. We have coriander powder. And then of course, some people use whole jeera, which is cumin. These are like the basic um, spices you temper first. And then when you mix the onions and the tomatoes, you use the powdered ones. You can use cumin, coriander, depending on what kind of dish you make, and of course, chili powder. Because you're from Kerala, do you know the name of this one? Yes, these are pepper, black cold, cold black peppers. Well, also black gold. Black gold? In, in Kerala, they, they, call, call they call it black gold because during spice trade, this was gold. Yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good, now you know. <laughs> you got whole spices, you got powders, you got ready-made, like this. You just dunk it, less work in everything that you need over here. David, the owner over there has kachoris. So yeah, so these kachoris are like big, fluffy. It almost looks like a big samosa or an empanada, right? Yeah. And right here we have my favorite snack of all time, the pani puris. Look at this, so the light pani puri, 250 grams. So I don't know how much that is, but probably like 100 in here. Look at this, it's perfect. Obviously you buy this, but then you have, still have to make the filling, which is chickpeas, uh, potatoes, maybe some chilies, onions, and then make the pani, right? So the Masala water. Yeah. Is it your favorite? It is my all time favorite. No add way. A, add a little yogurt and then it's dahi puri. So delicious. The only problem with dahi puri is that it's extremely filling in comparison, right? Yeah. Well, and eat a million of just pani puri by itself. But here's a trick when I make my own pani puri, make your own water. Don't use the one that's in there. Not good. Not good. It's literally a bazaar within a supermarket. So here you have everything, right? You have Bengals. Uh, necklaces, all this. Is there sadis in here or just like regular gowns? This is regular dresses, and inside here uh, they have lehenga choli for lehenga garbas. Choli. Oh, yeah, for and several occasions. Yes. Wow, let me see. Yes. So, if you're arriving in New Jersey from India and you didn't bring your clothing, don't worry, they got you here. I always buy my daughter's bangles, they love them. Ten, ten dollars, this. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Too nice. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I got two, plus you gave me one for free because I'm too good looking. Oh. <laughs> you like that, right? Yes, I like that. Okay, we did it. We saw the bazaar, supermarket. Yes. What a great spot. You know, everything in here is Indian. Well, like 99%, right? Yes, majority of it. Okay, and where are we going next? Jashin by Daba for lunch. Big spread. You have the appetite? At this point, I do. I'm hungry, but you know what? That chili is affecting me. Let's go. Eat Let's some go. lunch. My man. Good seeing you. Good it was seeing a you great too. Half a day. Catch up with you later. Thank you. Are you hungry, Josh? Yes. Ready to eat. Let's go. After a five minute drive, we're here at Jashun. 
part of Daba, Ankush. More North Indian, right? I yeah, think so. I think it's pretty much about the same cuisine, but mm -hmm. with a little variation. Let's find out. This guy, he doesn't stop. Oh, what is this, a party? It's our head chef. We're ready to go in the kitchen, get started on these dishes. Wow, massive kitchen, huh? Wow. Hey guys, how you doing? Chefs, how you guys doing? Everything good? Bam, bam. I'll admit you. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> so that's uh, Agbari paneer, stuffed paneer cubes with raisins and uh, cashews in, in the middle. I don't know what spice hit me, but <laughs> I can't stop coughing. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's how spicy that is? Uh, it's like three medium plus. Medium plus? Yeah. I think I'll be good. But it could be medium plus Indian style. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken tender, no. chili paste. There's something hot in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you <laughs> No, the thing's on fire. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh no, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you do that, it gets stuck to your hand. Yeah, they're they're gonna, your skin yeah. melts. They're gonna put the cover. Yeah. <laughs> Salt Bay of India right here. Yeah. <laughs> But what'd you put there? Coriander. That's what coriander. Yeah, what coriander. Put, and a bunch of spices. Yeah. I mean, this is gonna be some spicy chicken, right? Yeah. So it was in tandoor, then it went on grill, now it's here. Yeah, not in terms of the grill, and over here. And so he gave us a little piece for us to taste. Let's do it. Let's do it. Chat pata chicken. Oh, cheers, ah. guys. Ah. Right away, fast, fast, fast. fast. Chat pata, chat pata. Oh, mm. good. Mm. Good. Not too spicy. Not at all. It's right. It's charred really well. Yeah, yeah. We have a Purani Delhi butter chicken, which is a traditional Indian Indian Delhi bone-in butter chicken. Then we have Sham Savera, which is a creamy sauce with goftas made out of palak, spinach, uh, stuffed with raisins. Then we have paneer labadar, which is a creamy paneer dish. A little bit different from your traditional maknis or tikka masala. A uh, little bit more on the sweeter side. And what I love is that all these dishes I've never tried before. Yeah, these are really new to me too. I don't think I've tried any of these. Yep, can't wait. Incredible. That's the best part about Indian cuisine, right? Yeah. So many dishes. Yep, yes. variety. It's spicy. I can handle it's everything. Gonna, okay. We can handle it. We can handle it. I don't know about her. The spice is more than mine. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I already had a huge chili today. Oh, you already have all that? I didn't feel good. <laughs> He's gonna do the rumali roti and the Kashmiri naan, which is a stuffed naan, which is with raisins and uh, dry fruits. My favorite naan is the Kashmiri naan. Kashmiri naan. Yeah, it's sweet, raisins, it. yeah. raisins yeah, yeah, right, a little nutty too. Yeah. And here it goes. With ghee. <laughs> Everything with ghee. Tastes better. Well, well, really tastes better with ghee, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Rumali in Hindi means handkerchief, so that's why it's big, like handkerchief. Uh, it actually reminds me of like the Armenian lavash, right? So it's very thin, very long, very big. So you just take pieces of it and you eat with the curry, yes. right? Eat with the awesome. Even you can make a roll and you can eat like this. Also. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's a tomato based sauce. Yeah, based creamy. The gravy. Oh yeah. my gosh. Chicken with the bone. It's like the aroma. The aroma is funny. Buttery. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for coming, buddy. Thank you. My nice man, to meet my you. man. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Subscribe your channel. Okay? Thank you, thank you. No problem. Too much, too much, too humble. Those gravies look incredible. We still have one more thing to see, and that is the Kashmiri you know, right? you roll out the dough. Yeah. You put this in, you make it almost yeah. like a dumpling, then you roll it again yeah. into the tandoor, and it's out. You add ghee, 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 ghee. ghee. That's too much ghee. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it's okay. You usually have to. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Appreciate it, thank you. Right, thank you so much. Oh. We're gonna go eat now. Yeah, yeah we're, we're starving. You like built my appetite. I like lost 20 awesome. pounds in yeah. this kitchen. <laughs> like, you know, the heat is too much. Yeah. It's too, I don't even know how you do it every day. I know, I know. Working from last 30 years to 35 years, so it's very yeah. yeah. awkward for us. Man. How's it, how'd you like everything? Oh, I love that, I love that. All right, now you're gonna eat it. Let's go eat, let's, right, go, let's go eat. Go. Oh, wow. This is how it is, Indian party, right? We have an endless spread here, and Kush already explains us what everything is. So I think we have to start off with all the tandoori items first, yes. right? And that's obviously the hotter items right now. So I'm gonna definitely give you a beautiful lamb chop, right? Yep. Wow, look at this beauty. The masalas, oh, nice and moist. Oh, gorgeous. This is my favorite meat, by the way. Yeah? Lamb. Okay. Lamb and goat. Yep, definitely. Everything else is subpar. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Love this. There's a party in the back. We got the music blasting. We have incredible food. Awesome company. Yes. Yes. So, how do we start? Obviously, lamb chop, right? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. My favorite. Oh. 
Good. What'd you put in here, man? So Incredible. We forgot the chutneys. Oh, the chutneys. So we're gonna use chutneys for this one? We could. We could, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what you do, it. tamarind? Both, both maybe. Both, yeah, we're gonna mix it? I like to mix it. Okay, let's mix. Just dip. I haven't done this before with the tandoor. That with the lamb tandoor. I like to do it this way sometimes. I love it. Mm. The combination, mm -hmm. the best. So it's mint chutney and this one's tamarind. Yes. Always sweet and freaking so incredible. So juicy. Mm -hmm. So unique this one. Yes, so very different. different. Yeah, the masalas, right? This was the one on fire. Mm hmm This is excellent. <laughs> wow, the tamarind too? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Literally the meat just comes out of the bone. Mm-hmm. Chutney is good too. Mm-hmm. Turning delicious, a little spicy. Mm -hmm. She's saying just on spot. I feel like I it's like, like it. a six right now. See, your your spice level and mine spice level is different. You put a chili in your mouth in the supermarket, man. <laughs> I know, I know. I still feel it right now. But and now we're gonna try cheese on cheese on cheese. I'm gonna cut it right. Yes. Right. Whoa. Look at that. So it's paneer that's stuffed, and they added cottage cheese, cream cheese, and cheddar, cheddar cheese. cheese. Yeah. Mmm. Is this the same filling as the cashmere? Similar, right? Nice and nutty. Mm. Oh, so good. Mmm. Different. This is very different. Oh. Texture is playing in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I personally like everything without chutneys. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you want to add some, you know, extra level of flavor, yep. you add the chutneys, right? Cute. You know, I'm finishing this one because it's Me so too. good. I've never Delicious. had this. Mm-hmm. Mmm, it's a big piece of paneer, huh? Mm -hmm. Massive. We're gonna try this beautiful chicken. This one is the tandoori one. Mm, yes. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Tangy. Delicious. And for this one, I love adding tamarind. Yep. Like that. I can literally eat this food all day. Lovely. Mm -hmm. So your family's from Kerala. You were born in Bahrain. Yes. So what is like your food here? I'm from the south, so it's more of like coconut gravy and like other kinds of vegetables. Tamarind and coconut. We have this other chicken with veggies and it's called chatpata chicken. Mm. It's more like chicken chat. Mm -hmm. mm. Chicken chat. It's like a chicken chat. And why she says it's chat, because chat's like street food, you know, it usually has like a tropical feel to it, you know, salad, refreshing. Yes. I like it. It's different. I mean, especially mixed with this, right? Very not, different. I'm not a big cucumber guy, but I dig this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, for me it's like tomato over cucumber every day, you know? Oh. Next up we have the honey crispy vegetables. Mm. If you've ever gone to a Chinese restaurant and had honey chicken, very similar, right? Mm -hmm. But this is vegetables. So that was cauliflower, nice and breaded. Mm, I love, love it. It's a little sweet, mm -hmm. not spicy. No. Mm -hmm. I have carrot. Mmm. <laughs> oh, so good. Yeah, this is definitely for the Western palate. Yep. Not spicy. Yep. No. <laughs> okay, so we serve ourselves all the curry. So we have four of them chicken, goat, Paneer and the other one is like almost like a dumpling, right? But maybe with spinach. Yes. Spinach kofta, so it's almost like malai kofta, yeah. right? Cashew gravy. Cashew gravy. That's my favorite gravy ever. And right here we have my favorite naan of all time. And then over here, Romali roti. Oh, you gotta lift it up. You gotta lift the whole thing. Let's see. Wow, look at that. It covers my whole face. Where's David? This always gets smaller pieces. It's something you learn in India. You don't get the whole thing. No. You get smaller pieces, you just on the side, and you just go into whichever, right? Let's do the butter chicken. Okay. This is bone in butter chicken. Bone in, huh? Oh, let me get the chicken. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to get the chicken because it's the bones. But, oh, no, no. Here we go. Mm hmm. Like that. Mm hmm. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Creamy, tender, moist, flavorful. Wow. Butter chicken, obviously it's the most common Indian dish in the Western Hemisphere. Yes. But it's the most delicious dish ever. Yes. Most places make it without bone, but this mm -hmm. is bone in butter chicken. Mmm. Yeah, so it's going like that, right? Mm -hmm. 
I love the tomatoes, man. Mm. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. He was saying it's not gonna be like an abundance of cream compared to the other yeah. butter chickens, right? This is Look. more tomato. More tomato. And you know, you need to go in here and break it to his bones. It's okay to do this, right? Mm hmm. Dude, I love it. You know what? Gotta go with this, right? Yep. So next up, let's try something else here. Okay. What do you think? Maybe this? The other goat? Yeah. Okay. Obviously, because it's goat, you should go in here and try to break some of the meat off, right? Yep. With that. So we do have a bone. If it's goat without bone, it's not goat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Ridiculous. Mm. Mm. Bro, the goat's unreal. Mm. I love the gravy. So, gravy is more like a brownish gravy, right? Lighter, not so much like heat. Yep. The bread, though. The naan. Oh, I love this naan. Mm hmm. Kashmiri naan. Crunchy, sweet, raisins. Nutty. Now I have some heat, right? Mm hmm. After, after taste. Mm hmm. A little bit of heat. That's what I feel like always with Indian cuisine. It's not like a. You know, in Mexico or in Thailand, where you have these dishes and they just like hit you so hard. Mm -hmm. This is like a coming After. out later, right? Slowly. Slowly. You feel it. Yeah, you feel it now, right? <laughs> Look at this. It's just like all the nuts are falling off. And next up, we're going for this delicious Chasevera Kofta. Chasevera Kofta. Chasevera Kofta, the gravy, okay. cashew gravy. Mm. I can like literally drink the gravy, but next up, we have to grab the whole. Spinach thing. Well, look at the size difference, guys. Look at this. <laughs> She's doing it the Indian way, the true way. I'm the American. <laughs> Unique with spinach, right? Lovely textures again. Textures, flavor profile. Mm -hmm. You know, you have the cashews, the spinach, and then you have the sweetness of the naan. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. Creaminess from the curry. I can. It's so creamy. I mean, for me, the top two gravies ever are this one and the butter chicken gravy. Yes. They're just like unreal. They're timeless, mm -hmm. you know? They're always gonna so be good. So different. Yeah. I've never had this before. Next up, paneer. So we're going with the thinner flatbread. Mm hmm Bam. Every single gravy here was out of this world, bro. Mm hmm The food is crazy good. Yep. Whoa, I'm hitting walls. Mm. This girl can eat. I can. That's why I'm a foodie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next up we have to add some rice to soak up into all these beautiful gravies. And then now we're gonna do it the southern Indian way. So in the north, a lot of people don't they do the rice. Spoon. They use spoon. Mm -hmm. But spoon takes away some of the flavor. So we're gonna just use our hands and dive straight in here. So separate, you know, bones. Yeah. Well, at this point, it's all the curries. All the curries. Right? Just make a little ball. Yeah. Huh? Flavorful rice. Mm -hmm. So pulao is mainly uh, veg rice, right? And the main thing with Indian food is no limit to how you eat, right? People should not look down upon you because we're eating, you're filling your belly, and that's the main thing, right? Yes. Okay. Ready. Big bite. Mm. The kashu with the butter chicken gravy. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is like a pairing made in heaven. Funny, people have been telling me that I'm pretty good at this, right? Mm -hmm. But the main thing is that you don't leave a grain. <laughs> no grain is left behind. <laughs> That's true. That's true, right? Growing up, did you, um, this is how you ate at home? Yes. Yeah, right? I'm trying to show my kids. They're like, why are we using hands for the rice? Oh. I'm like, well, when you mix it with stuff, it, mm -hmm. it's really good. Yep. Plus, you don't get the taste of that spoon. Makes it better. Makes it better. Mm -hmm. If you want to, you, make, you want to make it sweet, add tamarind. Make you want to make it spicy, add something else, right? <laughs> make it your own. Make it your own. The back of my lips actually feels the tingle. That's probably still the green chili. You think so? Ugh. Okay, so what do we have here? Lime soda, fresh lime soda. Cheers. Mm hmm. Mm. A little chat masala or something? A little bit, right? Yeah, always a little spice, right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is refreshing. Yep. Mm. It helps digest, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so we're not in the city right now. We're not in New York City, so we can't walk for three miles. So we're just gonna stand up and walk around with this. Yes. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
So refreshing. So good. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big soda guy, mm -hmm. but I'll do this. Yeah. Especially right after a meal. After, mm -hmm. Feels good. Heavy meal. Man, the party is just jamming, man. It's amazing. So every weekend you can come here and have buffet, right? So they have a buffet, which is, you know, all you can eat buffet is amazing. They actually have bani puri right now, and they have some watermelons that are carved. So one of the guys that works here, he carves watermelons, carves ice. I'm gonna come back here one day and do a whole thing on that. Oh yeah. It's just amazing. That. <laughs> just that, just that. What's yours, my friend? We did it, two down, yes. one more to go. Dinner time. Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna eat for a week. <laughs> Man, thank right, you so much. You thank you. Daba 305 coming soon. Thank you, thank you. Loved it, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it all. To the next. Walk that carbs down. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye bye. Thanks, guys. Thank you all. Thank you all. Two done, one to go. Where to next? House of Biryanis and Kebabs, which is in Denver. It's going awesome. to be great. So biryani, kebabs, probably some sweets, and we're going to give it a little break, like a two-hour break. We're just going to go around the area, relax, digest. Yeah. Oh, maybe have a sweet? No, I'm joking, no sweet, just water, water. Yeah. So this is Parsippany, right? So as you can see, beautiful forest in the area, lots of you know houses, commercial buildings, strip malls, and are there like Hindu temples? Big mix of a lot of Indian population, but a big mix related to religion. Like, but I do see a lot of temples around here in Parsippany. And guys, just so you know, like in India, it's not only Hinduism, you know, huge Muslim population, Christian population, it's a big mix. It's really the land of different religions. Are we here? This is it. House of biryanis and kebabs. All right, hey. all right. What's up, guys? Hi, how are you? So what are we doing? Biryani and kebabs. The best biryanis and kebabs. Kebabs. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go inside. Yep. Thanks. So I know that their cuisine is mostly from Hyderabad, like mostly Andhra Pradesh food. So a lot of kebabs, biryanis. So the layout here, very open concept, right? You have all windows, the street right there. And over here, we have the kitchen. Let's go inside. Yes. How are you doing? Everything good? Good, good, good? What's up, guys? Everything good? Hi, how are you? Let's do it. So what are we making here? Over here, they're making some goat. In here, they have two biryanis cooking. And over here, they're doing some chicken tikka, right? Yeah. Today, we're going to have uh, halim. We're going to have a Mughlai mutton rolls, chicken 65, lamb chops, and our tandoori chicken. And we're also going to serve some uh, our authentic Hyderabadi biryanis. I don't know how I'm going to eat all that, but I'm going to try. I can't wait. Hyderabadi food is fantastic. I love Hyderabad biryanis. What else? Halim, for sure. It's going to be spicy. I'm sure you can handle it. Dude, if you don't like spice, don't go to India. <laughs> and this is a lamb sea kebab. I love this. So sea means basically like minced, right? Yeah. The, that's the difference. The rest of them are not sea. This is a goat mughlai, roasted goat mughlai. Goat mughlai. It's like a goat curry in a sense, right? It's like a, more of a dry curry. First, don't like uh, curry and then it is uh, sauteed on the grill with some spices. The green chili has got coriander on top. It looks like a little spicy, right? A little bit. Yeah. So we have one, two, three, four, five dishes to start. We have the halim. So this is an incredible like Muslim dish. It's very pasty. You have the onions on top. I love this dish. Uh, I had it recently in Karachi. And then next to it we have chicken 65. Yes. So this is a staple. You know, it's basically breaded chicken, fried, and then they add, they saute it, and they add some chili, right? Yes. And then what's this one? This is a goat uh, dish. Roast Roasted goat. goat. Well, I think this is going to be my favorite. I can already tell. Yeah, it has chilies, mm -hmm. looks spicy, and it looks a little creamy, right? And yeah. these are all like more like dried curries, right? I mean, yes. it's this one. And over here we more have like another. appetizers. Yeah, appetizers. Mm -hmm. And this one's like a cauliflower. Goby. Yeah. And that one? Look at this thing, guys. This is nuts. <laughs> Let's try the chicken 65. Okay. She's taking it easy. She's too full. Right. <laughs> mm, not right. so spicy. Mm -hmm. Last supper, so <laughs> we're all in. Go for it. Mm -hmm. I would say compared to like chicken nuggets or yeah, you know fried Similar. chicken in a way, right? Flavorful. Flavorful. This is way more flavor. Obviously, oh, yeah. the masalas, you the coriander, and if you want, you can get one of these chilies and add to it, right? Like that? You can do that. <laughs> yeah, I will do that. And this is uh, is it the curly? Curly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always. Well, That's what gives it flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice spice. Mm -hmm. Way better with that. Yep. What is 65? Because people have told me different stories about 65. Why is it called 65? Just a name. Just a name, right? And we also have some mango lassi. So after a little bit of spice, cool down with this, right? Mm. This I can do. Mm -hmm. It's a mix between super thick and 
light, right? Mm -hmm. Like almost watery down, right? Yeah. Creamy. I, I personally don't like the super thick one, like yeah. the Punjabi one. Mm -hmm. Obviously, over there it's great, mm -hmm. but I don't want to get it so thick, thick and it's really heavy, mm -hmm. right? The cauliflower, mm -hmm. the gobi. It's like gobi manchurian without the gravy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one I know is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Look at this thing. It's like creamy goat. Oh. Obviously, there is some bones in here, so be careful when you do bite into it. Yep. We get some of that gravy, we get some of the curry leaf. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Bone. Mm hmm. It wasn't any bones with, with goat, but I think it's part of the experience, right? Yep. Play them out. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna get some more of the chilies, though. Oh, it's nice and spicy. Mm hmm. Mmm, mmm, it's hot. I love this one though. Mm hmm. Mmm. Get a whole one. More the meat. Mm hmm. So juicy. Mmm. Nice and spicy. It's a spicy dish. I'm trying to break sweat. Yeah, yeah, I'm sweating. You know what it is though? All day chilies, chilies, chilies. Mm hmm. Guess to you. I think I've had more chilies today than I had on the entire trip. Oh, yeah. But definitely your spice level is way up there. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, so next up we have the halim. So what is halim? So halim is ground meat with lentils. It's more like a thick soup mm -hmm. or a thick stew. Thick stew. Mm. Spices for flavors. Fried onions for flavor. Exactly. So it Kay. feels like it feels like almost like a shredded chicken mm -hmm. with lentils, like a like right. good mash, right? Right. So it's very pasty. But I don't think this is chicken. No, it's not chicken. No. No, I'm just saying, but, the, but right. it's like it's shredded, the right? Texture, the yeah. texture. Mm -hmm. So we have chicken, and he just brought lamb chops that are literally on fire. Look at that, just sizzling. So we have to start off with the chicken, right? Yes. Yeah, because the other one's way too hot. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Let's try this thing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my Charred. god. Charred. You really fall this bone. Mm-hmm. It got like another chili. Uh oh. This is crazy. I mean, you have to tell them, like, no chilies if you, if you don't like chilies. Mmm. Oh, so tasty. Mmm, another masala. So much flavor. That's one thing we just noticed that it's very spicy. spicy. It's like hitting you slowly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So good. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm taking a break. Uh, you need to take a break. <laughs> we still have biryani, and so that's rice. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's gonna expand. Spicy, spicy. dude. But spicy. You love spicy? Oh, we love it. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? I love everything. To be honest, my favorite thing is the goat and the halim. So good. Lassi break. Lassi break. Lassi break. Ooh. We need a little, you know. Ooh. Right here we have goat biryani. Love the goat biryani. So different from chicken biryani. I mean, look at this. So we're going to go in here. We're both going to break up. Ooh, it's still nice and hot. You need the raita, right? And then this one is like a... This is like a peanut... Um, I wouldn't say sauce, it's more like a gravy, peanut gravy. Okay. So, just a little bit of that. Oh, you're gonna put that right away? Okay. So Take out the bone. Wow, look at that. With the fat here. You're not supposed to leave. This is the best part right here. Mm hmm. Mm. How do we eat this? Very easy, right? Yep. Just like that. Keep Mix breaking. Mix. Nothing like it. So, this is something I got a tiny bite. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Flavorful. So much flavor. Mm -hmm. Wow. I love this one. Very tender though, yeah. Mm hmm. Super tender. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say also the chicken was extremely tender as well, right? Yes. So you keep going in here, get all the rice. Better than us, right? <laughs> I try. I want to eat better than the Indians. Yeah, he does already. <laughs> You're already there. This is the way I was taught, right? Just push in. Mmm. <laughs> the goat. Oh, I'm done. So You're done. Good. I know we have a surprise dessert, right? Yeah. No. Uh-oh. This is going to be crazy. Long yeah, day full of Indian food. Mm -hmm. Good Indian food. 24 hours. 24 hours. 24 shipping. And food coma. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? Every day Indian food is a good day. Oh, yes. I agree. Whoa. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Done. Easy. Now I don't even have to wash my hands. No, I'm joking. 
<laughs> okay, I'm excited. I haven't had this dessert in a long time, so it's not Ras Malai. This is Kheer. So what's Kheer? Kheer is, this is like a rice pudding. So it's basically milk, rice, sugar, um, cardamom, almonds. Mm -hmm. Come from like Latin America, this is arroz con leche. Very similar, so rice and milk, right? And then we go inside, oh yeah, so it's nice. Look at this, it's like nice and nutty. nutty, very pasty. It has some oh, it has light, light lychee in the... Oh, some oh, lychees. lychees. No, lychees. that was good. Got the lychees, right? You got the rice, the almonds. almonds. I might finish this whole thing. I think so. Mmm. Mm. It's good. Mmm, that's so different. Mmm, different and yummy. Mm -hmm. Lychee, lychee. There's something to talk about. Yeah, you know what? The thing is, I come from Spanish background, yeah. so lychee. Lychee. You know? so lychee. 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 Yeah. Mmm. It's good. Especially like in Chinese communities, they love this. Mm -hmm. This is like a big thing for them, right? I actually have a, one of these trees in my house. You do? Yeah. And that's it, my friends. 24 hours of eating Indian food in Parsippany. 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 Parsippany, New Jersey. Only like a, you know, like a 90 minute drive from New York. Less. Yes. So less, less than that. Less than that. Right? So, what did we do today? Daba Express. And then from there, we went to Jashin by Daba. And then finally here for dinner, which is House of Biryanis and Kebabs. Exactly. We also stopped at a supermarket, the Bazaar. Big Bazaar Delight in Parsippany. Mm-hmm. So we walked around, we saw so many products, I bought some jewelry for my kids, and yeah, I mean, everything was freaking delicious. Gotta give a big thanks to everybody involved. Wow, I'm very cool, but I'm super happy I came here because the food is amazing. I got to meet these beautiful people. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It was an amazing day. Thank you. You're the best, you're the best. You're the Thank best. you, Josh. Thank you so much. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, eating 24 hours in Parsippany. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And please follow her right here on IG. And yeah, we're gonna keep going. I mean, this one, you see, the hard thing with desserts from India, can't stop. Good afternoon, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from beautiful Brooklyn. Yes. <laughs> I'm here with my friend Marina from the Ukraine and today what are we doing? We are eating very delicious hachapuri. It's a Georgian national cuisine and I haven't been in Georgia for quite a bit of time and I cannot wait to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so I was in Georgia like three months ago. I traveled the whole country. I ate kachapuri every single day and that's what they do here. Cheese boats, right? So it's bread, oh cheese, egg. They have like 30 different variations. At any given time, there's 10, like it's seasonal, right? And yes. they have what else? Kinkali. Kinkali, yes, wine, Georgian wine. wine. Oh my God. And then pork dishes, obviously. Pork dishes, yes. I walked yesterday, so yes. <laughs> Let's, let's do that, that's it. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside, it's right here. So that's it. And if you guys don't know, if you've ever eaten a kachapuri, you will get really full. It's like the Georgian oh pizza. Half of it even, I guess, already you're full. Not the, the full parts, I guess. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just entered Cheese Boat Restaurant. As you can see, it's like really rustic, nice tables, beautiful setting. They got lots of wine. If you guys didn't know, Georgia is famous for their wine and they gave us the best bottle. And this is like, uh, I think it's, yeah, from Kakheti region. So that's the wine region, the most famous region. It's the amber wine. And this is I made. I there. Yeah? Most likely. Yeah, it's, it's so basically they're uh, made in cuevities, which are the clay pots, right? Uh -huh. That's why the, the color is the way it is. It's an 8,000 year old tradition. They say they're, they invented wine. All right. <laughs> that's fine with me. That's fine, hey, and for I'm me. Drinking. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> See, the problem in Georgia is you're gonna drink a lot. Okay, let's drink a lot. Let's drink a lot. Let's drink a lot. <laughs> oh, it's good. Oh, wow. Mm. That's a so different taste. Taste? You know? I know, I know, but that, that's the clay pot. Oh my god. So it's, they put everything the seeds, the I juice. I feel I'm drunk already. Already? No way. Oh, what do we have here? Dumpling. Oh, okay. So this is Kinkali, right? Yeah. And also in, in Ukraine, it's a Varaniki, right? Similar, not the same. <laughs> Here we have kinkali, soup dumplings, right? So they boil them, inside there's beef, and the way it works, you're supposed to grab it from here, flip it like this, and then make a little hole, and then... <laughs> God. I'm serious. All right, let me do that. Try it, try it. Okay, wait. So you take it, 
Then flip it up, yeah, and then make a little hole, and then from there you just suck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm so happy my mom, she doesn't understand the English. Mm. Oh, it's good, right? Mm. Oh, I love the taste. The dough. Oh my god. Some nice spice in there. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. That's like a. Almost like a. I don't know. Is that spicy a lot? No, this one. No, no. It's almost like a. I'd say like an Indian, like mint chutney. Similar style, right? Oh my god. Oh, it's so good. Whoa. Yeah, I like it. It's a food orgasm It's like 10 at once, 10 in a row. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. And at the end, you leave this right there. The only problem mm. is when you eat tinkali and kachapuri, you just get really full. It's like it's straight dough. I think even if you look at food, Georgian food is getting full. Only by looking, <laughs> only by looking they're full. That's it. <laughs> oh, I'm jealous to myself. It's good though, right? For me, the closest thing to this mm. is Shalambao in uh, Shanghai. Like, oh, like soup dumpling. No? Oh, you I love it. But this, basically all this came from Silk Road, right? Mm. Same thing in, in Ukraine with Vereniki. Dumplings came from Silk Road. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I like this. this is I love it. This is the best. It's crazy good. So it's like nice and minty. <laughs> a little bit spicy. A little bit. See, in Ukraine, I didn't get that much spice. In Georgia, some more. In Ukraine, no spice at all. No spicy at all. Done. <laughs> it's a big bite. <laughs> awesome. Hey, it's delicious. Love it. Love it. Uh, good. Uh, I think I have to finish the last one. <laughs> Yes, you can do that. Hey David, here's some cha cha. Now I'm in the back with Mama Cheese Bow, the mama. <laughs> She's yes. showing me how she makes some ajar and boat shaped kachapuris. Yes. And these are a little smaller than the ones I've seen in, uh, in Georgia. Just a little smaller, they're for one person, right? And yes. then you put the egg on top of the end? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. So cheese and bread all day. Kacha puri. Good wine, good people, incredible food. Good city. New York City is the best. All right. We are about to jump on. This is the original Ajarin Kachapuri bow shape. So what is it? Bread. They make it into a bow shape. The reason for that is because back in the day, the, the guys leaving Batumi were going out into the Black Sea and their wives would basically make a boat like they're coming back type of thing. So then, you know, they haul it out, they fill it up with cheese, a lot of cheese in there, lots of butter, as you can see. And then right I here... I love cheese. Cheese is... <laughs> and right here they Let's put... Start. Yeah, so they, they put egg yolk. They don't just put an egg, just the egg yolk. And that makes it all creamier. So how does this work? Well, watch this. Like this. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I know, you have to do this. This is how it works. <laughs> so just mix it in. Mmm. This really is the best. Oh. oh wow, yes, yes, look at that. So you're supposed to mix it all, and obviously get it while it's still really, really scorching hot. If not, it becomes a little harder, right? Yay. Look at this, look at this beauty. So we can do it like that. You can easily just go like this, but this is the way Going they taught me. Yeah. You get this. Oh, yay. And then you go and you dip. Okay. All right? Let's dip, let's dip it. Let's dip it. So just like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love Ukrainians. <laughs> They're crazy. <laughs> Look at mine compared to yours. <laughs> oh, come on. The oh, experience it's too much. One. What do you want to tell me? Oh, and that sauce? Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Oh, I love this. This is such a good sauce. That goes nice with everything. herbal. Now mm -hmm. I'm addicted. That's, yeah, addiction. Yeah. That's an addiction. That's a new food addiction, guys. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, wow. Mm. How can I sleep tonight? Mm. This literally took me straight back to Batumi. Whoa. Oh, I, should, I should fly. Oh, Georgia. Mm. 
Georgia. I love everything about Georgia. So you've been, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. I traveled all over. Like, it was an amazing trip. Yeah, I'm sure. Belize what a country. is. Oh, Kazbegi oh, awesome. is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Kazbegi is beautiful. Wake up and. You know what? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Okay, <laughs> okay it's all mine. Here it feels, guys. Have you seen that? It's all mine. <laughs> That's it. That's it. So, this is the original. And this one I suggest everybody gets, right? But the next star is this one, which is oh with God. a honeycomb. Like, look at it. Honey, honey. <laughs> Tomorrow is a fasting day. I know. So, my name and me are talking about how addictive the cheese is. Oh so, if you don't want more bread, but you want more cheese, it's going like this. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. Do I have some? Mm. Yeah, oh my god. Okay. Last piece of cheese. And this is saguni cheese, which is like a type of mozzarella. Mozzarella, oh. Oh, oh you know Italian. what? Say, <laughs> say, sí, sí, lo so, lo so. E' troppo buono questo. And then here we got god. this beautiful. And Whoa. this is just first out of three kachapuris and I'm getting... <laughs> That's the problem with kachapuri, bread and cheese. But you know what? Cheers. Cheers. Another, another good little... And getting drunk. <laughs> no! Just like the other one, I'm gonna cut it. Oh, this one's gonna be like sweet though. Oh my god. What, what did they put in here? What is... I don't know. What is this? Mm, I'm gonna know in English. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> it's amazing. Mm, yeah. mm. It's like a dessert katsupuri. It's, mm. It is a weird taste, I guess. But you know what? It's almost like a cinnamon bun. No? Kinda. Kinda. But it's sweet and it's so cheesy. And at the same time, it's it's meat, right? Cheese, honey. Cheese, honey. But there's one more thing here. Get a little flaky. Oh my god. Mm. I'm gonna fish it in Hachapuri Paradise if there is one. Okay. This is what it is. This is Hachapuri Paradise. This is just. You know, I'll tell you. That's perfection. That's perfection. Yeah, that is the ultimate Hachapuri. <laughs> you are, I don't you're even know. Done. I know, and I'm done. I'm like, you know well, what? You haven't. You, you, okay. you want to try one of these? Oh, you can't mix, right? I can mix. You can't mix? So I'll, I'll just cha cha with you. Cha cha with me? So this I'll is cha cha. Cha cha with David. This is Georgian grappa, basically. 50%. Oh my, oh my god. god. It smells very strong. So the way to do this is slow sip. No shot? I mean, you could, but then you just like. Oh, sleeping like on kachapuri, or you become a kachapuri. You become a kachapuri. <laughs> That's a way. I don't know if I can open this one. So they're gonna open their next location, Cheese Boat, in Hell's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. If you guys don't know what Hell's Kitchen is, watch the show uh, Daredevil. Oh, you did a bit there. Oh, yeah. mm. No, Daredevil. You know Daredevil? Marvel Comics? Oh, this is too. Alright. He protects Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Really good. He's <laughs> keep doing that. Cheers, guys. <laughs> this, this girl's trying to make too many jokes here. I, me, <laughs> the winner. <laughs> He's not funny. I'm the one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so what do we have here? Basically, uh, steak, uh, steak, steak, I've never steak seen steak and mushrooms, right? Yeah, so what they try to do is they, they mix, you know, whatever seasonal, whatever's available. She was saying they only get fresh ingredients and this is one of the 10 they have available. Okay. Looks great. Looks like a basically a steak with mushroom on top of a cheese bread. Oh, there's more cheese inside. Oh, it's always cheese. Always cheese. So get some of the mushrooms, right? What the? Nice mushroom. Get some of this beautiful steak. It's gonna be good. Mm. <laughs> okay, so we don't even cut it. Oh my. The honeycomb? Yeah, this is just. It's a wine talk, seriously. Yeah. Anyway. Cheers, cheers. Mm. Mm. Have you tried okay, it? Okay, I haven't yet. Boom! Let me try that. Try it, try it, try it. <laughs> try it. Did you do that? No, I just used like this plum sauce they have here. Oh, there is more? Mm hmm, a little bit of plum sauce. That's it. 
Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. It's completely different, right? So it's a lot more savory, right? The yeah. taste is so, you know, I, I'm not so good at explaining food. You know? Yeah, yeah, no problem. And then you also have right here, you have the mushrooms, and if you go deeper, you get all the cheese oh, right there. Look at that. that cheese. Pull it, pull it. Yeah, oh, right there. Yes. yes. It, it is called a cheese boat, right? I'm gonna try it with the sauce, right? Mm. Mm. This sauce, it's like a minty chili. You know what I think? Is that that place is like a casino. When you start eating, you don't understand. No time, you, you forget about anything. What yeah. time of the year, what the date is, it, you just, you're just... Because <laughs> I'm sorry guys, this yeah, is yeah, true. Yeah, I think we need some more wine here. <laughs> That's what you're <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, no, I mean between the Just cheese, enough. the bread, the and the bread, wine. The wine. Oh, I love Georgia. Mm. Georgian food. Oh, Georgian food is? I mean, obviously a lot of kachapuri, but the cool thing in Georgia is that every like region makes it differently. Different. Like em Marele, Magoria, the, the regular kachapuri, which is almost like a pizza. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're so good. Oh my God. Uh, I cannot do more of this because That's I won't right. be able to do the ribs here. Here I am. And right here we have pork ribs mm. oh, with some like roasted pepper. <laughs> you want to try one of these? I can try a piece. Look at this. Uh, do you? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not quite a pork eater. That's why for me it's. Uh, well, you had ribs it, though, it, right? Yeah, just bite like this. Ready? Go in there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's funny. She's not a pork eater, but in Ukraine, it's all you guys eat. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's good. Nice, like a um, tomato sauce on top. Yes, actually, this is good. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. This is good. Mm. Nice, huge pork ribs. It actually reminded me a little bit of the Chinese style, but it, has, it doesn't have a glazed sauce. Because of the sauce, I guess. Because of the sauce, right. Mm. Alright, get back to the steak. <laughs> She's just wants cheese boat. That's all she wants. <laughs> mm. 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 It's night, lively, it's right now. What time is it, like 7.30? Uh, my, my, my thing died. <laughs> I just totally don't know what time it is. I don't know what time it is. We don't know what time it is. We just know it's dark, that's it. Wow. My friends, I am hitting a wall. <laughs> no, I'm serious though. The cheese and the bread fills you up. It expands well, in your stomach, I you know? I prepared for that. I haven't eaten so. Oh yeah, so I ate a lot of Indian food and, and uh, pizzas today. I knew, I knew that was gonna happen, so, oh. sorry guys. Mm -hmm. Cause I eat twice a day, mm -hmm. but I, I was thinking it's too much food. One day, uh, one time I cannot eat. No, no, I mean the thing with this food is like, it's really filling between the kinkali and each person I getting one of these. <laughs> I know, that's, that's what goes you up though. The dough plus this, the cheese and the bread. If you eat one of these yourself, that's it. Well, we don't even finish the bread though. I, know, I don't no, even no. eat the bread. You're not supposed to finish the bread. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. I don't it's know. Too if much. We, but I, I, I mean, people, do it. people do it. Hey, in Georgia, people that? finish all this. No, and I can't. Do I've it. seen people finish the kinkali like 10. And I'm oh like, my God. I can't even have three. Three is like a lot. This. By the way, I gotta tell you though, this wine is insane. Yes, it is. So good. You know what? Uh, I'll treat you with this. Ready? Uh, I'm done. How about you? Done? I'm done. Alright. So, <laughs> if you guys ever are in New York, head out to Brooklyn. Thank you. Come to the Cheese Boat Restaurant, Georgian Cuisine. You will not regret it. It's just... Yeah. Try their cheese boats. That's Kachapuri. They have many different variations. Obviously, get the original, but I suggest the honeycomb. That is the best. The best. Kinkali, also soup dumpling, a must try. If you want to try pork ribs, definitely try them. The wine, get this bottle. So good, but you know what? I'm gonna finish it off with a cha cha because this is my last stop and I'm going to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> this whole stomach, amazing! <laughs> no, after two weeks in Georgia, you get used to it. <laughs> I actually been to 10 days too. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's I a beautiful arrived, country. I guess my mom that day she did not recognize me, I guess. <laughs> that, that is it, that's the truth. 
that's not the joke. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content. Subscribe, subscribe. Follow her. Follow me. Come visit this restaurant, and we'll see you in the next travel food and adventure. And butter <laughs> I would have more, but whoa. Oh my god, I can't oh. imagine how you eat all the day. No, 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 I expand it right now. I don't know. That's, <laughs> he has a secret. He's definitely. Uh, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a like, food, look at him. How, I'm a food blogger. A food blogger? Like, come on. <laughs> tell me your secret. Come on, damn it. Oh, okay, more chat and you tell me the secret. No, you throw up, you throw up. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here coming at you from the beautiful East Village, New York City. I'm here with my boy John from Here Be Bar. He's an NYC expert, food, travel. He does a lot of different things. And today he's gonna take me to explore Jewish cuisine in this beautiful historical neighborhood. So what are we doing, John? All right, we're gonna go to two super famous spots, Russ and Daughters, followed by B&H Dairy, and both of them are absolute staples in Lower Manhattan. Many people don't realize it, but the Lower East Side of Manhattan is where so many Jews got their start in the New World. In fact, in 1910, there were over one million Jews living in this very area, which was 25% of the population of the entire city. So the history runs deep, and you can really see it in a lot of the food here. Awesome, so we're starting off at Russ and Daughters, which is right behind us, huge line. Let's get in there. I mean, Russ and Daughters is an institution. You can see the line behind me, and the original owner, Joel Russ, immigrated from Poland. He was walking down the street of the Lower East Side selling herring from a barrel, and then he opened up this shop right here in 1920. Cool fact. It's called Russ and Daughters because he had three daughters and it was the first ever shop in the United States to have daughters attached to it, not sons. It was a very controversial thing at the time, but this place is so popular in the Lower East Side. Everybody comes here. This is, right, this is it right here, guys. Classic. This is what I always order. You cannot go wrong with this. I'm classic on uh, everything bagel with scallion cream cheese. No, not toasted, no. Never, ever toasted, in my opinion. I had no idea what an appetizing shop was, but basically when you step inside, it's like going back in time. You walk over here to the left and you have all these different fish. So we're not getting bagel with lox, it's actually... Nova Scotia salmon. 1742? Cash or cart? A cart. Something like that, yeah. Huh? <laughs> with tax, yeah. Uh... Oh, that's good though. If I go to a diner in Miami, it's usually like that, you know? Yeah. Here. Okay, perfect. So Did you me, take a picture of all the salmon? I'm gonna do oh, more now. Yeah, so what we got here, we have Cisco's, kippered salmon, sturgeon, trout, sable, and then we have all these different like cream cheeses, right? So we have horseradish still, we have scallions, we have, wow, that looks amazing. Look at all the caviar, so we have black caviar, regular caviar, uh, green caviar, and then you have all these dips. And if you look around, you know, over here we have also I mean, chocolates, right? And this is macarons, so this is macarons, it's Jewish, very it's Jewish. Jewish, yeah. I said that you, you have so many different like Jewish pastries, like arugula and macarons especially. People will come here just for this, they won't even get that. I, I saw people walking in only ordering the sweets. So you can get a lot of cool stuff here. All right, good. That place is bumping, look at the line. About 20 people back there. There's so much salmon, the salmon, my god, I, I, there's some like with spices too. Oh yeah, everything. And guys, you should have seen the line pre-COVID. This is absolutely nothing. You're waiting 30 to 45 minutes, guaranteed at this time of day. All right, here we go. So we have a bagel with smoked salmon, right? Yes, and scallion cream cheese. We kept it really simple. It's an everything bagel. Wow, I love the way they wrap it too. Look at this. Never had it like this. It's like, like a little gift. Whoa, wow. What a beautiful bagel. <laughs> Don't drop it, please. Oh man, no way. I mean, this is what I call bagel perfection. Everything they do at Russ and Daughters is very precise from the amount of cream cheese that they put on to the amount of smoked salmon. Uh, I went with the everything bagel. I feel like it's such a classic everything bagel with scallion cream cheese, but you put on that Nova Scotia salmon and you're taking this bagel to a level that's pretty tough to find, in my opinion, outside of New York City. My man. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Chives, mm, so creamy this one. 
You know, a lot of people don't understand the difference between belly lox and Nova Scotia salmon. There is a difference. I'm personally not a big fan of lox by itself. I think it's a little too salty, but this Nova Scotia salmon, it's so buttery and the flavor to me is just right, especially when you pair it with cream cheese and a really nice soft chewy bagel like this. Nothing like it. Mm. So it's not too salty. Yeah. Nice and smoky. Mm -hmm. The bagel is perfect, so we didn't get it toasted, just regular, right? No, I, I refuse to toast a bagel. I know there's people that come to New York that say toast my bagel. I know some stores in Brooklyn that will refuse to toast a the bagel. They just won't do it, it's against their religion. And I'm one of those people. But you guys can fight me in the comments. I just do not believe in toasting bagels. I think they need to be just right when you order them. This is like the best bagel of my life. Really? Dude. We got a convert, I'm so good, happy, Brian. I'm so happy. It's too good. And for me? I don't eat bagel without salmon. Mm -hmm. I just don't do it. I'm also part Jewish, right? 25% Ashkenazi. You look at my homeland right here, man. Once you do Russian daughters, it's it's tough to get smoked salmon locks anywhere else. That's my opinion. It's just mm. so hard to find something like this. It's really a dying art. The appetizing shop. I mean, this area used to be full of stores like that. Now, Russ and Daughters is one of the few remaining places and there's a reason, there's always a long line. New Yorkers will not lie about good food. That was on the menu. Yes. And you can get it with like all that other stuff, like Sturgeon. Oh yeah, you can customize it any way you want. They're wow. there for you, yeah. Next time I come back, I'm gonna just get some wild stuff. Just get crazy stuff, yeah. Crazy stuff. You know, this is this is what I would say to order for the first time. This mm -hmm. is the classic choice. I mean, it's right there on the menu. It is, some people argue that it's too expensive, but I say, look, their cost of commercial real estate here is insane. The rent must be nuts. The rent's nuts. And I've read that on a good day, they could sell like 150 to 200 of these classic orders alone. Oh, wow. A lot, yeah. That's like a 10 or 20K right there. Yeah, right there. Crazy. But you know, you go there, you go there. Cheers. You Cheers. go there for the experience. You go there for the whole experience. Mm -hmm. Plus you have to eat it on the go, right? Outside, there's nowhere to sit down inside. There is a Russian Daughters Cafe, which they recently opened a uh -huh. couple years ago. Um, it's a few blocks away, so you can order the same stuff, more like a, a brunch setting. Nice. But for me, going to the original shop, there's nothing like it. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Let me destroy this. Mm. The buttery salmon I've ever had in my life. It is truly a special bagel. I'm gonna get an Instagram story of you, I'll tag you. What a bagel. Mm-hmm. Next level. Mm. <laughs> All right, I know I'm a hardcore New Yorker, but I'm gonna go on record and say that New York has the best bagels in the world. I'm sorry, Montreal. I've tried Montreal bagels, they're a great snack, but to me, always gonna be about a New York bagel. Okay, so we're gonna kill this and we're gonna go to one more spot. B&H Dairy, East Village, another staple Jewish place. Like these two, it's like the murderer's row of like Jewish food. <laughs> murderer's <laughs> row. It's not the right expression. It's awesome. I'm using a Yan Yankees, a uh, little New York thing. You know, for me, I don't really know too much about Jewish food except matzo ball soup because obviously my grandmother like raised us with that. I think yeah. like Rosh Hashanah and certain, uh, you know. Uh, matzo ball soup is for Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Right. And uh, keep that in mind. I think you're gonna get some coming real soon. Mm. And if you eat one, like a full one, Mm. Yes, number four. Guys, this is a good split. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, it's $17, but this is a great way to start your morning for two people. Mm. So buttery. Buttery, creamy. Mm -hmm. mm. And how far is the walk? Uh, about 10 minutes. And we're walking uh, between the Lower East Side and the East Village. These are really popular neighborhoods for young people. I mean, I said that it was a, a Jewish enclave, but not anymore. Now it's a hipsterville, both of them. Tons of bars. If you're young and moving to New York, you're probably looking in this vicinity. Problem is, you're likely to live in a shoebox apartment. I've been there, I've done that. It's worth it, but not when you're in your 30s, all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so what's funny is that every time I've come to New York, I've been here, I don't know, five, six times in my life, every time I stay here. Yeah. But obviously back then, I was in college and all my friends were in university yeah. right here. Yeah. All right, we're about to uh, walk towards Second Avenue. Interesting story about Second Avenue. They used to call it Yiddish Broadway because there were so many uh, different theaters there catering to the Jewish immigrants, and that really is no more. But B&H Dairy is a last bastion uh, of that neighborhood. After a five-minute walk, we're here at B&H Restaurant. Yeah, this is B&H Dairy. This is one of those 
institutions in the East Village. Now they call it B&H Dairy. We gotta look at the history here. Opened in 1937, the local immigrant Jewish population needed a spot to eat at that followed kosher laws. And they call it B&H Dairy because you can't mix meat with dairy under kosher laws. So this place doesn't have any meat on their menu. It's a little play on the word. And, and, and by that name, you could tell that it was the perfect spot for the immigrant population to eat because it wasn't expensive. And even today, it's a pretty cheap option considering the other restaurants in the neighborhood. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah. Welcome. What's up, what's up? Welcome to your name. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? How's everything? So far, so good. Trabajando. <laughs> I like you. I like you a lot. <laughs> Uh, so Abby is the, the original owner since 1938. This is husband of Florence uh, Bergenson. So we like name his dish, like to give him like a honor from B and H. You know, we appreciate. We ask his wife; she give us permission. Yes, so that guy is from Boston. Yeah. So every time he's about, we're gonna need the pictures here also for him. Dude, this is what I love about New York: finding places like this. Look how small the interior is. Like you just get right to business. You don't need space to eat at the counter. I love spots like this so much. Yeah, for me, this is like traditional Jewish diner in America. We have a few spots like this in Miami that you would love. Lots of salmon, lots of matzo ball soup. Oh, this is matzo ball soup right here? Buenísimo. So this is matzo ball soup. I was raised with this. You know, my grandmother's Jewish. During Passover, this is what you eat. Usually like three or four of them. This one's just one big one, right? Huge. Yeah. Uh, you have some carrots, some noodles, and nice broth. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could call this the Ashkenazi Jewish soup dumpling. If we exactly. had to make you think of something. But it's basically mm. matzo meal, uh, as well as battered eggs, fat, water. It's Jewish comfort food. This is what you eat at the Passover Seder. I love it because it's like spongy. Yeah. You know? Mmm. So does it go down? Oh yeah. Matzo meal, beaten eggs, water, fat, some oil, uh, add a little bit of veggies like carrots and noodles and, and you have something that grandma could have made herself. Mmm. Wow. Take it straight back to my childhood. Talk to Ola. When, mm -hmm. I, when I start here in the 2006. Oh. oh man, so what is this? Yeah, what? Blitz original is like um, just the dough and farmer cheese and uh, a little bit like a yellow egg inside. Mix it and fry it in a small like a dough. And um, in the back to home, my grandma, she used to make it only dough and farmer cheese inside. But this one is more crispy, so it's more more like no? Crunchy. Yeah, I guess you could say blintzes are sort of like the cousin of the French crepe. Okay. But uh, inside there is cheese and this originated uh, in Poland, but it's also popular in Russia, Ukraine. This is a, a, a Jewish food staple, just served like any time is perfect for blintzes. What we gotta do is cut one in half, right? Uh, this time I'm gonna eat it. This, this empanada is a different style. This is a Jewish empanada. Yeah. Look at that. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. That's really a little sweet too. A mm -hmm. little sweet, savory. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is amazing. It feels like we're having dessert as an appetizer. I mean, mm. how can you go wrong like that? No way. Mmm. The cheese, man. It's like a little crumbly. Mm -hmm. It pops out. I love the bread. And if you like this, I mean, if you like blintzes like this, you could also add fruit to it as well. This is the most basic style of a blintz. Okay. And here we have some like marmalade? Yep, that's for the pancake. Oh, for the pancake, okay, wait. It's fantastic, and I love banana, it. Mm -hmm. cafe, I remember that. Oh my God. Mmm. Muchas gracias. I think this is my favorite dish of all these. Where, where are you from, what country? Como mi esposa. Oh yeah? Mi esposa es de San Luis Patosí. Mmm. Amazing. The one thing I'll tell you about this Jewish food is that it is filling. You know, yes. Take it slow. It's gra it's grandma's home cooking. She didn't have you come to the table and not get full. Come on. <laughs> Love it. And then these are potato uh, potato, fritters. potato potato pancakes. Okay. But in Yiddish, I believe Yiddish, we call we call them latkes. Latkes. And this is very popular for the holiday of Hanukkah because of the oil that they're cooked in, which commemorates the oil used for the candles of the menorah. Okay. It actually looks like a huge hash brown. I guess we could say it looks like a hash brown. It's like a Jewish hash brown. Uh, and before you eat it, you've got to put some applesauce on top. Apple it would be a sin not to have some applesauce on top of it. Okay. 
I've never tried this. Dude, this is so cool. Like, this is actually, we could talk about how, like, your Jewish background, you know, you're getting a little bit of an education here. Yeah, you know, the thing is that my grandmother, you know, God rest her soul, she passed away, like, I think five years ago. She was 97. Yeah. So I really got to only see her in her later years, you know, 70s, 80s. And she lived about an hour away from us, so we'd see her, like, you know, once a month. It wasn't like we were always with her. So unfortunately, I didn't get to see all this, but I always had the matzo bar soup. Okay. We had some martinis and vodka because they love that. That's good too. That's good too. <laughs> but you're expanding your Jewish palate today, and this is oh, something so that you can do in New York City, and it's so hard to do this in other cities. Places like this are very rare in the U.S. Yeah, even in Miami, you know, we have a big Jewish population, yeah. but we don't have places like this that are a hundred years old. No, it doesn't exist anymore. No, I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Sweet and savory. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Definitely not a hash brown. Definitely thicker. Mm, crispy outside. I think it's better than a hash brown. Mm -hmm. This is more for a special occasion. Hash brown's for breakfast every day. Yeah, a hash brown is like a little more salty. Yeah. Mmm. It's good, easy to eat. Whoa. Hala French toast. We're not ordering it because we're not crazy. We're already too full anyway. But that's when you combine those Jewish roots with the challah bread and you put cinnamon on top and turn it into a trendy New York City kind of brunch food. So you can come here for the traditional or you can come here for a little twist on the traditional as well. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. All right, Hanukkah's about to come a little early this year. Hanukkah's coming in September. Mm. They nailed the latkes. Ola, the owner, was telling me that they sell out of latkes every single year on Hanukkah, and I can see why now. So, so good. The applesauce, it's just like the icing on the cake. It's the cherry on top. Mm -hmm. mm. So this is the best Jewish food? This is some of the best Jewish food I've ever had in my entire life. Mm -hmm. And I've had a lot of it. This is some of the best. Mm. Like people will come here from the entire tri-state area, even if they haven't lived in New York City for 30, 40 years, they'll come back to a spot like this because it doesn't change. Oh, try the challah bread. You've, had, you've definitely had challah at some point. So this is challah traditional bread, Jewish traditional yeah. bread. Um, the dough, everything is from the, from the bread. Mm. The, yeah, I've tried it before. Flour, yeah. Amazing. Before they do it with the raisin inside. Yeah. Right. yeah I feed today. <laughs> it's hot. So we bake like in a season because like now especially the holidays so we bake like over 50 yeah. and also we sell because our bakery the mo the Jonas is no more here. He moved in a, in a house on street but they discontinued this color. So b and I think this is the last one. Oh wow. <laughs> Look at that coming out. You don't it's see really that every huge. day. Yeah. Huge loaf so, of challah bread. And it's only six bucks. <laughs> only six bucks. <laughs> only. Only six bucks. You know how tough that is to find anywhere in the U.S. A place that makes their own challah in the back. So good. I mean, you you get you eat this at just about like any Jewish event outside of, of course Passover, but this is a staple. And the fact that we just have it on the side right now, so cool. I'm gonna have some more, guys. It's oh, sure. so fluffy. They put a nice layer of butter on top. Oh. Hola. <laughs> oh, what are we doing? b and is like any amazing New York institution because while it was started by Jewish people and served primarily just the Jews, the immigrants living in the Lower East Side, East Village at the time, Today you look around, look outside, and you see people all different skin colors, different ethnicities, all different, different, walks, of life. All different walks of life, all coming here to celebrate like New York's Jewish pastime. And the food, this type of food has gone past just the Jewish audience. A, a lot of New Yorkers just love eating this as well, from, I don't know, bagels to blintzes to matzo ball soup. You don't have to be Jewish to enjoy this. And looking around the diner, you can tell that it's been, become widely accepted. If you're a New Yorker, you like to eat Jewish stuff usually. I mean, everything is super delicious. I am hopping. There's nothing else, right? Or is there? There's one more coming. One we got, more we got coming. one more surprise okay. for David. Oh, and I love this atmosphere, right? So we have yeah. a super old school diner, very, very right. tight. In front of us, he's cooking eggs. He has some potatoes. We have some more customers coming in right now. And they also have all the different 
you know, dishes they have right here. So that's the yeah. menus, right? Yeah. And then behind us, you know, a few tables. Dude, th this is this is a lost art. Just sitting at the counter of a diner. Does it get more American than that? No, dude. This is like this is what I love about America. Huh. Going to places like this, finding them. Yeah. So this is the knish, and this is one of those famous Jewish foods that, for whatever reason, never really made it out of New York. You don't see knishes too often outside of New York City. They used to sell these a lot on street carts. Now it's almost impossible to find this outside. So it's a soft, pillowy piece of dough filled with mashed potatoes. In this case, we got the sweet potato knish, and they put some gravy on the side. I don't think you need gravy. I want to take a bite without the gravy. Maybe David wants to try it with gravy. We can compare. How do you eat so much and stay uh, in shape? That's like my, that's my problem as a YouTuber as well. It's called fasting. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to teach me. Tell me off camera. I'll teach you. So the knish. So sweet potato, mashed sweet potato. Yeah, right? mashed sweet potato. Yep. Look how beautiful this looks. And it's Whoa. like it's piping hot too in our hands. If you, you can even dip it in the gravy if you want. I'm going to try it regular. Yeah, try regular. All right, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Mmm. Whoa. So, obviously a little sweet, the potato. Not, not too sweet though. Not too sweet. That's what I like about it. Mm-hmm. Nice crisp on the outside. It's like a like a nice layer, right? Yeah. And the inside's very mushy. So I'm guessing you should get a little bit of this or just dip it, right? Just dip a little, yeah. Let's try. I've actually never had it with gravy before. Oh, wow. Oh, look how thick that is. That's like some thick gravy. Alright. Oh. Look how I'm Mm. Mm-hmm. It does go well with gravy, I admit. Nice combo. Great combo. Mm hmm Like slimy, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I feel like I had a raisin in there. Yeah. I think your grandma would be proud of you I think eating so. all this food right now. She's, she's watching she's you from like above. smiling right now. Both our grandmas from above. My grandma on my mom's side also passed away. They're both watching us smiling. Sorry, bro. I'm done. We're doing we're doing I'm our done. we're doing our ancestors <laughs> right here. So I'm in a little bit of food coma right now. It like hits you hard, right? Oh, yeah. This is heavy, man. This is a heavy food. It sinks. Wow. If you're hungry, you can be an H. <laughs> if you're thirsty, if you wanna fun, come be an H. <laughs> yeah. Very friendly place. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Oh my god, so we have one more dish we gotta try, it's the pierogies. <laughs> Just when we thought we were full, she brought us more. Oh my gosh, so this is a fried dumpling that has cheese sauerkraut, she said uh, potato, potato, spinach, and a little bit of feta cheese. And mushroom too. And mushrooms, whoa, and this is Polish dish, right? It's Polish, yeah. I mean, a lot of Jewish people eat it as well, but you know, you could eat this in Ukraine, you could eat this in Poland. Mm -hmm. Let's dip it. Let's dip it. So sour cream, right? Sour cream, yep. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I'm telling you the truth. No, 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 no. So many things in here. You got that big piece of spinach. You see that mm -hmm. hanging out there? I love the layer of the potatoes. So it's like crispy. You got the potatoes and it's stuffed with all these vegetables, right? And I like how cold the sour cream is because of the next nice balance, yeah. right? It's very hearty, very warm. Just mm -hmm. the, the kind of thing that's going to fill you up. This should be perfect on a really cold winter's day, I would say. Exactly. You're going to wait two hours time. Mm. That potato, so so much potato, guys. So much potato. In New York, when you pay for something, you always get your money's worth. You think that it's too expensive because it's the city, but they don't skimp on ingredients in, in New York, not at all. This is my favorite pierogi ever. Not like, not like only five times in my life, but I remember this. Wow, and I shouldn't be eating more. I have to go eat Indian food later. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm like tapped out till 5 p.m. You're a, you're a machine of eating proportions. I don't know how you do it. You, you're gonna go for like a, a run now, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's go get a beer. <laughs> Let's get a beer. And guys, that's basically it. We did a mini Jewish food tour with the two spots. Started off at Russ and Daughters. Yeah. Incredible, big bagel with delicious salmon super creamy i mean fantastic my favorite bagel of all time and i've had a lot of bagels here in the united states and then came, you know we came here and we tried matzo ball soup we tried the kamish we tried the bellini bellini no bellini. that's a drink <laughs> close. Close, close 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 sorry we need a bellini my mind's off my mind's off it's the challah bread the latkes aka the, the uh, potato pancakes and matzo awesome. ball soup
Well guys, next time you visit New York City, definitely come out to the East Village and do these two places. They are staples. If, if you enjoyed my work here with David, I do similar content, but I really concentrate hard on New York City. So if you wanna learn more about New York, where to eat, where to go, how to move here, check out my channel. Subscribe to me, him, and we'll see you in the next childhood adventure in New York City. Peace, peace. Gracias, gracias por todo, gracias. Gracias, gracias. Take care, guys, take care. You two, I was surprised to stomp there. Okay. Perfect. And that's it, 14 days in New York City, 500 plus hours. It was epic, Albanian food. I'm still salivating anything about the rakia. Oh my God, butter chicken, nonstop Indian, Pakistani, street food. So many delicious dishes in New York City. Over 6,000 restaurants, I think just in Manhattan. You guys have to go there. And if you love this video, guys, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next one. Let's go.